uh, that will add those jump rings. Yes. Yeah, you can see that there. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a gold jump ring, and again, all these are the same as the pictures, and I'm going to go through, I'll do it with my hands so it's easier. I'm going to go through and pick up those three jump rings, and I'll just hold it for you to see. So you can see there, it's just gone through that little section there and held that together and close that one up. And we're going to do this for all the gaps. If I lay it down and show you ah, where all the gaps are. I so we're going to do it for every single yeah. gap that's next to the floating jump ring. Okay. So again, we're going to go through and pick up all of them. And again, I make it look a little bit more difficult because it's way away from my face and at my age, I can't see very much. <laughs> can't see very much anyway. <laughs> but there we go. So you can see now that we've got this little section here. So naturally, they want to point towards each other. Yeah. So our last little jump ring, and these jump rings in the practice jump rings will come on the actual safety pin because they're a lot smaller. Yeah. But they're red as well, so just so that you don't get them confused. Uh -huh. And a great top tip, just get a little bit of scrap paper, like you were saying, put your jump rings in piles yeah. with a little bit of scrap paper to tell you what size they are, or even just the bags, because it says on the bags what size they are. Yes, just put the bag put, next to the pile. Yeah open all the rings, have them all set out in size order, this is my advice, and then follow the instructions, because the instructions will say, okay, the six millimeter goes yeah. next, or yeah. the three, or the That's red, it. or the black, or whatever, yeah. plus the picture that goes with it. Yeah. So now, just to finish this little section off here, I'm going to take a red jump ring, and I'm just going to connect those two together. And that will give you, I'll just do it up and then I'll pick it up so you can see it. And that gives you the lovely point. That gives it? you that little, lovely little point. So if I just let it drop down there, you can see you've got that there. You would do exactly the same on the, on other the top, side. all the way down your weave. And then you've got your beautiful bracelet. It's as simple as that. And it's just doing it in sort of like, um, I, I call it like a production line. Yes. Yeah. So you just do one section. So if you keep like stopping and starting doing a section and a section, you don't remember it because your brain doesn't remember the pattern. Yeah. Because if you do one whole pattern, then the next whole pattern, and then the last whole pattern, then you're fine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump forward to showing you the finished of those because I want to get the vertebrae um, uh, link demo in if we can, and we've literally got mm, less than five minutes. Um, so here is the, is the finished of this one. So again, you've got three different looks that you can go for in your kits. By all means, buy one of each if you want. Um, silver and black, silver and rose gold, and your silver and gold as well. Uh, and the silver is um, silver plated copper wire and it's wonderful. It's still got that lovely weight, lo lovely gravity to it as well. It really does feel phenomenal. So it feels like one of those bracelets straight away that you have maybe paid sort of, you know, 100 pounds plus for. It's ridiculous how glamorous these feel as well when you've got them. Now, we're gonna have to whiz, because yep. we're, we're running out of time, um, to what is now my favorite link, because it's my only link so far, which is the vertebrae link, because I love the way you explain this in the instructions and the way that it comes together. Right, so with this one, all this is is all to do with stacking your jump rings. Mm -hmm. Basically just folding them over, folding them back on top of each other. So I've got a little section here, and what we do to start is we take two of our smallest jump rings, the red jump rings, and we add them to our safety clip, our safety pin. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a black jump ring onto there and close and then I'm just going to do it this way in the instructions it tells you a little bit more info yeah. so I've got the black jump ring onto the red jump rings the gold jump ring onto the red jump rings and you can tell which jump rings are which when you're in the same color because they only just fit inside each other, yes. whereas the very small ones don't. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take another two red jump rings, and they're going to go through both of the black and the gold. Okay. So you can see there. So there's one. I, I, I wish you use these um, these red ones quite a lot, don't you? In yes. this In this week. Yeah. And I wish I got them in as quick as you did. <laughs> <laughs> so again, we're going to put that next pair in. Okay, so I've got a little chain now of two small, the gold and the black together, and then two small again. And I'm going to now take a black jump ring, so apologies if my hand is in the way, 
and I'm going to go through the two red jump rings again. So we can see this is a, a little pattern that's starting to form itself. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing to say that you don't have to do the pattern that I've shown you how to do. If you like this pattern, you carry on. And again, I'm going to take the gold jump ring and go through the red. So it's going to sit on top there. OK. Now, what we're going to do, and this is the, the sort of like the crux of this weave. Mm -hmm. We're going to take the two loose jump rings that we've put on the end. We're going to fold them back on top of the previous two jump rings. Mm -hmm. and what I'm going to do, because this is so tiny, I'm going to move to the piece where I've got a little bit more length on, just so you can see it and my hand's not over the top of it. OK. OK, so... We've it's literally got less than a minute. Right, OK, <laughs> so all we do is we fold them back, we take one red jump ring to the one side, one red jump ring to the other, and then we lock it in place with another red jump ring. And like I said, the instructions on this, you know... Are brilliant. You're good to go, and you just lock it in place. And as long as they're all sitting on top of each other in a little stairway, then you're good to go. I love it. Honestly, I love it, love it, love it. Don't forget the bracelet that I've made up. We're giving away on my Facebook page. It's Derek Marks on the Craft Store floor. When are you back with us? Uh, July. Fabulous. Lovely to see you, as Thanks. always. Please make sure you check out your baskets as quickly as you possibly can and enter my little competition on my Facebook page as well because everything is very, very busy on the show. I am not surprised. Uh, the starter kit, just a quick reminder of that. So the only thing you need to start chain mailing, these two pairs of flyers and the beading mat as well for nine, 19 99 80% of that stock has now sold out and gone. It'll be a little bit more as well because I need the proper kit because I'm going to be buying some more of these kits as well. They really, really are brilliant. Thank you, Fleur, darling. Thank you, my darling. And thank you. Please make sure that you check out your baskets. What an exciting show. Can't wait to see Fleur back here at the craft store again in July. Oh, I went so quickly, didn't it? So quickly. And the day rolls on. We have Caterpillar Cross Stitch coming up next. Some real lovely colour coming your way. And then Poker Doodles birthday surprise. Oh, I'm back with Lou at 11. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands, such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the craft artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. Hi, I'm Jean. And together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. So do pull up a pew and join us on the shows. We can't wait to see you there. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dies that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning.
Well, hello there and welcome back. We have got a fabulous hour ahead of us because we've got a fabulous guest and a wonderful company revisiting us. And we've got the lovely Sammy from Caterpillar Cross. Oh, should I say cross stitch? Caterpillar cross stitch. <laughs> Being quite specific there. How are you doing, Sammy? I'm good, thank you. Thanks for having me back on. Uh, well, this is it. Well, we worked together before. We, we had a very, very busy show, as I remember last time. Yeah. Um, seeing some of the items that we shared with you last time Sammy was here, but we've got some brand new items. And good news, you remember the little needle minders that Sammy brought to us that were so so popular we've got new additions to these and as you, of course you will probably remember but there is a little needle keeper that kind of uh, works alongside the different kits and I love these yeah they were all designed with the cross stitch kits in mind the colors are the same as the threads and the actual sort of the design itself is in the stitching so it all matches they're brilliant. Now you will see these in action when Sammy is doing her demonstrations. But what you've got is a fabulous little magnetic needle minder. The idea being is you've put your little character on one side of your hoop and on the other side you've got your little magnet. But then it's somewhere for you to actually store your needle when you're not stitching. But we'll see those in action. But I know how popular they were. We had sellouts of these last time Sammy was here so I wanted to get those in nice and early. But they're not the only new today. Sammy, you've got some new kits for us. We have. We've got O oh Behive. Um, we've got all the zest, which has got all our, our citrus fruits, uh, peace dove, and then hello petal, which is our spring tree, Lovely. which has been really popular. And they are brilliant. Now, this is the first one that we're going to share with you, and I love this one. Straight away, you will notice with this one, you've got a different um, kind of colour of Ada fabric, which I love. It's like a lovely kind of soft grey with this one. Yeah, not too dark, but yes. it's just enough to make the colours really pop beautiful and of course that's important when you're looking at things like the white stitch detail that you've got on the wings because yeah. on the white day you wouldn't see it yeah you exactly like got no yeah. wings love it so with your kits talk us around what we're going to get within our kit because you're going to get your fabric you're going to get your um, threads and your pattern now the hoop is something that you could choose to actually display yours in. it doesn't come in a hoop um, um, but it, it, they do look nice when they're displayed in them don't they? they do and they were actually designed sort of with a hoop in mind you could frame them you could turn them into small little cushions you could do anything really but the design does lend itself to a hoop given that it's okay. kind of circular Beautiful. Now, within this one, um, let me show you the pattern, because this is something that I love with your patterns. You add colour to these, so it's not just about the little kind of um, icons or the images that you've got for those stitches. You've got colours. Yeah, so you've got the black or white symbols, which are on top of the colour squares as well. So whether you prefer to just work from the colour chart, from the symbols, you've got the key. So it kind of covers all bases and it's really easy to follow. I love it. And of course, you have got some additional information there on the back of your sheet there. So if you've never stitched before, then you want to get loads and loads of hints and tips on how to work with your, um, your kit. And I love that. Let's get stitching. Let's do that <laughs> indeed. Now, I love this because all the threads are included and they're all carded as well. You yes, don't have to the, worry about that. The threads are all from DMC, based in France, which... Over the years of stitching with various brands, I found it to be the best one. The colours don't fade. Yes, if you yeah. want to wash the piece, the colours aren't going to sort of go anywhere. Um, and it's ready sorted, so you get the exact lengths that you need of every single colour, so there's no wastage. But they are really generous amounts as well, so if you need to redo a little section, there's always plenty spare. And I love this because sometimes when they're not carded and you've got to put them onto a card, and there's three or four shades, like for instance here you've got those gorgeous golden tones. It's your interpretation of a golden yellow, isn't yeah. it? You might see it being that one, you might see it being that one. So this is the thing, it's already done for you, so you don't have to worry. Now with regards to the actual fabric, we're looking at 16 count with these? Yes, they've all got 16 count Ada on. Love it. Now, well, the only thing I need to mention as well, a little bit of housekeeping with regards to extended delivery. Just got an extra week with regards to these kits, but they're all worth the wait. And it's only the 22nd of May, so it's not too long to wait mm -hmm. at all. So if you fancy getting hold of this one, oh, behive. Um, I love this <laughs> one. Um, 528418 is your item number. Very affordable price. Don't forget to treat yourself to one of those little me needle minders. I need to warn you, my goodness, we haven't even seen this one, um, but you're loving the little hedgehog. One of the most popular ones, already 10% of stock has gone. Now I'm going to bring in the needle from the first kit. I just need to pop this down just because I can't do it term it with a single hand. So let me get, to, the idea being is that when you are working, obviously the magnet on the back is going to go through to the back of your fabric and then you put your front on there. But the idea is it holds your needle so you don't lose your needle. Sometimes when you're feeding it through your fabric, because of the little holes in your Ada fabric, it can work its way through. But there you go, you can see. But if you wanted the hedgehog with a little head scoop, 
of the stock. Um, ten percent of the stock of that one has gone already. So we'll keep you updated with regards to those and pop that needle back in there. So as I don't forget, put it mm -hmm. the right way around, then you won't pierce your finger, Hayley. Right. Mm -hmm. I'll leave that. I'll come back to that in a few moments. So another new kit for you. This one, this is zesty. All the zest. All the zest in this <laughs> the one. The brightest shades I could find. <laughs> I love this idea. And it just looks so bright and happy. Perfect for a kitchen, I thought. Good idea, yeah. Do you like that one? And I suppose that the thing is with this one, obviously you can create it as it is if you're wanting to. But because you've got all the threads, obviously you've got your Ada fabric there as well. But you could, if you wanted to, just take little segments of it, if you excuse the exp expression, <laughs> um, and stitch them onto, I don't know, little tea towels and yeah. napkins and things like that if you wanted to. Yeah, that would to. be really nice, yeah. Love it. There you go. Again, a very affordable price there of fifteen pounds and ninety pence. Everything that you need, you've got your pattern there, full colour, all of your threads, and of course your needle and your Ada um, fabric. I never know if it's Aida or Aida um, fabric. I used to call it Ada, but then I heard of the opera Aida, and they both spelt the same. So you choose, you decide. Um, Seven zero eight three six six. If you fancy getting hold of this one. Now, the next one is a beautiful design. And again, we're seeing that grey um, fabric with this one as well. Yeah, it's the same grey as Obi Hive, um, but it's just really to make the dove and the snowflakes really pop. Oh, it's such a pretty one. Really pretty. I suppose with the snowflakes, you might think towards Christmas, but I suppose you use the dove in so many different scenarios. I mean, weddings you could. as well, yeah. Or you don't necessarily have to stitch the snowflakes if you good don't point, want to. Yeah. Or you could do stars or something. Um, That's a really good point. But yeah, lots of uses for that one. Very, very pretty design. And again, another one that's very affordably priced at £15.90p. Just to reiterate, again, they don't come with the hoop. The hoops are here for display purposes. But of course, if you do want to get hold of hoops, we will have those on the website. Check them out. So uh, 490982 if you fancy getting hold of this particular one. Now, hello, Petal. This is the next thing. It's not just a, a term of endearment. It's an actual <laughs> kit that we've got. And this is a brand new one to us as well. And I love these. It's almost like you've got little components all coming together. I mean, when I think of cross-stitch, I think of samplers. Yeah. And it's kind of a variation on the sampler, isn't it? With all the little characters, but in a design. Yeah. So sweet. Here you go. You can see all your little characters there, your little rabbit and your mouse and your fabulous little bird there. This is really cute. And is there a whole series of these? There is. We have got Hello Sunshine, um, which is being released in about a month. Oh, OK. Um, so we, we started off with the autumn tree, but then it was so popular that everyone said, you know, we need to have season trees. Yes. And we started off with the, the pumpkin, like you say, a term of endearment. And then it was deer, petal, sunshine. Yes. <laughs> and some people have wanted to do all of them and rotate them throughout the year. Beautiful, lovely idea. Now, with this particular one, you've got the little bird there, as you can see. Well, shall I show you? Because you've got the little bird as your needle minder. So if you fancy it all coordinating, then don't forget you can add this in. They're only 9 99 and they are flying out. Lots of you taking advantage of these. And there is kind of a little design to work with each one of the kits. Um, a few little bonus ones in there as well. Details are at the bottom of the screen if you're wanting those. But uh, the little bird there works perfectly because it's sized the same the little bird that you've got featuring on here and of course you've got the connotation there and the little eggs featuring as well all to do with springtime love it 33 pounds and 35 pence really good value bundle and again the pattern and everything that is in there that you need um and a lovely idea i mean i love the way that it's been stretched over a piece of board here could go in a picture frame then yeah you could yeah absolutely beautiful there you go if you fancy yours zero two three Five one one. So, hello dear. Notice a little bit of a theme going with these. Well, this particular one again, similar sort of idea, similar sort of design. So beautiful to work alongside it. Now, incidentally, if you have stitched any of these fabulous kits previously, I would love to see what you've worked with. You'll notice that the little fox. We had that one last time, but I think this uh, this particular one we've not seen here before, have we? Or have we? I can't remember, to be honest. Oh, I, I think, think we have was... seen Oh, Katie's just telling me. I think this has just been on a different show because I don't remember seeing it, but it looks <laughs> adorable. Um, very much a, a kind of Christmas theme, and I love this, the Hello Dear, and this time we're talking D double E. Uh -huh. Yeah, very clever. So cute. Love it. Absolutely adorable. Again, made up of all those little components, and again, just to reiterate, if you're looking for your needle minder, whoops a daisy, flying away, um, you've got the little robin. So a really nice little needle minder with these as well. Um, you're liking this one as well. 10% of the stock has gone of your little robin as well. So if you fancy this particular kit, £34.89 is your price. 840 eight, 
five two but then we've got another one to show you and this one is hello pumpkin really cute one this one um, and again more autumnal tones with this one so you can see you've almost got one of these um, for each uh, kind of season really haven't you this one a really cute one and again the little fox so sweet <laughs> adorable absolutely lovely then you've got the owl as well the little acorn there and there you go. Can you see you've got your hedgehog in this one? So if you have gone for your hedgehog needle keeper or needle minder, should I say, maybe this is the kit to go alongside it. Um, 729149. You've actually got choices, really, with regards to the needle minder on this one. You haven't have. You, it was the, um, what have we got? We've got the owl, which I think we had on the first show that I did yes, with you. Yeah. Um, and then now we've got the hedgehog. So, so Mrs. Either Prickles either those, doesn't yeah. have a headscarf in the design, um, but you have got those two sort of woodland creatures to choose from. Yeah. Beautiful. Just to give you an update with regards to the hedgehog, 20% um, of the stock has gone, but whether it's the hedgehog that you're going for to go alongside this kit, or maybe the little owl that is tucked away in there as well, but the owl is a popular one as well, 10% of the stock having gone, so 729-149 if you fancy getting hold of your kit. £33.49, considerable size piece, and of course you can make it into whatever you like, it could be that it's going to be part of a, a panel for a cushion, or maybe you're going to add a mount and turn it into an even larger picture. Can you imagine? having the series of these in the room look amazing next one that we've got and I love this one I think this is such a versatile kit now obviously initially you've got the beautiful design here bloom and grow with all those gorgeous flowers but they're kind of indif independent flowers almost aren't they they are originally this design was actually a stitch along so everyone stitched each flower in each pot oh. one a month um, but now, of course, it's available as a full kit. So you could just break it down in that way to make it really manageable. And again, everything is there that you need. So all your threads, um, you've got your pattern there as well. Breaking down each one of those fabulous flowers. So it might be that you're stitching a little flower in the evening or something like that, setting yourself a little bit of a challenge or maybe a week to complete one of those flower um, flowers in each of those pots. Or it's, it's entirely up to you. It's your kit. You can decide. And it's a nice project sometimes to break away from a larger piece if you've got something that's going to take quite a lot of your time. And some cross stitches, they can take years to put together, can't they? Yeah, some really of the big large ones, ones, yeah. yeah. Um, this occasion, which of the little needle minders are you going to go for? I think naturally drawn to the floral one that you can see there. So again, $9.99 for your needle minder to go alongside your Bloom and Grow kit. But if you are wanting your kit, £34.89 is your price. 742970. Now, if you go for a couple of these kits, quite easily your basket will get to £60 or more. So don't forget about a fle um, Flexi by spreading the cost over two payments. And the last one that we've got for you, this is something that we're revisiting and this one was incredibly popular the last time that we saw this one and I know this is what we're going to see in our first demonstration. Positivity rules. I just love the, the concept behind this one, Sammy. I think it's brilliant. Yeah, I mean, people have hung this sort of in their lounge or in their hallway. You can stitch, like you say, with the flowers, you could just stitch one word yes, a yeah. week or every few weeks and just do it one stage at a time. But just to kind of remind us of those those Beautiful. lovely phrases and words. To, and I think um, this is lovely for anybody. Um, maybe you've got something that's going off to university later in the year. This might be something that you could be stitching on the way uh, up to them leaving home. Something that they can put in their room and kind of think about home. Um, it might be somebody moving into a new home. Maybe somebody that needs a little bit of uh, encouragement and, and a few worlds of endearment, as you can see there. Love it. £34.89. It is a brilliant kit um, and uh, wonderful value again. 539806. Now, of course, Caterpillar Cross Stitch has its own brand section with loads of fabulous things on the website. So there you will find all the beautiful elements that we've been chatting about. That is the key thing. You can shop here anytime you like. There are some reviews as well. So if you are wanting to get hold of a little review of like-minded stitchers, just to see what they think of the kits and how they go on, then of course you can check those out. Some of them you won't see reviews. Some of them are brand new items. But have a little look at those uh, stitch minders. They are so popular. And you will see different different ones each time Sammy comes to us so do check those out on the website as well if you need inspiration as if you need any more inspiration we have got books available for you as well and don't forget check out our seven day savers because you have got some fabulous little um, kind of embroidery scissors that you can use to cut your threads there as well so Sammy what have we got in our demo so I think we're going to do positivity rules first lovely and you can see here some sort of samples and bits and pieces that I've done previously uh, which correspond to the rainbow up here and 
and the word kind. Okay. So what you're going to be doing is when you get your full kit, uh, we want to start really in the middle of the pattern because it's going to be the easiest way to keep track of everything. Um, and with the fabric, fold it in half and half again to find the center and then correspond that to the center of the pattern, okay. which has two sort of bold red lines and they cross here on this particular design around the heart right in the middle. The symbol on that is a black circle. So if you look at the key, which we've got here, um, we know that that is the thread. You don't necessarily need to know the code, but it is DMC code 351, and that that particular color is in hole four on the thread holder. So I've already got this out ready. Um, and this particular thread comes in six strands, but on 16 count Ada fabric, we only need to stitch with two. So I'm just going to separate that out. Now this is the tricky part. Now, any tips with regards to separating these? There's, I mean, it's very controversial. There's lots of different ways oh, really? that people okay. do it. People pull one strand out. Um, I tend to separate them at the top and then hold both of them and then just run my finger. But it does twist. Okay. So I just run my finger down like that. I mean, you wouldn't normally have a piece that, that long. They say to work with something, the length between your hand and elbow. Oh, right, okay. I think that's to make it easier when you're sort of pulling it yes. through. And I suppose it is very tempting to, to kind of have a really long piece so you don't have to keep changing your, your yeah. thread. Or, um, but from personal experience, they can kind of twist and wrap around themselves because it's the nature of the, the twist that you've got there. So. Yeah, yes. much more likely to um, knot as well. Exactly, yes. So we just leave the loose end. And the first thing, I mean, we'll just sort of position it here for now, um, is to come from the back to the front. And as long as you're starting roughly in the middle, you'll be absolutely fine on the fabric. So we come from the back to the front, and I'm just going to hold that tail with that back finger. Okay. And we start in the bottom left-hand corner of the stitch, which is the bottom left-hand hole, and come down again through the top right-hand hole. So you've got a half stitch. Okay. And then we're coming back up again through the top left-hand corner mm -hmm. and down again through the bottom right-hand corner. And that is the first cross stitch. Fabulous. What you can do to save time is if you know you've got 10 in a row or 10 vertically in a column, um, is do them all in half stitches okay. in a row and then come back down again over all of them. So when you're actually working with these designs, are there any half stitches that you're just leaving or any additional stitches? Are they all just complete crosses? Everything's full cross stitches on here. I wanted to make the designs really accessible to everyone, yes. beginners, more experienced. And sometimes it can be a bit intimidating if there's back stitch or half stitches yes. and what have you. Um, this way, you only need to be able to literally do a cross with the thread um, and you're away. That's all you need to remember. I love it. There you go. Nice and easy. So I'll do a few half stitches just to show you what it would look like. And it does make it a bit quicker as well. It's just a really lovely, relaxing thing to do. This is clever because as you see here, you're doing those half stitches and covering a, a larger area if you've got a run of them. So how, how big an area would you stitch doing this particular method? I mean, would you do, I don't know, just five stitches, 20, 100, does it matter? What if you're using the same colour? If you're doing the, the, this kind of technique and you're doing them kind of en masse one, um, of one colour? I mean, to be honest, you could do it just until the thread runs out. Oh, right, okay. Um, sometimes what I like to do, if you were doing the heart here, is you might want to find it easier to count is doing the outline. Right. So it's easier to see that you're going one up, one up, one up, five across, one down, two down, five down. So do the outside and then fill it in. You have to think oh, about count. Okay. And then if you're watching TV or whatever you're doing, all you know is you're just filling in the, outline, the, in the inside. That's a good point, colouring in with the stitches. And also, the, the open area that you've got with this particular one as well, um, and I've noticed that you don't have to fill this in. Sometimes when you're looking at patterns, you've got to fill in that kind of white area. But with this mm. one, and it, it is lovely that you have got the fabric showing through, because I think that adds to the design, doesn't it? So uh, you can see with this one, you're just stitching where the colour is applied. 
Um, it's a popular kit, this particular one. 10% of the stock has gone. And it's just a lovely one. And of course, you can go on after you've created this one. Use the pattern to take inspiration from the different elements, I suppose, yeah. couldn't you, if you wanted to? You could, yeah, you could use the design and then stitch one word on something else. Yes, yeah. Um, yeah, give it as a gift on a card, a bookmark, nice whatever you like. And that's it. You could make this as a gift and then make a card to work alongside it. Couldn't you choose in just one of those little elements there? Love it. Um, at 5398086 if you're wanting to get hold of this particular one. Some beautiful colours you've chosen for this one, Sammy. Thank you. Yeah, wanted that one to be really, really bright. It was actually designed around this time last year. Okay. Um, so everyone needed a bit of a boost. Yes. Yeah. Um, and we were all in our homes and needed a reminder that, you know, we've got the rainbows, the sun yes. will shine again, yeah. or to remain positive and patient. Lovely. So I'm just coming back down over these now and completing these full stitches. Okay. And once you've done, like I said, the outline or the half stitches, you really don't need to think about it that much. Um, it kind of takes your mind off anything. It's really relaxing and um, you can't really go too wrong because the fabric's gridded, so all you're yeah. doing is following following the design. Nice and easy. And I love this. Now, how long have you been cross-stitching for, Sammy? Well, my first, I think I first cross-stitched when I was probably about seven or eight. Um, I first designed uh, some pieces, well, I think when I was about 13, and I did them for my three sisters. Okay. I'm not quite sure how I got my hands on the materials, but I thought I'll do them a poem and I only had a few scrap bits of thread yeah. hanging around and they were all kind of browns and oranges. So I did them in their hair colour because oh, they were sort lovely. of brown, ginger and blonde. And then I'd done them these poems, which there's, they're very messy. Um, but I've been running the company for nearly six years now. Oh, wow. um, so, yeah, it's sort of grown and we've got more designs and more products and everything. So... Um, yeah, it's it. my I life. Mean, they're all beautiful, they really are. Thank um, you. And you've certainly got an eye for creating it, you, your patterns and designs with these ones. And uh, I know my viewers love them as well. So. Oh, Was there any, any more you wanted to show us with regards to that? Um, I can show you sort of how to finish off. Okay. Um, and with the backs, it does not matter how messy or neat they are. I know some people are quite particular, but um, as long as you haven't got threads running across the back that you can see from the front, mm -hmm. um, it doesn't matter too much. So when you've finished a section, all you need to do is just run the needle through a couple of stitches and that will secure it to the back. So it's just gone through a couple there. You don't need to tie any knots or anything because then if you're finishing off, um, that's going to show if you've got it. It won't sit flat. And then all I'm going to do with my needle there, these are the strongest magnets that we could find these in the brilliant. world. brilliant. And you've got the little toucan. And it literally flies on. We had someone move house and she had all her projects and she forgot, she had the needles like this, and she forgot to move them. Okay. Moved house, days later, everything was completely still in position. <laughs> um, so, you know, whatever you need to do, change colour, answer the door, make a cup of tea, they will stay there and there's, it's not in the sofa so or the floor. So for anybody that's unfamiliar with these, how do we attach them to the fabric? So, it will come like this on okay. the backing card. Mm -hmm. um, so, they're all sort of stamped on the back. And that, the one half of the magnet, if you like, is really securely glued down. Okay. And then the other one just attaches. So, all I would do is slide that off. Mm -hmm. And then it simply clips on. So, so you can move on the it top, around. One on the bottom, yeah. Yeah. Alternatively, if you didn't want it on the inside of the hoop, you could just have it on the outside. Oh, clever, yeah. Or you could have it on your sleeve. Yes. You could have the point. magnet underneath. Um, yeah, anywhere really. It's a clever idea. As long as and you I know love where the, the way they're are. coordinated. The little toucan works perfectly um, with the piece that um, Sa um, Sally's been stitching out. Um, I know we've had other designs as well, but to be honest, any of them look adorable. You could almost have the little owl sitting on the roof, couldn't you, as you're working <laughs> if you wanted to. Now, this particular one you are loving. £34.89 will get you a kit for your positivity rules, but 20% of the stock has gone. So if you'd like the look of this one, please be quick. 53980 six is the item number for this particular one and of course then it's down to which of those needle minders you're going to go for oh they are all so adorable and to be honest i think there's something that you're going to kind of collect over time so it might be that you're going for um, the positivity rules but you like the look of the little chicken you've not got that one in your collection you could over time collect all of these and some of these are new ones to us here and they've been very very popular especially the little hedgehog as well so shall we give you some little updates with regards to these ones so the chick rapidly approaching 10% of the stock and of course this works with some of the beautiful trees we've been looking at. The toucan you're liking the bright colours of the toucan 20% of the stock has gone off that particular one. The little hedgehog 
Oh my word, 60% of the stock has gone. So if that is your chosen needle minder, then you need to be really, really quick. That particular one is the most popular of all of them, but they're all adorable, to be honest. Next one you've got, the little owl. Um, the owl, absolutely adorable. This particular one, a third of the stock has gone, and we do love owls, don't we? And then the robin. Oh, such a cutie. Um, perfect if you are going for the winter tree that we've been talking about. But with that one, sorry, what was the update again? Over 20% of the stock. Wow, popular one again. And then, of course, the florals. I mean, the florals are a, lo it's a lovely one. If you're giving it as a gift to somebody, that's the other thing. Because if you know somebody who is a stitcher, but you don't necessarily know what they're working on at the moment, I don't think you can go far wrong with the little flowers there. Um, and approaching 10% of the stock has gone of that one. So whichever you go for, you are going to be in very good company. And they're all on the same item number, 788976. But, of course, some of those are brand new ones to us, as are some of the kits. So do have a little look at some of those. Um, um, but we're going to go back over to Sally, I believe. So um, anything else you wanted to show us, Sally? So I think we're going to demo Bloom and Grow. Lovely. I think. So we've got our poppies there. Um, I do like poppies as well. They're such a pretty flower. Well, when I was choosing which one to sort of do that sample for, I thought, you know, who doesn't love poppies? So I think first thing here, I'm just going to cut the, the thread first to show you the sort of length. If you are a complete beginner, you might want to work with a shorter length just because it makes it a bit more manageable. Okay. So we'll do that for this one. And also with the needle minders, like you say, if you want to give them as a gift, yes. it's not just for cross stitch. It could be someone who's into embroidery. It could be a dressmaker, any sort of sewing whatsoever. Anything that requires a metal needle could get lost. That's true. And That's could, true. you know, injure someone. So it's really about keeping them safe and it's about just relaxing. Uh, enjoying the experience of stitching without worrying that it's in sort of the carpet. And I did forget to mention they do come in a little drawstring bag as well so it makes them even more of a, a gift so let me just move the, the finished design out of the way. So these are so so cute as you can see with these ones. Um, now of course um, any of those that you're choosing to go for will come with a little bag um, and uh, choices are just in case you have joined us, all these fabulous little characters here. So whichever one you choose to go for, um, then uh, it will come in a little bag there, which is perfect. Whether it's just for yourself, I mean, that's somewhere you could be keeping your threads and things, isn't it, if you wanted to. Or it could be a case of that you're keeping, I don't know, buttons or anything in there, really. It's up to you, isn't it? But it comes with your little needle minder in there, as you can see. Um, always very, very popular. And as I say, the little hedgehog, if that's your chosen choice, then you need to make sure you're getting involved nice and early. And and of course, I don't know if you spied, but showing you the piece that we're working with at the moment. Um, and this is, um, it's actually the poppies that uh, we're seeing coming together at the side here as well. And I just love this. It's just so colourful and happy. Love this. So, sorry, um, Sally, the, the little flowers, the poppies. Yes. So, this is a sample that we've stitched, uh, first of all. And again, we're looking at the pattern and going to find the centre. Now, these are spread over two pages so that they're okay. big enough to see. Um, and that's good because you could have made it smaller and then you've got really, really square yeah. to find the Yeah, and places. you don't want to be sort of, you know, squinting or struggling. Yeah. You just want to relax and enjoy it. So there is some overlap as well, uh, which is shown by the red lines here. So it's basically, if you wanted to take them apart and stick them together, you could. And it's got, you've got the little triangles at the top and the bottom to show the we centre have, points as well, haven't yeah. you? Yeah, just to make it really obvious. So they follow the red lines. Um, you've got the arrows on the left and the top. So Brilliant. if you wanted to look there and follow them down into the middle, so the centre of this pattern is just at the bottom of this sunflower. Okay. So that is symbol. What have we got here? We've got a, bl a black square and a circle. And we're just going to look hey, at the key. Okay, don't worry. <laughs> it's, it's, it's got our attention now. <laughs> <laughs> which corresponds to the key here. So we're stitching with uh, this colour, which is the gold, uh, which is in hole 13, already Lovely. sorted for you. And you just want to select two strands. I've threaded the needle here. And these are all DMC branded needles that come in all of the kits. Oh, wow. So they are the best quality. They're not going to sort of, if you, someone has a skin condition mm -hmm. or a problem with certain metals, they're not going to cause any issues. They're not going to snap or bend it's the over the time. Brand, yeah. isn't it? The thing that I love with these kits as well is you actually detail the thread colour. So if anybody wants to go on and create more of these, then they can get those threads. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, there's, a, there's very generous amounts there's, in the, there's more than enough, We have them all imagine. test stitched. We measure exactly how much you need, and then we add on another couple of metres. Just in case. Yeah, just in case. So again, we're going to start from the back to the front. Uh, we will just do this one up the top here. So coming up with the needle in the bottom left-hand corner... And I'm just going to hold that still. 
You can use a different method for starting, which is called the loop method, where you just use one single strand. Okay. Um, but this is the sort of the most traditional method, so we'll just stick with this for now. And when you're moving from one area to another, um, how big a jump should you do? I mean, obviously you're demonstrating here, so you've gone to a completely different part of your, yeah. your hoop. But if you were working with the poppy, just move slightly to the side. So what I would do is, for example, with the sunflower here, if you know you've got the full coverage of that section and you've got these sort of uh, intermixed petals here of the sunflower which are done in the gold which is sort of the slightly darker and then the lighter yellow mm -hmm. you can carry the threads along the back because okay. you're not going to see them because right. you've got other colors in between yes. what I wouldn't do particularly on white fabric is carry a thread from this sunflower here up to the top sunflower right because you might see that behind especially if you'd finish it off on a white Yes, foam yeah. board um, but within reason otherwise you're gonna be stopping and starting yes. too many times okay fair enough thank you um, so with here these are really small sections and the fact that you're counting you know it's not difficult to do you're just sort of counting five up and three on the next column and it means you can't sort of worry about anything else yes yeah. you're sort of focused on that one thing so you can like I say do rows or you can just do single stitches at one time it's completely up to you with these threads, um, there's no very variation in the colour whatsoever, so it's not going to matter if you're doing rows or anything. So here I am going downwards. I know lots of people use different accessories with regards to like magnetic rulers on the um, yes. on the patterns. And incidentally, um, <laughs> it just suddenly popped into my head. We've got magnetic um, sheets on our seven day saver, so you can cut those with your guillotine and almost use them as a, like a um, a ruler to, to highlight the row that you're on or the segment that you're on. Yeah, absolutely. With. And some people use a marker on the pattern itself. Yes, I mean, if yeah. you're only using it just for the once. Um, it doesn't matter so much to mark off where they've stitched already yes, yeah. um, and you can get little lights just in case you wanted to stitch um, if you had poor lighting but the best thing is to do find a comfy chair find some natural light try and sit near a window um, and that's going to make it as okay. easy as possible and what sort of feedback do you get from people that have um, stitched your kits oh we get wonderful feedback I mean um, we absolutely sort of love the community yes um, yeah, I mean, it's lovely. We get people that have been stitching their whole lives who have been stitching maybe more traditional or old-fashioned designs who say, you know, this is a breath of fresh air. Yes. We get people who have never thought of cross-stitching but just know that they are having a stressful day at work and they just want something to zone out. It kind of takes your mind to somewhere else, It really it? does. You're concentrating on what you're stitching. But you're yeah. also then creating something beautiful to have at the end of it rather yes. than, I don't know, I mean, baking, we all love baking, but, you know, it's gone then, isn't it? Yes. This yeah. way, you've got that sort of memory. And if you do hang it on the wall or give it as a gift or as a cushion or whatever it might be, it's something to be really proud of it and is, it's yeah. really satisfying. Sometimes these are the kind of projects, uh, uh, what I call breakaway projects as well. I spent, I think it must have been about three years stitching out a design um, of a water pump and shades of blue. Sometimes you can have like 10 shades of a particular colour to get that realism and you've got really, really focus with those and it's a big project. Sometimes it's nice to have something that you can come away with and with this one, obviously you've got your colour changes but you can see those colour changes sometimes a little more so in a style like this design which means that you can kind of do the stitch which is the thing that you'll love all that sewing but you haven't got to kind of well I wouldn't say you haven't got to concentrate because obviously you have but it isn't a case of that you've got to make sure that those different shades where sometimes it can just be a tiny difference in the color can be quite difficult for you um, to, to concentrate on so yeah beautiful. Yeah. love these uh, obviously the different flowers I'm not sure what style of flowers these ones are but I love that it's almost like a dappled look that you've got with those ones that uh, um, feature in there as well well, yeah, and like you say beautiful. about sort of concentrating, do you know what, with some of these flowers, if you did go a little bit wrong, I don't think it would particularly That's matter. True, actually, yeah. Make it yeah. completely personal and, yeah. um, and unique. You know, if you sort of went a couple it's of stitches, one, one or two flowers off, yeah. aren't all the same, are they? That's true. Beautiful. And again, all of the kits stitched over um, 16 counts, so nice and easy. So, and and that, again, that's something that does make a difference because the different size of the, the count can change the different size of the picture altogether. It does. So the larger the count, so 14 count or 12 count fabric, um, the actual project would be larger when it's finished. These ones are slightly smaller. 
all of the finished sizes are detailed on the outside packaging. Mm -hmm. So if you did want to get a frame or materials for finishing off, you know exactly how big it's going to be. Um, but it's gridded fabric. You can see the holes quite clearly. So all you need to do is make sure the needle's going through a and hole. And it's a nice size, the 16 carat, it because is. whether you're a seasoned stitcher or a new stitcher, or maybe you're moving on from some of those larger kits, with the, which are more visible, shall we say, with regards to like your 12 or your 14 cat, and you're wanting something that, because whether you've got the smaller cat, you get more definition, you get more fluidity, it's less blocky, for the want of a better phrase, mm. when you're working with a finer cat, and you get that gorgeous flow between the different pieces, which is what you see so much in these designs. It is one of the most popular the fabrics yeah. that we do because um, it is kind of that nice middle ground yes so I've just jumped here you can see I've come across to the next petal I've just moved from one to the next um, but that's not gonna matter at all because we've got a lighter yellow in between and mm -hmm. I've still got the needle threaded I think the fewer times that you're taking it out and re-threading it again it's mm -hmm. gonna be it's gonna be easier now, with regards to this, we have got a mention of extended delivery on your screen. Um, it's looking at the 22nd of May with regards to this one. Um, but that's um, what happens is Sally is taking um, the stock and sending it to us, and then we dispatch it. Oops, Daisy, um, on behalf of Sally. So it's kind of just accommodating for that. And of course, it does include your weekend as well. So we're looking at Saturday. So a couple of those days are going to get swallowed up over the weekend. So it's kind of the, the middle part. Is it the middle of next week, the 22nd? Or is it the week after? I've lost count. Um, it's about, well, it's seven days, isn't it? So it's going to be, yeah, um, about next weekend that you will get hold of these. So, uh, yeah, um, it, it's, it's something that we need to consider, obviously, with regards to the delivery of these ones. But to be honest, we'll get them to you as soon as we can. So they may well arrive before then anyway. We we'll just say that as a bit of a, a kind of guideline, really, to give you an indication. The wind in the right direction. <laughs> it is. I mean, we have absolutely everything ready. So it's ready to ship yes. to you guys on Monday. Oh, there so you they're go. all prepared. Um, so yeah, it could well be sooner than that. Um, but it, it's a patience kind of. It's a well, mindfulness yeah, it's thing. It's all about having, you know. It's yeah. not. It's all part of it, isn't it? Waiting for it something is, and yeah. get a real treat on the doorstep when it arrives. And with regards to the kits and the ages of the kits, I mean, um, people who've bought your kits previously, what sort of age range are we looking at? Um, our average age is actually forty-two. Okay. Uh, we have there's so many thousands of stitches in the community. We know now from the data, sort of, but we, in terms of the range, um, the youngest, we do have junior kits, which haven't okay. been on yet, uh, which are for 7 to 11 year olds. But then, I mean, for these particular kits, probably someone from probably teenage yes, onwards, just because yeah. it's slightly finer with the fabric. Yeah. But from and 10 quite, to 100. And quite often at that, um, that age, they're wanting something with a little bit of a challenge, but also that kind of grown-up element to them as it well. Is. I think that's the key thing when the you get to teenage stitches. The junior ones they kind of have done and then it's right, okay, I want a challenge. Because, yeah, next yeah. thing, let's uh, let's up the game. Love it. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, all of the kits are proven to be very popular. The Bloom and Grow kit, a beautiful one with all those different florals in there as well. But we've got so many other kits that uh, you can be having a little look at at the same time as well. Oops, I keep going to knock that one <laughs> over. Keep leaning on it. I'm going to put it down before I break it. <laughs> Now, just while you're stitching uh, there, Sally, I'm going to give our guys a little bit of a recap with regards to some of these because we've got some brand new kits and we've been busy for the needle minders as well. So the floral one is a perfect one to go alongside this particular kit, isn't it? The gorgeous little flowers on there. Um, but um, you've got all the others, so you could use any of them. It might be that you've got a particular um, liking of owls, which is a, a very popular one. Over half the stock has gone of the owl. Um, and uh, yeah, whichever one you go for, what you've got is a fabulous little character with a magnet on the back there and the idea is that it holds on to your needle now the hedgehog um, is one that has been very popular throughout it's the first time that we've seen this one 70 percent of the stock has gone of that particular one as well I, must admit, I do like the toucan i think i like the bright colors on that, that tropical look and the little robin as well it's another cute one and in fact i like them all I might as well just admit it. There you go. Um, and I think they are um, kits that, uh, or little needle minders that you will collect over time. Might be that you're getting one, as I say, to coordinate with a kit that you're working on. And if you're working on several kits at the same time, then obviously look to get a different needle minder because there's no point in taking it from one kit to the next. The whole point is that it keeps the needle with the thread all threaded up, ready for you to start stitching on each one of those kits that you're working with. So if you're wanting to get hold of these, um, at 788 but of course, we have got new kits as well. Um, and 
the Obi Hive one that we've got here, which is lovely, on that kind of soft grey, beautiful grey, as you can see there. This one um, is proven to be a popular one. Now, just to reiterate what you're getting in your kit, you're going to get, obviously, your fabric, your 16-count fabric. On this occasion, um, you're going to have the grey tone. And the grey tone has been chosen because there's so many white areas on here that could quite easily be lost in an ivory or a white fabric. You've obviously got your comprehensive pattern, all colour printed. So you can see straight away where you are working with, but you have still got your little icons there. So if you do like to work with your icons, then you've got those in there. It also gives you the different threads, um, all DMC threads, so brilliant quality, but gives you the item numbers there. So if you do want to go for your different threads to, to create more, but you have got a very generous supply of threads in the kits. And of course, you've got your little crib sheet there to help you with it as well. Fabulous as a kit to give as a gift to somebody. All you need to do is add in the way that you're wanting to display. It might be that you're going to add in a a hoop from our website to display it that way or you may well pop it into a frame but you are going to get all of your threads all carded and ready to go so that particular one 15 pounds and 90 pence is your ob hive um, kit there um a five two eight four one eight if you wanted that one now your zesty one all the zest all the zest in one place um you're liking this one as well beautiful colorways um and i love this one it's one that makes your mouth water almost isn't it when you look at it seven zero eight three six six again a really good Good size piece with this one and again a nice fun one whether you're stitching it in its entirety to keep it as a design together or kind of taking out those different segments and using them. this is I think it's brilliant choices of color I mean um, Sally's got it to a T the colors for the different elements there so 708366 oh which is your favorite now lime you've got your lemon in there you've got your orange there um, you've got your grapefruit in there you've also got a little slice of watermelon I like my watermelon I must admit oh on a hot day um, 708366 if you fancy this one now the next one that we've got for it this is beautiful and this is a lovely one maybe if you're stitching and giving the um, finished item as a gift to somebody this one you've got your little piece of um, and you can see around it little kind of snowflakes but they could be stars they could be little flowers that you're wanting to put in place or you might want to leave that area um, kind of blank and actually use an alphabet to actually embroider somebody's name or the date of their birth or a marriage whatever you want to it's a really pretty design and of course doves are always popular aren't they for, for different kind of uh, projects so uh, 15 pounds and 90p 490982 if you're wanting to get hold of that particular one we've got some larger kits as well so with regards to these ones they're nice manageable sizes when you're stitching in front of the tv um, something that you just kind of keep in the drawer and just pull it out when you're ready but these particular projects are beautiful again you're working on a little at a time so it could be something again you're stitching in front of the tv but the finished item is beautiful now we've got a series of these trees in a variety of different formats this is the latest release and this is your spring one um, spring themed and it's called hello petal you'll notice that hello word a pop up in a few a few of these loads of different elements in here i love the way that they all kind of fit into the canopy of the tree as you can see there all very much spring themed really really pretty designs with this one you've kind of got your little chick there and don't forget your chick on the nest with the little eggs you've got as your needle minder as well so if you're treating yourself to this kit, I would certainly consider adding in your little chick needle minder. Um, to be honest, you can go for any of those if you wanted to. Um, the little hedgehog features in the, um, there, if you wanted to pop that one in, you could do. Um, oh no, the he hedgehog's in the next kit, I do apologise. But they'd all work together, wouldn't they? Beautifully. 023511 if you are wanting that particular kit. And again, extend it by adding a mount, put it into a larger frame. You've got quite a considerable piece there for a very good price. Next one that we've got, this is a really sweet one again hello dear but this time we're looking to winter with lots of elements there like your poinsettias in there you'll st still see some of those little connecting factors so you can see the bunny rabbit coming across there a few little autumnal elements there as well pine cones featuring a little bit of holly as well um, and at the beauty of this one you've got your little robin and i'm sure you'll remember but you've got your little needle minder that is a robin and the robin featuring here is the same size as the robin that will appear within your piece uh, same colors everything is made beautifully to coordinate so I'd certainly consider adding one of those in as well um, 840852 if you're wanting your hello dear kit and then the tree this one is the autumnal themed one so this one is hello pumpkin I'm guessing and I'm hoping that we're going to get a summer themed one coming at some stage as well um, so this one could be the one that Jim you're going for today again you can recognize that owl the owl again we've got as a needle keeper but it might be that you're wanting to, to use a hedgehog because 
different hedgehog features in here, although without a headscarf. Um, lovely design again, beautiful colours and keeping that theme going. I think this theme um, of each of these seasons beautiful within these particular kits. So if you're wanting your Hello Pumpkin kit or you may have already got this one and you're adding one of the others in, 729149 will get this particular kit on its way to you. And as I say, don't forget your little owl to go alongside it. Um, at 9.99 at the bottom of your screen, your needle minder, as you can see there, beautiful. Um, now, the kit that we left our lovely Sally working with, with all those gorgeous florals, is this next kit. This one is beautiful. Blooming beautiful. In fact, it's Bloom and Grow. Um, £34.89. pence. You've got all your gorgeous florals in there. Some of them I'm sure you will recognise. Your beautiful sunflowers and your poppies as well. Um, and I love the different pots that you've got with these. Really beautiful designs. Again, um, if you wanted to go for this one, be aware that 20% of the stock has gone. It's a popular one because it kind of um, will work for anybody, won't it? I mean, the colours that you've got here, they'll look beautiful in any room if you're popping it into a frame. Equally so, if you're giving it as a gift, either stitched or as a gift, um, a kit to, as a gift, then uh, yeah, you're not going to go too far wrong because people love flowers, don't they? And that's why you might want to get hold of the little needle minder as well with your floral um, elements on there as well. Um, £34.89 for your kit, £9.99 if you wanted to add in your needle minder. And the details are all on your screen then. Now, the last one, you've been loving this kit. This one, Positivity Rules. And I love this because this one, I know cross stitch sometimes, very traditional in style we've got some really fun and funky designs in the hour and i love this one quite a strong design um, with a brilliant connotation behind it so positively um, positivity rules the update on this particular one sorry katie what was the update on this one sorry approaching 30 percent and we had good stock of these ones as well so yeah nice one and a nice easy one because it's kind of got little segments of this one so it could be a word that you're stitching a week and maybe that is um, your um, you kind of uh, your achievement um for that particular week your goal for the week to do little elements of this one well there you go brilliant one to go for five three nine eight zero six um it's kind of a i was learning that this week about well done me well done me uh, being little projects you set yourself perhaps at the beginning of the week or the beginning of the month and at the end of the month you kind of say yeah well done me i did it i did it if you fancy that particular kit then of course there's many others you can consider but if you wanted to add in some scissors that are going to help you snip those threads then don't forget we've got a seven day savey um, and this is a brilliant little bundle it's been a popular one as well so with this one you've got your curved embroidery stitch and scissors in there perfect for cutting your threads you've also got your micro tip scissors which are going to go right into the, the closeness of your fabric if you want to then if you are doing your traditional sewing or maybe you need to do a bit of unpicking You've got your safety stiletto there where you can unscrew it, pop it into the handle for safety. And then you've got your seam ripper there as well. All coming to you for 19 99 But of course, same as any of those seven-day savers, the prices will go up at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. And we'll bring you some brand new ones. So if you want to pop that one into your basket, you can do. Right, we're going to come back over to Sally. What are you up to? So I'm, I've nearly finished the, uh, the gold colour thread here okay. on our sunflower Lovely. so you can see here that I'm sort of building it up oh, and it, yeah. it's not difficult at all to kind of to count across so if I need to go to a next section I just think okay that's one up one across yes. and then you sort of know where you're going and you can also see on the back how you know the threads have been pulled yeah, across but yeah. you're not going to see that at all okay and also with this fabric, it is by Zweigart, which is handmade, well, it's not handmade, it's by Zweigart in Germany. And again, it's the best quality Beautiful. fabric. It doesn't fray. This is sort of the orange stitching is sort of the uh, sign of the quality. And um, do you suggest that you put it into a hoop when you're working with it? Not necessarily. I mean, these are just in hoops because it's easier to kind of transport and show you guys today. But you can stitch in hand. So you can really easily just take your fabric out of the hoop. It's not necessary at all. Some people like a stand or a frame, but if that was out of there, all I do is hold that up in my hand and it, you know, oh, the yeah, fabric naturally softens with yes, use yeah. um, and you just hold it like that. So it's just down to personal choice then? It is. Okay, that's fair enough. And those little um, storage pouches as well with the needle minders yes. um, that come with them here, if you are collecting them or you've got more than one, 
Um, you can keep them all in there if you want to switch them around with your projects. If you've got scissors, any other accessories, keep them all in there. They're all in one place. It's a good size little If you're travelling, yeah. stitching sort of while you, I don't know, in a waiting room or That's sports event point, or whatever. Yeah. And these particular kits, I mean, it, obviously we're getting back into the swing now of um, perhaps having to go take the kids to football matches and things like that and you're sitting in the car waiting. Then this is the sort of thing that quite easily, as you saw there, you can kind of roll up, pop into the glove box and then work on it. Absolutely, or taking it yeah. to work. If you've just got half an hour that you've got left in your lunch hour, you can sit quite um, easily. Yeah, rather away. than sitting on your phone, you're yeah. kind of creating something. So, or taking it off to the carrier as well. And then I'm just finishing that off on the back there. And if you want to, if you are doing something on the back, finishing off the thread, you can put a needle on oh, the back as well. Yes. And then I'm just going to trim off the ends really close to the stitched area. Okay. Like that, as close as possible so that there's no, there's no funny ends. And then ready to start again with the next section. Love it. <laughs> so, so clever. It just makes it so easy. And it builds up over time. You can see there, obviously we've been having a chat with Sally as well, but she's been stitching away. And you can see quite easily you can build up these designs um, over a series of nights or weeks or months or years. You don't get a prize for completing it any sooner than the next person. But what you do get is the satisfaction that you've taken that blank canvas, that piece of um, Ada fabric, and you have created stitch by stitch that fabulous design you can see there. These are heirloom pieces as well. So I know many of us will have um, ancestors or relatives that have created things that have passed on through the generations. You could be creating those. And of course, it's a nice little project. Maybe if you've got a younger stitcher, that, I mean, you were talking about your younger kids, but yeah. it could be that um, I don't know, an auntie or um, an uncle or a grandma is working alongside a younger a member of the family yeah. and teaching them to stitch. They could stitch a flower and they could be a part of that exactly, legacy. Exactly, yeah. It's not just about sort of the stitching, it's about the experience that you have while doing it and yeah that's an amazing example of then sharing the craft with a family member a younger generation then they grow up and pass it on to their kids yeah. or grandchildren and it's the experience the bonding yes yeah. um and yeah especially younger people really proud of sort of what they've created and we do have people coming through now kind of teenagers or sort of early 20s who have gone oh my mum or my grandmother i remember doing this with them years ago and now they'll get one of sort of the more modern kits um I've heard and, of him. And so it goes like, on. He's just popped into my memory, actually, um, that, um, and I can't think who it was. It was a friend, and they'd got relatives in Australia, and they used to send across backwards and forwards oh. so one person would stitch a little bit then they pop it in the post and send it across Amazing. and then that person would stitch like the next element of it and then they'd send it back again and yeah. it's like everybody's a part of that whole thing it is and i think it's because you're doing it with your hands as well it's literally the love that goes into yeah. it the in time stitch, yeah. you know it's they're completely unique even though you're following a pattern everyone kind of does it in different ways yes. how you finish off which section you do first how it builds up so when you get that as a gift or even if you just keep it yourself and you pass mm -hmm. it on um it, it's almost part of that person it's not it's just a throwaway so easy i mean you just talked about two little stitches one on top of the other that cross over with regards to those do you have to make sure that one particular stitch sits on the top in a certain direction or does it matter i mean i do so we start bottom left corner to the top right so you can see i'm doing that here so bottom left to top right and i do that for all the stitches okay and then the top stitch that sits on the top is from the top left to the bottom right so they all lay the same they way they all then. lay the same and we've detailed it in the instructions you don't have to do it like that if you don't want to um or you can do a mix and match the only thing is and if you look at that one when the light catches it you can see all those top stitches are laying the they same way so, so it's consistent yeah but yeah. to be honest you know there's no such thing as mistakes it's yeah. they're all unique they're personal so if you want to do it the other way around, if you're a beginner, there aren't any rules with this. Definitely. As long as you're sticking to the grid, you can't go wrong. That's it. Now, if you're wanting something a little bit more manageable, perhaps the piece that we're seeing um, at the bottom, the Bloom and Grow kit, maybe that's a little too large for you. Maybe you're thinking to yourself, well, I like the idea, but I know my attention span. I'm one of these people that is thinking I can cope with a bumblebee, I can cope with a beehive, I can cope with the, the honeycomb, um, but uh, I don't know whether I can cope with it all in one go doing a larger design. Then this is a lovely little one, and it's just so neat. And you can see how that natural flow that you've got is down 
down to the way that those stitches are formed with that base stitch going in one direction that top stitch going across in the other we're getting busier lots of you making it your final decisions with regards to these kits and i am so pleased you are loving them so much um, loads of brand new items today as well so if you have seen sally here before and of course you've seen caterpillar, um, caterpillar cross stitch then uh, you could be adding to your collection with regards to these and if you are watching on repeat hopefully you've managed to get hold of some of those items that you are looking at because of course i can't give you updates when we're not here um mm. sally i have to to say I love these designs. Now, I was talking about the trees a few moments yeah. ago and the way that we've got different se um, series for each of the, the seasons. Are we going to be seeing one for the summer? I have designed Hello Sunshine which is the summer tree um, and actually a toucan does feature in the <gasps> summer tree. Oh we've got a sneaky um, peek there And did you we? can kind of see from the colours of the toucan um, how bright it's going to be um, but it's not released yet so no one's seen it oh okay you know me and a couple of the team have seen it but that's it so um, that will probably be ready in the next few months oh okay so it's a stitch along at the moment right. and then it will be released as a full kit and I can come back on and you'll have all four trees in one oh, go that sounds like a fabulous idea and if you want a little insight into the color of the toucan as the needle mind it might be something you want to get ready um, and get hold of it in advance now um, you've got all your different options you owl robin flowers chick toucan and hedgehog all under the same item number but um, if you wanted to get hold of the toucan just be aware that for um, rapidly approaching 40% of the stock has gone the hedgehog has been popular throughout as have the owl and also the robin as well um, in fact the hedgehog over 80 percent of the stock has gone so if you are watching on a repeat i'm hoping that you still manage to get hold of that particular one um, and uh, yeah they're all really cute to be honest doesn't matter which one you're going for of course we've got the practical um, elements of those and you were talking about your stitch alongs and social media how do yes. we track you down so on facebook we are caterpillar cross stitch we've also got a facebook group called caterpillar cross stitch um, I think it's just called Caterpillar Cross Stitch Sowls, but you don't have to be doing a stitch along any project or even if you haven't done a Caterpillar Cross Stitch kit before and you just want some tips and tricks or support, join the community. Lots of people don't know another stitcher who lives near them yes. and they're doing it at home sort of by themselves. This way you've got thousands of friends from all over the world. Instagram, we are at Caterpillar Cross Stitch. YouTube videos, if you want another demonstration, hop over there. That channel's just called Caterpillar Cross Stitch. Um, and with the stitch alongs, actually the flamingo behind me is part of the Hello Sunshine. Oh, okay. So that's another sneak peek Ooh. along with the toucan. Oh, you're teasing us again, <laughs> Sally. I love it. Um, thank you so much. Thank you for and having of me. Of course, the caterpillar, um, this was the first design, was it? Was it for you, um, uh, a nursery? Did you do the caterpillar? Yes, I yes. did. I started for my daughter's nursery and we did an alphabet, a okay. modern alphabet. Fabulous. Um, been busy, busy, busy during this particular hour. So um, all the zest is another popular item. This is the one with all those fabulous fruits there, the summer fruits, which I think will potentially work alongside um, your toucan, to be honest, if you've gone for your toucan as your needle mind and you can't wait for that some, summer kit. £15.90p if you want in this particular one, 708366. And finally, another brand new one to us today is the fabulous little pea stove, as you can see there. Absolutely beautiful. So if you're wanting to get hold of that one, the details are there on your screen and of course the large kits that we've been speaking of this is the latest one that's been added into the collection the hello petal and that's where we will see that hello sunshine come in a few weeks well a few months weeks it'll be worth the wait sally thank you so much thanks for Do having we know me when here you're back again not sure okay we'll keep an eye on the okay. schedule it won't be too long i'm sure um so yeah anything in your basket especially if it's one of those needle minders you need to be checking your baskets out but do stay tuned we've got lots more coming up here at the craft store after the break see you in a bit Oh, it's Polka Doodle's birthday surprise. This is going to be a fabulous hour because it's wonderful at 7 o'clock. Then I am back with lovely Julia and the One Day Special before we have an hour with the Daisy B Crafts team. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. 
When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Ultimate finish, cleans, polishes and protects in one. No water is required. If you own a car, caravan, motorhome or motorcycle, do not miss the world launch shows this weekend. You don't need water or any other products. All you need is ultimate finish. On the shows, you will hear from a motor trade expert who says this is the best product he's ever used. Exclusive on the craft store with big savings and a five-piece pack. For a limited time, we will also be including two additional products at no extra charge, only while stocks last. See the amazing live demonstrations and big savings this Saturday at 6pm and 8pm and Sunday at midday, not to be missed. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Welcome back, lovely people. Right, it's almost like we uh, lifted the pause button because an hour wasn't long enough with polka doodles. And Lou, are you ready for part two? I am, I am, I so am. So ready. <laughs> <laughs> We've got so much to do in this hour, let me tell you. If you missed us, we were... It was the crack of dawn, wasn't it? It was the twilight show, Seven wasn't it? Definitely. I mean, I had, I, I had at least one eye open then. I don't remember much about it, but... I'm I know, I think under the counter we should be in PJ bottoms, slippers, yeah, you know, definitely. like that. Yeah. Definitely, very, very <laughs> casual. Lou did lots of wonderful things. I stood here in a, a, in a little bit of a daze at 7 o'clock this morning. But anyway, listen, you can go back and watch that on Rewind later. But the great thing is you haven't missed out on the great value and the great deal that we've got with Poker Doodles today because this is your birthday surprise bundle. It's 177 stamps in this entire collection. It's ridiculous. It is like your A to Z of celebration stamps. It's really, really good. In fact, for those people who uh, maybe you've got lots and lots of stamped larger images of celebration things and you're wanting to kind of complete a set with all the sentiments that you will ever need all in the same font then this is a really really handy kit to have actually it's really good so in this there are one two three four it's five different stamp sets there's four a6 and there's a dl there's the two stencils and you are getting the paper pad as well, which is absolutely awesome, which is another 24 um, six by sixes. Oh, it's too many numbers, isn't it? Um, it's such a bumper collection. And actually, um, I love, we were talking about this all morning, mm. because the images are at a smaller scale, the possibilities are almost bigger, Lou, aren't they, with this? They are, because you can do quick, simple cards. Yeah. Um, you know, like stamp a cake, one of the sentiments underneath it. Yeah. Or, like this morning, I was masking and layering and making bigger scenes. That's brilliant. But, so you can. Uh, little stamps, to me, are actually, you can do a lot more with. Because Definitely. Because it brings a little bit of you in. Yes. It, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, it does. It yeah. lets you and your creativity in there as well. Um, uh, you'll be amazed as well. I mean, this will literally be like a two-parter. This is like the sequel to the main attraction um, <laughs> as well. Um, and it gets even better. No pressure, Luke, but uh, it gets even better. Um, this is really, really good. Now, the entire bundle here should be 62.93. Everyone saves £10, so it's just 52.93. But if you are a Freedom member, and why wouldn't you? Look at your saving here, £15.29. pence. Takes that down to 47.64. That is on two flexes as well as well, I do believe is the right freedom flexes you can have. 
There you go. £23.82 today, plus your PMP, first of two flexes. So it is a why not deal, because it kind of pays for itself, doesn't it? And you know how Freedom membership pays for itself as well, because if you place more than, what is it, three orders in a month, which, hello, not really difficult, <laughs> um, then that Freedom membership then pays for itself for the entire month with standard delivery and extra discounts like this. So... We can break it down, break it down into smaller bundles as well. Um, yeah, I know, I really am showing my age now, <laughs> completely and utterly. That's not how the kids break it down these days, Derek. Um, right, first two stamp sets are these two here. And this is the big birthday surprise and, and, just says and, and sweet, sweet birthdays. birthdays. That's it. And uh, there they are all, all, all stamped out. I think that's all of them this time, Lou, isn't it? It's by the one that's upside down. And one's upside down, down, of course. That's fine. We don't, we don't like to mention it. We don't like to point at it. <laughs> but it was very early this morning. But look at the sentiments there. The cakes, honestly, you'll see in the first show this morning how the bunting and that little row of sort of tassely ribbons and everything was used. Oh, and the cat with the presents on its head, that was all in part one as well, which was from 7 a.m. this morning. Uh, if you get a chance, go and have a look on Rewind. So you can get those two stamp sets there, details at the bottom of the screen, 868534, £17.98. pence. The second way you can uh, break it down, <laughs> I missed, <laughs> is with these two stamp sets here. <laughs> and this is all the numbers and great occasions um, and this is brilliant and look at how broad the occasions are in this that's what really impresses me with this as well it's not just birthday anniversary um, you know new baby it's it's everything it's Valentine's it's goodbye it's you've passed your driving test uh, it's grandparents it's bar mitzvah it's Eid and Diwali and all sorts um, and you see there as well, if you've got any of the previous stamp sets as well from um, Pol uh, Polka Doodles um, with the um, font sentiments on them, the fonts are the same as well. So they match in with everything you've bought from Polka Doodles before as well, which is really, really good. So you've got big numbers there and small numbers and you've got all the big sort of um, big anniversaries. Silver, Ruby. Which one's 25th? What's your 25th wedding anniversary? Silver. Sil is it silver? Yeah. Well, I, I recorded pearl. a video message for a, a couple this week I'm who sure love their cruises, and I've decided that they should change the silver wedding anniversary to a cruise anniversary and take at least five <laughs> cruises all, all the year. And, and they're quite happy with that. Are they? Yeah, quite happy with that. I know Pearl is 30. Is it? Mm. Oh. Only because I've been married. <laughs> oh, have you been married? I see. You <laughs> made it, yeah. First one's paper, isn't it, or something like that? Is it? Yeah, paper. paper or, and, and isn't something one of them wood? Or... <laughs> is it now? <laughs> okay, let's look at the stencils now, shall we? I don't know, I'll get a list of them one day. It's like the birthstones, you can never remember them unless it's yours, mm. really, can you? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, What do you buy for that? <laughs> Happy anniversary, love, here's a plank. <laughs> um, right, anyway, she said, I know that, I married one. <laughs> That's what she'd say, wasn't it? Um. Anyway, so the two stencils here. <laughs> I've got the birthday balloons. In fact, I should do that that way around, shouldn't I, really? Or indeed, that way around. It works. Yes, works that way. Yeah. No, that's upside down. Mm, that way. That way. Yes, it's that way. Because you get all the balloons the right way up then. Uh, and you get the lovely banners as well. And then this one's full of lovely stars and, and whizzies and twirly bits and streamers. That's the word. Yeah, a bit like a party popper, yeah. isn't it? Sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, they're a bit quicker than that, aren't they? You know what I mean. Anyway, those two stencils, their details at the bottom of the screen, mm. 9 99 for both of those. And we have got my favourite stamp set, which is this one. So my favourite's on its own, this gorgeous little DL. Well, I say little, there are still, hmm, how many stamps in this one, um, Charlotte? 30. Do you know what I love about this? This is worth it just for these. You know those little wax candles that you buy for birthday cakes? Yeah. All the time, don't you? And yeah. of course they burn away and you can't keep them. Well, this is your stamping forever version of those, which is lovely. Um, so you can, you can gloss those up. Yeah, glossy accents, glazed pens on top. Mm. Um, you can make, like we, we did, you chose 23rd this morning. I did, yeah, it's my age, of course. <laughs> <coughs> well, the age I'd like to be. That's <laughs> all you can be, isn't it? Um, Lovely cake there as well. You don't look a day over. That's a good one to use, isn't mm. it? Especially when people get to a certain age. Mm. Yeah. 
You can yeah. say you don't look a day over, uh, and then you just take one off the number they actually are, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> That's wrong, isn't it? Uh, Eleven ninety nine. That one. Ah, oh, the paper pad. I was going to show you on its own, but it's sold out and gone. So it's oh. just in the big bundle. But we have more paper pads. Come here. Well, I can show you. Yeah. Why not? Because you're going to get it if you're in the big bundle anyway, aren't you? Um, it's really, really lovely. It goes perfectly with all the stamps for the celebrations as well. Um, so you'll notice you've got lovely starry stamps in the in your stamps in the big bundle. Age is just a number. Oh, that's almost like, you know, like Leone's sticky labels? Yeah. It's almost a bit like that, isn't it? Because they're all um, different ones, aren't they? Surprise, let's eat cake, lots of love, special lady, party time just for you, etc., etc. Lovely stripes. <gasps> There's happy birthday repeated many, many times in a lovely gorgeous sort of jelly bean brick wall mm. kind of way. Mm. Love it. Then you've got uh, polka dots, of course. Polka doodles, polka dots. Uh, you've got checks there as well, almost a little tartans, one that's just full of numbers. So you can fussy cut those out if you want to as well. Remember you get two of each of these pages as well. So there's 12 designs, you get two of each. There you go, there's more of your whizzy, whizzy streamers and more balloons, which key in really, really nicely with the stamps for the balloons. There is uh That says happy oh, birthday. Oh, that says happy birthday, and it's got a little candle between mm. the letters. That's what was confusing this idiot. Um, every colour of the rainbow there. And then you've got the candles in, <laughs> in every colour of the rainbow. So don't take much, so silly. Don't take much, as we've uh, seen at 7 o'clock this morning. Um, and then you've got the little... Are they little bears, aren't they, with their little mm. hats on? And happy birthday and hip, hip, hooray, more bunting. Uh, which you've got stamps of bunting as well. It's lovely. For the whole collection, by the way, half the stock has gone. Gosh, that's jumped up since this morning. Ooh. Wow, 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 wow. Well, it is the best value. If you think about it, you're getting one, two, three, four, five stamp sets. You get your two stencils and the paper pad as well. If you're a Freedom member, it's an absolute, yeah, got to do it. And if you're not one, Become one right now, and it's a why not. It pays for itself straight away, just like that. Thank you very much. And you can split it down into two flexes as well, because you've got Freedom Flexi on that one. So it's two lots of 2382. There are feathers flying in the studio, you know. Uh, 2382 uh, and your postage. Now, we have a happy hour. Do you remember all the foam that we had in the happy hour this morning? Well, we've got a different one this time. Yes, we have. We've got three sets of A6 or three A6 sets of stamps from Oakwood Archer here for you. So we've got Doodles in Bloom, which has, in fact, let's do them one by one, shall we? Uh, then you've got your big sentiments on there, just for you. It's really bold font, that mm. one, isn't it? Lovely. Great one to colour. Yeah, definitely. If friends were flowers, I'd pick you. Ah, oh, keep growing. That's a good one for now, isn't it? So that's the that's mm. first set. Then you've got a lovely floral set, nice border stamps in there. Mm. This would go very, very nicely with some other stamp sets that we've got in mm. this hour, actually. Mm. Very um, much so. so that's that second one. And the third one I'm loving because it's a little bit kind of mandala-y themed. You've got florals in there. Love it. Very nice, that as well. Is that a floral or is that like a mandala? It's I probably it's like a, a flower, isn't it? But if you cut into that, you could raise some of them forward like petals. You know, if you cut it a couple of times, yeah. and then you could actually have raised layered elements. See, I see lots and lots of individual hot air balloons all connected to each yeah. other, which you could fussy cut out and use with the cats with presents on their heads instead yeah. of balloons. There you go, just an idea. Anyway, all three of those, uh, £24.97, <laughs> but only for this hour. So you have got 49 minutes, I think, 48 minutes approaching uh, to get that checked out and make the £5 saving on it. Fantastic. Right, let's go to the web because there's lots more there as well. More paper pads we have got. Also, totally cute and unforgettable. And Total Sweetheart, which sounds like I'm doing a doing an accent, doesn't it? Total Sweetheart. But that's what it's called, because it's got toads in it. That's why. Oh, it's beautiful. There's lots available for you to grab and add to your basket, so do that as quickly as you can. You've got two hours of amazing tuition from this lovely lady next to me as well to draw upon when yours arrive, whether it goes for the big bundle, one of the paper pads, stamp sets, whatever it might be, there is lots to see. Right, OK, now, because we're taking our finger off the pause button, where were we when we left off, Lou? Oh, I, I, we were... I put all together out the front there is all the different cards and the ways I've made them this morning. Yes. But what I wanted to show was we have got that um, celebration set of stamps in here. 
um, and it's got all the different words. And I know it can be a bit amusing sometimes for people, but all I've done is I've actually just stamped them out and I've then created the sentiment I wanted to do. Now, you could do it in one long sentence, you, you know, if you put it on your platform and line them up. So I've just gone for wishing you a very special celebration birthday. And then you can put them within the aperture how you wanted to put the, the different words. So you can now create the sentiment that suits to the individual. So if I just wanted to show you know, how you could work them and how you could do them that way. Right? Yes, because often that's the thing, isn't it? It's sometimes it's that little word, isn't it? Yeah. Like very or this yeah. or great or to have that individually but, rather than already glued on to another stamp. But you've also got the apostrophe with the S. Yes. Which I think is brilliant. Yeah, so when it's St. Patrick's Day or yeah. St. George's Day or St. David's Day or whatever, you've got the S at yeah. the end. So you, you've got that to add that on or you can do... So there is lots in there, and as I said, we've got all the previous fonts all match, match together. So if you've got all of those, you could make umpteen. So, so if I push that to one side, right. I just wanted to show that, you know, that I know we've got lots of sentiments, but you do now have the ability to create your own. So let's move Baby's that Baby's birthday. <laughs> uh, Baby's first birthday, yes, absolutely. See, there's so many yes. different things that you can actually do. On this special... <laughs> Diwali. You know, uh, like, you've, you've got all sorts going on, haven't you? Yeah. You're, 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 uh, Charlotte's you're got actually... one that she doesn't understand, though, okay. that she needs our help with. Go on. Oh, uh, shall I show you? I'll show you, and then we can see what Charlotte's uh, confused by. Second from the bottom. Patrick, George. George. Oh, it was the little, it was the little O. George. St George's Day. She wondered what the, the little O with a, it was sitting on something. I think it's just a fancy way of doing it. It is a nice way of doing it. It's something a little bit... Like retirement's got little E's on it. Can you see, look there. There are little E's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well I'm glad we sorted that out. <laughs> and thank you to, who was it who sent in all the anniversaries? Thank you Elaine. Oh. Um, so what did she say that golden 50, platinum is 70 years. Oh, you've got to wait a long time, oh, haven't you, before yeah. you get a bit of platinum. What are you up to now? Um, 32 years, but I did just on pearl, so... Right. Did you get, did you get any, any, no? No, because I don't like pearls. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's all right, it's okay. Uh, you know when you just go... You're allowed to say that, you know, you're in you're You know in when you just company. go, I don't like pearls, so I said right. to my husband, just save your money. Right, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm busy colouring as you were talking. No, no, that's fine. Right. I'm just wondering what, um, it, are there different ones for like every year? Yes. Or do you just stop at the big, oh, okay. I think so, yeah, yeah. So how many years is yours? This year will be 32. 32. Oh, Charlotte, no. have a little look up, see what the 32, 32nd <laughs> wedding anniversary gets Lou, see what she's got coming this year. Anyway, sorry, right. I'm interrupting. No, go for it. Um, this morning <laughs> I was doing layering. And, and I appreciate that cutting masks out isn't always for everybody. Mm -hmm. So what I've done is I've actually just stamped out the images and I've just cut round them. Now, they, you can cut round the borders, you know, the black lines if you want to. I just got into the habit of leaving a, a little white line. I, I don't know why, yeah. but I know that's not everybody's cup of tea. And I'm going to bring in my that jelly rolls. From die cutting. Possibly. That's the look you get with die cutting, yeah, isn't it? Um, yeah, it could be. <clears throat> I, I've never thought about it. Oh. Lou, quick question now. I promise okay. then I'll shut up. Go for it. Um, How's, how's the, the car that you've got right now, how's, how's it going? Fine, why? Well, apparently there's no traditional gift for a 30-second oh. <gasps> uh, wedding anniversary. Now but, I do need a new car, but the, yes. But the modern-day gift apparently is new Broom Broom. Ooh. Get that? Get that. Ooh. So you Let might need to drop that in as a... Do you know what I learned today when you get home? I, th I think I might just have to. Mm. Now, if I'd have known that, I'd have made Steve watch. Um, <laughs> well, rewind, you know? <laughs> rewind is for just these occasions. Uh, yeah, I wonder if I can turn it into a GIF, you know, that I can keep sending over Messenger and WhatsApp to him. That would I wonder if that would work. Yeah. Right, so, <laughs> now you've got me She's thinking. She's excited now. She's I am, I'm not cars. even colouring now. I'm just thinking, ooh, yeah, cars. Sure. What, should, what yeah, colour should yeah. I have? Yeah. Right, so I've just thought, I've, I've just stamped <clears> out, as I said, some of the images. Yep. And I'm using, I've gone for the sparkle pens because I think it's your birthday and, you know, a little bit of glitz in there. Um, and let's blend that one in. So I'm just going for two or three colours of the sparkle pens and just blending them 
all in together. So let's grab... Where do we get these pens from? Well, there should be some on the website. If not, next week. <laughs> I'm not using them because of next week, but I use them all the time. Okay. But, um, but yeah, no, we bring them here on the craft store. Are you? Next week, you say? Yeah. Um, but the craft store does... Yeah, um, we recently did a, a Sakura show, so I think a lot right. of people got them then as well. OK. So I thought it would be nice if you don't have your alcohol markers, um, but you have got things like... You know, your jelly roll pens. Mm -hmm. We could, you know, just do some quick colouring. I'm going to grab a paintbrush <coughs> because while the jelly rolls are wet, we can blend them out and we can then get a nice little subtle sparkle as well. Nice. It's, well, it's the cheat's way of adding a bit of shading. <laughs> no, Blending it's good. It's good. out. Did, did you not? We love a bit of a shortcut. Uh, I'm. So, like I said, get, getting my out this morning, getting my alcohol pens out was like, whoa. Yeah. I had to really think about colouring, whereas to me, water colouring, I'll just sit here and zoom through it really, really quickly. Um, and it's, it's because of speed. I, my head has gone on to the next bit that I want to colour or I want to make or do. So, we've got that one there. These pens are really rich as well, aren't they? They are. But when you, but I just thought for the images, because I think they suit that little extra little bit of sparkle. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? And I just thought, because it's your birthday, and you know, like we were talking about all the different occasions and things, why not add a little bit of glitz and glam in? So, there we go. I won't colour them all, because I've got a lot done. <coughs> but I just wanted to, so we've got, let's put you over there. So we've got all these different images. Now I'm going to just quickly layer them up on a, on a, a card just to show you. Oh, see, look now, those balloons could be carrying that present now, the way you've got them set out. What, the balloons? Yeah. But you could, even if you wanted to, we could have the balloons, <laughs> you know, lifting up the. Yeah. The, the little um, cat there. Yeah. You, but you, you've got that little sentiment that says yay, which yay. I've cut out. So you could even have the balloons with the yay lifting yeah. it, you know, floating in the air. There are so many different things that you can do with it it's and sometimes just doing this stamping out and just cutting out all the images mm. works absolutely beautifully yeah just have them all in front of you and just, yeah. just make your own little storyboard there yeah. so and it will come together beautifully so uh, even though i'm not going to finish cutting them all in i'm just going to show you a whoa, quick way so i've just got one of the backing papers here i will finish coloring these in because it will bug me if i don't <laughs> um this is the happy birthday paper so some of the font is facing the correct way, and that's probably why you, you didn't can see uh, it straight away. And some of the letters are upside down. Right, yes. Yes, yeah? I see now. So I'm just going to put that on there. And then I've just got um, like an off piece of card that I had left over. And I'm really just going to put that in the centre there. And I'm just going to grab a micron pen. And let's go for... I do like a, a micron pen. And then I thought what we could do is just very simply just do a little doodle border. Now this, I would say the doodle borders and things like that, Nikki from Poker Doodles has always does a doodle border around her cards. So then I can sit there and I can now just put a little couple of little kisses on. Gosh, that's a good idea, isn't it? kind of softens it a little bit it does, as well, doesn't, doesn't it? it? And yeah. you could add more than one line. I could, if I wanted to, put a little doodle border on the inside as well. Yeah. So we, you know, but it's a way of doing a, a matte and layer without actually having all the card. And then I can just take my little images. I know they're not coloured up, but I have got one coloured. And we've got the present sitting there. So now it, it's, it's creating the mark... Where I was masking this morning and having all the layers, it's doing it now individually, and you can then put them where you want to do. Use your 3D foam pad, and then we've got the little it's sentiment such a there. Lot of depth there, isn't there? But it was so. If you're not into masking, you can still create all that layers and that yeah, depth. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. in good Blue Peter fashion. Ta -da. Ta -da. I was watching that this morning. You know, after you kept saying Blue Peter this morning, funny enough, it was on. <laughs> It's still on. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, I was like, whoa. So they're, they're all the same. And as you can see, all I've done is layered them with 3D foam. Mm. And I've taken, I've used the sentiment, one of them, um, Hip Hip Array. Um, but that creates a really quick, easy card. It's a great looking card as and well, it, isn't it? It's, it's, 
and there's not actually that much going on there, but it's great easy carb. Okay, I had, did decorate the inside as well because I couldn't resist. Oh, go on, go on. Oh, hello. Oh, just a little something <laughs> I threw together earlier in five minutes. But um, yeah, no, I just. Uh, but then they're all again the, just the elements that I've just stamped and cut out and layered onto backing papers. Awesome. So you don't have to do all the masking techniques if you don't want to do the masking techniques. You can cut all the images out and just do them that way. Look at face. that. Look at that. Do, you know, do you know, before you did that as well, I was just about to say, right, OK, well, you know, you say that's relatively simple, etc., etc., but that's the difference between a card being £2.50 and £6.50, and but, then you open it up and I go, oh, hang on a minute, hang on, we've just found a £12 card here. Do you know yeah, what I mean? I'm, Ridiculous. Yeah, I've just done a reverse pop up. But um Just. Just. Just, she says, like but, I just okay. <laughs> But but it is all I've done is cut out the different images. So if yeah. you're not into your masking, you can still create all that depth and texture, as you were saying, yeah. just by using your 3D foam and colouring them all up individually. And then the backing paper does all the hard work for you as well. Well, you, you know you're going to have to show us how that reverse pop-up works one day. I know there's not time now. We can't shoehorn that into this show. I'm telling well, that's you that why I didn't now. make it, because... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. Gosh. Um, right. Now, over 60% of the big bundle has now sold out and gone. Um, it could well be gone by the end of the hour. I would take advantage of this while you can because it is a massively massively versatile set there's so much if you think about um the papers the stencils the possibilities that you've got going on here um it is incredible because it's one two three four five different stamp sets plus the stencils and the paper pad as well the paper pad has sold out on its own as well so it's just available in the collection itself um, so it has got a freedom members price and you can break that down into two flexes as well um, if you want to everyone saves 10 pounds no matter what which is really really good but of course you get a bigger saving if you're a freedom member 15 pounds and 29 pence so it is a why not if you're not already um, a freedom member which is really good two four nine five eight zero right i'm off for a little while i'll be back lou I'll be back. I'm off for a little walk. Down the counter we go. Um, you can break down that bigger bundle into smaller bundles, by the way. So these two stamp sets, these two stamp sets, the stencils. You can have a look on the website and you'll see everything there. But most of you are going for, the, for the, the big bundle. We have got that happy hour as well, which I'll remind you of as well. Right, bundle of paper pads now. We get both of these and they are brilliant. Totally cute. And that's not me dropping my teas. That's what this is called. It's got toads on. Let me show you the toads. They're brilliant. They're so, so cute. And you also get splashing around in this as well. So this one is totally cute uh, because it has the, the... I love the fact that these little lily flowers on the lily pads there, they almost look like little crowns. For the, for the toads, don't they? Beautiful. Then you've got polka dots, it's polka doodles, of course. You've got polka butterflies, and you've got very, very nice uh, background there. Love this, some sort of vintagey florals, some real quite fun, almost sort of 70s looking. Do you know what I mean? I think that one. Uh, a nice little check there, some more polka butterflies in a different colour. Nice little stripe, everyone needs a stripe. Then we've got uh, the little, well, there's toads and butterflies and all sorts going on here. And this is how I used to draw tongues. But they're, they're little toads. I think it's absolutely brilliant. And there's a whole page of them as well. So there's 12 different designs. You get two sheets of each. But that's just one of them because you also get splashing around, which is this one here. So it's a slightly different colour palette and there's lots more going on. That's brilliant because it's got lovely almost sort of um, burnout um, sentiments in the background of it, which is lovely. These are so cute. They're little duckies, by the way. They're little duckies on little waves which is really, really cute. Um, then you've got the bulrushes with the bees and the butterflies. You've got, oh, I've got, I've got a shirt in that, check, you know. Very, very nice. I, I go back to it again and again and again. And again, that colour theme continues in different um, designs as well. So if you think about that check and that floral, work very nicely together, don't they? Um, whoa, that's a bit dazzling, isn't it? It's like a magic eye puzzle. You're waiting for the number 79 to appear, aren't you, from that? Um, it's lovely. And then these are cute little florals. Little ditzy polkas again. And this is really interesting because this is dragonflies, but from different vantage points. So some in flight and some, as you traditionally see them, sort of from above, which is quite cool, isn't it? You've got one which is a little bit more like a splatter there. Cute little floral. Again, check. So there's all sorts going on there. Again, 12 different designs and two of each. And you get both of those. 
for 9.99. I think someone's made a mistake somewhere, but well, I'll tell you what, they take advantage of it. Let's just, we'll have those. Thank you very much. Uh, £9.99. pence. There's nothing stopping you from multi-ordering as well, by the way. Right, now, to go with those, we have got wonderful <coughs> excuse me wonderful stamp sets and this first one is grow on you i was just about to say grow your own i don't know why uh, grow on you and hello sunshine grow on you because it's got a bit of a gardening theme uh, you've got the little gardening truck there all the pots there the little basket and the cute little sentiments as well wishing you so much love what does that one say you're the pick of my you're the pick of my bunch Oh, I'll give it time, I'll grow on you. Ah, <gasps> maybe we should get that to Steve, Lou, eh? <laughs> After 32 <laughs> years, nearly. Um, on this one, how, how cute is that? With the little girl there with her umbrella splashing away in the puddles and the little ducks, which go with the papers that we've just seen as well, and little flowers, and no matter the weather, we're friends forever. Ah, oh, but you've also got you quack me up. Cool, so you use the little ducks for that. Sweet. So you get both of those stamp sets there for 15.99. 520102 is your item number. And now let's go to Unforgettable. That's what you are. Um, and Total Sweetheart. Total Sweetheart. It makes it sound like I'm doing an Australian accent. Total Sweetheart. Um, a rubbish accent, I have to say like I needed to tell you that. Uh, so there they are. You're a total sweetheart. You never bug me. Ah, oh, see, Steve would write that one for you, Lou, wouldn't he? You never bug me. <laughs> uh, happy birthday. You're unforgettable. Sorry, I totally forgot. And I find you quite riveting and that one at the bottom which got me earlier in the seven o'clock show because I, I i have one brain cell that is dying unfortunately of loneliness uh, let's get a croca cola other soft drinks are available i probably need to say both of those stamp sets there again 1599 452 614 we've also got a happy hour from oakwood in this hour as well and it's three gorgeous stamp sets there you've got one which is very very floral in fact they're all very very floral one way or the other um, they've all got the floral theme so you've got the focal flowers stamp set the one with the one that looks like the little hot air balloons which is lovely uh, so you get lots going on in there leaves as well and then you get a big one which is sentiments just for you best wishes thank you bloom where you are planted <laughs> that's got mixed meanings as well hasn't it that one uh, if friends of flowers i'd pick you lots of love <laughs> <laughs> blooming lovely and then you've also got uh, your flowers and frame stamp set as well really useful borders in there which goes with pretty much everything that we've seen this morning it is still morning is it yes it is uh, got an update on your complete bundle gosh every I only took a little walk down there and another 10% of the stock has gone. So over 70% of the complete bundle has now sound, sold out and gone as well. I'm sure a lot of people are probably saying to themselves, ah, oh, heck, you know what? You do only live once. So I'm going to go for the old Freedom membership as well. I'm going to get this. How versatile is it? You only have to look at this. Well, let me just take these two stamp sets as an example, just to show you the amazing flexibility of the whole bundle i mean to have all the numbers large and small and all of the um sort of significant anniversaries there for you as well plus your ordinals plus all of these sentiment words which are individual stamps by the way um so you can actually make sentences out of them as well they're all the same font as previous polka doodle sort of sentiment stamp sets as well that you probably or might may or may not have in your collection already which is really really good um you've also got things really sort of um You've got occasions there that aren't covered necessarily by traditional stamp sets. Diwali, Eid, Bar Mitzvahs, um, you know, you have got your traditional one, Mother's Day, Father's Day, but St. Patrick's Day, St. George's Day, St. David's Day, which are celebrated as well, and, you know, and actually, it's another reason to make a card for someone, isn't it? And actually, listen, if you have people in your life called Patrick, George, or David, or Andrew, you're definitely onto a winner, because you've got personalised stamps for them.
even better. What a bonus. Right, Lou, back to you, my darling. Right, I'm going to make a background to start with, and I'm going to use the uh, mixture of both the stencils. I'm going to start with the balloons, um, and I'm just going to use Distress Inks, and I'm just going to make an, a nice quick background, because I'm going to build the background. I know we've got all the backing papers, mm -hmm. um, but sometimes you want to make a slightly bigger card, and this is where your stencils, you know, really, really help, because you can create a quick background. Um, you can bring your papers in as well. So I'm just going to... Now uh, you have to tell us which colours you're using, Luke. So. Oh, do I? Well, yeah, because I, I feel that every time I watch a show and I think, oh, I wonder what the colour that I'm is, using, have I got it? I'm using, <laughs> I'm using Barn Door, um, I think this is Carved Pumpkin, yeah, and Mustard Seed on the first row. Nice. Uh, and then I'm oh, going. And we should say, with all this birthday talk, we should say as well. This is the this year will be the twelfth birthday, won't it, for, for Poker, Poker Doodles, Doodles? Yeah. Who are based in in your good old Yorkshire? Yeah, Nikki started it in May two thousand and nine, wow. um, and uh, I've known Nikki since since then. Wow. Yeah, I know. So we've got that's one row of the balloons. But what I want to do is I want to take the stencil and I just want to come and I just want to do another quick row. And this time I'm going to go... Something. I'm not worried about the ink. If you're really worried, you know, clean your stencil in between. I, <laughs> I just, you've I, been around this place too long. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just think... Um, I no treat one it, cleans their stencil here. <laughs> I, if you see any of the ones I use with acrylic paint, yeah, you would definitely <laughs> agree with that or sprays. Yeah. Um, but actually, you're creating another car colour yes. that you probably would never create again. Yeah. So that makes you can then that's your justification for your background, you know. And you can then say, you know, this is definitely personal to you <laughs> because obviously I'm not going to make no. that colour again, sort of thing. So I'm. Do you need to know the colours? It's Mermaid Lagoon, and I'm using Crack Pistachio. Mermaid and Mermaid Lagoon. Oh, I thought and then, you said Mermaid and Goo then. No, no. Thought, well, that's an odd Mermaid, name. Lagoon, right. and I'm using Cracked Pistachio. I'm using two or three colours. I like to do this because it's a nice, easy way to add light, light and dark. Yeah, bit of bit of ombre. Uh, yeah, and sort of thing you can... Yeah, it's, it's a quick way of adding colour, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got the balloons going across like that. Now, if, if you wanted to, you could add a third... I'm not going to put that there. But I want to take this stencil and I now want to fill a lot of the remaining space with this stencil. And I'm going to stick to the same sort of colours, tones, so it all matches in. Um, and I'm going to blend these a little bit more because I want to make it like a big celebration card. Now, if you, with the stencils, you could put your gel paste through, you know, and, and um, sprinkle glitter on the top and you could still use them that way just because you know they've come into this this kit doesn't mean we can't still do all our normal messy stenciling techniques with them and you can emboss with these stencils yeah. as well oh yeah put them through um using your depends on what your <coughs> die cutting machine is mm -hmm. use your um normal sandwich embossing sandwich yeah to um actually yeah i do that's what i do sometimes if it's slightly thicker card a light spritz of water uh-huh and then do it that way just helps the, soften the card a little bit. And then if once you've done that, put your then colour on top, you have raised embossing. So I've just got a I want to just add a little bit of the yellow. So it's not taken long to create a background and it's not too messy, <laughs> she says. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm just gonna put my lids on because I will put my hands in them otherwise. So if I take that away, so that's my actual background. So, you know, I keep putting the micron pen away and I keep grabbing it, don't I? You're so organiser. You have them all in the box, all neatly next to each other. I don't I, know anyone that does that. I work in colour families, so I can pick ah, everything up in a colour family. So that's, that's great, though. So the rest of the box is in the rest of the colour families. No, that's and awesome, because a lot of people won't do that. Whether They'll just they'll go in with a general... OK, but well, they're fine pens, so there'll be a general melee of fine pens. I know. I just... Organized. So now, we, on one of the stamp sets, we have got a little turn, twirly, mine is very dirty, sorry. We've got a little twirly that you could stamp on to each of the balloons. Um, is it on the 
Shall I find it? I think it's this, on the longer one, one. yeah. There's a little one. twirly bit. So you could actually, if you didn't want to do you could actually add that to the end of each of the balloons. I also think that wow sentiment, you know, like how I've done the balloons now. Oh, if yeah. you tag that onto the end of a balloon as well, mm. so you've got like that floating up. Yeah, yeah. Almost like it was deliberate. Yeah. Like that, what do they call it? Where uh, It's an Olympic thing, isn't it? Where they have a piece of blimp. ribbon on a stick. Is it a blimp? Rhythm rhythmic gymnastics. That's what it's called. You couldn't make the word wow by doing that, could you? No. So, I'm just going to do a little few squiggles on the end of the balloons. Just to make them look like they're floating in the air. See how effective that is. So I think I've got oh, one there. You make that look too easy, you know. <laughs> well, just, just a squiggle. <laughs> I know, but, but look at the difference it makes. But so we've, we've got that there. So we've got then, and then what we can do with the balloons, if you want to extend it, is if we... I mean, my ink is wet, so it might not show so clearly. But if I get a white jelly roll pen... Yeah, the ink is still wet. But you can actually then go round and you could put in... Like you see those... The, the highlights on the balloons and you could add more detail to so you could build up your <coughs> background very very simply I mean one of the backgrounds that I'm looking in the paper kit that I'd really want to try is the one that's got all the happy birthday with the bears and everything like that because I think that is to try and stamp yourself mm -hmm, mm -hmm. would be superb yeah so that this is my background she says so let's move you over to there and what I want to do is I just want to I'm going to do a bit of masking and I'm going to use the stamp, the cake stamp. I have got one coloured in, so don't. <laughs> there we go. So I want to place the cake stamp. So what I want to try, I'm trying in my head, is I want to make like um, an exploding cake. You know, when something can pop out of the top of your face when I said that. <laughs> 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 Was just like, okay. <laughs> Well, if truth be told, I was half listening to you, oh, and right, I was half sorry. listening to, to lovely Charlotte uh, in my ear, okay. and we were all getting hungry again. Oh. It was like, here she is with the cake again. I know, it's <laughs> just... Oh. So, I'm going to offset the cake. So, what I want to do is try and make, um, like, a three-tier cake, but have um, a little bit, I suppose, of definition, or, you know... It's not going to be perfectly, I can't floss the word now, perspective. Yes. That's what she was, I was thinking of. So I'm just layering up those together. And as I said before, to cut out these little bits of masks aren't very complicated at all. So I've got that there. And then what I want to do is I want to bring in the little bear that we've got. Oh. And I actually want to put him so he is sitting uh, <laughs> like that there. And because he's not joined, it allows you to do this. The other one that it's really good to do this for is if you stamp the bear and then you stamp the, sorry, the cupcake on top because it looks like he's coming out of the icing of the cupcake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether you'd have a bear come out of a... a it's, but why not? Well, why not? Anything goes. It's, it's 20... 20... One. <laughs> I have to think about that. Yeah, 2021, yeah. <clears throat> so, we've got that there. So if I take that mask off and put you back there. So that is like my image. And I've then gone ahead and coloured him in. Mm -hmm. So that's it there. So all the difference is, is I've added balloons. Yeah. So where I'd carry on from there. Now, the one thing I didn't think about doing, which we've got this really cool stamp. And it was only, I forgot about it. It was only when you were showing the boards that I realised. So I'm actually going to quickly mask the bear because I really wished I'd actually used this instead of the balloons now. You know, you go, mm. and it was um, you going through and it was seeing it on the screen there. Yeah. You get so many stamps that sometimes, unless you stamp and cut them out, you don't notice what you've got. Yeah, it's, it's, wor it's, it's almost worth doing that, isn't it? It is. So I've got <laughs> that little bit there. Now, this is a tiny little banner that he can hold that actually says happy birthday. <laughs> It's really cute. And it was... So if I put the happy birthday there, so I've got the little happy birthday, I think the balloons then, if I'd had thought about it, should have gone 
Oh, in his other hand. On in his other hand, so I could have the balloons going in his other hand. This is totally going to a different way to where I was thinking. That. It was just because you showed the card there, and I was like, yeah. oh. But so we've got the balloons now. So when we put that mask away, we've got him holding the balloons, and he's got a little stick saying, you know, happy birthday. But then I thought what we could try and see, I'm just going to go and pick the first number because it's here. Well, we've got the bigger numbers, and some of these will actually fit inside the balloons. Oh, it's a nine. Oh, you always worry when it's a nine, don't you? <laughs> what, like 29? Or you think, oh, 59. Gosh, I'm nearly... <laughs> That's what I was saying something when he got to the nine. I'm 59. <laughs> It's funny, isn't it? Because once you get past seven, wh whatever that is, it's <laughs> like you never think of the three years there in between. You're always like, I'm nearly whatever the whatever you nearly are. Well, that's true. You know what I mean? I mean, I've, I've enjoyed my 40s and 50s, I must admit. I'm not sure I'd want to go back too early. So these, some of the smaller numbers that we've got into the other set there, you could stamp your age inside there so now we've got him we've got 49 or you could put then you've got the th so you've got the 49th yeah. birthday and things mm -hmm. like that so, so these numbers will fit in the different balloon sizes not not the larger numbers like a hundred but you can <laughs> make up the age you wanted splitting the two which is what i wanted to do right you won't have here. that problem with me anytime soon <laughs> what a hundred <laughs> <laughs> so i've got my let's move you out the way I've got my little bear, and what I've done is um, I've coloured it so I thought that we could make this like uh, in our heads, because we keep talking about cake. I know. If we made this like a triple chocolate cake, oh. so this is like your chocolate sponge. Would you stop with the, with the cake thing? And I thought <laughs> if I bring in a little bit of black, we can pretend that's the dark chocolate oh. running through. So that's like your chocolate chips. Oh. My youngest son, I used to have to make chocolate chip cake in front of him because he always used to convince me that I was, it was really raisins and I was just trying to get him to eat fruit. <gasps> really? Uh, yeah. So I just thought if we did a couple of little dots like that, so that's your dark chocolate, the sponge is your milk chocolate. If I... You a good, <laughs> are you a good baker, Lou? If I put my head to it. What, I've got what's, to be your, the, what's your uh, cake du jour? I make a really, really good chocolate brownie and a millionaire's cake. <sighs> And I make a really she good. Didn't tell us that at seven o'clock this morning. No, and I make you? a really good gluten-free version because. Do you? Family, yeah, but yeah, the millionaire shortbread. Mmm. Okay, there's there's a lot of people <laughs> there's a lot of people in my ear going. I don't know if I believe her. To be honest. <laughs> oh, is that another I'd, mean when I'm in on, I'd, next I'd week? To, I've got to bring some in, have I'd, I? I'd, they'd they'd have to see it. Yes, you need to make sure it's the right shift, though. Okay, uh, all right, so uh, am I going to be emailed about which shift is on me? Oh, so, don't start with the whole shift thing. Oh. Uh, that but, doesn't happen here. Okay. <laughs> right, so I won't do all of the cake, but... So, just by colouring it the brown and adding a few white... So I've now put my, like, white chocolate in, I've got my milk chocolate and my dog. This is me in my head. That's how I thought the cake came across looked so you could make it those ways so well, now I could I've got to colour his nose in because I've just realised I haven't <laughs> and that's going to bug me there we go that looks a bit better but if you brought your jelly gla um, rolls in your glaze pens or even your um, I've forgotten lick the pearls you could put them on the top as well and make it yeah. all like a glossy icing so that scene that you've built up there that is the bear is one stamp, the balloons is one stamp, the cake is one stamp, which you've masked off yep. and then replicated. And then all I've done is we get little tiny star stamps in the kit as oh, well. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I've stamped inside the balloon. So where I've taken this one and I've stamped the numbers. Yeah. Instead, I've taken the little tiny accessory stamps, which are the stars, and we get that one there as well. And I've stamped those inside the, the balloons as well. But as I said, I wish I'd thought about the happy birthday. It was you holding up the card, and I thought, oh, that would have been so much better. Well, th that's the thing. Like, so it, even so, once you get to know the stamp set, yeah. you know you won't be making the same thing every single time. You'll always have some new ideas. Yeah, and it, well, it was just I thought that that way. So now I've got. So this is my background. So he obviously now can sit there. Oh, perfect, isn't it? So that's. But then I thought, well, we need to go a little bit further. <laughs> 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 <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Now, I'm just going to say right now, we don't have a third hour. Just bear no. that in mind. I know, I know. I won't get this done this really quickly. This is it, this one. Um, and, and I'm good. So I would carry on doing this. I won't oh, do it with all these. So gosh, this is going to be how our. Many cakes. Yes, lots and lots and lots of cakes. So I, I've done like a rainbow version. So I would colour all of these in here. Lots of different coloured icings. Yeah. Um, if you had like your little liquid pearls, you could do little droplets along there and make it like the, the raised. Um, like the royal icing you get on wedding cakes and things That's like, like that. It's like a cake staircase and I want to run right <laughs> up it. <laughs> right. Okay. So now, what sentiment do you want? Because I want to stamp a sentiment on this Ooh. before I start putting the card together. Well, because of the bear come jumping out of the, um, the cake, we could use, because it's a really lovely font, it's really nice and bold, that hope today brings a sweet surprise. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. It's a nice, it's a nice one. So I'm going to, I just want to position this so I can work out where I'm going to put everything. And then, because what I'm going to put this here, because what I want to try and do is put this on top so it looks like that is the bottom of the cake dish. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So it's like it's yeah. already standing. Yeah. Makes it sound like I had a plan, but <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, all of the font, it all would have worked. Even if I'd have just stamped well, happy birthday. And, and that proves the point perfectly because sometimes, you know, for us to say, all the stamps work really well with each other. Mm. You know, you hear that phrase all the time and you yep. think, do they? Well, you know now because we really have, we've gone off in many different directions over the we two have. hours. So we've got that there. Now, you could draw a black. I'm going to actually just grab my marker and to make it look like the bottom of the train, I'm just going to put that there along the bottom. Mm -hmm. So when I put this bit there it looks like it's got a little bit of a shadow uh, yeah 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 okay so now what I want to do where's where's the cake actually that's not the one I wanted to do it on sorry <gasps> oh yeah it was, the, it was the staircase it, one it, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, this, yeah this, the sharing cake <laughs> go big or go home <laughs> yeah yeah anyone who said they didn't get a piece of cake I know, is yeah. fibbing. <laughs> yeah. right so but that still works which is what I wanted to do okay now I've got some foam pads on here but I couldn't I normally I take these off but I I needed to just double check something um, before I did that and I didn't and I'll show you why what I mean and I didn't want everything sticking mm -hmm. to it uh, and well done if you got all the uh, foam pads in the happy hour early doors this morning there is a different happy hour in this hour remember that three stamp sets really good nice bit uh, nice saving on that one so what i would like to do is so what's going to happen is my cake is going to sit my little man is going to sit underneath underneath the cake like that so right. all i see is the top of the uh, hat now yeah, i could yeah, cut yeah. that away yeah and we could have a little bit of him showing yeah or we could leave it there and i thought if i left it there i could actually put a couple of candles or I could put something else there. Yeah. So that's given me scope to yeah, do that. Yeah. Now, what I want to do before I stick all that down is on the back, if I just want to put a little bit of a pulley. Can you see where I was practicing my, I don't waste anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, you know, you just go. So it's I two sides to everything. There is. And if you're covering it, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. So I just want to put a little bit of a, a pulley system like that. Oh, just to let you know, if you're looking for adhesives, uh, check out the Seven Day Savers. Remember, because they will all change in the morning. I always, always enjoy Sunday morning. Look, a litre of Kalal All Purpose there for fifteen ninety nine wow. from Pink Frog. What? That's craziness. A litre. That's lovely, that. Just fill up your smaller bottles again and again and again mm. with that. It's really, really good. Um, so these seven-day savers, while they last, will all change tomorrow morning at 7.59 and 59 seconds. What was that that says plus there? Just go left again. What's that? Oh, it's modelling clay. Look like baby wipes from a distance. What was that? That's an odd thing to sell. It's not. It's air-dry clay. Don't worry, even Lou's <laughs> looking going, oh, we're doing baby wipes with seven-day savers now. No, we're not. Don't worry. Right, so all I've done now is I've just put that behind, and I know we're blocking the sentiment as well, but I'm not worried about that as such. And I want to put the, and I'm just going to really force them out, because when I sorted this out, I just wanted so we can have him popping up on his own <laughs> little cake. 
<laughs> as well. So much cake. So much cake. And so then the reason I've, I've done it that way is now is I can actually, I won't do it now at the moment, is with a craft knife, I would go, I, I, if I can say, show you that, in between the gap between this set of cakes and the sentiment, yeah. I would cut with a craft knife and actually then fold this part behind. Ah, uh, right, yeah, so you're pulling it through the card. So you're pulling it through the card, so you still get to see Hope Your Butt Brings a Sweet Surprise. Brilliant. But it was just to show a way that, you know, you can use all the different elements to create something a little bit different. And that's such a fun card as well now, isn't it? It's I, really, really good. I mean, I well, yeah, because you can move it from side to side. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having fun now. Wiggle <laughs> it just a little bit. Um, shall I show you some more finished samples? Shall I? <laughs> Why not show you some of the other things you can do with this? <laughs> um, three quarters of the entire collection sold out and gone, by the way. That's really, really lovely, using that numbers um, background and using the stenciling um, in the background beyond that um, from Cheryl there. So, I mean, you can take this in as many different directions as you like. I mean, that's beautiful, isn't it? And that's very, very simple, isn't it? That's a strip from the backing papers. It's the cupcake... Um, stamp cut out, isn't it? Um, beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. That is uh, Sam. Sam. Thank yes. you, Sam. Um, oh, they're quite nice. Aren't they? they look like they have a lovely flavour. They're the they? same cake. Um, Sam's made both those cards. But when you think about how different they look when it's a similar sort of... Yeah. Just by changing the colour. Yes how you can change the vibe of the actual well, card. I think, I think when it's cakes as well, <laughs> a different colour, you can almost you can almost taste the flavour, so you kind of get it, don't mm. you, straight away. I like that. That's very clever. That's isn't almost it? like a little, little coded birthday, isn't it? I know, isn't Which it? Which one of those numbers are they really? Is it 23? Is it 26? Is it 58? <laughs> it's a very good one. Like you were saying this morning, you know, to try and send a tricky card for someone for an age. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because those in between mm. numbers, you never get them pre printed on um, shoppy cards, do you? Uh, which is really good. Um, here's one from Karen. Love that. And I love the way she's used the but, um, stamping in the background there but as well. That's just one tiny little stamp. It is. And it is. Just by changing the ink colour, you find it. Um, you, you've got, you know, the, like, the confetti images. I think it's on is it it's on this that one. one, isn't it? Yeah. So just by changing the ink colours. Oh no, it's not that one. It's this one. Sorry. Yes. It's this one here. So it's this tiny stamp here in the main bundle and that's made that entire background. That clever. Just, just by changing your ink colours. It's very, very clever, isn't it? So you, the little stamps sort of thing can do a lot and can make things bigger as well as, you know, smaller areas. And I think, actually, let's just finish with a quick scan across if we can. In fact, let me show you the printouts. Let me show you the printouts because you're, you're going to get all of these stamps. Just take everything as read that I'm about to show you, you get in the main bundle. So there are, it's 177 stamps. So that's two sets of the stamps. Let me replace them with stamp set number three, which is your occasions, and stamp set number four, which is your numbers, large and small, your celebrations, your ordinals are all there as well. Then the stamp set number five, which is your um, your big candles with the with the numbers on them as well. On top of that, remember you've got the stencils as well. So you've got the balloons and the buntings and the celebration banners there as well with the stars. So they're the two stencils. Plus, of course, in the bundle, you're getting the paper pad, which has such a massive selection that all go beautifully with the stencils, with the stamps as well. It's, it's amazing. It really, really is. Check that out because it's not, it's not long before we'll be saying that's, um, that's all gone. Now, Lou, uh, you, you are back with us next friday next friday we're talking pens next week we are yes are sakura we? i'm back with sakura okay do not bring cake the crew are telling me because it's not them in <laughs> okay okay right. there you go are they that, in the day before are you in the day before they're in the day before yes okay right okay that's all been noted <laughs> I won't be here, typical, but there you go. It's been lovely sharing my morning with you. And Thank you, you so much, Thank Lou. You. Thank you. Uh, check out your baskets and stay right where you are. There's more on the way. And next, lovely Julia will be here because we're going back to the Studio Light One Day Special and Daisy B Crafts here in an hour. And we've got some marbling coming up later. Marbling.
Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter, all work in the company, and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family-run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. We're known for our MDF products and our mediums. All of our MDF products are produced in Devon, in the UK, and we have a wide variety of products to inspire you. So make sure you tune in to all our Crafty Devil shows. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque, and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue, who hand draws all the images, which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals, and then we have scenic, and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after our stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journaling, Join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Hi there and welcome back to our midday show and of course it's an hour that we celebrate our one day special and this is a deal that was kicked off um, around 12 hours ago actually, well, actually it's not 12 hours ago let me think six o'clock last night oh i don't know i can't do the maths but six <laughs> o'clock last night this deal was kicked off you only have up until six o'clock this evening to take advantage of our one day specials because a brand new one will be launched this evening at six but until then this is an amazing deal that you are going to be able to take advantage of. In fact, lots of you have taken advantage of it already. Um, details are there on your screen, but two thirds of the stock has gone. So rapidly approaching two thirds of the stock of this fabulous bundle. And of course, Julia is back with us again during this. Yeah, hour. something different again. This it hour. is. Yeah, yeah, we've got other focuses which we're going to be looking at as yeah. well. But the one day special. I mean, this is lovely. I mentioned that you kind of got all those little areas mm. of crafting. You've got a stencil, you've got dies, you've got stamps. Yes. Everything in one bundle. Yes, 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 and it's. A, and it's a, a really affordable starter price if yes, you like yeah but it's also a good add-on as well um, great for a gift yes, as yeah. well for somebody and i was commenting on the butterfly stamp um because quite often we can see butterfly stamps and they're kind of quite flowery um mm. and it, it sounds like horrible as they were kind of pretty style but mm. with this one it kind of is bordering on a, a, a kind of image of a moth maybe yes. with regards to colors yes absolutely but obviously it's a stamp so you can color it whatever color it's you true. want to which very, is the beauty true. of having stamps and dyes of course well, this is it. Yeah. Um, the backdrop of the card that we can see here that Julie created during one of the shows has so got the stencil featuring on this one and again stencils it depends on the colors the mediums that you're working with you mm. get loads of different looks yeah with both them. stencils are, are used in the background there um, yeah and and the, the, the butterfly beautiful love it a little bit different there um, and of course with this one you've got that gorgeous floral um, design as well within the day and we saw Julia working with this one in the last hour and uh, yeah we'll give you a little bit of a recap of some of the things that were busy during that hour potentially as well now if you wanted to get a hold of this one you'd normally be paying £23.97 but not at the moment you've got a £6 saving um, bringing it right the way down to just shy of £18 which I think is one of the most affordable one day specials we've been able to bring to you um, two thirds of the stock having gone of this one and we are getting busier and busier as the hour progresses 
So it might be this is the first time that you've seen this. If it is, you need to get involved as soon as you possibly can. Details on your screen there, 148022, if you fancy getting hold of that one. But during each of the One Day Special Shows, we've been bringing different um, elements, different bundles to work alongside the One Day Special. It's the first time that we've seen this one. Some incredible savings throughout the shows. And this time you are saving £11. And you can see there you've got a lovely collection of different elements in these ones as well. Now, Julia, what are we getting within this bundle? Oh, lots of yummy Ooh, stuff. Face. Your face is lit yeah, up. I love I know, it when your face I know. Well, up. when I got my big packet, um, so um, the, there are three items within there that okay. I did first. Okay, so, which did so, you go for first? So we've got the, is it that one? No, it isn't. It's two, or two of the items, sorry. But okay, so... Yeah, the embossing folder I, I could cut first. Okay, I and that's say, the one with the, the door in it. So yeah, the it's, got the, it's got the shutter windows in it, yeah. so it's a cut and an emboss. So the shutters open. Can I show you how that works? Because yeah. if I drop this in, you can see you've got all that detail there, obviously the brickwork. Yeah. But then you've got your little shutters that are still attached. So is that just one pass of the machine? That's just one pass of the machine. That is just, clever. Just standard embossing uh, folder sandwich. I love that. And it's a good size, so it's going to fit through pretty much any yeah. um, die cutting machine. Five, yeah, five and three quarter inches um, okay. uh, like in one. size. So, so I did that. Uh, and I also uh, cut that lovely lattice work oh, die. Oh, this particular one with the circle in there. Yeah, in nice. It. Um, so that's going to fit um, a lot of the, the pieces that we've got coming up in the die cut oh, right. um, pad. Um, but uh, you can see that we've got the circular die in the centre. So you can do a little bit of stacking up if you want to. So it's a those... beautiful trellis. It oh, will cut. So they're separate. Yeah, it will oh, cut into okay. the card if you don't use that outside die as well. Yeah. So you've got choices as to how you use the actual lattice nice. work one as well. Nice stitch detail on there as well. Yeah. And the outside die as yeah. well. Yeah. Very good. It's beautiful. Like so hopefully we'll get to that demonstration this, this hour. Wonderful. Then you've also got a, a lovely set of dies, which I haven't um, taken apart yet. But you can actually, on the packaging, it shows you, uh, you can actually build up a little um, kind of spray of flowers can, from them. Clever. And they're all different sizes. So you can use like a, a green for the back of your leaves, then a lighter green for the next layer. Then you've got like three layers or, or it might even be four with the inside bits of your flowers. But it shows you oh, um, how they all that. fit together that is clever really pretty definitely get your magnetic sheets though before yes. you take them off you that do, particular do. die set and we've got them as a seven day saver so make sure you get hold of them before tomorrow morning um you can get 10 sheets of those if i remember rightly 9.99 very yeah. affordable and you'll notice julie's got a really clever way of storing her dies she actually puts that magnetic sheet onto the packaging and then put the dies back on there because then you've kind of got a way of kind of checking them in and checking them out as you're using them so you don't lose any of those and with that particular set you're getting lots of lots dyes of lots within of that particular one but beautiful just you can see they're building mm. up the layers step yeah. by step yeah yeah really really pretty and then of course finally in this this set you've got your, your stencil beautiful. which is a six by six stencil gorgeous and again it's kind of got a similar sort of geometric lattice mm. look to it mm -hmm. Very, very useful one as well. So all of those, it, that is an incredible price, so £28.96. So very affordable. Um, the 20% of the stock has gone. Just one thing I need to mention is extended delivery because, of course, Studio Light being an international company with regard to this one, I think it's about a week or so, but we will double-check on that date. 12 days. It's 12 days. 26. 26, 26 days, that yeah. was it. I've had a couple of different shows with extended yeah. delivery. Just remember which one yes, applies I'm to sure you show. have. I only have to remember one. <laughs> 26, thank you, Julia. 26th of May with regards to the dispatch on these but there's more because as Julia mentioned there's other elements that we've got on the show which will work alongside those wonderful dies that we've just looked at so have a look at this one now again we've got one of those dies that you're going to be able to, to pop through to get that embossed detail and this is a pretty one Julia yeah, yeah lovely aperture on that the lovely kind of floral element in the corner You've got your, your, your background kind of foliage uh, that's embossed and then you've got that lovely so kind of um, circular cutout with the little um, dots uh, that fall out of it, little Gorgeous, eyelets fall yeah. out of it. Beautiful if you want to do a bit of stitch detail or faux stitching or mm. placement spots. Maybe you've got little gems and things that mm. you're wanting to put those really in Really pretty. There. Gorgeous. So that is um, all in one go. It's an yep. embossing fold and a die yep. together. I'll again. show you all in one go. Brilliant. And then you've got uh, the, the, the spray of flower. Uh, this flower one is actually um, like a stem. 
Okay. And then you've got all the little flowers to go on top. And I have done that one, so I can show you that one. And that works in a similar scenario to the, the flowers to the other, but it, But okay. you'll, what you find with the other one, you can actually make however the spray fits up, so all the leaves are separate. Right. With that one, you've got an actual stem with the leaves off of it. Okay. Which you then stack up at, oh, at, at the, your, your so. extra layer. So got it's you. actually all joined, so you know you, what you're working with. That's clever. Uh, yeah. And then you've got your flowers and your... your your centers that you stack up on the top beautiful really love pretty it. love that idea so we've got that one then what we've we got alongside here another then, you, die. then you've got your other die there and and the package is really if you turn that around it's really good for that one that's, okay. so that shows that's going to cut Ooh, you a scalloped wow. edge on your on your card and then it's going to cut uh into the card for your uh, detail there but the lift-up detail, did we see that in the die from the one-day special as well? And we saw the lift-up detail in that... Um, um, Is it from the last show? The, the triangular kind of front, yes. So, yeah, they do that quite often. That's really pretty. Beautiful. And I noticed as well that scalloped edge is separate to the main yes. die, so yes. yeah, very useful. Yes, so you can put that wherever you want to. Lovely. And uh, then the final element that we've got is, is another, another stencil. stencil. Yeah. You're getting a lot in this bundle as mm. well, aren't you? Yeah. I like this one and again you've got the geometric look with this one so you can see uh, but again the floral elements in the middle lovely little placement spots there if you're wanting to use those for your gems and your, your stickles and different bits and pieces um at 26 pounds and 96 pence for all of them that is a brilliant price you're saving 10 pounds it's a good price to be honest for 36 pounds and 96 p mm. um but um, yeah you've got nearly a third of the the price actually coming off that with that saving so take advantage while you have the opportunity so if you fancy getting hold of this one one two seven four one six is that item number but nearly 20 percent of the stock has gone so again do not dilly dally with any of these deals that we're bringing to you now we have got the most amazing Bud Love washi tape. And this is brilliant because it's not just the washi tape by itself. You're getting this lovely little paper pad yeah, as well. Yeah, so, so this is the Say It With Flowers paper pad that goes with the um, collection which we've been looking at in yes, the previous two yeah. bundles. So again, that kind of kiss cut. The beautiful florals in there. You've got um, two sheets of each design. Um, and then the washies will, are that Karen Joan washies? And they will um, uh, coordinate um, with That's the uh, paper okay. pad. Love that. Nice narrow um, yeah. washi tape yeah. there as well. And this paper pad is amazing. You're getting so much content in here. And you're getting gorgeous kind of sketch detail, but you're also getting almost photo quality pieces. Mm. And you're quite right. With that kiss cut, just means you can cut those. Uh, you can just them push out. them out. Yeah, just, just pop them scissors. out. Yeah. Yeah, and you've got some shutters in there as well. So if you, if you want to uh, do kind of a card front that uh, that you and you, but you don't want to use the embossing folder mm -hmm. or you haven't purchased the embossing folder, then you can get a similar kind of look. Yeah, do love it. Really, really pretty. I love the little, little retro suitcases in here. The floral accents as well, of course, very in keeping with the stamps that we, uh, not the stamps, should I say, the dies that we've seen earlier on. And they're getting the continuity. And it, sometimes it gives you a nice base to get started with, mm. choosing your colours. And so pretty, these elements that you've got in there. Really if you, pretty. If you fancy getting hold of these, £10.97 p really? for all of that. Wow. See, that I would, if, I'm bu if I was buying one of the one of the previous two bundles i would definitely throw that in my basket yeah. as well because they're just going to work hand in hand well don't they just oh, literally hand in hand as i've got the hands on the screen <laughs> uh, <laughs> with, with the shutter day i mean you could almost have the doors opening couldn't yes. you, with one of these as a backdrop yeah 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 beautiful absolutely gorgeous you're liking this one nearly a quarter of the stock has gone um and yeah if you fancy getting hold of that one ten pounds and 97 pence if you're wanting them, then please do so. 735134. Now, during the last hour, we were incredibly busy with regards to the journal dies. Now, um, we did focus a lot on these during the last hour, but we have got a few of these left. So if you didn't see the show, then you can go back and watch on Rewind. But look at that saving. £24.99 being your price. It's a half price deal. And these are incredibly useful. Incredibly useful. 40 dies in total, as you can see there. 197473, but 75% of the stock has gone. Another really popular item in the last hour of the alphabet sets. You've actually got two alphabets here. One um, has got, obviously, your uppercase and your lowercase, and kind of like your shadow to work alongside those. And then you've got that lovely kind of brush lettering, really effective. Um, £19.98, a half price saving. That is a brilliant saving there as well. 158 dies. 
beautiful but again if you're wanting to get hold of those do pop them into your basket any questions that you've got to ask then you know how to get in touch studio at thecroftstore.com um, and uh, yeah we'd love to hear from you so we're going to go back over to Julia so what's the plan for this demo uh, well we're going to start with the shutter embossing folder uh, because I think it's nice to run them through and you can see just how That's fabulous point, they are actually, yeah. they really are lovely so you need, what you need to remember is if you've got uh, like a single-sided uh, coloured card stock that you need to have it so that your coloured card is uh, its side is face up. So if you've got mirror cards, your mirror is face up so that the die cuts into it. Good point. Kind of makes it easier to cut an embossing folder when there's a die in it, doesn't it? Because I always get it the wrong way around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it really does. So I'm using the uh, Gemini machine and in here I just need my two cutting plates. Lovely. So whatever machine you've got, you just want your normal embossing sandwich. Nothing complicated. You can hear the cracks going through. Don't it Don't actually like what's those. quite nice about a die in an embossing folder is that the die is all enclosed. So it doesn't actually uh, cut into your plate. Yeah, that's so a, my that's plate is still lovely and, well, uh, and uncut. Thinking, I was just thinking, oh, she either doesn't do a lot of um, die cutting or she's, <laughs> <laughs> she's very careful. It's a new plate because I keep my, my plates keep cracking. So look, just like that. Oh, wow. Just like that. That is effective, isn't yeah. it? You, that's all you need to do. Just run it through. That is brilliant. Win-win. I love the <laughs> idea of this one. I know. And there's there's... Um, there's nothing to actually pop out of that one either because it all comes out because it's all part of it so it's yeah even the little dimples like for the where you'd normally have like the, the, the screws and things yeah. like that they're all they're in all there. in there they're all in there so Beautiful. we can add a bit of color to it but this one i'm going to actually leave white okay because um i just i just love the the starkness of it yeah. so i'm going to keep it like that but we're going to always gonna... reminds me of being on holiday yes. abroad scene shutters yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah and the windows are yeah what, what what's going abroad <laughs> Oh yeah, no. what's that mean? Having to look it up in the dictionary at the moment. <laughs> so I've got another piece of, of white card here and I'm going to actually um, just, well there's a couple of things we can do. First of all what we could do is we could bring in the stencil. Okay. So we could add, add in this stencil and add a little bit of colour behind and I think what we're going to go for is a little bit of um, kitsch, fl kitsch flamingo. Oh this is one of the new ones. One of the it? new ones. I'm going to use one of my brushes because I don't want it too dark. And let's just see how we get on. That might be a bit too light for me. This is the first time I'm using these brushes because everybody oh. has the brushes. And uh, I thought, oh. Give them a go. No, I'll give them a go. But I'm a bit heavy handed, so it might not be dark enough for me. Sometimes with stencils as well, it almost looks as if you're not putting anything down. Yeah, it you, is actually really lovely. It, yeah. It is yeah. actually really lovely, but you might, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. So. Oh, yeah, we saw it. Don't you worry, saw it, yeah. okay. You see? Yeah, nice. It's lovely, isn't it? That is lovely. Let me hold yeah. it up to the camera so you can see it properly. That is lovely, yeah. Thank you, Julia. Yeah, okay. So that's a little bit of my kitsch, kitsch from the flamingo. And so we could put that behind my shutters so when it opens we've got something to look at. I nice. quite like that, so yeah. we'll do that. So the thing to remember is if you want to put anything behind the shutters, put it behind there before you actually um, put your, your embossing thing on your embossed card onto your card. Oh, right, yes. Because otherwise you're not going to get it behind there, are you? I wonder if you could be creative with this and almost turn it into like a little photo frame or something. You, know, you, you could, yeah. Hi from us, you know, yeah. come and see us now yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. So where are we at now? I don't know why I put so much glue on. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can. Right, let's hope that's straightish. Yeah, that's lovely. And we can now stick glue on that. You can make really quick cards with these because they are kind of really uh, good focus points. And you can you saw how quickly that went through. So um, I think with that, I don't think it's exactly the same both way. Actually, I don't think it's uh, up oh, more one way than the other. So. So we're opening to that. What we could also do, if we wanted to, is actually have oh. one of the cut elements behind there. That's a nice idea. So that you're opening up into some flowers. So this is from the, obviously, the um, kiss cut elements. 
I don't know what it's called properly. Oh, it's a lovely little set. I mean, this is where you're getting that paper pad with all of those elements in there. So you've got um, more than 300 paper elements in there. Um, you've got 20 sheets in total. They're 15 centimetres square. Um, and they're 170 GSM, so really good weight with regards to those. And every single one of the pages, I was just flicking through just to make sure before I say it, every single page is die cut. So yeah, every just one. Pop them out. Yeah, and yeah. there's two sheets of each one. And it shows you on the back what they all are. You so can see them does. all on the back. There you go. Um, beautiful. Um, and uh, yeah, it comes alongside those fabulous washi tapes as well, those narrow ones. Um, but a quarter of the stock has gone. So this is what you're going to get for your money if you're wanting to get hold of it. Please make sure you're checking your baskets out though, because we are busy for this one. It's the first time that we've really seen it during this hour as well, because each hour we've kind of got a different focus on the one day special shows. Did you say that you were in next week doing some shows for, with Karen's wor um, work? Yes, I'm, yeah. I'm in on uh, Tuesday for three hours with uh, Karen Jones, new missus. Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah. Awesome. So we, this is again from the um, the pad, some little lights. They're cute. Yeah, little cute lights. And then I've also got a chair because I thought it might be nice to have a chair sat outside. Nice. And again, it's all die cut. It's all die cut. Yeah. And and you, I think you find sometimes with the die cut pads because obviously they've been put together for you. Sometimes I think you end up using elements that you probably wouldn't necessarily have thought putting on a card yes. or a project. Yes. Yeah. It's a and good that's point. quite um, that's quite liberating, yes. really. Yeah. Um, to be able to use something totally different. Um, it's almost like a little challenge, isn't it? Yeah, it's it a use, challenge, yeah. yeah. And, and it would be a challenge to use absolutely everyone. Uh, then I've got a, a little floral arrangement as well. So we can pop that perhaps down here. Oh, pretty. Those are like proteas, aren't they? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. They, they grow a lot of those in the Caribbean. Well, that's why I don't know then. <laughs> well, I've only been once. It sounds like I've got I've been a lot. I've only been once. Be a little jet setter, you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, once. Um, so we've got enjoy, which you've got on a jaunty angle. Again, this is from the pad as well. Enjoy, and then we've got the word today. So that can oh. be loads of different occasions. So and if there. we wanted to, we could bring in a little bit of the washi tape. Oh, yeah, let's. And so... let's us for choice. I know, I don't know. Which, yeah. There are yellow in the tulips, so I think we go for the yellow one. It's nice because they're all kind of tonally working alongside yeah, each other. Yeah, you've got the pastels and then you've got the... I think it's called Terra Nova or something. So that one's quite um, uh, more earthy. So we can have, just on the Enjoy Today, we can just have... A little bit of the washi. Oh, that's pretty. Like that. And so there we got go. Five meters on each of those rolls as well. That was so quick, but how amazing yeah. was that? Yeah. Oh, I think anybody would be thrilled to bits to receive. Isn't it lovely? But you could uh, you could imagine this kind of thing in the scrapbook layout yes, as well. Yeah. Um, and really that'd be a little pretty. surprise. Love it. Thank you so much. Thank you, Julia. Um, I'll let you get ready for your okay. next demo, if that's okay. Um, we are busy. We are busy. Lots of you realise just how versatile some of these are, um, and nearly a quarter of the stock has gone of this bundle. So this bundle, you're getting lots of different elements. You're getting that fabulous embossing folder with the die um, within there, but you're also getting these beautiful elements that you can build up. And this is really clever, because when you look at these, you can kind of get the, the sense that you've got something floral with the foliage there, but they build up. So you're cutting each one of those in the different colour ways. It could be papers that you've saved from your, your inky mop-ups or things that you've created. But then you're multi-layering them, uh, multi -layering them, should I say, to turn them into something incredibly three-dimensional that looks beautiful alongside any of the other elements. Next die, I love this one because you've got so many dies within that one set. And it's nice because they're kind of individual elements. So the rectangle is separate to the lattice, which could go... As a cut direct into your cardstock if you're wanting to. Then you've got your two circles. Your outer circle is a stitch detail circle, and then you've got a smooth line, which again creates that almost like porthole of um, elements if you're wanting to use those together, of course. Then, of course, you've got additional elements with this one. So you've got the stencil, the stencil that we just saw you being used just a few moments ago. Lovely geometric style as well, always very, very useful um, to have. Um, and it's a really good size as well. So if you're creating your cards, maybe your six by 
nice looks cards are beautiful but i think it's one that you could quite easily line up as well if you wanted to um, 15 centimeters square which actually is a similar sort of size to the paper pad so uh, just to give you an idea it's a good size there as you can see last one you've got obviously the shutter doors with that wonderful die sitting neatly in the center of the embossing folder they are all as one but it looks amazing love the little doors and if you have just jo joined us can i show you it's such a cute little idea this one you've got your brickwork detail which is beautiful and then the beautiful little shutters all attached there even with a little tiny detail of the kind of screw holes and the, all the detail within the shutters themselves brilliant value for money you're getting all of those for 28 pounds and 96 pence you'd usually be paying 11 pounds more for those so take advantage while you have the opportunity because it is a fabulous bundle that has been very very popular zero five zero five four zero quarter of the stock having gone with that one now the next set this is another one that julie really got excited about when she saw it in the box when everything was delivered and again you've got a nice combination so you've got a combination of dies you've got a combination of your stencils with these as well and again it's a clever clever set so the first one that we've got has got that scallop die in it now the scallop is separate to the rest of the die which means that a studio like I'm kind of saying you've got to use it in this particular way it gives you the opportunity to play around with it so that's going to create that lovely scalloped edge um, which you will be able to see on the card the packaging actually gives you a lovely example how you can work with this then you've got the floral content now the floral content is a strip there it actually cuts into your card so that means that you can position that anywhere you like now you might want to put it next to the scalloped edge or you might want to do it vertically you might want to do it horizontally you might want to build up a frame with this because you can do and that is the beauty of the this one it's going to attach to those elements as you can see there but then it's got that three-dimensional aspect where you're going to pinch up those little petals there and that scallop there running along the edge I like the idea of that multi-layer very effective and very easy to do very simple one again you're loving this particular set nearly a third of the stock has gone now of course we saw that build up um, die a few moments ago well this is going to work alongside it this time you've kind of got a base layer that you're going to build on so you've got your kind of formation of your stem with your leaves but then you're going to build the components up so this is going to create a lovely little topper that you could use as you can see they're very very effective with that one think about all the different colors you could be using with this one I mean, really, really pretty. It's almost got a bit of a pansy look about it as well. So I think introduce your purples with this one, your yellows, your blues, and get a totally different look with it. Really pretty design, a really good um, size as well with regards to that one. Gorgeous. And then you've got your die. Your die that is kind of part of them in a, another embossing folder. And this is one I think Julie might be working with in the next demonstration. And again, you've got that aperture with those little tiny holes around the outside, which are going to be so useful. And that gorgeous floral corolla, corner. And of course, these floral um, elements working so much with all the other things that we've got that we're sharing with you as well on this one as well. Really nice size, um, nice square front to a card maybe. Um, so again, it's 15 centimetres um, square. So if you are making a six by six card, it's going to sit there beautifully, isn't it? And a lovely little aperture there for you to pop up whatever you choose behind it. Then finally, you've got a lovely stencil again. So it's another almost like kit coming together with the beautiful little flowers. Again, the petals have got a geometric look to them. And again, it's 15 centimetres. So you can see the continuity through the range means that everything is interchangeable really really busy um, really busy well we are busy <laughs> busy for this and everything to be honest the phone lines are busy which you can see what is um, appearing at the bottom of your screen there but this particular set if you're wanting it um, at 10 percent not 10 percent 10 pounds saving on this one um, and it's been a popular one so one two seven four one six nearly a third of the stock has gone of that one and then finally some of the elements that julia was working with those lovely little washi tape rolls uh, in this bundle very very affordable at um, 10 pounds and 96 p and you're getting those 300 die cut elements within the paper pad which again so so usable and i love that the gorgeous pastel tones as you can see there but then you've got some quite earthy tones with these as well but saying that i mean these work really well together so you can see those two together i mean those although they're coming from the separate packs they look really really i've got to remember which one came with which now again that teal that teal is going to look gorgeous as well absolutely beautiful i love it and the idea of these you can use them in so many different ways i mean julia used them to attach some of the sentiments that she took from the paper pad but of course you can use them in all sorts you can put them together um kind of uh, to create almost like a rainbow um horizontal lines mixing them up if you're wanting to 
Take some of these elements, and it's nice because some of the washi tape there you will find wide enough for you to actually put these little um, sayings and phrases on top of. Um, so really, really pretty. And again, keeping that continuity going with that, um, say, with flowers range that we're looking at here. So all of these are die cut. So very easy for you to just simply pop out. You don't need any scissors. And there you go. Absolutely beautiful. Very, very popular as well. Nearly 40% of the stock has gone now. Wow, we are busy for that one. £10.97. If you want to go for a couple of them, just to maximise on that washi tape, then you can do. Just use the same item number over again. Busy for the journal dies as well. Now, um, we um, have obviously got these two dies coming together as a bundle, a half price deal. We'll just have a little chat with Julia. We're going to uh, have a little bit of a recap of these. Just in case you didn't see the show um, at 8 o'clock this morning, Julia did take these through the, the paces, showed us how it all comes together. Um, but it's really, really clever concept with these ones. Now, 197473 is the item number. We've got 24.99 saving on this one, but nearly 80% of the stock has gone. Brilliant value at 49.90 to be honest but the fact that you've got them at that half price deal is phenomenal so julia with regards to this one i mean these we were incredibly busy for mm. we're busy during this hour mm. as well so just to explain to people what we've right. got how does okay. it work just, just as a very very quick recap because obviously we're going to demonstrate other things as well so uh, this is one of the journal dies that you get okay. in, in the two because they're like they're like buy one get one free aren't they they are yeah, indeed yeah. yeah so so the outside um die here that's going to cut your base so um, this is my base, so cut that, so you want that on there like that, and you also at the same time, you see those little uh, uh, oh, the ridges little there, you put, you put that in as well and you run it through, line that up, put that through and then you get your blank, that's your cover. Okay. And what I do is I use my um, embossing tool, my scoreboard and just follow the lines down so that when you it just makes the, the, the score lines a lot uh, more, uh, the paper more pliable, the card more pliable. And when you fold it, this is what you get. That's fabulous. Yeah. So those pieces there are these dies here. And then I've decorated the back for some unknown reason. Uh, this is from the One Day Special. You've got Please Create and art, Artwork there, which are from this one. Um, you've got um, the little tiny eyelet dies here, so you can reinforce those, uh, which is a good thing to do because you're going to be stitching these with the, with your, probably with your um, twine or whatever. Um, so that's a really good thing to do for that. Then you've got your pages uh, die as well. So this, when you're cutting your pages, you'll use this die, and just like with your uh, cover, you've got little ni uh, uh, nicks there, and then you can pop this one in at the same time, line it up, run it through, and then you've got your pages for your okay. registers, okay? Um, so again, I run a bossing tool down, and then you've got, you can fold it, and then that's going to slot in with your other pages onto the holes Perfect, that you've yeah. got there. So you can get two registers in your uh, folder. It's up to you how many pages you put in. It depends on um, uh, how you're going to build them up. There's lots of embellishment dies. Uh, this is the middle one of those, which is quite beautiful. If you pop this one in, then you're going to be able to cut yourself a little pocket Very so you can one. tuck things behind if you want to which is quite a nice thing to do yeah or a tag or whatever we've also got somewhere a bow maybe i'll find it in a minute uh, which i used before you've got this here oh, which is your edge of die so all you need to do is pop it so that the outside cutting edge there is mm -hmm. just beyond the actual card and then you're going to get your decorative edges which is very Gorgeous. pretty you can use that in your card projects whatever you want to i don't know where the, the bow is but the bow is a really That's nice okay. uh, one to have as well so the, but there's lots in here this one here pierces a little hole and if you were to cut that out of i know studio light do uh, faux leather 
Oh, okay. Um, uh, for, for journal covers. Yeah. Uh, so that's quite a nice oh, thing to cut effective. out of the yeah. faux leather, and then you can actually uh, thread it onto your, your elastic that you put around nice, the sides. Like that's quite a nice thing to have. Uh, so, yeah, they do cram so much on, and this is just one of the two die sets that's it. in the bundle. Have you got yours to hand, the one that you showed us earlier on with the gorgeous oh, blue yes. cover? Just yes, to yes. show how it all comes together. Because this is the thing. Um, is it on the top, Julia? Yeah, I've got it here. You've got it. Perfect. Um, this is something that Julie shared with us as well because there's so many different scenarios and occasions that you could be creating these books. Giving them as gifts, um, creating them as little memory journals, memory albums, um, sharing family photos, which is a story that Julia was recounting in the last hour that she made one of these um, for her mum during lockdown with loads of photographs because obviously over 12 months, so many changes, isn't there? Mm. Not everybody has got all the kind of the video cameras and things like that. So no, no really my nice mum hasn't even got internet. So, yeah. so but this is, a, this is a similar one. This one doesn't have the right around but this is a similar one so you can see I've stitched it here uh, to add my registers in and and you know it's very easy to do um, and I've got my uh, pictures Aww. of my putty cat uh, in here uh, old old Eduardo or young <laughs> Eduardo so it's lots of pages there you can use your pattern papers as well but it's a really nice keepsake Definitely, to add to yeah. and uh, obviously across all the journal die sets that a studio like do you can mix and match mm -hmm. and bring other elements in you can indeed so thank you Julie thank you for taking us with that so you can understand why we have been so busy with those um, lots you're taking advantage of them the details are there on your screen this may be your last opportunity to get hold of them at that price on your screen so do not leave it too long but 80 percent of the stock has gone you can get those large dies to create your outer parameter also on the flip side of those dies it's a shame i haven't got them to show you but on the flip side you've actually got ideas and inspiration show, the package. show oh, mine on there, that Julia. one oh you are oh, she's a star i know <laughs> i do try I love working i'm trying to find the other one here's the other one and there this we go is, uh, the packaging as well i mean the fact that you've got your magnetic sheet on I think is brilliant but on the back of the packaging it gives you the idea of examples of how you can work Up with a bit markers, the little please. album that you've got just above those that kind of range <laughs> there we go there. there's your ideas of what you can make with them uh, but do go onto the Studio Light community Facebook page because uh, there are people on there that, that share lots of makes, sometimes ahead of time before we get oh, them. Right. because yes, because you said sometimes, sometimes they're out yeah, in the Netherlands yeah. before they're out here. So, um, yeah. And can you flip those around because you've got your magnetic sheets on? Yeah, I've got, I have my magnetic Only on this one, I haven't oh, used go. that one yet. I think but. this is ingenious to actually cut um, your magnetic sheets to size for the packaging and that way you're not going to lose any of those no, pieces. No, you know exactly what you... That but you know clever. exactly what it is and so you don't lose your inspiration yeah, either. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Really clever idea. So there you go, £24.99. Don't forget to add in those magnetic sheets which are at the bottom of your screen. So, all said and done, um, we're going to go back to Julia in just a few moments because she was all set up and then she had to swipe it all then away. Then you threw me away. <laughs> now, what are you up to next? Okay, so we're gonna, we, we have to use that other um, cut and emboss oh, um, do, yeah. folder uh, which is in the second bundle. So again, just going to run it through very quickly. I like to do this on air because I think you guys can see how easy it is and um, that I'm not doing it ahead of time and struggling. Slight and of hand or smoke and mirrors and things yeah, like that. Yeah, that's what I do do a lot ahead of time because it's pretty boring watching people die cut all of the time. Um, but yeah, this is just tremendous. So you've got your beautiful die cut oh, so with all the little holes. And, and your embossed detail. Let's see if I can get it right. So that's it. You got it. You got it. Beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. So can isn't we do it? all the techniques that we would potentially do, like you, where you're inking up the inside of the embossing folder and all that kind of thing? Yeah. yeah. Well, you, if you if you want to do letterpress, obviously you've got to be in, bear in mind that you've got um, uh, a die here. Yeah. Um, Obviously, we can now use that for something else. Um, so you just need to be aware of that. So you so might keep need, it away but, from that. But area. it doesn't matter too much because you can actually still wash that. It would right. be absolutely fine. Okay. Um, just give it a go. Yeah. Just give it a go. Definitely. But we're going to add ink on now on here. So we're going to we're just going to add a little bit of colour to the actual flower. So we've got a bit of the the kitsch Flaming, uh, flamingo. I can't. I struggle saying that name. <laughs> I wish you'd pick names that are easy to say. I think they, they probably they grow as time goes on, don't they? They They're, do, they do. It's pretty quirky names. So we've got a little bit of the pink, only, only a little faded bit, and we're going to use Twisted Citron. 
which is a lovely bright green for the kind of foliage around the outside. Oh, nice, nice and fresh looking. Yeah. Just to make it less dark. Obviously, you can just use it white if you want to. See, they're so beautiful that you can just use them in, uh, just leave them just white like we did in the last one. Mm -hmm. So pretty, and I love that dotted detail. I mean, yeah. it's just perfectly placed, isn't it, with those little holes? Yeah, so you've got that lovely space there for a sentiment if you want to. So that's my... Okay, so that's going to go on here. But before that goes on here, we're going to fill that space up. So I've oh, got okay. another piece of uh, card here. Because if you, if you, this is the sten one of the stencils from the One Day Special. Okay. So if you look at this stencil, look how fabulous oh, that's going yes. to look behind there. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to actually ink up this piece of card. Okay. And we're going to go on to mustard seed, I think. Ooh, now, um, of course, the stencil that um, Julie's working with, you've actually got two stencils um, in this one day special. Brilliant price at £17.97. Um, it doesn't just stop there, though, because you've got dies and you've got stamps with this one. So, literally, you've got everything that you need to create a project. So, the stencils, two good sized stencils, as you can see there. One has got that solid um, cut line around it, and the other one, as you can see, has kind of got that meandering look um, around the edge, which is pretty. Both of them really nice um, um, stencils. And, of course, these by the lovely Lou um, with us, who we regularly see here at Studio Light. But I love it that we've got kind of a different twist on um, using uh, all the different Studio Light elements in this house. To the side of that, you'll see that you've got the fabulous little stamp. So the stamp has got your butterfly feature on there, and it's a big size butterfly, quite a focal point with this one. And also, it's got nice lines on there that if you want to multi stamp this one, you could decoupage it up very, very easily. And you've got the creativity of adding the colour. So you could even use sepia tones, maybe to give it more of a moth like look, perhaps if using it for um, gents cards and then on the other side of the stencil you've got your dies now with this one you've got three dies some really pretty dies as well um, that you can be able to use alongside that main die but there's quite a lot of content in here you've got innies and outies decorative elements that you can use in so many different ways and with so many other collections but a really really good usable um, foundation for any project so if you are completely new to crafting maybe you're just thinking about getting a die cutting machine if you are make sure you tune in I think it's a week on Sunday um, because um, John is going to be back with a kaleidoscope um, die cutting machine, the Kaleido. So if you're thinking about getting a die cutting machine, make sure you do get involved during that particular hour. Check out the um, schedule. So um, what are we up to next? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just wittering. I lost my thread for a moment. Details for your one day special on your screen there, as you can see there, 148022. I was keeping one eye on uh, what Julia is up to because, uh, yeah, I'm nosy like that. <laughs> So, so I've just glued that behind and I've, I've kind of uh, made sure that that's nice and central. Lovely. And we're going to glue that in place and then Wonderful. we're going to pop a sentiment and this one's done. Do we need to consider what style of cardstock that we're working with when we're cutting out the dies? Uh, well, I'm using the Sentimentally Yours 270 GSM colour oh, plan so card. Way, yeah. So, yeah, it's a good way. It's a really good test, actually, um, I think, when you're using such good quality card mm. uh, that it does actually work. Um, but, I mean, that's that's my go-to card yes, whenever yeah. I'm doing any sort of die cutting or embossing. So all I'm going to do is just take the Say It With Flowers from oh. the, um, um, the, oh, the die cut the pad. pad. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Um, cause, and that's, that's all I'm going to do with this because we've got the beautiful detail on the embossing folder. So we don't want to hide all that. And it's nice because that die cut block, obviously with florals being the content yeah. to Say It With Flowers, you've got loads and loads of fabulous little um, con uh, connotations in there that uh, if you not, haven't necessarily got the right stamp to say what you're wanting to say, then you'll find one of those wonderful little pieces there. I love that. Very, very effective. Beautiful, love the colours you chose there as well. Nice, happy colours. It is happy, yeah. Like yeah. It. But, um, and of course, could have used pretty much any of the sentiments. You've got things like For You that we saw earlier on, uh, Love Life, Celebrate, as you can see there. Um, and these are all die cut elements. You've got two repeats of each one of these, so plenty of scope with regard to them. Three, um, where am I? 170 GSM. You've got 300 elements in there and some really pretty elements that you can be able to use in loads of different ways. All around that floral theme, which is lovely because that's why it works so well alongside the one day special and all of those additional pieces that we've been chatting about. 
but some really pretty designs there don't worry I mean that's a lovely little one there isn't it this is an inspirational and again here you can see how some of them have got the elements of the washi tape being used within the actual die cut element and there's nothing stopping you doing that with the washi tape that comes with this as well because you're going to get those gorgeous five meter reels of washi tape alongside these absolutely beautiful gorgeous love these very very pretty so uh, yeah pop those into your basket as well why don't you um and uh, this is what you're getting you're not just only getting that pad you are getting all of those uh, washi tapes in there as well um they're all in lovely little boxes and they've got beautiful tones with them all oh, so beautifully put together um and uh, you're going to love those particular ones so um if you're wanting to get hold of um those then do pop them into your basket but just give you a little bit of a recap some of the elements that uh, we saw julia working with this is the embossing folder with with the die all interconnected that Julia was working with and it is a brilliant price you've got a, a £10 saving on this one and you've got all four of these elements coming to you for that fabulous price £26 and 96 pence this is one of the kind of firm elements that you've got that if you've lost your crafty mojo and you've got a bit of time to do a bit of crafting you know you want to do some crafting but you've not got a specific occasion or person that you're working for but you just want something just to get you going just to get you started a bit of mindful crafting then this is a lovely um, die and um, embossing folder to kick start you to get you started because you might start off with that and then you might go on to start using inspiration from the colors that you've used with your inks to the papers that you're going to use for your flowers and again you've got the content of the the stalk the stem and then you're literally building them up it's almost like decoupage with dyes really clever and using up some of the tiniest scraps that you've got within your stash and it's always something nice to create out of those little we're well, not wasted bits because we don't waste anything do we but sometimes you've got pieces that are a little bit too small to use for other things then why not turn them into beautiful flowers as you can see um really nice set this one um so uh, yeah if you wanted to get hold of it just 26 pounds and 96 pence um, and you're getting a lot within here not only those two elements that we were just looking at but then you've got your stencil in here and you've got an additional die with that lovely scalloped edge as well which is going to be one of your go-to dies very useful little die to have that one one two seven four one six if you're wanting that one 26 pounds and 96 pence now of course in each of the one day special shows we are focusing oh i say we i'm just stood here talking julia is focusing on different bundles and this is the one that we're going to be looking at next so if you fancy getting hold of this one um, again you've got a lovely you usable die in there gorgeous floral uh, elements and of course that wonderful shutter die with the embossing folder together 28 pounds and 96 pence 050540 and we are still busy for those fabulous journal dies so if you missed out um, watching the demonstrations in the last hour julia did talk us through these earlier on but you've got more of an in-depth demo in the last hour at eight o'clock this morning but well over 80 percent of the stock has gone 197473 another busy hour julia yeah. and i must admit i do like this die that oh, you I do like with. this die here. Yes, I do like this one. die. So um, this is um, in the bundle with the with the uh, shutter, with the shutter yeah. embossing uh, folder. Um, and um, so with this one, I've used the outside cutting edge as well as the lattice die, and I've also cut this one because the 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 inside here, it, this one, you don't have to use that one, but the, all that one does is score. It doesn't cut. It has no outside cutting edge and no inside cutting edge. So if you were to just cut those two together, you're just going to get um, a blank circle in the center, which you may want. It's absolutely fine. If you cut it with that there, you're going to have a stitched blank circle in the middle. So Does is that it a make good sense? good idea to kind of cut them in their different combinations just to get it right yes, in your head? It is a good idea to just do just that like to get it in your head. Or something. Yeah, exactly. Well, well, I'm saying that if you do it at cards, I just, you'll use them. Exactly. That's yeah. exactly what I did, and that's what yeah. this is. Oh, right. Fair that's enough. exactly what this is. So when you cut all three together, that's all four, one, four together, you get this. Lovely. Okay. And uh, it's absolutely beautiful. So what you could do, if you don't want to stick them all down with glue, is you can actually have this as a, as a double-sided adhesive on a piece of card. Oh, yes. You'll pop that down and then you can just put glitter or, or uh, gilding flakes or microbeads or anything like in the gap. It's like a Moroccan tile, isn't it? It is you? like yeah. a Moroccan tile. It's absolutely away, beautiful. Useful. So we've got a few alternatives um, to, to do, and I'll show you them before I stick, because I can. <laughs> okay. um, so 
one of the die cut elements you can see that that's going to fit oh, somebody's thought about this haven't they inside there well it's part of the same collection isn't it yeah. it's part of the same collection so that's going to fit in there then you could bring in sentiment so you could bring in a sentiment from the die cut um, collection if you wanted to um, just to warn you this particular die set 40% of the stock has gone very very busy for this one so we could have, I don't know, forever together, uh, good day flowers it's got, uh, grow. I mean, you, you can bring in loads. This would be nice with oh, this yeah, as well. So, so, yeah, created with love oh, we could that's have. Nice. That's quite nice, isn't it? So just pop, you can just pop them out. Just be careful um, with the, the long, the, the, like with the little um, delicate parts of your flowers. But you could have just that could be a card oh, that, that you don't need anything else do you, you don't I mean, need anything beautiful. else you could just say that right so that's one alternative okay you could also bring in some dies so uh, last night uh, we had the celebrate new beginnings on it's in the six okay, and the eight right. um, show so it's this die this one here oh that's nice yes yeah, so and it's we've got you. good luck here and the good luck has got a back of die with it and the actual main uh, sentiment itself Lovely. so we could okay. actually pop that and as a sentiment just to mention as well obviously we're not focusing on this particular set during this hour but they are all available on the website so you haven't missed out on them so you can go in you can see it there and um, just on the left on your screen there 14 pounds and 97 pence if you want in that particular set you can add that one in even though we're not focusing it on it but, i mean that's such that. a bargain that's four pound 99 per die set is, yeah that is, yeah. That's when you just, look at this, a yeah, lot it's just in there, rude not yeah. to buy that. 14 <laughs> dies. Oh, now I didn't realise those other ones are in there. Oh, it's almost like a, um, like a, a lotus flower. The lotus flower, yeah. That's and so pretty. Yeah, and then you've got that beautiful edge of dye as well. It's, uh, that and would was, work well in the, the journaling yes, dyes, Yes, exactly. It? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, like that one, and a bargain, saving a tenner on that one, fourteen ninety-seven. So yeah, if you want to add that one into your basket, you can do. Um, it might be the one to add into your basket to take your basket through the sixty pounds threshold, because then you can spread the cost over mm. two pounds. Yeah. So that's a lovely card, isn't it? Just on its own like Very that. Pretty. Yeah. What we can also do is is and what I think is really really nice on here, and just requires a little bit. I mean, they don't require any effort. Yeah. The, this easy. is no effort. That's quick and easy. But we've also got, um, in the other bundle, in the one with the other uh, embossing folder, we've got this. Oh, this is a, yes. The, and I've put spray, my, yes. I've got mine on a magnetic sheet, but I've also popped it in a bag. Because these dies are so tiny mm -hmm. that they can move off your magnetic right. sheet. You have to be very careful that you don't bang them against something else. So I would recommend that you keep them in a bag on That's your magnetic sheet tip. as well. Good tip. Um, are we all right to carry on? Yeah. Yeah. Go for okay. It. So, so what what this one is is I and I've actually arranged mine in in the different elements. So this is the backer part. So that that's that part there. Okay. So I put that in the centre, and that's my layer one. That's my layer two. Those are my leaves, and that's my little centre bit. Oh, that's why I love working with you, Julia. <laughs> I, I have to have a method because otherwise you spend ages because I know that that's going to be my dark green, that's going to be a lighter green and then you want whatever colours you want. So I've done dark pink, light pink and yellow. So I know I've got, I've got to cut them. So when you stick them together, oh look at this, you get this. And I'm guessing because some of those pieces are quite small, so they I'm are. guessing it's a good idea to maybe have a session of making these up in different colours. Yes. So, so you've got them there already. Yeah, I would make them up. I wouldn't actually keep a bag of all the separate elements because yes. you will get lost yeah. and you won't know what belongs where. Um, uh, the leaves, the, the lighter leaves I put on uh, double-sided adhesive sheets and I also did the centres. You won't want to do that with the outside bit because, look, that oh, can lift up. Out. Yeah, that can lift up just like um, they like to do on a lot of yes, their flowers. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you can see that the, the, the back is completely green, yes. but that does help you with your positioning. Um, and I do quite like that. So, so this oh, is another so ver pretty. version. That will take you longer, mm -hmm. but it's quite therapeutic. So all we need to do is we could then grab our good look and put our good look yeah. in the centre of our circle. And then we've got that beautiful card. Beautiful.
absolutely gorgeous. I love that die. Mm, I mean, so do I. the packaging, it really does not no, do it No, you need to do it. I mean, obviously, I've gone the same yeah. colour way because, you know, sometimes I don't have a brain and I don't think. <laughs> and sometimes it is actually nice to do things exactly as they come. Yes. And then after you've done that, you've got your head around it of what needs to so go good, where. Yeah. Then you can diversify into different really colour ways. Advice, yeah. Really good advice that is, yeah. Um, and I love the storage aspect. Don't forget those um, uh, magnetic sheets as well um, because it will help you with regards to these. Um, very, very popular, this bundle. So if you're liking the look of it, the details are there on your screen, £26.96. Loads of different ways you can work with this one as a little bundle in its own right because you've got that gorgeous embellishment. You've got this lovely die to the side here as well, which I think is really, really pretty because you've got one element that's going to cut into your card. So the scalloped edge is going to create that lovely scalloped edge that you've got but then you can see that beautiful floral band almost there stays attached to your card and I think that's beautiful because you can see how those little petals just lift up and then you've got nice areas there so if you're wanting to add your own colour maybe you're into adding your colours with your, your watercolour pens or your alcohol markers whatever it is you choose then you are going to have some lovely ways of working with that one the embossing folder with the die cut element we saw that one being demonstrated earlier on again incredibly detailed with regards to it very very pretty really pretty design with regards to that one so that is something that's going to be very easy for you to work with and then the stencil and again this stencil it's a lovely mixture of kind of geometrics with the softer elements of the florals in really pretty and um, combination together and again all part of that 10 pound saving with this one Phenomenal value, 127416 if you are wanting to get a hold of these. Now, something that Julie was working with and showed us so many different combinations, those 300 elements that you've got in that die cut block. You're going to be able to use those so many times, aren't you, with all those different bits and pieces, little sentiments, little floral accents. And it doesn't stop with that um, die cut block because you are getting those beautiful washi tapes there. Whole variety of different colours. And it's lovely because although they are separate sets and they come in separate little boxes, the muted tones all work together. And then, of course, that paper pad, we saw Julia working with so many different elements there. And they're all perfectly sized to work with the dies and the embossing folders that we've been seeing during the show. So if you fancy that one, you know in very good company, £10.97, 735134. Now, we've been incredibly busy with regards to those journal dies as well, so I'm just going to refresh your memory of how they work. We've only got a few moments left in the hour, but 80% of the stock has gone. £24.99 is your price. It's your saving as well. It's a half price to it, and you're getting 40 dies with these. Now, if you have just joined us, you've joined us at a good time because you can still get hold of them, but you might have missed Julia talking through them. So we've only got a few moments with regards to these now. So I'm going to hand over to Julia. She will explain to you how these work. Whether we'll have any left at four o'clock, though, Julia, I don't know. Probably so, not. yeah, go for it. Probably not. OK, so I've been asked to recap this again. So that's what we're going to do. So this is the journal die that I made up um, in the eight o'clock hour. So... Um, they do cram so much on these journal sheets. It's, it's amazing. There's no wasted metal at all. So what you need to do is to, you choose your cardstock. And I'm using, again, the, the, the colour plan from Sentiment to yours, the 270 GSM. And if you pop that and run it, before you run it through, you grab this little one and you've got little nicks there and little nicks there. Those little nicks don't actually cause an indentation no, or anything, do not they? at all. Not okay. at all. They're just so that you can line it up so you line up these and you run it through and then you've got your your beautiful uh, design in the background and then you've got these here and these are for you to put your registrations in so they're for you to put your papers in because okay. you need to be able to stitch them into something and just reinforce them with uh, your, your embossing tool on your um, a scoreboard just so the paper's got more of a crease Good and to then break, break the fibers isn't yeah, it? yeah to break the fibers and when you fold it this is what you've got so, so you see thing. you've got your book there so i've used the these three dies here to decorate the flap uh, i've used the uh, one day special stencil uh, on here uh, <laughs> don't ask oh, me why i did this uh, this is the one day special die we've got create artwork and you've got the create the artwork and the two layers within here as well you've also got your double reinforcement rings which are really good for your stitching to make sure that your card doesn't break when you stitch them in and do these dies and these journals work alongside the other range because we see a yeah. lot of these yeah. style they dies, work don't they? they work alongside all all of the i mean obviously all of these little bits in here you can use on your card making yes, anyway yeah. but yeah you can mix and match you'll find 
find that, that most of the journals are exactly the same size. I mean, this, this second one is different because this one, um, this is your spine and you'll actually um, glue your, um, your page or your, your um, front to the spine. It's almost like and a wrap around. Yeah, and then, yeah. Well, then you'll put another one at the back. Lovely. So there'll be two of them. Brilliant. And it's all detailed on the packaging. Yes, You've got it some is. fabulous illustrations there. Loads of support through social media as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, you can invest in, um, in those and uh, find yourself using them loads and loads of time. Julia, it's been a pleasure as always. I love working with Where you. Where did that hour go? I know, it just flew by, didn't it? You're back at four o'clock, though. Back at four o'clock with totally different stuff. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, so, yeah, you can have yourself a cuppa. And we'll, we'll see you a little bit later on. So make sure you do join us. Of course, the one day special is um, the main focus of um, these hours. Back at four o'clock, that will be your final call. It's the last opportunity to see your one day special live. But of course, you'll have through until six o'clock to take advantage of it before we launch another brand new one. Anything in your baskets, especially if it's those journal dies, you need to be checking your baskets out. Don't forget, we're down to our last 20% of the stock of those. Four o'clock, we may well not be able to share them with you. But if you've got them, check them out now. Oh, we've got a lovely hour coming up. The Daisy B Crafts Girls are in. Then I'm looking forward to the next hour because we've got 35 Design Space Marbling. And then a Jelly Bean Crafts Inspiration. Ooh. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B. Silkworks shows. Did you know you can continue watching the craft store 24 hours a day, seven days a week for free using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you will need your router's password at hand, whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type the craftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcasts and access to previous shows. Now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite TV shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Here we are then on Saturday afternoon with Daisy B Crafts, who are Nina and Josie. Good afternoon, welcome back. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Well, I have to say it's lovely to meet you as well because I don't think we've met before. Have no, we, we haven't. This which is, is fantastic. Time. So can I be nosy for a second? Daisy B, tell me everything I need to know in 30 seconds. Go, go on, Josie. Oh, gosh. Um, so we're a family run company. Yeah. Uh, me, Nina, and our middle sister, Faye, dad, and our chef, um, my dad's partner. Yeah. We manufacture our own designs, um, everything's designed in house 
house, your images, your sentiments, everything, and it's all made in house as well. And we just have a, a really lovely following, and we just like to bring everybody something different. So how does Faye get away with not being here? Uh, she's she's your brains behind it. She's, oh, I see. She's business. Yes. You're Nina's. the beauty. She's the brains. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't say it. I didn't Ooh. say it. No, I like nearly have got a slap from a distance all yes. the way from Barnsley there. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, so the collection that we have got um, today, or uh, the general theme we've got here, tell me a little bit about that. It's Matt. So, yes, it's Father's Day coming up. Yes. But a lot of the time, you know, when we're doing shows and things like that, we get asked loads and loads um, about men's things. You know, yeah. I'm, I struggle with a man's card. Mm -hmm struggle no more because we brought it for you yep. fabulous i'm <laughs> glad you said that because almost every birthday card i get from other members of my family who make their own cards and they make amazing cards don't get me wrong don't shout at me don't slap me anyone but they always have either a sailing boat or a racing car yes very beautiful images but very generic i've never had either and never been interested in either yes. i've never played golf <laughs> so again, that's that's another thing that pops up on cards for me all the time. You're going to love this. Do you know if this was Dragon's Den right now, you'd all be saying, "I'm in. I'll make <laughs> you an offer," because you're going to love these. Seriously, I think they're really, really good. Because uh, as well, without them being too stereotypical, they're yep. not too kind of like. I don't know what I mean. They're like trendy bloke. You know, like yes, there's a yes. clothing brand, and you'll know it, called Joe Brown's. Other clothing clothing brands yeah, are available. I know exactly. You know, they come yes. along, yeah. and they're colourful, and they're bright, and they're different. Yeah, yes. And they are masculine. They do great things for men. They add them some colour. Yeah. This is your kind of card making equivalent, I think, of clo oh. Joe Brown's yeah, and clothing. Yeah, definitely. It's I think they're very. The sorry, I'm going to interrupt you. The Go on. the one with the the all the gents with the flat hats and things like yeah. that. Like people think, oh, it's it's old fashioned, but they are so on trend. Yeah. Our granddad Les, he's wore a flat hat probably for the last eighty years of his life. Yes. Yeah. But yes. I also <laughs> see like young people my age wearing them and I think then you could send that to anybody and think and they would yes. it's just a fashionable gent rather than it have to be in, you have to like fashion do you know what I'm saying yes. it's it's not something to just be I, I know what I mean <laughs> yeah, no, 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 I absolutely know what you mean it's contemporary at the same time as being kind of really authentic as well uh, without being too stereotypical or twee or racing car-ish. There's nothing wrong with <laughs> yes. racing cars, don't get me wrong, but if you've never had an interest in that kind of thing or whatever, you kind of think, okay, it's another racing car card. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes in the drawer. Right, so let's go back to where we started then, shall we? Or let's start where we should. Uh, let's start with Absolute Gen. Now, I love this because the whole moustache thing um, is brilliant. Everyone can relate to it, you know, into being dressed in your finery and yeah. everything else. I, I love the whole kind of, you know, the whole pocket watch vibe, the whole sort of nouveau smart kind of theming going on here. I love it. It's brilliant. Um, it's a big old stamp as well, by the way. Let me show you. Um, I know that packaging probably does represent ab absolute um, size. Let me see if I can put something white behind that for a second. Card. You won't be able to see it. It's got invisible. Let me just show you there. I'll get you some black card in just a second. But can you see the real meaty, big, big stamps? Um, what, what are your stamps made of? Photopolymer. Beautiful. Yep. Lovely. So they're high quality as well, so you, you always get a really crisp, clear image. That's why we can do um, or, like the final lines of your stamps is because they are made out of the photopolymer. They're thick as well, hey? They are. They really are, like beefy. Yeah. Josie makes them. I make them. She's the Do manufacturer. You? Yeah, I manufacture them. Yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. They are actually. They feel like real, really gutsy stamps. Like you don't feel like you have to be, you know, sort of precious with them yeah, or whatever. Yeah, you do. They've got. They've definitely got a, what I would class as a backbone. Yes. They've. They've That's got. The word. Yeah. Backbone. They've got a backbone. <laughs> I love that. Um, seven stamps in this. This is going to be such a busy hour. I can see it already. Uh, five six seven four three eight is your item number. There sixteen ninety nine. That's called Absolute Gen. Now I'll pick up pace if that's all right with you because we've got lots to see in this show, um, and, and I'm really fascinated by you guys as well. I, I love. This is why I love being here because I'm fascinated as much with the people behind uh, the brand as as the images you've got themselves. This is a crafter's dream, is it not? If you're looking for something for a masculine card. And 
and you've done all of the obvious, you know, you've done all of the sailing boats and the racing cars and whatever, this is absolutely brilliant. Even though this has a car, let's turn the car around so that you can see. Oh, blimey, now this is a car, isn't it? This is a bit of a vintage kind of like, you know, if you had money back in the day kind of car, yeah. this, isn't it? Yeah. I think Ooh. everybody can appreciate this type of car, yeah. whether you like cars or not. Yes. It's like you can you can appreciate the beauty and the way this one's um, dad's design. Uh -huh. And the way that it's been designed, we, we call them like stylized lines. So it's very like singular lines, but they, they pop, if they're, they're simple but punchy. Let me let me find you a car. Ooh, that, no. yeah. I love that one. He was oh. really happy with oh, himself, oh, oh, weren't he? Yeah. <laughs> when he did that, he yeah. held his sample up. What yeah. do you think, girls? And he's like, I don't know if you can see it on the sample, but he's actually um, glossy accents the car. Yes. Like, okay, come yeah. on now. And the shoes, look. He's <laughs> proper he, proud. Sometimes yeah. when he does a good card, Dad's like, well, you don't have to encourage me. And sometimes when he does a good one, I'm like, Dad. Yes. That's it. That's that, the one, and that, that's how I felt about it. Let me just show you it in a different sort of um, kind of way. I love this, like the whole kind of chalkboard in the pub kind of look. Yeah, definitely. I love this. It's really, really good. And again, this isn't a racing car. No. This is this is like your this is the car everyone aspires to. This is the car you see once every blue moon. I'd have one of these now. cars. Of course yeah. you would, definitely. Would. You would love to travel in something like that, wouldn't you? So that six steps, you also get the gent, the classic and the top the top guy with the Yura um sentiment there as well. So you can um mix them up. I love this. I love the boldness of the font as well. It's really, really good. Um sixteen ninety nine. You're gonna have to shut me up in this show by the way because <laughs> it's gonna be one of those. I'm sorry, Kate producer Katie as well, because she's like, Well you know we have a counter to do and we only have an hour, don't you? But this this because this happens so rarely that we have like a like a gents corner. Um I work for another company where it talks with footwear and we very rarely do shows for the gents there. So when I do it, like, I know for card makers, really difficult. There's certain kinds of blokes that it's so difficult. Like, what do I put on their cards? They're not flowery. They're not animally people. Like, what on earth do you do <laughs> apart from, like, plain stripes and lines? It's really difficult. OK, next up, sorry. Um, I'm really on my really on my soapbox. I've really woken up now. <laughs> um, double eight seven one six eight. This is brilliant. This feels like it's grown up. Yes. Yes. Yeah, very much so. And you mentioned the chalkboard theme. Well, this is the whole idea behind these sets is to do chalkboard theme. So later on, you know, you've got your gin and your oh, yeah. cocktails coming up as well. So a full set. You've got a complete bar coming up. Yes. Uh, so uh, <laughs> this is why this show had to be um, after after the uh, after the midday at least. Do you know what I mean? It makes you it, want to drink. Yes, it does. <laughs> it does. Actually, responsibly one yes. at a time, of course. Yeah. Um, so this is really, really cool. I love those um, those kind of beer bottles because, again, you can personalise those. You yeah. can yeah. make them absolutely the character of that person. If that person drinks a particular type of thing, it could yeah. be a cider, a stout, a well, lager. Yeah, a I, was, I was just going to say, as much as this is um, a, a manly Father's Day type show <laughs> with you gents, I, Nina likes a beer. I do like like beer. you wouldn't have yes. to just because and it's cider. a beer bottle. Yeah. yeah, it wouldn't have to just be a gents card. It's an no. all rounder. That's very true, actually. And this one, absolutely love because this is really really good. Now uh, remind me the stamps that are in with this one. Um, so yes. So it's on the rocks and it's old fashioned. And old fashioned was the thing that I was going to key in right now because you go to any really kind of groovy funky steakhouse, you will definitely, before you sit down to your ribeye or whatever it might be, you'll have an old fashioned, won't you? Yeah. Because yeah. it's one of those things you don't do all the time when you're at home and everything else, quite apart from buying all the ingredients and everything yeah. else. But when you're out for a steak or something like that, really lovely to have. So I love the whole vibe here. Again, you can personalise that bottle to what is the favourite tipple of that person? Yep. Yes, what is, definitely. What is the bottle that they would go for? Um, I think this is really good. I just, I love the artistry on it. I think it's just, it's uh, everything about it. Wow. I mean, I've got samples galore here. Every one of them is just a blinking genius, let me tell you. <laughs> I just, I just love that. It's beer o'clock. And that's, and that's <laughs> mixing up in with the, the clock from the first stamp set. Um, as well as knit on that one. Yes, yes. I I want, when I'm designing, I like to make sure that everything will um, roll into the other one. This is genius. 
can I just say to you, and I know, you know, some of what we have on the show today is new, some of it we've seen before but in different configurations, but I just feel like, oh my word, you know when you've been thinking, where are all of, where are all of the sort of masculine things? It's like, <laughs> where has this been all our lives? Do you know what I mean? Um, it feels like no one else is doing anything like this as well. Do you know what I mean? Okay, have a look at the next um, selection. So it's three stamps here. I love this because it's got a very kind of, um, it's got a very strong theming to it. Yeah, yes. It's very full of character. Um, and, and this is good because it's strong. Do you know what I mean? It's got a yes. strength yes, to yes, it. Yes, yes, you do, yeah. 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 I think it's a really... I'll go. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Glad I'm over um, here. <laughs> I really love this set. This is one of uh, the ones that we've brought back to you purely because of how popular it is. And I think it works so well, again, with Dad and his stylized lines, works so well with the brick background as well. Yeah. It's a really, really staple piece in your kit. Yes, it is. And I don't think that you, it's not something that you'd be like, oh, I must buy one of them. But when you see it, you think... God, I can use that so many ways. Yep. And your sentiments that go with it, uh, that you've got your dapper of a blinder of a birthday, birthday guy and looking sharp. Again, as much as it's Father's Day coming up, you've got gent's birthdays. Yeah, yeah, of course. Anything to do with a man in your life, yep. brothers, fathers, sons, it's, it's there for you in yep. that set. And, and also, because you've got such breadth of choice, it, it means you can almost have a theme for those kind of key figures in your life, you can continue that theme. It's like an ongoing story. Oh, what will the cards say this year? What will the card, well, well what's the drink gonna be this year? You know, yeah, what, whatever yeah. it is, you can mix and match it together. I love it. I mean, if you look at the sentiments, there in the middle, I mean, I, you wouldn't call them sentiments. You almost need a new name, don't you? Yeah. Yes, because they're really yeah. not sentiments. Do you know what I mean? They are, but they're not, because they've got that completely different character. Um, I love this, and so do you. Over 20% of the stock has sold out already on this one. 027149. It's £19.49. and pence. I'm so excited about this. It's so, so good. It is like, do you know what? If you wanted to start a really, really trendy bar, you'd have everything you needed here to theme the bar. Yes. Or a gents, um, one of, somebody's done a sample <gasps> for a gents barbershop. Barber. Shop. Yeah. Tattoo. And it looks, yeah, it looks Tattooist. amazing. Yeah, I've, I've seen her do it. We'll Hang have to on, post you, a picture. You don't call them tattooists anymore, do you? There's, there's some, there's what some you, new. What do you call them? Is, if is you there don't like a, a new phrase oh, for Oh, I don't know. You know, like, like you don't call a pub a pub anymore, do you? It's always like a, a bar or a bistro or a da 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 da. Microbrewery. Microbrewery. Yes. 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 This is all microbrewery stuff. Oh yeah. Well, you know what it is. It's very. I mean, look at that. That's so so cool. Isn't I love it? doing that sample. It, awesome, isn't it? Yeah. It was one of the when Nina brought out the gin set to start with. I wanted to show it as. Um, something that wasn't on a card yeah. because you could put that a lot of people especially through what we've been going through have had um, their home home bars yeah. made it think you would put that on your wall you oh, could yeah. send that to somebody that had got a, a bar that that would be yeah. perfect well the, the, the funny thing is there three years ago no one would have ever heard of a ballon you know the big goldfish bowl gin oh, glass yeah. that's yes. what they're called ballon no one would have known that I didn't. Whereas I'll be now. honest. No, I didn't. Well, I still now. didn't even know now. Now, now everyone's got. A, that's what you need to buy next time. Then go and buy a set of Ballon. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and, and they're the big gin glasses. Look at these. Now look at everything you've got going on. Seven huge stamps. I have to say they are enormous stamps. But that means actually, I think because oh, so I don't want to do the obvious, but actually with a with a guy's card, it kind of feels like size does matter. Doesn't it? Yeah. Like if you make a card for a guy and it's and it's a little titchy, yeah. You kind of think, what's he going to do with that? Um, do you know what I mean? If it's a, you know what I mean though, don't you? If you're a guy, you always expect because the the cards that you get, the traditional cards with the sailing boats and the, the racing cards, they're always they're they're big sizable cards, aren't they? I just love this. I think it's really really good. Again. Um, the imagery on it, I mean, I want to take you through a couple more of the samples if that's all right, and I'm so, so sorry, and I'm going to let you get ready to set up <laughs> in just a second. Um, but just look at the possibilities. You know what, even if you're re-theming your kitchen and you're just trending it up, I mean, how yeah. many of us have got these kind of sort of little paddle boards that you serve food on and whatever, yeah. 
because it's really cool. You know, the wine bar down the road did it, so why shouldn't you have a bit of that in your life? Yeah, I would. That's really cool. That's why you put them up in your kitchen. It's perfect. Yeah, that's really good. And what did you stamp those out in? Uh, it's just white embossing powder with the so the Versamark and white embossing powder. Just make sure when you're working on, because um, I've painted it with uh, black chalkboard paint. Yeah. Um, that you um, dry anti it? anti static bag and make sure it's really dry before okay. you emboss over it. So it's otherwise nice and it's clean. just yeah, otherwise it's just a big white mess. Snowstorm. <laughs> yeah. But look, it doesn't have to be necessarily masculine either, does it? Because that. That's either way, isn't it, really? Yes, definitely. I, I love this set. It's just amazing. <laughs> I know either way is probably not the right phrase, but you know what I mean. My heart was there. Uh, 357438 is the item number. I've never seen Daisy B before, I have to tell you, and I'm mightily, mightily impressed by what I see. The quality of the stamps, the theming of the imagery is brilliant. Everything keys to, and strings together so beautifully. To get all of that for 4249, um, again, is epic, and there's so many ingredients. Ac approaching 20% of that, and that's on Flexi as well, by the way. So you can do that for two lots of 21, 25 with PMP on your first payment, and this will come straight out to you. Oh, dearie me! Right, I'm nearly there. Okay. I'm nearly there. <laughs> I am loving this, Nina. I'm going to let you get ready for demo, if that's yes, all right. Yes, fabulous. Um, um, because yes, because I, I must shut up. But I'm loving everything that I'm seeing here. This is brilliant. <laughs> no, but you were thinking it, Katie, weren't you? I know you were thinking it. Right, OK, I'm going to turn that around just so it makes it a little more readable for you at home. There we go. So, this is something that we've uh, seen before. Now I know why it wasn't stood up like that. Um, this is something you've seen before. So this is the special square. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, because I've got it here at the back. Sorry, Holly, for me faffing. I'm just going to take that back a bit, and I'm going to show you the actual stamps because that doesn't really give you a true representation of size-wise what we're talking here, because that is what we are talking. And you never would have imagined that from the, from the packaging that you just saw there. Uh, but they are, yeah, do you see what I mean? That is meaty, meaty, meaty. Now let me switch, whiz this round, I always get this wrong. Whiz this round so you can actually read it, ish. Birthday fun, let's have returns, new year, congratulations, special day to yours from our house, season's greeting. <gasps> They've said Christmas already. Uh, but brilliant for all year round. Nice that it gives you a big frame to work with as well. I love that. Well, listen, I'm not just saying this for effect, but I love everything that we've got on the show as well, and I want to see more and more and more, and I'm sure you do as well. So this set, £17.99, and pence with a nice Freedom Flexi there as well. Uh, a Freedom discount, should I say. 950567 is your item number for that. Right, now I've got to quickly show you one of the most bonkers seven-day savers I think I've ever seen. And don't forget, this will expire at 7.59 and 59 seconds in the morning because we uh, launch, obviously, a new set of seven-day savers tomorrow. But a litre of Kalal All Purpose, a litre for 15.99. Now, you know the regular size bottle that you buy, and you might buy it here or you might buy it, you know, in stores where you buy this kind of thing. How much do you pay for your... I don't know, what is it, 200, 300 mil, whatever the regular size of all purposes with Kalal. Uh, I think I've paid seven, eight, nine pounds, even with someone where, you know, that was considered a value buy. 15.99 for a whole litre of all purpose. How far is that going to go for you? It's brilliant. We also have, in our seven day savers, black card. We do. Matte black, A4, 50 sheets of 300 GSM. Word. 9.99 so basically half price until tomorrow morning or until it sells out one way or the other that will be gone tomorrow morning by 8 a.m in your seven day savers right okay back to daisy b and i'm loving everything about this right nina where are we yes. going first right we're going to do a chartboard inspired card brilliant um, and we're going to use the beer o'clock set so what i've got i've got all my they're already laid out on the um I can't get blocks. that. Yes, that's the one. Uh, so I'm just going to go in now with some Versafine. Now, I've already anti static the area okay. like three times just to really doubly make sure that okay. I've done it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, so we're going to go in first with and a nice. So I'd been getting really frustrated recently because I'd been using a Versamark that wasn't very juicy. 
So uh, okay. the be the juicier the better for these kind of things. Yes, because actually the the line um, the line art on these stamps is quite fine. You, well, I think that I, th I don't think there is a thick line. But oh, uh, yes, there's lots and lots of detail. Yes. But I mean, uh, in general, uh, the stamps have got have got quite bold lines on them. If you look, you know, broadly yes. through them, but there's yes. loads of detail. And we've got lots of nice wide open spaces as well, which yeah. I quite like in these. So then you've got Definitely. plenty of room to do some uh, get creative with your colours. Well, I was just thinking, because you've got the uh, beer bottle there, there will be the bottle tops that you've got from the, your favourite whatever it is yes. that you can incorporate into the card. That's just <gasps> popped into my head there. Yeah, that would be a cool one. These, you could just do so many things with these. I, I think they're so good. Um, even if, you know, I did design them myself. They're, just, <laughs> they're an awesome idea. And it is so on trend right yeah. now. You know, yeah. it really, really is. Like I said, the whole microbrewery and yeah. uh, things like that. And You've got a little bit, you've got your beers, but then you have got those trendy whiskies that are, mm -hmm. and the gins, they're all yeah. they're really big and really in. So, yeah. and, and we're all, and you've picked perfect timing for this as well, because we've all been so without these things, which yes. actually are a real pleasure. You yeah. know, at, at, at the moment, I'd say personally for me, it would be no pleasure sitting outside in the cold in a bar and waiting no. until you can go in and whatever. But yeah, I'll have an old fashioned, thank you very much, just to rekindle the memory. Yes, well, that'll definitely keep you warm, won't it? Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> so then you've got these accents uh, for the outer edges. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to go, we're doing them all in, in one go, and then we'll just run the embossing powder over the top you see so but i just wanted to show you just how easy it is to create something like this you know because you have a lot of people at home that will be you know thinking oh i don't think i'm going to be able to achieve that but it is it is very you know it's a, it's a good one to start off with As so long as you've laid your the dust down on the bottom. So you're confident that the, that the juice is going to last through all the stamping that you're doing? Well, you've said it now, haven't you? I oh, know. <laughs> now you've made me nervous. And, and, and you know, Kate, Katie in my ear wants, wants me to update people on something that's happening, but I won't do it right now because I'll, I'll wait until we're I'm going to do this, this now. I would have left it, <laughs> right? But you've made me nervous. I was nervous. worried for you. That's all it was. But so that you know was what? the first one, look. Like so magic. that's definitely uh, stayed, hasn't it? Now, this would have been white, but um, as a lot of people who have watched us before will know, I'm me and nothing stays white ever. <laughs> um, so I'll just give that a dust round. So what was the ink you used again? See, I've put my fingers on it there. This is a Versamark. Right. And this is then, why you should have it. Yes. There we go, look. So then you just want your sentiment on. There we go, look at that. So we'll pop our sentiment on the middle. Well, right, I, I'll have to tell you now, right? Okay, so tell me. I've obviously been using the wrong type of um, embossing clear ink before, because I'd have barely got through one. Right, okay. And it would have... Dried. Yeah. It's okay, Paula's educated me since on the whole Versa Mark and uh, all the rest of it, so it's, it's yes. fine. She's awesome, she's been doing a little, the the shows hasn't she with the what to use yes which are super absolutely saved my life super informative so that's your last one the beer o'clock in the middle and I've just messed that up but it's okay so we'll go back over it but yeah you've got if you've got a nice juicy um, ink you'll be fine right because I've you just know, put my fingers you know all over it you you'll have to do a um You'll have to do a wine o'clock as well. Although wine o'clock has different connotations sometimes. Wine o'clock. You know, sometimes when you get strange texts from people, uh. they're a bit bolder than they would normally be, and you go, oh, hello, is it wine o'clock? <laughs> <laughs> so, this one, rather than um, doing the drying on air, we've yeah. already done it prior. Brilliant. So, this was all done. Right, okay, so just to colour it in, um, I have two. Um, metallic pencils and then I have these uh, these are Carbothello pastel pencils uh -huh. now these create that look that, same, that you that, want that chalkboardy yes. kind of look they are so I love the fact you called the beer soup is that, is that extremely Barnsley uh, well yeah <laughs> let's let's get soup in <laughs> <laughs> lovely love it so I'm just gonna go in and the beauty 
I love using these because, watch, you just get that, get your finger and rub oh. it over the ice cube look, and you're not colouring for ages and ages. You've g you've given it that hint, that chalkboard look. Genius. Yeah. Love that. We all need some of those. So I'm just going to add a little bit of, you know, a couple of different colours there for a bit of depth. So I'll just rub that in again, going with the blue. You don't have to be precise with them either. Again, another thing I love about the whole chalkboard look. So then we're going to go in, we'll have a, oh, this is a very orange whiskey. <laughs> yeah, these Ooh. are awesome. See, my granddad who's watching now, he, uh, he likes a whiskey. In fact, there's never much whiskey left. <laughs> but he has a drop in his tea, you see, for medicinal purposes. Oh, he okay. says, he says. Right. Um, Just for special occasions, one yes. of those, is it? So you can see there, you've got your whiskey coming along nicely. And then we're going to go in with the... Now, if you didn't want to colour it all in, you could just do a hint at the sides. It's just to sort of show that that's the colour oh, I should, inside. I should probably say, just because you have to these days, that uh, your granddad isn't medically trained and uh, can't no, substantiate the medicinal properties of uh, whiskey. No. <laughs> this is I all know, true. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have laughed already, but, <laughs> but it's one of those things that, unfortunately, you have to point out the blinding obvious these days. Yes. No, you're right. There we go. Look. So you've got another one, but can you see just how quickly this is coming yeah, together yeah. now? I love the look. It's looking cool, isn't it? So I'll just go in with just a little hint around here. Right. So, so while you're while you're uh, doing that, I get yes. a chance to be extremely nosy because that's what I'm here. I think that's why I'm booked. Okay. Because I'm very very nosy. Um, so, uh, where does the uh, uh, the art spring from in the family? Then, where does it originate? Um, so my dad. Right. Um, and, and what's his background then? Uh, he's a he's an engineer. Um, so my dad. So, but he does. You know, he likes drawings. It it is something that I don't know. I've grown up with him doing portraits. Right. Um, to which I do now. Oh, and okay. I, so I, I love it and I don't know, we just bounce off each other. He'll sit there with his pencil and, you know, do what he, he, yeah. he's doing and then I can show him something and he'll, I don't, just show me, oh, that's not quite right, it could do with him there. And yeah, yeah. He's, um, yeah, he, he really, he's been an inspiration definitely when it he comes to He sounds like a art. character, I think we need him in one day. A character. Oh, does he? Come in, yeah. Oh, does he? Yes. Yeah. He's, uh, he hides out in his little, in, well, in our workshop a minute, he'll be sat behind yeah. his computer chuckling to himself, he probably will. thinking about all the different designs he can come up with for machinery and for stamps. There's oh, just... God, honestly, he sits there, he's like... Um, a particular Disney character's um, father. Oh, okay, yes. Um, yeah. You know, the, yeah. the eccentric inventor. inventor. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, yeah. you know, now he's into his, uh, I'm going to, he, he did a little dance the other day about doing a um, two-wheeled tractor. Yeah. I'm going to make a two-wheeled oh, tractor. nice. So this is the kind of stuff that, um, you know. There's not much very way here goes. No. Like. But, you, but you know, th see, that this is in the craft market because there are so many people doing so many different things. A lot of things follow very variations on a very similar theme one way or the other it's very difficult to stand out and i think this is brave this is bold this is different you look at it and you think gosh why hasn't somebody else done anything like this before like i feel like i've seen nothing like this before Aww. in the craft industry i love it that's good that's what you know that's what we aim to do we, we want to be different and, and it, honestly in everything that i i do that is what I strive to be different and sometimes you know it takes people a long time to sort of get on board with yeah. with changing and being that little bit more quirky but definitely I, I'm here that to... northern spirit that's what it is yeah where we're talking drink here but <laughs> but yeah I just want to show people that you know you can step away from the norm and do something yeah. and, it, and it looks awesome but also you you filled a, a, a niche really there it's so difficult you know, it's not even men of a certain age, it's men of every age that are really difficult to make cards for. Yes. Really difficult. Unless they're, you know, toddlers and whatever, and you can do cutesy teddy bears and things like that. But then when you get past that stage, it's like, okay, what next? Well, I, I literally have uh, something for all my grandparents and my mm -hmm. father-in-law and my husband it, in these sets. I've yeah, got yeah. something for everybody. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And that is the finished card. And, and how wonderful is that? Because it's got that... 
See, that's a card you keep. That's the difference between, you know, a, a card that you would just go, oh yeah, very nice, goes on the goes on the shelf with the others, and then you know what you do when yes. close your ears, everyone. <laughs> you know what you do. Even sometimes with handmade cards, what people do is they gather them up and go, well, I keep that one from so and so, keep that one because it's from so and so, and the rest kind of make their way somewhere, don't they, yes. into the big miscellaneous <laughs> filing in the sky. Um, See, that's the difference, isn't it? Because that card you would keep and treasure forever, wouldn't it? You'd write the date, what was the year on the inside of it, wouldn't you? Because it's, it's awesome. something you really would value. Um, I love that. Now, we've had a an email in from Heather. Hello, Heather. Oh, saying lovely. that, uh, saying that, I was saying that the girl, your dad's. Yes. Amazing. And one oh. of the kindest people ever. He is. He really, really oh. is. That's and it's very kind of you to say, Heather, as well. Thank you. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. What? What's his name? Roy. Roy. Yes. Roy, you're amazing. <laughs> I haven't even met you, and I kind of know the person that you are already. I kind of feel like I know you already through <laughs> through this. Do you know what I mean? That that makes sense. Right. Um, uh, we're going to. I think we're going to swap places. Yes, aren't we? we are. We're going to trade. I, I'll I'll have a little wander down the counter again. Um, if that's all right. So, should we start at the beginning? Absolute gent. Love this. Really, really good. Um, love the bow tie and the whole moustache thing, because that really, you know, for someone who is that dapper gent, this is really, really good. And it's got that lovely sort of um, pocket watch in it as well. Really, really nice. Five, six, seven, four, three, eight, seven stamps in that one, 16 pounds and 99 pence. And then we move on um, to uh, the classic, really, really lovely, with that lovely, lovely car. I've got to bring you in the sample with the glossy car in again as well, because uh, Roy's very proud of this. So uh, look at that. So cool. You've got glossy car and glossy shoes, shiny shoes as well. The ultimate gent. Over 40% of the stock um, of that stamp set, stamp set sold out. Uh, 558071 is your item number at £16.99. Can I just show you a, a chalkboard um, sample of that one? Sorry. There you go, just of that last one. Right, OK, so we'll move on to On the Rocks and Beer O'Clock. <laughs> I think this could be a series, you know. <laughs> Beer O'Clock, Wine O'Clock, Gin O'Clock. <laughs> I love that. Soup. Let's get soup in. Third of the stock of these um, stamps sold out already. 887168 is your item number. Again, so many different elements. I love the, um, is it wheat there? The sort of um, sheaves of barley, that's it. Of course, see, see I can't. There's not enough of me. I get full up too quickly. I never drink anything in a glass that's bigger than about that. Um, I can't. I'm too small. Uh, 33 is <laughs> true. I can't, honestly. I cannot drink a pint. I don't think I've ever drunk a pint. There's no point. Uh, £33.99 pence for those two sets there. It's barley that goes into lager. It's hops as well, isn't it? Oh, no, you Hops go into lager, I think, don't no they? No idea. I don't know. I grew up in Kent, so they, they, they grow them down there, don't they, and dry them and do whatever they do to them, dip them in stuff. Um, anyway, stop saying random stuff, Derek. Uh, OK, so we've got three, there's three sets of stamps here, which is the sentiments you see at the bottom middle there. It's the man with the flat cap. Does the man with the flat cap have a name? Oh, we're going to call him Roy. Let's call him Roy. <laughs> we're going to call him Roy. Let's call him Roy. See, I love, I love that because... You know, I think also, with guys, there's lots of different personality types, like there are for ladies as well, and, and for everyone. We're all different. It's amazing. But you have, with guys, that you can kind of pigeonhole the personality types a little bit more, can't you? Because there are very, very exuberant, there are very flashy, there are more subdued, and there are sort of quieter fellas as well. And I think this is really nice, because you can reflect that in lots of different ways. You definitely, with that stamp set in, in particular, you can. I think he could be like a football fan as well. Yes. You could, oh, you could colour him in the colours of the person's football team. Yes, you could. In the, in the dapper hat. Just yes. an idea. You can have that one for free. Think also, think also, and I know this is unintentional, you might want to put your fingers in your ears, Josie, for a second. Oh, goodness. But you could be thinking, jockey. Oh. Uh, couldn't you? Yeah, you could be. Could be the colours of, of the winning horse. Anyway, uh, we don't gamble on this show. Uh, 027149. <laughs> And nor should you, you naughty people. Uh, 19 pounds and 49 pence. <laughs> that comment was for entertainment purposes only. 40% of the stock has gone uh, on that one as well. Right, OK, now the big bundle. 
Yeah, I'm not surprised actually. Half the stock, I'm really not surprised to see half the stock of this bundle um, has gone. And it really is, I mean, it's like it's it, it's too much for that price tag. It's almost like you put too much in there. And I love you for it. It's brilliant. Because you've got lots of sort of elements there. You've got corners and borders and decoration. You've got the cheers there. Gin and tonic. I mean, again, everything about this is just straight away brilliant. And again, even though we've been talking slightly more masculine themed, what am I saying? Men drink cocktails as well. They do. But actually, this kind of opens things up a little bit, doesn't it? He says, being politically careful. But because you've got the, the gin bell on there, the big gin glass, the big goldfish bowl glass, and you've got the cocktail glass as well. You can take that into holiday themed cards as well. Just think of the breadth of this. I love it. Carol has got these and she's emailed. Oh, she's emailed her pictures. Oh, Carol, you're an angel. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. Like that. That looks good. With the fruit, doesn't it? Do you know what I like? I like the ombre. I like the ombre yeah. of the glass. Clever. Oh, I very like good. That. I like, I like, I do quite like. The first time I saw it, I was like, hmm. And then the second time I was like, yeah, actually, I think we all do need that recipe, don't we, Is actually? You know, for for proportions that should be, probably. It's As probably not the, the proportions that, that I do. I'm not going to lie to you. Anyway, I have to be very careful what we say. Please always drink responsibly one at a time. Uh, 357438 is all of these stamps. Blimey, never have I had to do so much compliance in one hour. <laughs> right, OK, let's move on. <laughs> We used to have to do a special late night slot for this. We've always said we'd love to do a, a oh, late night slot. Honestly, I don't think any of us could be trusted, quite frankly. <laughs> uh, even me. And we've only met today. 950567. We're going to have a cocktail party, couldn't we? Yep. Live on air. <sighs> I feel, I, the, the, the management who are trying to have a lovely, relaxing weekend. I can feel their hair curling and turning grey as we speak <laughs> at the very su suggestion. Just to show you in scale, by the way, that's the actual stamp set itself. So you've got that big, big square stamp plus all of those sentim sentiments as well. Look, if you're a Freedom member there, look at your savings, 17 99 If you're not a Freedom member so far, I have to say, quite frankly, with all the shows, with all the choice, why not? It's honestly, it's one of those things where you think, yeah, that really makes sense. Because you can stop it whenever you like, you can pause it. If you place more than three orders in a month, ha! Huh, be still, my laughing belly. Of course you're going to order more than three times in a month. Look at the choice that you have here. But if you order more than three times in a month, that's paid for itself straight away. It's really, really good. Uh, 950567, 40% of the stock of that has sold out and gone as well. Right, OK, Josie, your turn yes. now. <laughs> your I was just turn. looking at Nina then. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn now. So, and you know what? I'm actually really excited. I absolutely love this sample. I did it and I was like, oh, wow. So, I'm going to crack on. Uh, when, I were, when I make the stamps, Sometimes I get to, well, I look at them for a long time. Yeah. And I'm like, I know this afternoon I need to make my sample for TV. And I'm thinking, I know mm -hmm. what I'm working with. Mm -hmm. And you're thinking, and you're like, well, why don't you do this? And I'm like, no, I want something different. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, I've got it. I've got it. And I, I love how simple, but really like punchy, even though it's like monochrome and grey, it, it still feels like punchy. So... I'm going to create my, I'm hoping that I've not got, not got out of my fingers. It's, it's all going to go wrong, I can tell. So, <laughs> I'm just going to, we're just going to stamp randomly. I don't know why I put that away, like I didn't need it. So, like. Do you know, that's the other thing um, about this as well, is that I've seen on, on quite, a, the few, quite a few of the samples, you can be very minimalistic in what you actually need to do here. You yeah, literally definitely. fold a piece of card in half, stamp away, thank you very much, there's my card, done, and it doesn't look unfinished. No, Does definitely, yeah. What what we try and do, like Nina's, I keep putting my fingers in it, this is what happens mm -hmm. on your crafter. Mm -hmm. um, what Nina tries to do is, she's very arty and that comes across in her samples and yeah. you can see that they're so like well done and and things like that whereas i'm more of your 
I don't know, sometimes I like to throw something together as when we do our little um, uh, video, not video, what are they called? Like a stamp, stamp along. A stamp along. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. People will be like, oh, what's Josie going to do? I'm just, like, just going to wing it. I'm going to wing it and hope for best. <laughs> so that's what I do. But this So one, do you do, um, so where do we follow then? Daisy B Crafts? So Daisy B Crafts on um, Facebook, Instagram, yeah. YouTube. Um, we've actually got coming up a really exciting event. I don't know if I'm allowed to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. But we're uh, hopefully, if it, it can happen, we're getting everybody together for a uh, like a booked on craft along socially Brilliant. distance but it's a full day and it's it's going to be amazing we're just we're excited to get back out there when that when when it's allowed fabulous so that's, uh, that's a really good idea actually and i think actually so do you two do the do the videos or is it a mix of everyone or everybody, uh, everybody. and we have the biggest laugh so ever. it's Brilliant. amazing yeah so we do the on the facebook we do a, a like to do a stamp along every month um, but the one where we're getting everybody together, he's, he's going to be like, Nina's going to do so. I'm going to work with some MDF. It's very exciting. Can so, I, can I just on. be nosy again quickly? <clears throat> do you all live together as well? I actually live next door to Nina. Okay. And you don't drive each other absolutely crazy? No, we actually go on holiday all together as well. Because you all work together, so yeah. practically live together. Yeah. And, yep. well, I tell you what. Yeah. We love it. Family that plays together stays together, don't they say? Yeah, we've never, like, we have disagreements like every other family, and I'm telling you now, nah, sometimes they can be brutal, but oh. everybody always comes in next day. Like, there's, there's never, <clears throat> like, Nina ripped me to bits for what I had on the other day. She ripped me apart and said <laughs> I looked absolutely <laughs> terrible. Oh. I cried about it later, but then you I got did over not. it, and I came back to work, <laughs> and that were it. Just... Before you uh, you do the next bit, we mentioned Faye. Go on. She is here in an email. <laughs> uh, she says, hi all, it's Faye here. Just thought I'd say hello and I'm enjoying the show. Uh, Letty, Nina and Josie do all the hard work while I sit with a cuppa and a scone. Scone? Scone. scone. It's a scone up north. It's a scone up north. Scone. Who, <laughs> scone. Who, who makes them? I hope not Faye. <laughs> no, oh, she, oh, no, I'll be honest. Is she a bad baker? <laughs> It's She's your birthday. Not. We'll say happy birthday to her instead of oh, going yeah. delving into our... Is it your birthday, Faye? It were on Tuesday, last Tuesday. Oh, this well, Tuesday. happy birthday for last <laughs> Tuesday. Yeah. And, and I'm sure your scones aren't that bad. Scones, oh, they scones. are. They're terrible. Oh, are they? Right, yeah. okay. She's not a cook. She's not <laughs> a cook. She's got a business mind. Back yeah. Then. Um, just need to let you know, and I'm sorry, I feel like it's me that's doing all the talking, and that's not my job here, uh, but the stamp set that you're working with right now, 60% of the stock has sold out. I knew! Gone. I did know! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not that I actually could read your mind, but I knew it were a good one. Yeah. I did. I worked with Dad with this one now, like, look, this, is, this is what I want to, this is what I want you to bring yeah, but in. I'm only sad that we've only got an hour, because I could literally do the whole afternoon with you two. Well, Aww. we like to bring, we like to bring the lols. You gotta, you gotta be lolling on a Saturday afternoon. What else can you do with these days? That's true. So I'm just showing you. I'm just colouring in with my pro markers. Nina's because Nina's like the size of a giant. She's had this table hired up, and I feel like I'm I'm crafting up by my ears. <laughs> there is quite a height difference between you, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. And there's like. Our so, face is tall. Honestly, I'm leaning over so I can be close to <laughs> <laughs> <I'm not laughs> When we did a show, somebody once asked if we were triplets. Oh, really? Me, Faye and Josie were like, well... Ten years. Ten years between me and Nina. So where does Faye sit height-wise? Between you or...? Nina's She'll quarrel, at, you know, a, a little couple of centimetres taller than me. She's, oh, oh you know, OK. I've got the longer legs, though, so I win overall. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> and this. would you believe that I've got the longest body, but obviously oh, just the shortest in general. Oh, blimey. Yeah. So. Deary me, there must have, must have been a confusion somewhere, mustn't there? Somebody, I got short changed. <laughs> You've got Nanol's jeans. Yeah, I got me Nanol, li lovely little Nanol. Oh, well, beautiful things come in small packages, don't they? Oh, I'll try and remind myself of that. <laughs> so, I'm just doing this. Yes, I just want to show you there. I'm going to just layer him up. That's a sharp jacket there, isn't it? He does, he does look very dapper. Now, as well, him... Him, what should we call him? <sighs> what are we going to call him? I'll I think, call he, him... think he needs one of those kind of funky names, doesn't he? One of those sort of trendy, like... Derek. 
Well, no, oh, no, because no, because Derek's always. The, uh, no disrespect to anyone that's called Derek. I'm no, not wishing to cause offence, but Derek's are either like nerds, aren't they? <laughs> like they're always portrayed in a certain way, aren't they, on screen? So let's not. For that reason, let's not yeah. call him Derek. I feel like you really like short changes. <laughs> I know, but, but how many Derek's do you know? Tell I, me. I actually don't. But there you go. <laughs> oh, you see. No, I, know, I know one. I know one. Right. Rob's oh. uncle's Derek. Yeah. And the and and he will be uh, of a certain yearage. I'm not again. No yeah. offence to anyone. <laughs> I'm on the way myself. Um, but yeah, it's not. It's not really a popular name, is it? We've well, got it some cool be. names though. We've got cool baby names. We've got cool per Buddy and Percy. Or yeah. Cooper. Cooper's families. a nice one. Yeah. Yeah, but you can't call him Cooper because then you're not you're not like just trying it for all the other ones that we've got. Oh, I okay. think because we named the Started other one Roy, something. and we've also got Dad and Granddad Roy. Yeah. This one should be called Les for Granddad Les. 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 <laughs> yeah. Right. Agreed. Les. So we've got a Roy and a Les. I, okay. So the reason why I was thinking we should kind of give him uh, a name is because you can interpret him in lots of different ways. So there are bits of the personality of um, the, the image of, of the man that you see here that you can associate with whoever that gent is that's in your life as well. Do you know what I mean? You can really bring some of their personality into it. I love the shape of it as well. Right, it's really so stylish. I'm not going to carry on calling him because yeah. I've got one here. So I'm just going to, really quick, I'm just going to add a little bit more of... So with pro markers, you can always like add that little bit more depth to him, like so, because I'm nearly done. I can hear whispering going on about me, and it, I know when it's business talk and they try and ask Nina, and she just goes like glazed <laughs> over. She's like, no, okay, don't talk to me about anything business. Okay. Um, uh, uh, what it means, it's it's secret secret code langu language to to uh, they need to have a chat with you. So I need to have a chat with you. Um, so <laughs> that's what needs to happen here, just for a second. Um, this stamp set here, which is on the rocks and beer o'clock, so fourteen um, stamps in total, including the barley and you've got the old-fashioned bottle there you've got the whiskey tumbler which i love because it's kind of hexagonal as well um, it's not a standard shape which i really really like uh, 40 percent of the stock of this bundle um together has sold out and gone can i show you oh sorry half the stock i do beg your pardon honestly if, if only i would listen um <laughs> just now and again would do <laughs> just once a day would do wouldn't it um this is lovely incl incorporating that lovely clock stamp from the first stamp set that we've got today as well um old-fashioned see old-fashioned can be um you know that that can that connotation can go different directions um as well it might be a, a role a running joke in your fashion uh, in your family that you know uncle clive is old-fashioned or, or whatever and that might be all right with him you could use it in that kind of way i love it again this one you know what is their favorite beer in a bottle or thing in a bottle could you put one of the caps from the real thing and work it into the card that would be quite a nice yeah. thing to do wouldn't it Right, um, so 887-168 is your item number there, 33.99. Right, OK. The classic stamp set, we had a technical sellout, um, and, but the reason why you've come back to talk to me is so that we could talk to uh, these two here and find out whether we could get any more of these, and the answer is yes, we can. Going out for you on the... 29th of May, whenever that is. I don't even know what which month we're in, to be honest. So I don't mind. To know that these are on the way is enough, isn't it? So you can get them uh, going out for you on the 29th of May, 1699. Sorry, Josie, where were we? It's all right, I'm nearly done now. I'm nearly done. I had a stress because I couldn't make foam tape. This foam tape's amazing, but it doesn't tear. So that when I go to tear it, it ah. like stretches and it, it went on for ages, like chewing gum and all. Uh, okay. It went, it was a very stressful time for me, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're, pull, we're pulling it back. <laughs> it's all fine. So, I'm putting me together. And I love it. I honestly, I think this set you would have, like, so much fun with. Oh, and, yeah. Yeah, it's just, and look at him, he just looks so 
Listen, when you when you bring out a range like this, do you all do you all sit around a big kitchen table and say, right, okay, let's all do something different with it and, and do a bit of a sort of a brainstorm? No, we just shout from different sides at you, Nick. Going, what you're going to work with? Oh, I'll work with that, right? Well, I'll work with this, and then we'll we have like a game at end, and we we want to vote who's was done best one, but then nobody's ego can take it. So <laughs> <laughs> so it's just all. It's it all sounds a games. lovely dynamic up there. I wouldn't wouldn't change it for me. It's, I kind it's of, perfect. I kind of want to be a fly on the wall for a day and you see don't. how it all works. <laughs> you no, don't. I really do. <laughs> I really do. I think it's fascinating. We've got a favourite part at day, haven't we? When Dad goes, he's built a mezzanine level yeah. in the yeah. unit, and when Dad goes downstairs, as soon as we hear him move to go downstairs, yeah. we get his plastic bottles and we start throwing them down the stairs for him to fill up. It's his worst job ever. He hates ever. it. He <laughs> actually, he just, he honestly, he bristles every time I'm going, Daddy, you going down? <laughs> and I just throw these bottles at his head and we're, we're just... What, are they eat. like water bottles? Yeah, yeah just yeah. your normal, like, drink. We always have, like, for recycling purposes, we always just keep one. Right, yeah, yeah, So yeah. whenever we need a drink of water, we've got, yeah. like, a filter thing and, and he's, like, just throw yeah. it throw straight it down. down. I'm, I'm hoping one day that it's going to land straight <laughs> on his head. <laughs> ah, right, can't come on, wait. show us your sample because Go we're on. about to run out of time as well and I don't oh, want that to happen because you've got time for a quick another demo, haven't I you? I am. Yeah. So uh, this so is it and we're going. Wait a minute. I always... I don't know on the left from... Oh, that oh. way, that's my camera. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And that is it. Don't it just look swag? Listen, you can be in telly for 35 years and never get that right, so don't worry. I don't know my left from my right, so don't that's worry. about all I get Love to. it. Thank you Thank very much. Thank you very much. Um, just to let you know that the classic, which is now back on extended delivery, over 20% of that extended stock has sold out and gone. And, and apologies, I've got all of these samples here as well, but there's so many of them, and they're absolutely beautiful. It's really, really nice. Can I show you them again? I, and I keep showing you the same two, because they, they, they are just so, so good. So I'm taking it that, that Nina, this must be yours then, mustn't it, if it's got the pastels? No, that's Dad's. <gasps> oh, Dad is this did a Roy one? one as well? Yeah, that's Roy, a Roy. I, I apologise, Roy, yeah. I stand corrected, because this is yours as well, isn't it, with the glossy car? Yes. And the, and the shiny shoes. I like it. Let's show some others, because because I've, I've, I've been showing that one over that and over one. again. <gasps> now, I loved that because I cut his coat out of these fabulous oh, paper books that we got. Oh, How good is that? You've got to see this. How gorgeous is that? See, you could almost frame that and put that into a gallery right now, couldn't you? Yeah, it's I like cool. The one that's on the front, that one, the one that stood up is this the one, one that Dad did. And when I tell you it took him all day, it took him all <laughs> oh, day. Oh, with some Miri cards. <laughs> but, isn't like it amazing? It. Yeah, it is. <laughs> awesome. Right, listen, um, OK. Uh, OK, we have literally four minutes. Right, OK. What can we do? Right. The, well, luckily, it's an awesome card and it's going to be really Brilliant. cool and very Wait. quick. So, thanks, Joe. <laughs> I'll fill her. Finish your sentence then. Right, so I'm going to go <laughs> in with the Yara. Uh, from one of the other sets. I can't think right now because we're under... The one I've just used. The, the one she's just set. used, yes. We're under duress now. Oh, so yeah. that you've got your Yara. And then we'll go in with the absolute gent at the bottom. Now, we, as I mentioned, we've got some fabulous uh, backing papers, which I... This is my favourite set. I, I really love the, the simplicity of it. Are That's, they on the show? Are they on the web? Can we find them? Which ones? They're, the backing papers, have you no, got them? Uh, no, they're not. They are um, part of Every Crafts a Bargain. Every Crafts a, yes, yeah, Bargain. Yeah, Bargain. We do have their stock online. So they might be... Ah. Uh, yeah, actually, I think they might, they might be online. <gasps> so grab it, go and have a look uh, at their papers because they are, have some absolutely gorgeous ones. Um, so I'm just going to stamp out my... Uh, we call it a tash. Tash. Yeah, stamp out the tash. Do that, you know what I mean when I say it, like roll it yeah, at Yeah, pinch the ends and yeah. give it a, a twiddle. I, I love it. My granddad, who's watching now, yeah. Les, yeah. Uh, he once um, he, he liked to smoke and yeah. um, he decided he'd grow a tash and it went yellow. yellow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So he spotted a yellow tash for a little bit until I'm pretty sure my nan and I'll have, you that's, know, well, get him what the, for. Yeah, that's the uh, unintended consequences, yes. isn't it? Of, uh, so, look, a tash. look at this. How cute. It is awesome, isn't it? Oh, yeah, Joe. There's scissors. There's literally scissors. I'm, gonna, I'm not letting it beat me. I'm not letting it beat me. And I've got four minutes. You know, I could probably just go home now and leave you two to it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're hilarious. I love it. I just, I, this, is, this is the best comedy show I've not paid for a <laughs> ticket for in years. <laughs> you must brilliant. join our, uh, our Saturdays then. Oh, 
They uh, are fabulous. They're, it's a ruffle a minute. It We've really got is. Some Andre. absolutely hilarious ladies as well. Yeah. If you could put together soul sisters of yeah. a crafting, crafting clan, you know that yeah. they are our personality. They're just, they're amazing. But it's not for the faint-hearted. You know, sometimes there, there are moments where, you know, we have to step back and realise it's not watershed. Oh, so right. if you're easily offended, right. you know, probably not one to join. <laughs> yes. It, but comes, it comes with one of those things where you need to sign at the door to yes. say, whatever they say, I won't hold it against them. Exactly. But, <laughs> but we just have the best time. And the loveliest, loveliest ladies. We've also got an amazing group called the Daisy Bees on Facebook. So if you can join that, it's fabulous. It oh, really it's brilliant. is. Josie, come back in. Because oh, yeah, we, we are literally, we're, we're a minute. <gasps> so you may as well. Yes. Come here. You're, 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 you can't be without each other. It's kind of like you can't imagine one without the other, can you Honestly, really? Honestly, living next door to each other, all I can hear is a kid shouting, Auntie Jojo, <laughs> Jojo. <laughs> so it's like, it's just constant. So this is using the classic set, isn't it? The ones, is that the... No, oh. Absolute Sorry, Gem first set. one, I beg your pardon. Absolute Gem. We're all right with stock on that one at the moment. How are we doing on that one, by the way? 16.99. It's got the little pocket watch on it as well, and the bow ties, and the tash. The tashes. The tash. <laughs> See, it doesn't sound right saying tash <laughs> to me, because we have Tash, who's a presenter here as well. <laughs> oh, anyway, listen, um, when are you guys back with us? You must have another... Have you got another show today? No, uh, I'm a, I'm a say June. We're back in June. Yes. Some Fabulous. point probably at the same around the time. Well, listen, get on to Facebook and everything else yep. and just look for Daisy B and find them. They are hilarious, honestly. They should sell tickets for that. <laughs> I'd, you'd be there every single week and, and you can do it for free. Uh, listen, thank you. Lovely to meet you as well. Lovely thank to you. meet you. Thank how, you for having us. How, what a wonderful way to break the ice as well, hey? Uh, pardon the pun as well. Check out your baskets. What a show. Oh, I need to lie down now. <laughs> right, we are going to 35 Design Space Marbling next, which looks fascinating. There's lots of activity on the other side of the studio, and Yanis will reveal all after the break. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands, such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the craft artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. Ultimate finish cleans, polishes, and protects in one. No water is required. If you own a car, caravan, motorhome, or motorcycle, do not miss the world launch shows this weekend. You don't need water or any other products. All you need is ultimate finish. On the shows, you will hear from a motor trade expert who says this is the best product he's ever used. Exclusive on the craft store with big savings and a five-piece pack. For a limited time, we will also be including two additional products at no extra charge, only while stocks last. See the amazing live demonstrations and big savings this Saturday at 6pm and 8pm and Sunday at midday, not to be missed. Hi there, my name's Leona. I'm a presenter, a guest and a crafter. I got into crafting years ago, ever since I've been crafting since I was a child and I absolutely love it. I love my job, I love the presenting side because I get to meet lots of really inspirational people and that's just um, the beauty of this, there's always something new to learn, there's always something uh, that you want to get into, it's fabulous. I hope you can join me on my Let Leon and Lou shows every Wednesday, 11am and 2pm.
Hello everybody and a warm welcome. What an afternoon here at the craft store. This is what I love about the craft store. We've gone from Daisy B, amazing family run business, to now 35 Design Space, another amazing uh, company, family run company with the incredibly talented Dina, who's Dina, you're ridiculously talented for someone who's <laughs> literally just come out of education and then started your own business. Yeah. Uh, I'm very impressed. Oh, thank you. I mean, I love creating all this stuff, so yeah. it's just sort of what I enjoy doing, it's what I do in my time, and it's just great, and everyone else wants to get involved. It's one of those things, it's so fun to do, very therapeutic, and then you can keep going as well. What you've made, you can make into new things, you can put up in your home, and love forever, really. You can tell, uh, you know when you meet somebody, it can mean craft outside of craft, you can tell when you meet someone who's really found their passion, and they explore it, and this is your passion. Now, I've worked with Dina before, uh, we did paint pouring, and we're actually gonna be exploring that later on at seven o'clock this evening, but this hour is all about marbling. I wanna show you something. Now, have a look at these beautiful papers. If I gave this to you and said uh, we were offering these as a uh, sort of pad or a booklet that you could buy beautiful pattern papers, you'd think incredible, right? So going through and just showing you all of these lovely designs, and you think these are stunning. I wanna get these pattern papers. Well, there's good news and bad news because you can't buy these as pattern papers. But I'll tell you something, we can offer you something even better. We can give you the tools to make these as many times as you like. All of these different techniques we're gonna be exploring this hour. The, the designs are breathtakingly good, Dina. I mean, absolutely ridiculously good. Yeah. What kind of skill level would we be, would we need to be to sort of achieve these? Um. You need to kind of have a bit of a practice. You definitely get a hang of it the more that you do. Yeah. But you don't need to be super skilled. What comes in the kit is everything you'll need. You don't need to sort of question whether you're using the right materials or if you've got the right equipment. And mm -hmm. you've got all of the tools that you'll need. You just need a bit of practice, really. Yeah. Bit of time, bit of like playing with your materials and you should be able to make gorgeous papers as well. You Look, you absolutely will. We're gonna go through the kits now. We've got two different kits to offer you. We're gonna start with our first kit, which you can see here. Now, this is your starter kit. Within the starter kit and the next kit I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna jump straight to this because this is really important and it's something that Dina uh, wrote herself. So you have got a comprehensive marbling book. And when we go through, uh, the amount of information in this one book is incredible. So what you're getting is the introduction all about history to marbling. Then you've got your different techniques in there as well. The equipment that you're gonna need, uh, that's explored. So obviously that's equipment you're getting in the starter kit. And then we start to delve into more education. So this is with the Karagian. I'm gonna get into this in a bit more detail, the Karagian in just a moment, but that's pivotal to uh, create the effects. And you've also got the uh, Alman. Alman? Alum. Alum, yeah, thank you. That thank you, Dina. Uh, you got the Alum as well. But again, we're gonna get to that in just a few moments, but then let me just show you the techniques. So here, you will see, so just showing you drawing, where we go now. This is it, so we've had the education, set the foundation, now we jump into the actual exploration. So you can see the effects, you're gonna learn how to do that. The first one that I showed you, the beautiful sort of feather effect, you learn how to do that. You will learn how to do, well that's another beautiful design. We'll learn how to do that, and here, and here, and this is the starting point so that's your booklet, okay? And all the techniques, how to do that. So that in itself is such a great resource. But you, everything in the kit, we will scroll at the bottom of your screen, everything that you're getting. So we've got, I was telling you about the, um, this is the Karagian. Geenan. Geenan. Karagian. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here, Dina. Uh, the Karagian, I feel like I'm back at chemistry class. So you've got your Karagian, and this is really important to achieving the effects. And you've also got your uh, al alum, alum. There you go, your alum. Alum. Uh, alum. Why alum. am I struggling with this, Dina? <laughs> really just... They're very strange words. I've got, oh, I've, I've, I've got the fear. I feel like I'm back <laughs> at school. But um, no, these are really important. So then you've got your stirrers in there as well. You've got your, now that's interesting, little pipettes. Pipettes. Yeah, we've got our pipettes. Yeah. We've got our gloves. We've got our paper. And this is our tool. Now this yeah. is interesting. So the tool is what you use to achieve the effects. Uh, it's a double-sided comb that allows you to achieve those beautiful effects that you're working with. 
Don't be and look with. I'm just going to pick up. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll just pick up these two. So you're getting uh, two of each, but these are your ingredients. You don't need to worry about the science of it all. They're pretty done that for you. All you have to do is add water effectively. That's perfect. That's yeah. you're talking my kind of language, Adina. Okay. Uh, so that's your starter kit. Details are on your screen right now. Twenty nine ninety nine is your price. Your item number is five nine three five eight two. So. That's our starter kit. Then we're going to move on to, this is your comprehensive kit. The amount in here, uh, we'll flash details in a moment. Uh, not this one, we will put the uh, other details on your screen. So you are getting the same booklet. I won't go through that again because we want to get to demonstration. We're getting brushes. These look like such quality brushes. So you've got your fan brushes in there. They're really important for the marbling technique. It's surprising what a good job they do, um, yeah. and they make a big difference to have the sort of very stiff bristles, fan, brush okay. fan brushes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. We'll see those in demonstration. So you're getting four of those. Uh, you're also going to get, now this is interesting with our tools, because it's kind of, um, this is a step up from our double-sided comb, because we can actually now customize the tool, we can take uh, nails out yeah. and we can make our own different speciality designs. Yeah. So that, very easy to do as well, but to show you with the smaller ones, so they literally, you can see the movement, very easy to pull out if you wanted to take one out, so you could say, miss one out there and uh, create effects. So we'll explore that this out, so very easy to work with. You are getting, obviously, your ingredients as well to play around with, uh, those are your ingredients. So you're going to get two of the sachets. We've got our, um, store, well, this is our working tray. So this is what yep, we're going to be working with. Yeah, that's what you're going to do your marbling into. Brilliant. Uh, and we've got our papers in there, the pipettes, the stirrers, everything you need. Uh, 20 sheets of paper. And is it a special kind of paper you work with? It's an ivory. It's 120 GSM, and it's an ivory paper. And the ivory does a really great job with marbling. White can often be a bit stark, and it doesn't show off the colours to their full potential. And for such a small difference, the ivory paper at that weight works perfectly. Nice. It's very subtle, gives a very nice tone to all of the paints. Okay. Forty-seven ninety-nine is your price, and you are getting everything that's included in this kit. So our tools, our brushes, our stirrers, our pipettes, our ingredients, our working tray, our papers, and our uh, booklet in there as well, with a background to marbling, a foundation, uh, a real exploration, and then obviously all those different techniques. Once you start seeing it, you're going to want to give this a go, and you will never look back. Uh, I just want to show you something. This is what I love about marbling. Because imagine creating a gift box of that quality. Again, if I just pick up the, the papers, how much would you pay for paper pads with these kind of designs? I mean, they would be, it would be a premium paper pad, right? So here, you're able to, what Dina's doing, has, she's giving you the tools to go on and make your own designs, explore something that is going to be original every time. Love, love, love that. And this is what I think makes, I mean, that is incredible. What makes marbling just so fascinating. I'll just show you the final ones. There you go. Oh, how beautiful is that? So two flexi payments of £24. Your item number is 190943. Obviously flexi payments, so you're paying half now, half later on. There's something, now, the only consumable, or the consumable, obviously the papers, but also uh, the ingredients here. And this is what would be hard to source. So the carrageenan and your alum. So the alum and car carrageenan are our ingredients, our cause. What, so what does the carrageenan do? So yeah. this tray that I have here is what I'm going to be doing my marbling into. Yeah. And you can see that the water in there is slightly yellow. Uh -huh. um, so this is thickened water. But the carrageenan, it's a food grade... Um, water thickener effectively it's a sort of gelling agent mm. so this water is slightly thicker than water straight out of your tap um, but it's the thickness that we need in order to be able to float the paints to create the designs okay. it's quite a specialist product because there's different carrageenans but this is the one that works and if you're using the uh, wrong thing you're it wasting won't, you won't your get time. the same results <laughs> yeah and dina knows she knows uh, and the alum as well so how does that work um so the alum is scientifically um potassium potassium aluminium sulfate right. and that's what we use on the paper and I'll show you how I prepare my paper in just a minute but we use that on the paper and that allows the paint to adhere to the paper when we're marbling on the tray Useful. if you didn't use that when I wash my papers after I've created them 
you'd wash all your lovely designs off and you don't want to do that. No, of course not. Yeah. So we will, we're going to see it in action, but this is something, if you've invested in any of your kits, you're going to want to get more, obviously, to do uh, more design. So if you want to get hold of this, $34.99 is your price, 097-609, your item number there. And it's something that wouldn't necessarily be easy to source, and especially it's getting that right carrageenan. And I was chatting to um, Dina before the show, saying that you really do need the right one to get the results. And when you see the results here, and this is what we love about marbling, works of art. So think about your investment, say buying, I mean, I'd be tempted to go, if this is something you really want to explore, go for the full kit. How much would you pay just for one work of art? And you can see this is what you would find like in, in an art gallery. So being able to do something like this, putting up one work of art or giving it as a gift, you've covered yourself from your initial investment and you're only going to go on and explore. And as crafters, you cannot put a price on discovering a brand new hobby and enjoying it and sharing it. Uh, and as the team in my ear, and I totally agree, are just looking at this thing, absolutely stunning. So we've seen everything on the show. We, if you have any questions, please do get in touch, studio at thecraftstore.com. That's what we're here for. We're a live show, but now we're going to start having a play. What are we going to do, Dina? So I'm going to start by showing you how I prepare my paper and just explain a little bit, little bit of the history um, behind sort of paper marbling. Um, and it came to Europe in like the 17th century, but it was very secretive. So that's why it's now classed as um, an endangered craft because mm. there's so few people doing it and people used to use these papers to bookbind, but they're just stunning for pieces of art, but people don't work in the same way they used to, so yeah. it's now classed as endangered. So we really want to try and keep it going. It's so a, this is an endangered yeah, art? It is, it is with heritagecraft.org. Yeah. Um, we're one of the sort of very small number of, like handful of people um, that are still doing this because oh, it's not done to the same extent that it used to be. It's like the um, white rhino of crafts. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, you can feel very cultured when you do this. <laughs> um, so I've got my paper just here and I have in this bowl, it's just the 10 grams of alum that comes in the starter and the complete kit. And I've just diluted this with the 100 milliliters of warm water. And just a simple sponge. Um, I just pop it into the bowl and wring that out. And you just want to cover your piece of paper. Okay. So we're giving it, you want it to be wet, damp. Yeah, just moist. damp. And you wouldn't want to use this immediately just because it's still quite wet. But if you marble straight away with it, yeah. um, there's a chance because it's so wet, you could sort of wash off the design that you've just done. So it shouldn't um, be saturated. Yeah, just it's Just damp. moist. Yeah, yeah just covered. Um, but you want to make sure that you don't miss a spot. If you miss a spot, your paint won't be able to stick to that oh, okay. area. So if you get little holes in things here and there, yeah. um, it might be down to that. Mm -hmm. We have a little paper press. Um, you don't need something as sort of um, fancy as this. We just made it um, and we just pop the paper inside um, to keep it flat because obviously this is now damp paper. Yeah. It will wrinkle just a little bit. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to pop this to the bottom of the pile since that one's the wet one. Nice. Um, and then we just compress it. A really good tip is to draw a little pencil X on the back of your piece of paper so that you know which side you've alumed and which you haven't. Um, if you're not sure which side you've alumed and you don't and you print onto the wrong side, again you're going to wash off your design. So draw a little pen pencil X on the back and then you'll know which side to use Good and which tip. not to. Um, once all that's done, uh -huh. I tend to leave that for about kind of 10, 20 minutes or so. Did you put that if you don't have the press that like you mm -hmm. have in there, heavy book? Heavy I don't book. Know if people still have the like you know the like yellow pages. Yeah. I'm sure others are available. Heavy book. You can just pop it under a box. Yeah. Just a tiny bit of compression just to stop it curling up is yeah. great. Okay. Um, it doesn't have to be anything as fancy as this. And so it'll dry. Were you, are you waiting for the alum to dry or not really? I like it to be just damp. Okay. So that when the paper's damp, it's a little bit more malleable. It's a bit more bendy. It's a bit more kind of movable once you come to the marbling process. Right. Um, so just damp, not as wet as it was just gone in leave it for 20 minutes or so. Okay. Um, and this is my prepared carrageenan. So it was just one of the bags from the kits, which is 25 grams, mm -hmm. um, diluted with three liters of water. Um, and we blend this up with like a food processor, a blender. Um, like I said before, it's food grade, so it's not gonna do you any harm to blend it up with your stuff from the kitchen, and then you can pop that into the dishwasher afterwards. Yeah. Um, you do get a sort of surface tension build up on this. So every time before I get started, just some newspaper, I kind of pop it in at one end and just hold it nice and taut at each side of the box. And just drag it along and that just removes any sort of tension on the surface. Okay. Particularly once you get going, there'll always be a bit of remnant paint there, so you just want to try and keep it as clean as possible. 
and then after that, then that's good to go. Um, the paints that we use um, are the Liquitex soft bodied acrylics. Um, these are excellent. Acrylics are really great for marbling. They're quite foolproof. Um, the one general guide is use the best quality paints you can get afford, and yeah. afford and um, use. The golden acrylics are also excellent and they're a little bit more liquid. Okay. Um, it really is about the, pig the pigmentation in the paints. Mm -hmm. If you're using paints with very little pigmentation, you're not going to get the vivid colours on your papers. It's really, really important. And then we dilute them um, one part paint to five part water. I generally weigh them on my scales. Right. Um, however, for the Liquitex in particular, they're the same with a sort of little spoon that you'd get with, I don't know, Calpol or something oh these yeah, days. Okay. Um, so you can use sort of one spoon of paint to four, five spoons of water. Um, one part paint, five part water. And then with the fan brushes, I'll go in with those first. I just stir, make sure that all your paint's nice and stirred in, and I just take well, those off the paints excess. That you've already you've diluted one to five ratio. Yeah, already. Yeah. So that's one part of the Liquitex, five part water. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it really doesn't actually use a ton of paint. You have to get good quality paints, but you don't go through them that quickly because you use so little. Of I would have thought. So this is interesting. So you're not putting paints directly no. into. Uh, the mixture, you're going to use your fan yeah. brushes. Okay. So I've got my fan brush and you just tap it on top. So okay. traditionally they used to make brushes um, almost out of like broom ends, um, just very stiff bristled. Yeah. You need to have that stiff bristle, yeah. Yeah, um, just something that you can, and you can just see how that expands. That paint isn't sinking, you can't see that there's any paint below the surface. Uh -huh. Um, well, you're already getting the effects. You can see yeah. that that crackle coming through. You can see all that paint spreading. So is this with the carrageenan? Yeah, this is the carrageenan that's thickened up the water, and that's what's allowing the paint to float. And I've been paper marbling for a long time, and it was never this smooth in the early days because we were trying to work out what materials we needed and um, what worked best. And the carrageenan is a form of seaweed. Um, and back in the day they would use dried seaweed and you'd cook it up on your hob for about six hours and strain it and that's what we used to do oh, and wow. it smells awful whereas the carrageenan now you blend it up with your food blender your processor whatever you have yeah. um, and leave it to sit for about six hours uh -huh. um, overnight and you can use it the next day so I prepped this one last night okay. and then I just keep adding the paint nice. until that doesn't really want to spread any further and in the booklet, you've got all the pages showing you how to make different designs. Um, this one, with it just sort of rough and just as the paint has fallen, is called a stone pattern. So I'll mm. take this one off in just a moment. Okay. And you'll be able to see what we've made. So what you're doing in the kits, and th this is something I'm fascinated by, but I'm also a little bit in awe of you. You're taking a very, very old traditional craft. Yeah. The is at the moment now it is in danger of being lost yeah and you're keeping that alive you're giving us those sort of authentic authentic tools to to do the process so this is how it would have been done back in the day yeah I mean it's it actually looks like a very modern cool um, craft and sort of process when you see the outcomes particularly I'll show you with the pipettes and I find that a really modern way mm. of marbling um, you get very kind of big bold areas of colors it almost can look a bit 60s at times um, at this point I've got that fully kind of saturated with color um, your first marble is always a bit of an experiment you never quite know what's going to happen okay. um, because you want to always just make sure that you've got enough paint on there all your materials are okay so we've marked our papers and we make yeah. sure that we we dip the side in with the um, the alum yeah so this has been alumed side down mm -hmm. and then I just sort of bend it and make the diagonal of the paper go in and then we're yeah. just going to sort of submerge that and just let, let your tray almost do the work for you you should just lower the sides in and then I always just tap the corners make sure that they're all covered and then I just use like a, a long stick really that I can sort of lean over the tray right. and then pull it back and that one you can see that the paint's oh. Really, really nice. It's ran a little bit on this side, but then you clean them. So I often sort of take it to wherever I'm going with a tray. Okay. And then I have just a bowl of water here. And I just pop the whole thing in. 
So wait, you're putting it into water, but the uh, yeah, because you've got the uh, we've used the alum, then no, none of the design is going to come off. Yeah, so the paint isn't coming off, coming off. It isn't going anywhere. Yeah. And if you could, once we've washed it, Dina, if you yeah. could just hold it up and we can get a good shot of that. Yeah. I think all of you at home would love to see it. Um, and I always make sure to wet the back as well, and that way they dry at sort of consistent levels, and then you won't get a crinkle mm. from the paper kind of crinkling in. Crinkling in. Uh -huh. Let's see what we've got. So that is what oh, we've wow. just done. And that's Dina, your that stone is, pattern. That is breathtakingly good. Breath and then I just hang them up good. on, um, this is just an old kind of shoe rack, um, but just something that you can hang them um, yeah. with little pegs. And that's your stone pattern. I just, I'm, I am really in awe. Chatting to Dina, and this is genuinely what I love about being a presenter here at the craft store. We get such passionate, talented, crafters here and sharing that passion and that skill and that's what we're doing with this show so I'll, I'll pick up just some of actually I'm going to show you here some of the designs and this gives you an idea but it, it's the professional finish that you're able to achieve from this as a skill and a very traditional skill that Dean is working hard to keep alive because it's kind of it's fallen away uh, suppliers and companies who are still going on and um, offering this scope, there are not many of them. And the fact that um, Dina was saying that she's working with the Heritage, it was a Heritage? Heritage.org yeah. show um, marblers who are still working. Um, and they're really trying to promote that it sort of is a craft that continues. Um, and for them, they've classed it as um, an endangered craft, which means that um, we don't it's want not to, being done. But as crafters, I kind of feel that it's, it's our obligation to keep keep this alive. I mean, it's beautiful for generations to come. There's nothing about this that I don't find appealing. Uh, you look at it and it's the actual process, the fun, the fact that anyone can do this and watching Dina go through. Now, we are going to start exploring different techniques. That was the first one. So we had a look at the stone. Remember, you are getting your booklet, whichever kit you go for, whether it's a starter kit or the uh, complete kit. I would definitely leaning towards the complete kit. There is flexi payment on this, so you're going to have two flexi payments, so you can split the price in half. And all the techniques that we're learning within the book, I start opening up. So the first half of the book, it's all about this sort of knowledge and foundation of uh, marbling as a skill. But then we start exploring the actual techniques. So going through. Now, and when you see it, you start to realize, and Dina demonstrates so beautifully, how achievable these effects are. So that's a very, very good book. When you're looking at this and you're thinking, all the elements in here, we've got our foundation knowledge, we explores the tools, the different techniques, so that's comprehensive. But I have to say, Dina has done such a good job with the actual kits in it being equally comprehensive. So we're getting the fan brushes, and these are really important. So you saw how Dina was using those to flick uh, the different paints coming in and building up the design. So they're important. We're going to be exploring the uh, pipettes, so seeing the impact you can have with your pipettes. You've got your stirrer. You've also got your nails. Now, this is a, a, a tool that you can actually customize. So we can take out certain nails if you wanted, say, if you wanted to stagger uh, them up. And uh, you can take out certain nails if you want. You don't have to, but very easy to manipulate. You're going to get your working tray, which is another one. This is going to be just uh, really important as uh, when you are actually marbling to work comfortably. It's nice having that working tray. And you've got your carrageenan and your alum as well. Now this is where the magic happens and I promise you this is that's really the hard bit. When you think about trying to source that you'll really struggle but what Dina has done and 35 Design Space they've given you a whole collection, a comprehensive bundle, everything you need to get going, your papers, your ingredients, your tools and you could be marbling like a pro. All you need is some water and some imagination. 190-943, your item number, uh, 47.99 your price, but we can split that in half. Now, I'm just going to show you uh, something else that's proving popular. This is the top-up supplies. You're going to want to invest in more. So once you started, and it's well worth, and can I just say, if you do buy it now, because there's a flexi payment on the complete bundle, you'll also be able to split the price of this as well. So you're getting your carrageenan and you're also getting your alum as well for uh, $34.99 your price there, but you can split the price if you put that into your basket with the complete bundle, then you can put a flexi payment on both. So you have got that scope. 
Uh, we've also, so there are, sorry, there are details, 097609, your item number. We also have the starter kit as well, so if you're just looking to dip your toe into the fantastic world of marbling, we have a starter kit for you too. Starter kit is great for $29.99. Uh, you're getting your tools in there, you're getting your stereo calagium uh, and your alum and your papers and your booklet, but... I would, for an extra few pounds, I would go for the complete bundle. I mean, the price of, I think you're getting the brushes and they're quality brushes, you're getting the tray, you're getting the customizable tool set as well. I think this is something you're gonna wanna explore with the complete kit, you've got everything you need to carry on marbling for the future. You've future-proofed yourself, you've got all the tools, I would be going here. That's just me personally. Uh, we're going to head back to Dina because I know she's got more to show. What are we going to yeah. do next, Dina? Um, so we're going to show you how to use the marbling combs now. And I, they really are quite a star of the show because they give you the opportunity to make so many different designs. You have so much to sort of choose from and create once you have those. So I'm just going to clean the... So I've cleaned the surface between times, um, but I'm just going to, again, always do this before you get started. You just want to remove the surface tension sometimes there's just a little bit of remnants of something okay. a bit of paint a bit of whatever um, is, is this the same water with the carrageenan that you prepared last night what we used in the first demo? yeah so that each bag of 25 grams will do you sort of one tray yeah um, and how and many times could we use that so it will keep um, sort of overnight for about two days if you store it in cooler temperatures um, it really depends how you work okay. um, so we do the paper marbling workshops as well and we're really excited to have those back as well yeah. um, but with those it depends how you work if you want to really push the boundaries and put loads of paint on here mm -hmm. sometimes it might sink sometimes um, you might put a bit too much on and you'll know that because when you pick the paper up it won't hold you'll put too much paint down that the paper can't hold it all mm -hmm. um, but if you work quite well and you don't sink too much paint and you keep it relatively clean, you'll be able to use it for about two days, and then it's just as much paper and as much paint as you have at that so point. So we can just keep on going and yeah, going and going and going. it is a natural product. It does go off. Okay. Um, and it can smell quite bad and when it does, and that's when you'll know. All right. Do not use it at okay. that point. So once it starts smelling, you think, okay, we've, yeah. we've had our fun. Once it starts to smell, um, mm -hmm. your paints won't spread as easily or as well either. You'll be able to see from what's going on that the paint is not spreading it's going to sort of almost crack and dry on the surface it's just not going to be that pretty so wouldn't advise it but you'll know because it, it won't smell so yeah. great okay um so what we're going to go in for next is Ooh, i've just got to tell everyone because i've been so immersed in the actual kits and watching the demonstration 20 percent of the stock has gone for our complete and i am so so happy that this is proving popular because Dina is an exceptional crafter, and what she brings, she has such passion. And what we're doing is keeping a very traditional passion alive. And when you see it in action, just watching Dina, how can you not want to ever go as crafters? That this is, we are crafters. This is your tribe, and this is a brand new skill to play with. So what are we doing now? So I'm just going to put loads of paint down to start with. So I've just put a bit of a bed of red down, and then we're going to go in for some of this blue. Lovely. Um, and you'll know, it really does take a bit of practice. You'll kind of know. Um, when the um, surface of your carrageenan, some people call it the size or the bed, um, but you'll know at what point that's got quite full. Yeah. The paint will stop spreading. And just a bit of practice, if your pa um, papers are coming off quite pale and you've not got that vibrance that you want and you're using a good quality paint, okay. you need to add more paint. And you should, you'll start to kind of pick it up just from practice and a bit of trial and error. Uh -huh. um, and you'll just get a really good feel for it. So you just want to keep adding, nice. keep adding. And all the while these paints are still spreading, then we can keep adding. Mm -hmm. If you want a slightly sort of paler look, then slightly less paint, you've got all the choices. Yeah. Um, it's also a great craft because when you're getting started, if you're not 100% sure and your papers don't always come out sort of perfect the whole way across the sheet, like behind you, we've made some cards and you only need small pieces of paper for that. So if you love a sheet that you've done, but there's a bit of a sort of um, air hole that didn't get um, covered or sort of printed onto, um, it doesn't mean you can't use it. Just because you can't use the full sheet, Just you can still down. make a gorgeous card yeah, and things with it. Um, so I've put quite a bit of paint on there. That should be good for us. If we ever miss when we're picking up, you know you're saying sometimes if you put too much paint down and some is yeah. left in the carrageenan, would would you be able to double dip? Could you go back in with some more fresh paper? 
I, you wouldn't get the same vibrancy. You definitely could, yeah. especially yeah. if you're working on quite a big tray. If you want to go large and do sort of A3 or larger, yeah. you could then put two sheets down. Yeah. I would say put the second sheet down before you pick up the first one because it all moves. As soon as you do that, it kind of drags. Okay. Um, but you can cover all of the visible space with paper and then pick it all up. So now so the tool. I've got, this is the comb that comes in the yeah. complete kit. And you'll see I've put more nails this end than this end. Right. Um, and normally I would use a comb with like a sort of standard gap. But mm. this will show you the difference in the designs that you can create. And in the complete kit, you get two combs. So you can go landscape and portrait down your box. Okay. Um, so you're not limited to that one. So I'm going to go portrait wise and we're going to drag it or landscape for the way I am. So we're not wiggling it, we're, not, we're literally just going just left to right, it dragging down. it across. Dredging. Yeah. And you can see we've got really fine little um, sort of curves there and really wide ones here. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to go in this way. Oh. And this is what's shown in the booklet. You'll be able to kind of see all the different designs that you can make um, just through the process of different combing yeah. sort of routes. Um, That's incredible. And then if we go back, yeah. this is one of my absolute favorites to do. So you've gone left really to right, fine. up, and, up down, and down, and then just repeated that. And then I'm going to grab this quickly. Yeah. And we're just going to take those out, possibly that one. And I'm going to wave it. Oh wow! It's the that it's mesmerizing. I love doing the wavy ones like this. They are definitely my favourite. Um, quality of the finish that you're achieving as well. I mean, it, it really is a, such yeah. a professional print. Yeah, it definitely. I mean, you're using completely professional materials. It yeah. is um, a really quality finish at the end of it. And then we're just going to gently drop that in. And then tap the corners, and again with my little stick, and just drag off. Wow. And that's, that's what we've just done. So if you just hold it there for a moment, in, and we'll see. That's incredible. But it really does look like a pattern paper that yeah. we bought. And when I say a pattern paper, I'm talking, you know, the really special pattern papers. If we were to offer you, uh, I'm just going to pick up some larger ones here, but if we were to say these were hand designed marbled papers and sell them as a paper pad, think how much you would be paying for these. But the fact is here with Dina and 35 Design Space, you're going to be able to make your own. I mean, how incredible does that look? And there's something so organic about marbling. Every time Every, every, you're never going to be re able to recreate the same design. And that's the real key. So we have got various kits uh, for you. We've been focusing on the complete kit. Very busy for this. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. If we just show you a picture of what you're getting with the complete, and then you'll be able to see. So you've got your comb, uh, and it's an adjustable comb. So I think you're actually getting two of those, a large and small, that you're able to uh, customize. You've got your pipettes in there. You've got Four, uh, four of the fan brushes, and they're really good quality fan brushes in there, size 14 fan brushes. You're getting your stirrers, you're getting your alum, and you're also getting your carrageenan. Uh, you're getting your booklet, which is just a, I say booklet, it's like a little mini book. Uh, it features marbling, the foundation of mar marbling, the history, and then the techniques, and you're getting your working tray and gloves. Uh, all of that for $47.99, a, bra a brand new hobby for $47.99. Uh, but £24 on flexi payment. I mean, imagine how much you'd pay to go to a class. Here, you haven't got a class, you've got a whole course with the booklet and a brand new discipline. And then when you think about it, how we're going to start, because you, you can say, okay, marbling, what, what would I be using my marbling for? So if you wanted to create some boxes, so for your construction, I mean, come on. So you can give an ordinary box, or all of a sudden, you can give something like that, which looks exquisite, absolutely exquisite. Or maybe something like this. Now, we have got the starter kit on your screen now, and we're just going to show you that in a moment. But equally, artwork. So we can do our construction. You can do your card making, your matting, your layering. We can die cut. Look at your artwork. I mean, that just the designs are that good 
you can just stick them in a frame and that's it. Put it up on your wall. Imagine that making to sell. There's no, there's no license here because you, they're your designs. You've created them. So how about just literally buying some frames, putting that inside, make to sell, Think how much they would go for. Uh, I will talk to you about the starter kit. So we have got two different options. With the starter kit, the starter kit's good. It really is. I still find myself leaning towards the comprehensive kit, and that's because you're getting your adjustable combs, you're getting your tray, but I will show you the starter kit. So starter kit, you're getting your double-sided comb, which you can see here. You're still getting your papers. You're getting your comprehensive booklet, uh, or book exploring marbling, your pipettes, your stirrer, your alum, and your carrageenan. So that's your starter kit for $29.99, $593.582, and it's a really nice way just to dip your toe into the water. But the reason why, and I'll, I'll never lie to you, the reason why I'm kind of leaning towards the bigger kit, because I could see what would happen in my case anyway, I would go for the starter kit, I would do it, I would love it, and then I'd be thinking, well, okay, now I, I kind of want to grow with this. And what you're able to do with, and there's some key differences with the uh, comprehensive kit. So you're getting four of your fan brushes, so size 14, really, really good quality. And I'm not saying that as a sales technique, I know it sounds like selly telly, but genuinely feel these, they are good quality brushes. So you're getting four of those, which you're going to be using uh, with your different paints. You've got your tools, and it seems like a really simple thing, but when you see Dina using this, so being able to create your own design, so what you could do is, say, stagger. So you could have leave gaps if you wanted. You could leave even bigger gaps, but it's combing through. It's just a very useful tool. And you're getting both of those combs. So you're getting the large and your small medium I would say you're getting your working tray you've got your papers uh, gonna get 20 of the papers you're also getting your book exploring uh, your everything with the card to marbling I've got to tell you the papers are 120 GSM something and I know it's at home you might be thinking oh well I could give it a go I could I'm sure have I got something in my stash to get those effects no no you could this is the thing because what you're getting is the carrageenan is very very special and that's something that Dina has worked extremely hard to source the one that works and that's the key again not not a sales technique it's just fact so if you try and use use the ones that don't work you're just not going to get the results same with the alum you need these these are professional ingredients that you are getting and you're seeing the results the results speak for themselves I will show you a few other I've just got look, Dina's this is literally a pile of different designs that she's done. I mean, look at that. The, the results speak for themselves, but that professional finish, you need to have the right uh, ingredients. I'm gonna put that down now because we're gonna get back to demonstration. We are busy for our complete collection. It has to be where most people are going and I do not blame you. Details are on your screen, 4799-190-943. Dina, what can you show us next? I'm just gonna quickly show you how I cleared the tray. Um, so this is just what's been left and you okay. can kind of see that it's empty in the middle where I took the print and there's um, paints around the edges. Newspaper is amazing. It just seems to stick to it. So I just pop some newspaper into the tray and peel that off and then that's quite nice and clean to oh, go again okay. and I'll do that for both sides. Nice and quick way of getting the excess off and then it's really important every single time you do do a fresh marble just clear that surface tension, get it really nice and clean on the top, make sure there's no excess paint there. And that's the best, it's the way that your paints are gonna react best uh, to the materials. Yeah. Um, if you don't do that, and you're finding that your paints aren't spreading, mm -hmm. that will be why. The, the tension builds up very, very quickly, so it's a really important thing to do. Yeah. And this time I'm gonna go in with the pipettes. Right. Um, and I love this, it's quite a modern way of marbling, but you have to work very quickly. Yeah. Um, it spreads very fast, and I, you want to drop one drop at a time. Very careful. Don't take your pipette and take a whole big squeeze. One drop yeah. at a time. Okay. Just go gently with it. Nice. Now we had a good question in from Anne, yeah. uh, who was asking, would this process work on materials? Say, uh, on t-shirts, cottons? Would it yes. work on those? Um, so you would just have to prepare them slightly differently, yeah. um, in that your alum needs to be a slightly stronger solution. Right. So in the bags, there's 10 grams, and we would say mix that with 100 milliliters of water. Right. Um, when you're doing fabrics, um, 
you want to make that a stronger solution. So maybe not 100 millilitres of water, maybe something towards 80. Okay. Um, and when you are preparing your materials, soak that in the alum, leave it for sort of an hour or so, let it really soak up that um, alum and that mixture. Yeah. And then dry the material and iron it so that it's nice and flat. Right. Um, and then, yes, it will um, work just the same sort of technique. Um, I would strongly advise using acrylic paint if that's what you're doing, yeah. just because once you then take the print and you iron it, you should then have um, a pretty colour fast yeah. print. Um, fabric is definitely more difficult to work on just because of how flexible it is. Mm -hmm. um, trying to get um, the, uh, the fabric on yeah. the bed really nice and smoothly, really evenly, can be a bit of a task. Yeah. So just practice before you get okay. started, but really. It is possible. I love that. Okay, now wait, wait a second. How did you get the squares there? That's so incredible. I have just been popping with pipettes one drop of water in at a time, yeah. and you can see how that's spreading. And I did the kind of pink and the blue all in one motion yeah. so that I would make the squares. And that's what we've got. And with the pipettes, you get a lot more paint in one go. So just nice and gently keep adding and you'll fill the bed a lot faster than you would if yeah. you were using um, Dina, I love this. I, I can't wait to see you lift this print. I've got to tell you over 30% of the stock has gone for our complete bundle and it is proving very, very popular. Uh, comprehensive bundle and this is the bundle that will grow with you. As, as a crafter, marbling, you've got absolutely everything you need to get going. The only thing you'll need to rebuy is the alum and the, um, the carrageenan, but that we do have as a top up as well. So I'm just okay. going to keep adding this a little bit more. And um, when you use the pipettes, do be careful because you get air bubbles right. and you want to just pop those with one of the sticks that you've got. Right. Any air bubble on here will sort of prevent your paper making contact with what's in the tray. Uh, okay. um, so you just want to try and pop those. If you don't, you might get little white patches on your paper where it hasn't picked up the paint. So just pop those and then you can just keep going. Nice. Um, you want quite a bit of paint on there. I'm just going to add a bit more. Because yeah. um, okay. if you don't add enough, like I said before, you're not going to get the same level of vibrancy, which if that's what you're going for, amazing. Yeah. Um, I quite like my colours to be quite strong, nice. so I keep going with it. Sure. I find this a very 60s-esque way of doing things, I think. You really could get that. Yeah. And also, depending on, on your colour tones and what you're using, I think you can get quite a, a sort of authentic tribal print as well. Yeah, for sure, definitely. I'm just going to add a little bit of this light blue, and then we'll start to give it a little comb through. And right, I'm just so going to now we're going to comb it as well. I'm going to freehand this one. So the yeah. sticks that come in the kits, just the bamboo sticks. We kind of use them like a stylus almost, uh -huh. um, just to manipulate that design. I mean, would you ever just lift it as is there? You could do it. You yeah. definitely could. Because it looks good. But yeah. also, we're going to take it to that next level. Now. Yeah. Uh, you've had some lovely emails, by the way. Uh, you know, we're talking about onto fabrics. Yeah. And I'll tell you a match made in heaven. Thank you so much. The pink ink ladies are watching. It's lovely. Mel and Kathy have emailed in saying, we're loving the shows on marbling. It looks so exciting. Really want to have a go. You've got to try it. Uh, your presenter is so informative too. Thank you. Well, I try. I try. I'm only kidding. It's, uh, Dina is incredibly informative. Oh, and I think you're excellent, you. Dina. So uh, thank you, Kathy and Mel. But the reason I say match made in heaven, so Kathy and Mel, Pink Ink, uh, they do paints. So they oh, do fabric paints. Amazing. Now their paints would work so well. You know what you're saying for your fabrics? Yeah. You've got to give it, I think you guys need to have a bit of a yeah. chat, get hold of some paints and give it a go. Uh, we've also got another one from Maggie, another firm favorite here at the craft store. So Maggie Cool Cats is saying, welcome to the craft store. Uh, love this and the whole collection. Can't wait to use this in my albums. Yes. Awesome. I mean, these papers and albums yeah. would be amazing. Maggie, Definitely. thank you. Brilliant. Okay. So I've got loads of paint in here now. It's not spreading so well, so this is my kind of cue to say That's we've saying, got enough on there. Yeah. And I'm just you. taking the stick that comes with the each kit. Ooh. And you can make them into little hearts almost at times. Yeah. But you can just freehand them and just go gently. You don't want the carrageenan and the sort of water base to move with you. Uh -huh. You just want to just direct it. Yeah. You can go through what you've got. Oh, I love this. And just 
make, make the design what you like and you can just keep going, take your time with it. Th obviously with this being um, acrylic paint, they can dry on here yeah. to an extent and if you ever get a sort of crackle finish, that's often what it is. All it's right. not a bad thing though. No. Often the crackle can be quite nice. Bit of texture. Yeah. There is something so satisfying about carrying I mean, enjoying the process of marbling. I mean, I'm even enjoying it just watching it. I've got to tell you, we're approaching 40% of the stock of the complete bundle. It's proving very popular, and I'm so pleased. Amazing. And this is the first live hour with Dina. Yeah, and, completely uh, new to Hot Chand. Um, the craft store yeah, at the moment, yeah. Okay. Um, we've not shown this one before. Yeah. So I've got all the air bubbles popped, and we're going to take our piece of paper. Yeah. And... This, this is what I mean by it's being slightly damp. It's nice and bendy and you can yeah. really manipulate your paper and just take I'm that I'm so in. excited to see this. Our little presses on the corners. Yeah. It does really help you out. If you can kind of get the centre in and just slowly ease out the edges. Yeah. If you try and put it all in at once and you just drop, sometimes you can get an air hole, like yeah. a pocket of air in there where it won't pick up the print. Um, but now, I'm going to peel it back. Oh, wow. Look at that. that was Look at that. Dina, the vibrancy that you're able to lift mm. off the designs, the fact that that design now, because of the alum, it's secured to your papers. And Dina was saying it was such a great email from, was it Christine who emailed about the fabrics? Would it go on fabric? Anne, sorry, apologies, Anne. But um, imagine these designs, I and mean, we're showing onto fabric so onto a t-shirt if you want to put it on a piece of fabric and then use it onto a bag or quilting incredible yeah there's so much Definitely. we can do with it um so this one you can see some of the orange dried a little bit which is why we've almost got that crackle a little bit of a um you kind of see a bit of the paper, but it's quite a lovely effect if, mm -hmm. you're, if that's what you want and it's definitely something to play with because you can't go too far wrong like um so long as your paint comes onto the paper, yeah. that's what you want. And you've got a beautiful design there. Dean, I'm and looking then at this. And just hang it up. You just to want dry. to give it a go. Anyone who sees it, I mean, friends and family, must all say they want to have a go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, it's okay. quite a fun one. And it's quite, um, can get a bit messy. Yeah. So we've had a lot of people come to, um, not a lot, a handful of um, the people who come to our workshops love it. And you get very excited with the paint brushes and they pick them up and they hold them here yeah. and you get a very painted face towards the end of the okay. afternoon um, it's all good fun so it's yeah. great to do with friends and family well, that's what I'm thinking this is a nice true mess. craft you can yeah. do with the whole family what I'm going to do Dean I'm just going to let you reset yeah. and then we're going to get we won't take long before we get back to you because we want to watch it you don't only hear me talking um, the <laughs> It's a resounding yes from the team. Uh, so look, we're getting the complete bundle and what you're getting in the complete bundle is everything that you need. A brand new hobby for £24 today. That's your first flexi payment. And then of course, £24 uh, in a month's time. We're gonna just, at the bottom of your screen, I'm gonna scroll everything that you're getting as part of this kit. But when you think about it, so we've got a working tray and that's, uh, seeing Dina work with it, just very handy to have. You're going to get 20 sheets of paper, it's 120 GSM. You're going to get your four brushes, so these are fan brushes and they're specifically designed for the techniques that are explored within the book that I'm going to mention in a moment. So we're getting four of those, they're a size 14. You're going to get two of your tools, your combs, and the beauty of these is they are customizable. So they're very simple, just literally lift up the nails and you can adjust them. So that's your medium, or your large, sorry, and I'll just show you this. There's a medium, and here, if you do want to just lift up and adjust, very simple to do. So you can, let's say you want to stagger, you can do effects like that. Can you see a bit more clearly there? There you go. So we're getting two of our combs. You're also going to get your pipettes. Yes, yes, yeah. After seeing Dina work with the pipettes, got to do it. Give it a go. So you're going to get uh, the pipettes, uh, five of those. You've got your stirrers in there as well, so allow you to sort of freehand techniques. So those are your three bamboo sticks. You're getting gloves. What really makes this special is the alum and the carrageenan. So these are 
the ingredients that you need. The carrageenan is what you're working with within your tray, your solution. So what you do is you leave it to soak overnight and then you work the next day at least to sort of soak for about six hours and then you're good to go. And it will last, the actual uh, solution will last for about two days. And once it starts to get a little bit pongy, you know it's had its time because it's natural ingredients. Uh, then you've got your alum and the alum is absolutely pivotal because what that does, it ensures that your design stays and adheres to the paper or to your fabric. So you really do need that. Uh, what Dina was saying, if you are going to be working on fabrics, then uh, just the solution. So saying it was typically, it was a hundred mil of water for the sachet. Yeah, exactly that. And that's for paper. For uh, fabrics, maybe put it to 80 mil for it because you need a stronger solution. So all of that, and I've got to show you the booklet as well. So you are getting the booklet. Now the booklet is so comprehensive. You've got notes at the back. And if I just show you the uh, this contents. So here we've got a history of marbling in there. You've got your materials and equipment. You've also got an exploration of preparing the carrageenan. So you've got that in there. Uh, your alum, how to do that. Step-by-step -step instructions. And if I just show you here, well, I'm going to jump straight to the actual effects because that's all. There we go. So now we're going to do it. There's all the effects that you are getting in there. Great, $47.99 is your price if you want to get hold of it. Proving very, very popular and I'm so pleased you are keeping a traditional craft that is on the wane and it does, should, look, when you get effects like this it should not be on the wane. So. Uh, Definitely invest. Okay, now if you are going to be going for any of the kits, something you will need to invest in uh, at some point is additional carrageenan and alum because this is a consumable something you, can, you might have cardstock in your stash, but I think very few of us are going to have a stash of carrageenan and alum. So if you need to get more, the beauty of buying it now, let's say you've gone for your complete starter kit or the complete kit or the starter kit, I should say, you got flexi payments with the complete kit. So if you were going to go for the complete kit, and add this into the carrageenan, adding that into your, uh, and the alum into that, then you'll be able to split that $34.99 as well. So you suddenly have a flexi payment on that too. 097-609, your item number, if you do want to get hold of this. We've got about five and a half minutes. Awesome. Dana? Um, so this is one of my favorite techniques to have a go at. Um, and if you ever need to add sort of dispersant to your paint to help it spread, um, you might read sort of marbling forums and these people talk about wool, W-L, W-U-L, it's washing up liquid. Ah. Um, and it's a really great thing to use as a substitute to paint. So I've just cleared the surface of this and I'm going in with the red right. just now. And I'm going to put loads of the red on. And this is going to be a monochrome design, um, which I love. It, gives you really awesome um, finishes mm. and if you ever wanted to do like an over marble it's all featured in the booklet um, but if you wanted to do a marble where you do a stone pattern and then you do something on top this is how you're going to do it so that you have like a multi-layered design um, I'm going to put loads of the red on fully kind of saturate that with one color of paint one or two whatever you really want to go for it's about and then four minutes yeah, yeah. Um, and this jar I have here is water and very dispersed washing up liquid. Okay. All of the ingredients are in the booklet, so for the sort of more specific mix of what that is, check out the booklet. And we're going to drop that in. And can you see there's oh, like yeah. holes opening up in oh, that red like paint? It's cellular. Yeah. Um, and they are kind of areas where there is now no paint. That's going to just be paper. So is it all playing with that surface tension? Yeah, so at this point that's just pushing the red paint out so all of these yeah. areas are now clear and you can go back and add a bit more red and just do that until it's not really spreading any further yeah. and pop a tiny bit more of this in and you almost want sort of 50 percent paint 50 percent um sort of clear space that's my rough guide of what i would normally go for nice. and then i'm going to comb this um one of the great things about the um, combs that come. So you've got one comb in the, this is the complete kit. You've got one comb that will go landscape or like horizontally across and one that will go the narrow route. Mm -hmm. um, that's why they're the size that they are. Um, but also I have a fine comb, a super fine one that I love. Um, and we made all these especially. Yeah. But with these you've got the option, put the two together and you can make that super fine comb out of the materials that you've got. Nice. So I'm going to pop that in. And we're just going to comb downwards. And you can see we've got a super fine curve. And now I'm going to go this way. 
It's a beautiful feather technique. Yeah. And we're going to take that off as that is just there. We can pop a tiny bit more red on top and you'll get a little speckle. I absolutely love this. And I think this is great for fabric as well, because if you're covering a sort of larger area, but you can't fill the whole piece, yeah. it blends seamlessly into the fabric and what else you've got going on there, um, because you've got those clear spaces mm. for it to blend with your fabric. Oh, An email back in saying, thank you for asking the question. And that's what we're here for. Thank you for asking yeah. the question. So uh, you're more than welcome. Thank you. Uh, I'm just going to pop this in nice and gently. The combed ones are definitely my favourite. I love the single colours, but I think the combs are just essential. It's very traditional that way, um, but I just I love the effects. Yeah. I think that you can do so many stones, but this is endless. Look at that. Can you see? Beautiful. How really cool is that? Nice. And these, I, I said to you before we went live, I was looking through the finished examples, and they look so professional. And this is what we're able to do. You're not buying a booklet of pattern papers. You're making your own. Yeah, definitely. I and love it. you can use this again and again and again. You can make loads. And you can almost just see like where the paint um, sunk when I used the pipettes. Yeah. That's what's a bit of a limiting factor. If you make okay. a bit of a mess here, yeah. it's not going to last quite as long. But Okay. Yeah. Well, look, let's just think about this, all the different designs. What I would do is have a day of marbling, making your background papers, because look at the effects that you would be able to achieve. All of these wonderfully unique. So, back in, are you going to, uh, we had that wonderful email from Maggie saying she can't wait to use these for her album making. Or is this going to be for your matting and layering? Is it going to be artwork as well? All of these beautiful designs. Have a day. The enjoyment you're going to get, the pure satisfaction and bliss of making the papers. There is something so cathartic about marbling. Seeing these designs sort of appearing in front of your own eyes. They're achievable as well. What a phenomenal owl. We've got to thank Dina for bringing this to us. Dina, it's been an absolute pleasure. I want to actually um, agree with the lovely email from Pink Ink, uh, yep. Kathy and uh, Mel, who are saying, you, you're fabulous. You really are so knowledgeable oh, about what thank you do. You. So thank you so much. Now, Dina will be returning at 7 o'clock. We're actually going to be doing something totally different. So we explored marbling this hour. At 7 o'clock, it's all about the pouring. So please tune in at 7. Say, so Tina's got so many great demonstrations that she wants to share with you. Dina, have you had fun? I've had so much fun. Good. And I can't wait for the paint pouring too. It's all yeah. just so exciting. Oh, we're going to do it. I yeah. can't wait. So yeah. we will be doing that, but let's keep, come on, let's start a movement. Let's keep marbling alive. Uh, thank you for enjoying the hour. Got more coming up. Oh, Jelly Bean Crafts Inspirations. That's going to be a great hour. After that, Studio Lights One Day Special returns and then So Enchanting. So lots to enjoy here at the craft store. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board will share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. 
Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. We're known for our MDF products and our mediums. All of our MDF products are produced in Devon, in the UK, and we have a wide variety of products to inspire you. So make sure you tune in to all our Crafty Devil shows. Now, of course, we have got an hour of Jelly Bean Crafts inspiration. We know that we are going to have car, we're going to have gray ball, we're going to have lots of fun because Karen is here. How are you? Hello, I'm all right, thank you. You made it? I made it. So. Just that loud, like, you know. <laughs> the first letter of the alphabet and the first number, put them together, I hate that road. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that road. Uh, now, of course, but you made it and you bring a beautiful cards and inspiration as well as grey board from Jelly Bean Crafts. Jelly Bean's got it. Jelly Bean's got some grey board. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Um, now, so one... shall we start with the different uh, bundles? So shall we start with... You do entirely what you do. I'll follow your lead, Paula. Well, I should be following the voice in my ear, but I'm not. So <laughs> let's try to do that. That's the box. Live dangerously. Li oh, yes. Uh, Lottie is here doing, uh, you know... A little bit of freelancing, so she has forgotten how, you know, off the cuff I can be. Anyway, <laughs> let's move on to the uh, Jelly Bean Crafts, uh, 12 by 12 uh, inches, grey boards. Uh, now you are getting uh, 20 sheets in total. Now, 650 GSM or 1200 micron or 1.5 mil. Yes, yes. Well, you know that, you know, Gavin from Jelly Bean. Yeah. Oh, just say hi to Neil. Happy birthday, Neil. Oh, happy he's, birthday. Neil. He's the tea boy. Oh, I see. Who's the tea boy, yeah. Um, Gavin's been in the industry over 35 years. He's done all the qualifications, made paper and everything else. So rather than just telling you it's a GSM, he's given you every single uh, GSM microns and actually in millimetres so that you actually know what you are getting with your grey board. Absolutely. So then it's a good quality grey board, mm -hmm. 12 by 12. And of course then we can cut it with a craft knife. Well, you can cut it. To, I'll show it. Uh, pass from one of my demos. I'll be cutting it with a uh, trimmer. Oh, fabulous. And uh, now, of course, they will be, this will be perfect for making your own journals, mixed media pieces. Yes. And if you've got a, a nice little book that you've got a very flimsy uh, cover on you can pop that on and that'll hard uh, toughen it up but mix media throw paints at it Absolutely everything gorgeous and now of course 11.99 is your price for all 20 with a massive seven pound saving uh, it can be yours as five six zero three one four is your item number it works out at 60 pence a sheet uh, so that is really like especially if you're thinking but then you can bring it in and making something like this yes 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 that's the that's like going back to the original uh, first book binding kind of thing but yes Amazing. definitely right and now remember to check out your baskets if you want the 12 by 12 or you may well want to go for uh the a4 in here uh now uh now this is this is is this the same quality it's, that we're the, it's exactly the same it's just had two different cuts on it one's a 12 by 12 one's an a4 we all know that everybody will have their own preference of what they want to do with it, it gavin's put it into two uh right so and of course for instance, this size, it's like an A5, right? So yes. we could do one, like with one sheet, the, the, the front and the back, and then another one, the spine, right? Oh, definitely. If you want a really, really big, thick book, you oh. could do it. Oh, you could do yeah. like if, if you was doing a if you was doing a case, yes. you could make it into a part box. You know, like when we make a box and you have the box and then you yes. make a lid. Absolutely. If you made a box, then it would be a hard box for you. 
make a lid on top of it, obviously knowing the measurements of how to make the lid to match it, you could actually make a grey board box. Yeah, that's a fabulous idea. Now, if you want yours, uh, 9.99, just 9.99 uh, for the 20 of the A4, you have a five pounds off as well, which is an amazing saving considering that you are just paying 9.99. Five nine five six three three is your item number. Now, Jelly Bean Crunch, in my opinion, are renowned for one thing, and it's their color collections, because they yes. are so useful. Yes. Why do you like them so much? Well, um, there's always a varied. It's not, we've got them in a hundred, uh, there's a hundred sheets. It's not one color, one pattern. He's divided it down into 10 patterns within a colour range. So this one is the pink one. I found out the other day that it's actually litho printed, which is yeah. the, the most expensive way to print. Litho printing? Yes, yeah. yes, it's the most expensive way to print and it's what the professionals use to do their printing. So that's why when I, when I score it, it's not cracking or anything else when I put anything on it. But I know from, put that one into a, 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 a box and I know that all those pinks will go together because they've all been printed and made on the same run. Absolutely. I love, I love the way that you have got all those different patterns that I have got. But you know that they are going to all coordinate perfectly. Look at those gorgeous. Uh, 14 pounds and 99 pence is your price. You are saving 9 pounds. Uh, 056393 is your item number. Saving 9 pounds, 14 pounds and 99 pence is what you're paying. Uh, now then, this is the one that I would definitely go for because it goes with any other one, isn't it? The yes, grey. Yes. We. I was. Uh, I was watching the other day, and they were saying about how the, how, uh, the presenters were and demonstrators were saying how they had the house painted with grey because it goes with anything. If they want to put duck egg blue with it, royal blue with it. Mine's been painted grey for about five years, but that's because it. I like to put things to it, but grey is staple colour and it will go with anything. Go black, white, pinks, blues, greens, it goes with oranges, lime greens, everything. Absolutely. I really love this colour collection with those greys. Absolutely cool. It like goes with everything, like uh, like Karen was saying. And look at the beautiful samples. Even grey on grey is just beautiful, yes. isn't it? Yes, yes. Look, Definitely. Like a little bit of black, of course, uh, even better. Uh, now, you are getting 40 of the 270 GSM, 60 of the 300 GSM, so that makes it 100 sheets in total uh, with the pattern and, the, of course, the plain grey, elegant colours in here. Let me put it that. Love the monochromatic cards as well. 255139 is your item number. £14.99 and pence is your price, saving £8. Uh, shopping, you are happy been shopping ahead already about uh, with, for the blue. Uh, this bundle has, I love these different shades of blue. Definitely a real mixture to suit any mood, as long as it's not blue. As long as your mood's not yeah, blue. Absolutely. Blue outside, but not blue, uh, you know, kind yes, of sunshine yeah. in the sunshine inside. Sunshine inside. But that's also got an extra 20 sheets into it, so it's got 120 in the range from 250 to 300 GSM. You've got your spotted, your stripes, your dark and blues, your paler blues, your, pay, your plain ones, and they have, there are some in there that are coloured to the core. Abs and so that means if we rip it, yes, some are not. printed and some are coloured to the core. That the one that you've got there is a co a, a, a coloured a core one, uh, and most of the plain ones are all the core. Absolutely, you can see all those variations of uh, blue. Uh, now, you have been uh, shopping ahead for this one. Remember that you are getting a different sort of plane and pattern between 250 GSM, which is perfect for die cutting, and that construction weight of 300 GSM. Uh, now, you have, of course, you are saving nine pounds, 14 pounds, and 99 pence. 032050 is your item number. Now, we have got a massive bundle here, and of course, this is assorted sizes and weights and you know colors. This is five kilograms for far, uh, for eleven ninety nine. Uh, now, I, I think this is going to be sorted, and I believe you have got one of these. We're going to do. I, I picked one. I was in the warehouse uh, yeah. doing the finalisation yeah. with Gavin on Thursday, and he's got them all ready and piled up. And I just picked one up, and he says, well, "What are you taking that for?" I says, "Because if I open that up, yeah. people will see what they, what arranged to get." Can we have a look now? We certainly can. Do you want me Lovely. to get it from Yes, me? absolutely. I'll give the details meanwhile. Ooh. But you are getting a sort of sizes five kilograms. Imagine oh. five bottles of water for one liter, or five uh, you know bags of sugar. That 
the one kilograms that's how much you are gonna get in this bundle and of course it's gonna be assorted sizes it's a massive box and if you're a freedom member you are not even paying for P and P just $11.99 perfect for matting and layering perfect for uh, die cutting perfect for kind of grabbing all those elements now let's have a look at how it will come to us and what sort of shapes and colors we are gonna find so, so this is a random one picked up, picked off off the the pile. I was there while it was being packed, and and the, I'm not going to say that they're all exactly alike. They're not. Uh, there's different sizes, but you will get a kilogram of black, and that's the great big heavyweight black. A kilogram of the brown, which is the big heavyweight brown. A kilogram of white, kilogram of red, and then a kilogram of mixed ones. So this is what what when this comes to your door, this is what you'll open up. Yeah. And it's a good job I had a trolley because I wouldn't have been carrying this one in, I'll okay. tell you that, Paula. Okay. And just undoing it, it'll have a piece of cardboard on the top. That's not included in the weight. Right. That is there just to stop anything getting damaged. Okay. And then this one, this is your mixed bag that I will okay. put there. And then that's a kilogram of white. This. Do we always get a kilogram of white? A kilogram of white, wow. a kilogram of brown, a kilogram of black, and a kilogram of red. That is pretty so awesome. So the weights, and these have been, um, Lizzie, uh, Gavin's daughter and yeah. Gavin, were weighing these out, and it's exactly a kilogram of each of the four colours, and they'll not always be in that sizes, as you yeah. can see here, your blacks come in too. Now two they're sizes. not tiny little pieces, no. they are die cuttable, you would get I, you, you yeah. would get a lot cut out of that. I think this one's a score down the middle, and you have got perfect card sizes. I mean, obviously it's not going to be a standard size, nope. you know, card sizes, but you know, could work it. Yeah. Uh, now, basically, I think a hundred sheets of A4, more or less, uh, three hundred in total. Yeah, that's amazing. Yes. Well, you know, well, you know, as I say, Gavin, Gavin yes. has been in there th in the industry thirty-five years. He's been in the industry longer than we've been around. You know, oh, yeah. No. Is that is that old, uh, Paul? Yeah. Maybe you. Yeah. Maybe yeah, just maybe a longer. year or so, but yeah, I'm not making him feel old, but 35 years in one industry, yeah, and um, he, there's nothing that you can't ask him about card or paper, and 300 sheets of 250 GSM is equivalent to 5 kilograms, so the weight of this is equivalent to 300 A4 250 GSM pieces of cardstock. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. And then that's that's just the main core of it. But going into here is this in this one, and I know I'm going to rattle. I do okay. apologise, Lottie and Marcus, for for the noise. I'll be okay. as quick as I possibly can. There we go. Eleven ninety nine would be the price for that bag just on its own. Imagine having everything else. Remember to check out your baskets if you want five kilograms of uh, one kilo of white, one kilo of black, one kilo of red, one kilo of brown, and then the mix back. Mary card as well. You've got mirror, he's put mirror card into this, he's put square card and envelope packs into oh. it, there's uh, smaller pieces of card, there's some card blanks there, there's pearlescent card stock, double sided pearlescent, and then there's some of the uh, glossy in this one. Oh, that's a nice one, but I can't guarantee that you will get that. Your so, bag will be totally yeah. different, but there's a kilogram within the bag and each kilogram for each of those colours. Absolutely. So do check out your baskets. Half the stock has gone. If you want to get five kilos of car, remember assorted sizes, but you are going to get a kilo of black, a kilo of white, a kilo of brown, and a kilo of red, plus a mix one kilogram bag. Do check out your baskets. Half the stock already gone. One five zero five two one. You're only paying eleven ninety nine with an eight pound saving there. Now, another thing that is very synonymous with jelly bean crafts for me is the, the rainbow cards. I love, there's something very special about this printed card that has got the white core, but the vibrant, the zestiness, the vibrancy of this color is in second to none. Um, Karen, this is card like 
you know, very different from other types of cod, isn't it? It certainly is. It's not, not the litho printed. It is a powder coated, oh, and yeah. the colour has been pow powder coated. So um, the, uh, you would need to be careful with your glow. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not going to take away the fact yeah. that that it, it can mark if you put glue onto it unnecessarily. But it's a powder coated, and it's very very smooth on the texture. But you've nice. got ten different yeah. colours. And Absolutely. you don't need um, massive sheets to be able to do make anything pop. You've got a beautiful sample there from our Cheryl, and all she's put into it is little hexagons of colour, and the card pops. It's um, well, it, the 225, 225. 235. Two, so two, perfect for die cutting, isn't it? Yes, and absolutely. And you're getting 100 sheets. Die cuts to a dream. Don't pre when you're scoring it, please don't press too hard. It's powder coated. Yeah. Be gentle. Score a couple of times, but you, it'll make all your boxes. It's strong enough to make boxes, bags, and everything else. Absolutely beautiful. The um, the ladies that I know, you know, on my design team, they go to that one for a lot of their samples because it's just a straight background without trying. Absolutely gorgeous. Now you are getting 100 sheets in to total, uh, but look at the savings. Over 60% of the uh, the price, you, you know, that's the saving. Uh, 9.99 is your price. You are uh, saving 16 pounds, way better than half price. Uh, grab yours, 904-455 is your item number. Now, I know lots of us like color, but also lots of us love a little bit of black because, or a lot of black, because it kind of highlights, doesn't it? It kind of frames everything. It kind of brings everything to life, but also on its own, it's a very good construction weight as well. Uh, now, in here, you are getting 100, uh, is that correct? 190 gsm. So it is. It's, it's not the hard, the heavyweight black that we normally have, but it's 190 gsm. So, um, a little bit too light for a card blank, yep. but when you want to mat and layer or you want to make perfect. something pop, a perfect background okay. for it. It's not going to add weight when, for instance, you know how it's like Leone always says, uh, you know, frame your work into a black mat and layer. Now, if you do that with a very heavy 300 GSM, can be make the car very heavy at the front? It can also cost a fortune to post absolutely, it. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And we don't like that, do you? No, 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 no. Postage is expensive enough as it is. It is. The cheaper indeed. the postage, the more, more products you can buy. That's my thinking as mm. well, Karen. You cannot argue with that. Fair play. Uh, I'm just repeating everything that they are saying in my ear. Uh, right, 522-258 is your item number. You're saving £11. Again, another better than half price. I think also the other thing is with black card, uh, it, it's really difficult sometimes to find the lighter weight. So make sure to check out your basket, especially for this. It's not every day that you see uh, that 190 GSM uh, card paper. Now then we have also the uh, kind of the brown. Uh, you have been shopping ahead for that. Uh, as nearly a third of the stock has gone of the 550 GSM. Now this is not. I mean. And that's that's what you're going to get into your your box as well. That's the one that that's goes. That's the one that, that the you brown, get the kilo. That's the brown, mostly the brown that goes into that box, definitely. Now it is absolutely phenomenal. Five hundred and fifty GSM. Now we are used to two hundred and seventy, three hundred GSM, but five three hundred and fifty, but. 550, very rarely we see. Very rarely that we see. So if, if I may just step back to the grey board, yeah. the grey board is 650 GSM yeah. and that's 1.5 millimetre thick. Wow. So if you compare that, this, it's 100, 100 grams yes. per metre less. Yeah. It's very much within the the the, con the construction, very construction. So am weight. I right thinking that GSM is grams per square meter, where the is. micron is the thickness that you know? Micron sort of is thing. the density, yes, and then the thickness is the millimeters. Meters, exactly. Yes. So so therefore we have got like it's super compact days because it's not as thick, but super heavy as well. Yes, very heavy. So yeah. per perfect Tip. for boxes as well. Okay. Yep. Perfect when you want to wrap somebody around head with a full box of it, you know, Don't when you've had enough. It. Don't turn <laughs> it. We do not come down and balance. And I just had a, you know, we were, I'm having a kind of a week uh, with that. And no, I haven't heard anybody as, as long as I, people have heard me, but not the other way around. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> you're saving 10 pounds. 9.99 is your price. 399680 uh, is your item number. I don't harm people. People harm me. Let's make it very, very clear. Uh, on the website, you will find, of course, everything that we have seen included, uh, you know, the beautiful gray. Uh, we have got also glue. We have got the uh, spots, three bottles of PVA full strength glue set, uh, 125 mil each. Uh, of course, we are going to ask um, uh, Karen. Now, let's put something in your baskets. Let's check out securely and look what about that is a free delivery add-on. This is what we call here at the craft store, uh, you know, like a end of call offer. If you give us a call, the, um, the operator will ask you the same. Would you like to add this? This is a fabulous craft, jelly bean crafts, craft ribbon and tag says There is rubbons. There is, there is lots of different elements. Uh, Karen, you were raving about this bundle, weren't you? Well, uh, for that, you have uh, two packs of ribbons, yeah. white ribbons. In those ribbons, there's two sheets of each. Okay. You've got four rolls of ribbon. You've got 105 brown tags, wow. and the tags match the um, the, the weekly the, the the weekly savers, the seven day savers roll. Oh, yes. You've got um, 60. You've got 60 ribbons, 60 little gold ribbons in there. You've got some twine, which don't forget can be unwound, unwound and made into ribbon. But it's an absolute beautiful, right. uh, beautiful uh, one. My hands are not big enough for all this. Uh, let me be very clear, because there, literally there is lots more. The tax that like Karen was saying. Look at all that for just 6.99. You're not paying P and P for that. Make sure to check out your baskets uh, you are gonna get lots more that you're gonna see right now with that remember to check out your baskets remember that uh, free um, free postage uh, add-on if you wanted to do uh, 699 not PMP on that now of course Karen uh, what are you gonna show us well do you, shall we do the uh, make something like this absolutely and bring in the yeah. the rolls to, to wrap it and show you show you how I would wrap it like that. I am um, there are tools out there I know the cool cats have definitely definitely have tools out there to do all the measurements I'm actually going to do it without the measurements because I don't want people but if you want tools to do it that will make it so easy they'll be on your uh, they'll be on your website anyway if I may can I just say hello to Cheryl of and course. the grandchildren yeah. so Amelia <laughs> Riley be good. <laughs> Aww. I, I dropped off to Cheryl's to pick up some samples and they begged me to, they asked me to, uh, to oh, say hi. Course. So I'm just saying hi to no. Riley and Amelia and hope, you very, hope you've been good for your mama. So what I, what I have to done uh, at home previously is I've got all the rainbow card and I've cut it into different sizes and this is what I'm going to place on the front of uh, the front of the book when I've okay. finished it. I've got my pieces cut out of the grey board. I cut these from the A5 and I've cut them out just using my uh, ochre trimmer. Okay. And if I it, I'd like to just go through how I cut my how I cut, right. cut it. I didn't I, I didn't pop it up to measure it. I took the measurement and I wrote it, did a little mark on on the um, on the grey board. And as you say that is a hundred uh, that is uh, one and a half millimeters thick isn't it? Yeah, it's quite thick. I placed it up to where the blade goes and made sure that it's flat against the top and all I'm doing is running my blade up and down. I will be totally honest here and I will say that this blade is uh, on its way out, okay. it's not a it's not a strong blade, it's yeah. not a sharp blade, but it's ideal for doing the grey yes, board. Sorry. It's not going to tear the grey board yeah. or anything else. Now we have, sorry Karen, but I need to tell everybody that, that we have sold out, I think it's a complete sellout of the five uh, kilograms of cars. Now there is, a, it's a technical sellout because it means that, the, what it means that at the craft store is that you have a, a few of you have got to sell it on your basket. You haven't checked out your baskets. If you do that now, you will still get it. Otherwise it will bounce back and somebody else might get them and might check out their baskets make sure to check out your baskets back to you okay. lovely so I've got that and you can see that will just bend a little bit and I wouldn't push it don't push it too hard and then just make another little mark at the other side let's bear in mind that this is actually gonna it's gonna be inside everything as as well and I'm marking that up onto the same line making sure that where that bend goes where the blades gonna go and then go up and down 
and there you go you've got a beautiful cut on your okay. on your grey right. board yeah. so you can cut any grey board like that this one cuts beautifully it doesn't uh, this one doesn't it's not um Fibrous, uh, not um, that's, yeah, yeah, fibrous. fibrous. It yes, it yeah, it's not not as fray. fibrous. It doesn't fray. That's you know, the one. You know, yeah, you can... yeah, just no, a bit like my mind today. Yeah. Fray you. Oh, I mind. I'm so. But yeah. it, it's funny because that fraying is something that we usually use for fabric. Yet it happens with anything that is fibrous because, of course, uh, you know, any paper, paper is made out of fibre, so it can fray a little bit as well. Certainly. So what I'm going to bring in now is I'm going to bring the seven day saver in okay. because I want to uh, to start binding binding yeah. it. So I've got two for a front and a back and I've got a spine. Right. And what the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to use, uh, you can you can choose to go without the tape or you can choose to go with the tape. This is uh, this is a Cool Cats archetype. Okay. archetype. I'm going to only do one half with that and I'm only going to do a little bit of it for the simple reason is I'd, I'd like to show you the difference Very once nice. I've wrapped it, if, if, does, if that makes sense. Paula. Yeah, it and does perfect make What sense. I'm not going to do is I'm not going to do it where you would use the tape and wrap it round. I'm looking more at something that um, perhaps a beginner can do without with, without getting too worried about it. I'm uh, if you yeah. wanted to go for the seven day saver, uh, remember that today is Saturday evening or afternoon. Uh, the brand new uh, ones are launched tomorrow, Sunday at 8 a.m. Uh, and of course, these uh, seven day savers will disappear then. If you want it, you have got two rolls uh, for 9.99, saving 11 pounds, which is better than half price. 548687 is what is your item number. Remember, you are getting both rolls. Both rolls, yes, and e each uh, it's each roll. It's sort of um, 25 meters on each, so wow. there's 50 meters meters of it. I'm just using some tacking tape to pop down onto my uh, to my mat, oh, to my mat, right, yeah. and that's because I want to use that as a as an edge. And that's I'm not a very gonna, good tip. Yeah, I'm not going to bring out a scoreboard where you could because the scoreboard's got grooves in it. Yeah. So I'm going to pop one down, and I know as long as I don't push too hard, that's level. I'm going to pop this one in here, which is the other, the other, the the front of it, and put the other one at the side there. And using your mat underneath, I can see that the line is is as straight as I'm going to get it. Yep. Again. Please go get tools. Once you, if this is your very, very first one and you want to try it out, this is the way that you try it out without going to the expense of buying tools. If you find that you love it, invest in the tools and they're, they're inch. Um, um, I'm sure Maggie will be watching. If Maggie can email in with the spacer, what they're called, the spacer. inch spacers, that's yeah, the one. Thing. And you have different ones, like uh, uh, one eighth of an inch or quarter of an inch, I think, or, or three quarters, depending on the sizes of that uh, grey board and, of course, those elements. She certainly does, yeah, yeah. Sometimes people, uh, sometimes you're a little bit frightened to go into that thinking, I need all these tools, I need all that. You won't get, you won't get the best results if you do things by eye. As you know, when you're taking your skirts up, you don't get a, <laughs> the best result by doing it by eye, but you use a tool and you will do. I never do that. They were saying like they, uh, they were laughing about me. It's like, yeah, Paula, don't do because I'm so short. I bought a dress yesterday, and it was like on the back. It was like literally. I was basically looked like I was a you know fairy with a dress <laughs> that was flowing. Like a wedding <laughs> dress with a train. Yeah. Yes. No, well, when no, I was no, 18, no. it was. Uh, it would take it to take me about three hours to take a, a skirt up yeah. because I'm like you as well. Yeah. My son says I'm minimum. <laughs> because I'm mini and I'm his mum, so I'm oh, a mini minimum. mum. That's very good. Yes, yes. What's your son's name? It's Jacob. Hi, Jacob. Yeah. You're watching. Very clever. Oh, we'll not watch. I know. We'll not yeah, watch. No, but you it never used to take know. me three yeah. hours to take one up, but it it was quicker for me to make a skirt to length. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and I started sewing because of that. So I'm taking this away now and we've done one as it would and this yeah. would, this using the archetype, that's why you're going to get a decent, a, a decent hinge. Doing it without if you're not going to want to use it for a very, very, you know, if you're not, if it's not going to get a lot of wear 
or you're just practicing we'll just take a little bit of paper and we're going to measure it round about there when I've got a measurement here I will turn it over make sure all this is level this is great for wrapping as well this is our if to get your levels your edges right for, for wrapping crease it all the way down and you can either do it with a ruler or with a uh, a pair of scissors or if you've got one of those that wrapping things that you put around the wrapper and you can go down it go down one of those I'm not so worried about getting a straight edge for the simple reason these are all going to be popped yes. away and then what we're going to do is we're going to bring this little make do measurement again okay. and that's going to go so we'll say pop it down there and stick it on wherever you're going to go so we know we're going to have a straight edge now because we've put both of those together we're going to stick both of them all in one go and this is where the jelly bean glue comes in you're getting three bottles of that don't you definitely yes definitely and there's a is it a hundred and thirty hundred and twenty five mils in each and I like the bottles they feel quite nice and squeezy they're very squeezy, nice and squeezy you can see that this is a very very tight fine tip yep you have a choice of making it a fine tip or a, 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 a bigger tip. Yeah. If when you got it, you decided to cut the end off, you would have a bigger tip. Because you are getting three of them, it would be maybe a good idea to have different tips in there. Each That's one. it. So, different so, yeah, definitely. This one, because I wanted it fine, I just got my awkward... Um, pokey tool and very carefully making sure that you don't get your fingers in the oh, way yeah, because that the... is that 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 part is um, sealed when you okay. get it and gently work it in and I know that that tip then is only as as big as that yeah, pokey absolutely. tool but if I wanted to have big coverage I would chop one off a little bit because you've got the saver on it and put the top back on and it keeps it keeps it wet this is a, a, a fantastic glue for, I'm not going to say, I, I can't say whether it's acid free or lignum free, um, I've, it's, it, but it sticks wood, it sticks glass, it sticks everything. Uh, everything that I've tried to stick onto it. I did have a board and I've actually left that at home so I do apologise. That's then stuck onto there. Okay. And once that's dried, I'm then going to do the same here and I'm going to use another piece of grey board to make sure that I get the same, the same distance from that one to that one. Okay. And i put the glue on and you can see how fine it comes out. In fact, Paula, what we'll do... Oh, what are you doing? There Ooh. we go. <laughs> you can write with it. You can write with it when you do it that narrow, yeah. And then glitters and glitters, top. anything yeah. that you want. As long as you do that, as long as you don't overcut the overcut yeah. the seal. That seal is there until you're ready to use it, so it's not going to dry up while it's in the bottle. Yeah, absolutely. And then that make do better at the bottom. That then gives me a, that's given me enough there for that to fold over. Oops, take that away. You can fold that over and that gives you a nice seam without damaging it. Yes, you can see that at the moment. Yeah. So your name will be going through backwards <laughs> on the other end. Well, that's like the story does, of my life. That going does dry backwards. out. No, no. I'm going to do a little bit of cutting because I don't need this much here. Now, once you've got the... If you put the tape in or... Oh, um, anything that's going to sort of build that bridge there it's not going to tear on this one you will find that perhaps you've got you might have it very very weak there and it could it could uh, yeah. tear what we're going to do now is fold this over and I better use my tool because I'll be in trouble with the ladies if I don't use my tool but it shows you how hard how sturdy the card is, how sturdy the paper is as well. Yeah. 
There's a, there is a nice little sample up there, Paula, just behind me, that's, oh, uh, that's um, showing you how big a box you can actually yeah. wrap and that. you can make yeah. flowers. Cheryl's made flowers with the paper. Yes. I've done fans with it. I uh, love that. Just a bit, uh, yeah. a bit to, 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 to the other side. Yeah. Is yeah, it right or left? I've no idea. More to the other side. Yeah, if you go more towards... Oh, I forget. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, right. Very busy for the jelly bean crabs at Crab Paper Rolls. You are getting two rolls of the uh, 500 ml, so 50 centimeters by 25 meters. So you are getting actually 50 meters in total. And 9.99 is your price. You are saving 11 pounds better than half price. Grab yours. Remember, it's a seven day savers, but what day is today? Saturday. So that means that it ends tomorrow. Do not miss out. Check out your baskets right now. Uh, back to Karen. So this part, uh, when I'm putting the edge over, um, I'd use tape. If you can see here, I have, again, there are tools that you can buy yeah, for nice. it, but I, I wanted to show yeah. without, without a tool. Do not cut to that part there or else when you turn it over, yeah. you're going to get the grey board yeah. going through. So this one here, I'm going to turn it over and I did cut it, I, was, I put my scissors through it accidentally. I'm just going to rub it over, but you can see here there's a little bit that's hung over. Yep. Does that make sense I'll there? Yeah. And what we're going to do is we're going to press into that. Do the same on the other side. Does it want me there? Does that make any sense? Yep. Is that better? I can see the camera this time. Last <laughs> time I was with you, I was so far away I couldn't see where the camera was, and I kept getting everything out of shot. And then bob that down there. And then we're going to do the same across here. Now, what you would normally do is put three lots of tape onto it um, because you don't want tape in that middle. Sure. If you've used the glue, the 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 the, the that tape, yeah. it, you may not need to glue. But all I'm going to do on this case, we're going to pretend that we haven't got any any tape into yeah. it, and I'm going to just gently pop that tape straight across there like that and then this red liner tape I'm going to pop okay, right across yeah. there just in one part and if I just snip in there yeah. I'm going to get the I, I, I will get it's not perfect Paula because it, it does take a while it can yeah. take a, quite a quite a while to to put together see, and I want to do it all I, I want to see just to see how easy it is and it just means that that'll go in there and not cause me any any problems Absolutely. and then take the tape off and this is why we need kind of also uh, all sorts of adhesives it's not just one type oh, of adhesive definitely definitely one type of adhesive is 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 never enough you want dots for this, you need uh, uh, tape for that, you need um, foam pads to raise things, you, you, you need all sorts of different glues as well. Absolutely. You, you want one that's going to stick, uh, that's going to be great for paper, one that's uh, acid and lignum free like the awkward one, but then you get this one which is an uh, really full strength, very, uh, and what you stick with this actually stays. Yeah. I like this one uh, when I'm doing, when I'm definitely doing with grey board and everything else. But I also have my other one for for other other things. Absolutely. So uh, if you wanted to go for the uh, PVA glue, that of course full strength that Karen is using, details at the bottom of the screen. So what I am doing now is gently teasing. Normally you would have used glue around there to put everything together, but you can see. Look, see, you're on it. Oh, it's right way around, Paula. Oh, can you yeah. see it, everybody? Yeah, I'll just turn see. it. Get it out at light. There's our Paula. You'll always be remembered on my little book here now, oh, won't well, you? you know, at least somewhere. You are. You're always everywhere. Oh, no. You're always watched. Don't oh, let don't okay. everything that you know. I don't you know, know if that sounds... That's all right. Or, yeah. in, in, <laughs> in a good in, way. The, in my best possible ways, oh, you gosh. are always watched on the TV. Yeah. That that way. That's good. Yes, it was meant in the kindest I and mind, nicest mm. way. So what you can see here now, this is how we've got the book, and that's just wrapped with brown, that's brown perfect. paper. Perfect. Love that. Now the one with the tape on, which is this side, will be much stronger 
as you can see, than the one that's not. Yeah, that that's could tear right. eventually. Yeah. But we still haven't finished their power. All right, yeah. What we're going to do now, and you would do this, bring back the, pa the brown paper, and let's do a quick, you would normally draw around this, but we're not going to do for, for speed. Yeah. We're just going to cut a nice little bit out. Make sure we, 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 we're basically just cutting a little bit out to get it down to the right size, yeah? Okay. So I'm not struggling with the yeah. roll. And by the way, that's the roll that I got given oh, when so I first joy. started. So all the, all the things that you see and all the things that I've done previously, they've all been done with the same roll. I've not been given a second roll at all. So imagine having two of them, uh, remember 25 meters in each of them, so that means that you have got 50 meters, uh, how much you are going to need. I also love that, uh, you're going to use it. I love this idea as well for children and grown-ups to put it on the table and then just get paint and, you know, just kind of go mad. And also, for instance, early on we had, or the previous hour, we had marbling, um, gorgeous, and, you know, it would be really nice to pull up, uh, pull up prints and things like that. I just think it's a really cool way. Also, I'm going to say um, Christmas, uh, stamp and embossing gold, wrapping paper, nine ninety nine for two 50 meter rolls. White, do it in white. Oh, or no. or a, a glitter, glitter embossing, embossing glitter. Definitely. Red. And then on end of call, you've got all the tags that actually match this. You've perfect. got 105 tags in that end of call that yeah. actually match it. I did get given two rolls, but do you know, uh, uh, you know, Catherine's like weather lady, Jacqueline. Yes. Well, I met, I met Jacqueline and I uh, sort of gave her what, my second roll. That's good. You know, she, she says, uh, I've been asking Gavin for some of that. And I says, oh, you can have this one. But yes, I'm still on my first roll. Please bear in mind that we would have done this a lot, lot neater at home. So the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop that one on there. And then before I put the other down, I'm just teasing that up so I can work it into the crease. Into the crease, using my fingers, my, my nails first, which I don't have any good nails. And then That's nice why and the gentle. These tablon tools are so good, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then that one I'm doing with my nails. It's paper that we're working against. We're not working against card. And then that one there, you should tap on to warm it up. If you warm the glue up, it makes it stick so much better. And then just nice and gently work it. You will get better as you practice this. And then that's the main of your book. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, not yeah. glued properly yet, but we're we are live. We are indeed. Now, of course, if you want to go for the grey boards, we have got two different sizes. The 12 by 12, of course, is exactly the same quality. You are talking about 650 GSM or 1,200 micron or 1.5 mil. Now, that you are getting two, 20 sheets in total uh, for just £11.99 with a massive saving of £7.560314. That's for the 12 by 12. Now, we have also the uh, A4 version is the same quality the beautiful gray board uh, that you can see there and I say beautiful because as a crafter that's what you want you want quality you want durability a sturdiness from your gray board now 9.99 is your price for 20A4 with a saving of five pounds 595-633 is your item number then we have that Mace Beautiful Pink Bundle. This is a uh, great, it's one of the first times that I took notice of Jelly Bean Crafts was their, their bundles in which the same color printing, litho printing, which is one of the best ways to print, had been used to create different patterns. It's a very simple con uh, con um, Kind of, kind of concept, yet it's a very rare concept that you see it, and it's such a phenomenal way. If you are one of these people that struggles uh, putting colors together, if you are one of these people that is thinking, oh, I wish I was more confident with putting cards together, this is for you. If you are, like me, a person that loves color and is confident with color, but you are a little bit lazy when it comes to crafting, don't say anybody, but I'm a little bit crazy, um, you know, lazy, um, you want to have, oh, I say crazy, <laughs> Too. Oh, crazy and lazy, <laughs> both things, you know, both things, you know, Freudian sleep. But, um, 
But it basically what happens is that you want to grab cards that you know it's going to match beautifully. And you know that everything is going to blend perfectly because it has been printed with a letter printing, all the patterns in the same color. You also have put by experts that, you know, plain pink card. So you have got the intensity coming through as well. Now, the of course, the pink card in here is, of, uh, it's not, it, it's kind of what I call it, a, a color code or true to nature in there. But then you have, of course, the white cord in the printed ones, which means that you have got ripping techniques as well to do so. Uh, stripes, checks, ginghams, uh, spotty dots, uh, Swiss dots, and more you are getting in this bundle. 056393 is your item number, £14.99 with a massive £9 saving that one. This is the one I would go for most definitely. Why? There is very few colors that are as underrated as gray is, uh, uh, gray is, yet it's one of the most useful colors to go for. Why? Sometimes you want to accentuate a beautiful flower and you have got that stamp in there and that is glorious and you have colored in with vibrant greens and yellows and oranges. And you put a little bit of black and looks amazing, but what would you put in the background? You put gray. So it's an elegant way to kind of let the stamp and let your coloring sing their praises, kind of stand out. And yet the gray kind of is elegant and sophisticated, never to overtake the beautiful stamp image. But gray on gray is incredibly sophisticated. Think about those ladies, you know, in the magazines that are always kind of uh, glamorous. Gray is all what color that always is that sort of association. Even the monochromatic stamping and coloring in, it just looks stunning. And then of course you can put any color. Let me put, show you here, for instance with the pink. Doesn't it look beautiful uh, with the mat just gentle matting and layering, that subtleness in here. But if you bring a blue as well, so if we bring blue here, if I'm going to put that, and then we put a little bit of the gray as well. Look how gorgeous does it look, how elegant. So gray is a color that I most definitely would go for. Uh, you have got a hundred sheets in total, 255139 is your item number. 14 pounds and 99 pence is your price. You're saving eight pounds. Then we have the blue bundle in here. Now the blue bundle is fresh and I kind of always think of the sky blues, is the spring, also baby blue. Blues. But look at that. You are getting, the, uh, you know, more of a navy or dark blue card. Then you are getting the lighter blues as well. So you have got that kind of three shades of car stock of the same sort of tonal blue. Then you are getting the printed card in here, which of course that means that you have that glorious, beautiful, beautiful kind of elements in here. So you can see it there as well. Right now, £14.99 is your price uh, for this bundle, 250 to 300 GSM, 120 sheets in total, £14.99, saving £9. Then, of course, that's the blue bundle, but we have got more for you. We have that rainbow car stock, which is, of course, the one that is powder printed, so it has that Mad finish. It's the maddest card I have ever seen. It's kind of incredible because it will die cut beautifully. 235 GSM. And of course, you have a better than half price because you are paying 9.99. It's a saving of 16 pounds. Massive saving there. It's almost like a quarter of the price. It's almost like that. A nine pound, a nine zero four, a four five five is your item number. Then of course we have black paper card. It's the jet black. You have in here 190 GSM and that is on the cusp between paper and card. Perfect for matting and layering. Now 40% of the stock has gone and remember that you have got in here the perfect black mark to layer, to bring in, to die cut. Now 11 pounds, that's the saving. You're just paying 9.99. 5 to 2, 258 is your item number. And that's the black, but then we have from 190 GSM, we jump to actually 550 GSM. Now you are getting 60 sheets of that chocolatey brown, perfect for construction. Remember, this is like 
super thick. It's deceiving how thick is this, or how hefty is this, because actually it's not that thick, it's the heaviness of the, the, the fibers in here that makes it super sturdy. 399-680 is your item number. Again, better than half price, 999 is your price, you're saving 10 pounds. Now, when you go to check out whether it's the brown card, whether it's the uh, black, a jet black, you come to check out your baskets, and this is, says, how about the free delivery add-on? Now, this is a bundle of ribbon and tags and embellishments, and of course, rub-ons and uh, bows, all that for just $6.99. Now, even if you are not a Freedom member, if you add that to your basket, you will not pay P and P. So it makes sense to add it on. It's a phenomenal, uh, phenomenal price for such a big um, B bundle of goodness. Right, add it to the basket and then check out your baskets and grab some crafty time uh, with the inspiration that Karen is providing us. So back to you. So just to go through the finish one, what I've done there is that will dry and obviously I'd have, I've, I'd have stuck it down. I used an old punch there. That means I can put my, what do you call them? Yeah. I've forgotten oh, what they are now. Uh, the uh, crocodile. no. I used a crocodile to do yeah. it, but yeah. what, what's the? Signatures? That's it. <laughs> I didn't know that word. Yeah, you do. You do. Oh, yeah? The signatures in. Yeah, it's when you put so many pages together, oh, clustering yes, around yes, signatures. Yes. And then this is the, the coloured card, and it's just a little bit. Look how beautiful it all, it all die cuts oh. out. That is Absolutely just stunning. That's isn't the rainbow it? card, isn't That's it? That's the rainbow card. A little tip here you see this one there that looks a bit uh, funky. That's the waste from the rainbow cut out from this. Absolutely. So I've used the other side of the rainbow. But what I thought we'd do is we'll do a little booklet. Uh, again, down to just down to construction, and I'll show you how to get one of those out of an A4, and then we'll use a piece of the card, uh, the brown thick right, card, yeah. the brown thick card that we that we've got there. So uh, um, I'm using the pink, uh -huh. and what I have done is you can do this from a 12 by 12 in a in a different way with three layers, but an A an A4 you can do it uh, with with two layers. So I've I've worked out four measurements, and what I have done is. I've cut that down to 10 inches. I'm going to start working in inches okay, these yep, days. Absolutely. So I've cut that down to 10 inches as opposed to 11 and a half. Don't forget that strip on there would be the handle for an handbag or anything. Of course. Save it, make a border out of it. Yep. This one is normally eight and a half inches and I've cut it down to eight inches. And now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do it with the long part. That's landscape, isn't it? That's what we call landscape, and the 10 inches I'm going to divide into four. So all I'm going to do is score at two and a half, and you can see I'm not digging into, a, into my scoreboard. I'm just nicely doing it. Right. See, it's better on any cardstock to do it twice rather than trying to do it all yes. thick in one, in, in one go. You can, you, right. You're actually... Um, you, you're persuading the fibres to break yeah. here rather than attacking them and trying Absolutely. to trying to break them. And then I'm going to make a, a score at halfway down. So if we score here at four, so in effect you've got ten, uh, ten by eight, and you've done each one into two and a half by by four. So you get eight. If I turn that over, can you see the creases a little bit oh. better? Uh, at the minute, uh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, yep. we can see them. Yeah. I'll tell you what I will do, Paula. Quickly while we do it, you'll be able to see them. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's going to be the back. It's not going to worry. Nobody's going to see that. Okay. Now yeah. you can use a um, a trimmer or you can use your scissors. And what you're actually going to do is the long line down the the, the landscape part is you want to cut okay. to the third, the third one. So this one wants to stay as a whole, yeah. but cut down there through three of what uh, yeah. three of your segments. Absolutely. Yeah. Bob that onto there, make sure it's level, make sure that you can see. If you want to, you could put your blade, if you're using a blade, you could put a blade from your trimmer and go upwards like that. And then you know you've got it in the right place. But if you use a pair of scissors, yeah. you're okay to, to go with it. I'm keeping the scoreboard here because uh, I'm going to use that again to make the measurements from this. I'm, I'm, I'm 
I'd like to show yep. how to make the measurements. I'm going to score that uh, that way, that way, and that way. So this double one, those go, those three go underneath. So I would say, if you look at that, take it towards you. You do a mountain, a valley, and a mountain, and go underneath. All right. Yeah. Then go from left to right. Yeah. And then you'll do oh, a clever. mountain, a valley, and a mountain. That's very clever. And then you will have your little book. Yeah. So the best way to stick it together, we're going to use the glue again. I'm not going to, yeah, I'm just going to pop a little bit into there. So the Perfect. two ones that go back to back, oh. stick some glue yeah. into it. The first one will stick and then you'll find that will oh. be your overfold. Stick that one to there. And then if another we, fold. If we put a glue into like a U shape, could it be a pocket? You from, could make pockets with, from, from it tags, for the tags. The yes, yeah. you certainly could. Definitely, I never thought about that. Oh. Or you could use double liner tape. Yes. And you'd have a proper tag right. where yeah. where it's it's square Absolutely. enough for it to go in. And as you can see now, you've got a little booklet. You can make as many of these as you want, as long as you end up with. Um, a single flap at that side and a single flap at that side because they're going to stick into the yeah. the front of Absolutely. the the front of the booklet. So you could have it as thick as you wanted. Yeah. And without measuring, I'm going to put my brown cardstock onto there, and I can see that if I give it a quarter of a let's do it on the one. I'm going to give it a quarter of an inch and a quarter of an okay. inch. Yeah. So we'd say from one. To five and a quarter is four and three quarters, don't we? I've not brought a cutter that allows me to to measure that, so I'm just going to put a little a little mark into it and use my Perfect. trimmer to do that. And because I, in the camera, I cannot pick it up. The the beautiful chocolatey brown that it is. Oh, it looks it? black on yeah, the camera, it's a doesn't it? Oh, there it is. There it is. There, absolutely beautiful. But this is the very, very heavy one, and this is the book that this is the one that I took out the uh, the box earlier on. Yeah. The next thing you you you'd want to to to, to measure is the spine because you may have made it bigger than me. And what I'm going to do is pop it against my scoreboard and I can see it's about a quarter yeah. of an inch. So you would take your scoreboard, pop that in there. This is how you get your little measurements yeah. in without using a ruler. Pop that there and you know that say that is two, that's two and a half plus one, two, just yeah. two, two, uh, two or five eighths. And I can't give you any measurements because obviously you are, is it? No, let's do two and six eighths. There we go. We said a quarter of an inch for the uh, for the spine, didn't we? So uh, yeah. that's two notches, quarter of an inch. Yeah. We have got less than a minute to right. go. Right. Sorry, I haven't. Not a problem. Anymore. And then we want two and what's two and six eighths. So one, two, and two, four, six eighths. That's where we're going to cut. I would do that normally with the tool. And then you do the scoring of those. This one gets stuck into there. That one gets stuck into there. And then you end up with this. Absolutely. But what we have done is That's we've amazing. put the rub ons on. The and stuck yeah, them on. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Sorry. Uh, and now, um, What's it gone? I, I know. <laughs> uh, when are you back? Uh, 21st, All right. new launch with Oakwood. Well, uh, thank you thank so you. much, Karen. Uh, stay tuned because, of course, after the break, a final look at the one-day special. But do check out your baskets. These fabulous bargains to be had from Jelly Bean Craft. Stay tuned for more. Uh, well, of course, is a final look at the one day special with Julia and Yanis from Studio Light, then Song Chanting at 5, and then brand new one day special from Ultimate Finish at 6. Ultimate Finish cleans, polishes, and protects in one. No water is required. If you own a car, caravan, motorhome or motorcycle,
Do not miss the world launch shows this weekend. You don't need water or any other products. All you need is ultimate finish. On the shows, you will hear from a motor trade expert who says this is the best product he's ever used. Exclusive on the craft store with big savings and a five-piece pack. For a limited time, we will also be including two additional products at no extra charge, only while stocks last. See the amazing live demonstrations and big savings this Saturday at 6pm and 8pm and Sunday at midday, not to be missed. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. I am Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. Hello everyone and a warm welcome. So this is the final live hour with our fantastic one day special. Studio lights, so many goodies to be had. Can I say we've had a different focus on each of the hours but you can still get a hold of everything uh, if it's still in stock on our website. So do have a look, it's well worth going on the website and nabbing a bargain. But uh, someone who we're joined, uh, joined by this hour is the incredibly talented and lovely Julia. Hello. Hi, hi How everybody. So I always enjoy, when I work with you, it just feels like hanging out with a friend in their craft room. Back at you. Yeah, it's nice. We yeah, enjoy yeah, yeah. it. It's good. And it's really interesting. It's nice to see because Studio Night is coming in and seeing a different, because you've got a different style. So yeah. you would normally have maybe Lou here. Yeah. Uh, and it's nice to see a different style yeah. and see. Well, the crafters out there with. have got different styles. Yeah. So, so um, it makes sense to, to get a different um, perspective. Uh, you know, Lou can't do everything. She'd be just run ragged. So uh, I'm, I'm here to help. Well, I'm, I'm sure she's glad to have <laughs> you helping out. But that's Lou's whole thing is getting it community, building yes. that community, getting people crafting. Yeah. Right, one day special. We're going to explain with the one day special. You're getting a great bargain. She's very bargain on everything but here what you are uh, getting the fantastic stamp. So this is your. Fritilla? Yeah, fritillary. Fritilla, uh, fritillary, thank you. Fritillary butterfly. You, I mean, that, and we talked about this. Let me just show you something. Sense of scale. Look at the size of that butterfly. Really nice. You wouldn't work. want that landing on you when you're asleep, would you, really? <laughs> I was lucky enough to go to Borneo. So I visited Borneo. <gasps> really? Really cool. But they had insects that this would be small out there. <laughs> I mean, some of the insects in Borneo, they are huge. Um, so yeah, you get the butterfly, right? And it is a good size. Then we're getting both of the stencils. And I love these stencils. Mm -hmm. for, really for usable. For your textures, for your background paint. And you yeah. were demonstrating them so beautifully yesterday. So we're getting both of those, seeing that there. And also, you're getting a cheeky little look at the dies as well. And this die set, and I'm so glad, actually, have you still got those black? Uh, yes, I have, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Can you just show very quickly, because it's easier yeah. to explain. Sure. So Julia just die cut, matte and layered onto some black cardstock, and you'll really be able to appreciate 
uh, the dies that you're getting in this set. I've got which one I've got here. I've got one that's got got it marked, which is uh -huh. the front. Here we go, because they're not symmetrical. Right. So, so yeah. So you've got your mats and your layers. Let me fit. There it is. There. Mm -hmm. So that's going to fit on there. So just black and white. Oh, that's very pretty. It's absolutely stunning, isn't it? So obviously you don't have to use it with the layer if you don't want to. And uh, we are going to use these in the first demo. Yeah. And then we've got this lovely flower here, which would be lovely to paper piece in. Then you've got uh, the kind of trio of dies that are all together. And so this is the backer piece. Then the other die cuts, the middle die cuts out these two together. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we want to use, so we can use that for something else. Nice. And we want to use that, so that's going to fit in there. Yeah. And that is going to be a leaf. So then if you grab this. Oh, they're all beautiful. Then you can use that as a leaf with Hello. that. I have to say that that is stunning. Really, really nice. Julia, you're kind of showing there how easy it is mm. to create something. W what did we do? We die cut, we matted onto some black cardstock, and it's stunning. Yeah, that's going to be my first, that's exactly what I'm doing in my first demo, just with a bit of colour in okay. it. Okay, like in your style. Yep. So, look, all I want you to take away from that is it is a fantastic set. So if you want to get a hold of this, 17 97 is your price. Saving £6, one four eight zero two two. We're going to move on. We're going aviation, and I remember launching this complete collection with Lou, and uh, she was telling the story. And what I like when Lou designs something, she it's born out of her passion, and she does a lot of research. And this is all about Amelia Earhart, incredible woman, mm. like Amelia yeah. Earhart, amazing woman. So uh, here we have got our Seven Seas, lovely, lovely stamp set. I mean, with the stamp set, look at the textures that you're getting there, the sentiments in the mix too. Uh, so we can go vintage, you can use this for your journaling, your traveling, and look at, oh, imagine those on your jelly plates, or your textures, or spritzing, chevron, I like this. We can go quite gritty, industrial, vintage. I do like that stencil, I've pulled that stencil out oh. to use. I do like that set, that was the first set, when I, when I opened my box, those were the first sets, uh, stencils I went for. Yep, now that's, that's interesting. Uh, that's a big statement, because yeah. we've got some beautiful stencils on the yeah. show, but if Julia's reaching for this one, you know they're good. Uh, and you're also getting here, and I love these, you're getting, if I just turn this around and show you, ba -ba -bom, you'd be able to see your sentiments in there as well. I've got those cut as well, do you want to see those? Yeah, creating okay. love, taking flight, fly away, in the clouds, nice. Yeah, I've got all those cut already. I have to say, 10 out of 10 for preparation. I know. For you. I know, get me. So, um, obviously, you've got your black backers to them, yeah. and fly and away are separate words. So, right. if you just want to use the, the top, you can use them separately. The in the clouds, three separate words as well. So, we could fly in the clouds. Fly away in the clouds, or just fly in the clouds if you want to, yeah. Creating love, again, two separate nice. words, and take flight, two separate words. The only thing you've got to be careful about yeah, with is them... Creating is love in the clouds. No, it's oh. not creating love in the clouds at oh. all. <laughs> I can't take credit for that. That was, that was Katie, my producer, and I just I robbed the joke. Just went with yeah. it. It's your little eyes. Yeah. Oh, okay. You've got your little eyes here, uh -huh. so do beware that um, you, know, you, you don't want to lose those. But yeah. they are really, really nice fonts. Nice. I like those. So uh, 16 47 is your price, saving £5.50 you are getting. Now, come on. All of this, so both stencils, all those dies, all those stamps, for 1647. Uh, 977 881, your item number. I've got to tell you, everything on the show is under £20. Oh, actually, let me try that again. Everything on the counter is under £20, because we have got some other stuff, obviously, on the show is a little bit higher. But look, everything on the counter, under £20. Now, can I ask you? You can. If, we, if somebody bought everything that's on this counter, yeah. what would it come to? Well, I will tell you, Julia. Because oh. if everybody bought everything on the counter, it would come to... Just totten it up and we've got this and I'm going to... Do, 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 do I know that. you're not adding it up yourself. I am you're not, myself. you're really not. Julia, it upsets me that you would think I wouldn't be doing <laughs> the maths by myself. So I'm just going to carry the one there and there's two <laughs> in here and I've got some dice down there. So if we were to... How much longer do you need, Katie? If we were to, to add everything up on here, it would be... 
106 pounds, but... Flexes, three fle exactly. two flexes. Two flexes. Yeah. So you'd be able to split that price in half. And when you consider for 53 pounds then your first flex pen, but the amount that you were getting there, incredible value for money. But it's, not, it's not just that, yeah. it's the amount of hours of yeah. enjoyment you're going to get out of all this. And it's going yes. to be the years of use because these are all tools that yeah. you'll be able to use forever. That's what I love about you, Julian. You are a crafter first and foremost. Mm. And you approach it from that because, mm. look, genuinely, and uh, we're not laying on thick, it's, it's, it's genuine sentiment. As crafters, we craft because we want to enjoy it. And yeah. you will get a lot of enjoyment here. Got to move on. Uh, this is our vintage plane. So, well, I like this. You got, you know, that real traditional, iconic sort of Wright Brothers plane in there. Fantastic die. Look at that as mm. a die. And what I like about this is you could just take the globe out if you didn't want to use it yeah. as that full die. So yeah. it's got so many different connotations. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a beautiful, like you say, it's a beautiful mm -hmm. silhouette die. You know, you can snip away at the, the arrow if yeah. you wanted to and use that around something else. You can use the stem mm -hmm. and have something else standing on the stem oh. if you want to. So there's lots that you oh. can do with it. Yeah. And then the stencils as well. Wow. Mm. Tremendous. Oh, there's a lot going on here. These are really good. Fly to the sun destination. Just, you've got so many different components. And you've got the stamps there as well. So if you want to get hold of this, 1747 is your price. Saving five pounds and fifty pence. Eight four eight one nine four your item number. Just got to remind you, because this is Studio Lights, uh, it's coming from the Netherlands. Everything is on extended delivery. 26th of May. It's not too long. 26th of May, we'll take that. Okay, now, the propeller. The, that die is incredible. Yes, I've cut that Love out that. as well. Oh, uh, the, sorry, the die, die the, the stencil. Uh, the stencil, yeah. The stencil, yeah. There you go. Stencil's incredible. Yeah. Dies are great yeah. as well. And then you've got the, uh, the stamps in there as well. 1747, your price here. 513073, your item number. I'm starting to speed up only because we want to get to demonstration. Mm. There's a lot to show. Uh, we've got here, this is your 12, 17, again, 1747 your price, it is that magic number, and you are getting your dies, your stamps, and your stencils. I mean, look at that, as a little mini kit for 1747, Julia, it's a good price, right? Yeah, all of them are good prices, aren't they? We really like that. Uh, 699652, your item number there, and finally... We've got some journal dies. So these are your journal pages. And uh, look, journal dies. And I know we've, if you go online, because you featured some journals yeah. earlier on. Yeah. So if you just want to cut the pages, you're getting uh, two die sets here, saving seven pounds. Effectively, what, nine, say ten pounds. One of them set. is actually the journal die, though. One's, a page, one, one's pages, and the other one is actually a journal. Oh. The one so in your left hand is a journal. journal. Yeah. And then you've got your pages. Yeah. Thank you, Julie. All right, well, that's, that's what I'm like here for. Comprehensive. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, save me. Uh, so look, comprehensive die set there, 977375, your item number. Okay, as we said, there is a lot to discover on our website, so please do feel free to go onto the website. We're going to show you another item that's proving popular. Yeah, this is nice. Now, we are approaching limited stock here. Can I just say, the uh, Summer Fields, we've brought that to you in the past, has been a best seller. So here you're getting both journal dies, each one an independent journal, but you can mix and match the elements. $24.99 for both. When you consider, it is a 50% saving. You're paying for one and getting two there. Uh, 197473, your item number there. It works out just over 60 pence per die if you want to get hold of that. Now, we've also got some magnetic sheets on the show as well. I'm going to show those. Uh, these are part of your seven-day savers. Uh, if you want to get hold of magnetic sheets, Jelly Bean Crafts have also been very popular. 500 microns, you're getting 10 sheets in total, perfect for your storage, but also to die cut and get creative with. 933686, your item number. We're going to head back to Julia for our next demonstration. What we got, Julia? Right, okay, so we're going to hopefully do quite a quick one uh, with some of the elements from the One Day Special and some other bits and pieces, because while you've been talking, I've been changing my mind. Okay. Um, so we've got one of those stencils that I That's said nice. I went to first. Yeah, that, I mean, it just looks good there. 
Well, you've does, done does it? To it? I think that's that uh, because they're cut out of black. Yeah. That you can immediately see the sort of effects you're going to get. But of yeah. course, you get the the other side of it. You get the negative, don't you? Mm. So I'm going to take some twisted citron uh, distress oxide, and I'm just going to ink through. Just try and be careful with it. Yeah. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just to get some colour on there, and I am going for the sponge rather than at the um, brushes. the brushes because just so I can get a little bit more on quicker. Okay. Let's have a look. Yeah, just a little subtle background. It's a little registration. Yes, and then we're going to go with this one, which is from the One Day Special. Okay. And we're going to go with some wilted violet. Mm. Nice choice. And let's see. Let's have that up there. And we, I think we do opposite corners. Uh -huh. Oh, it's yeah. It's nice, isn't it? That's nice. Yeah. Such a strong, bold design. It is, isn't it? Real impact. But, if you, you know, it, but it's not um, too um, over the top. You yeah. know, it's still subtle, but uh -huh. I don't know what the, wor what the words are. My brain's not working now. <laughs> right, OK, so that's that. Then let's do a little bit of stamping because we can as well. Because yeah, we've got stamps on, the sh on, on this hour. Yeah. Uh, so let's go for this set here. And um, I'm really liking both. I'm really liking both of these actually. Oh, this is from our. Uh, it's propeller. Yeah. Propeller right. set. So I think what we do is go for. What else, what else have I got? Super preserve. That's darker. Let's go for this one. Mm -hmm. Go for a little bit of wilted violet. I only want a little bit of it. I don't want to. Don't want it to be too strong. Mm. Um, I'm going in the corner, the opposite corner. Oh, yes. Oh, that's just great texture. You know, that would look really good on tags. Yeah. And we just. I'm just going all the way around on all the corners, okay. which is really easy to do. Mm -hmm. Not really thinking about it, but I am thinking about it, if you see what I mean. So this one's going to face that way. So they're always facing that way, so there's like a pattern to it. Yeah. Yeah. And I might, just because I can, and because it's the last hour, you remember to always clean your oxide off your stamps. It's not going to damage your stamps, but then you'll get the same colour if you don't clean them off. And they are um, water-based, so it's easy for you to clean. Yeah. Let's stick with the purple and the green. So we go with our twisted citron again, and let's just. Uh, well, just going into here. good habits with regard to our stamps, giving them a clean. Yeah, I, 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 to be honest, the only cleaning I do is when I'm cleaning off uh, oxides um, because they're water-based, yeah. and and you don't want to get transference. But I don't bother cleaning off my Versafine Claire okay. or, or anything else. I'm lazy like that. Mm -hmm. So. So there's my background, nice. and I think I'll bring in the uh, twisted citron around the edge as well, just to, to kind of marry it all in. Nice. Just to finish it off. So this, this is a very, very quick background. Um, just being able to use everything that's, that's, that's available to me. Okay. Let's just clean that up. Obviously, you can dip your card into that and not waste oh, it. Bit of a mop up. Bit of a mop up. Or you can use it. I mean, you've got you've joined Leone with the uh, the clean up rag. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. very dirty. Right. So now what we're going to do is pop that onto some black because that's going to make it pop. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And I have used the, the card I've used is the Sentiment of Your Super Smooth Watercolor Card, the Hot Press card. So it's nice to it's stamp, stamp on, and it's going to take water, ink, whatever I throw at it. Yeah. Just in the back there. Okay. So what I've done with my actual um, um, 
dies is I've, I've got some this is from um, um, Phil's um, the sentiment of yours uh, limited edition of um, urban textures volume three uh -huh. so they were just some scraps I had left over so you can do this with you know with any of your scraps but it just has, happens to be kind of like bright rainbow colors mm. and um, so so it's, it's just a little bit different from just using the white you could of course just ink up your watercolor card with whatever colors you want to let's see now I've got a little mark there and a little mark there so I should be good to go because 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 they're not um, symmetrical once you've found where you need to go mm. just mark it that's that and there's my leaves and I've, it's the same paper but it's the green section of the leaves and dip these in there we go. I must admit, when I looked at these, first of all, I didn't get that they were leaves, mm -hmm. but they're more like, um, I suppose they're implied leaves. They're very um, modern. Yeah, well, they could be a little like a, a modern heart. It could be a heart, yeah. And then we'll pop these on here. Mm -hmm. Let's see, those are going to go like, let's see if I can get them where I want them to be first of all. Yeah, well, I think that's that'll very go, pretty. isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, we like this. Yes. So do I. Obviously, you can use your foam tape if you want to, mm -hmm. but I'm just using glue. Uh, you've got a lot of love for your demonstrations. Of course, it's one day special. It's lovely to see. A lot of people have been saying some very nice things. Oh, have they? That's yeah. lovely. Thank you, everybody. Means a lot. Uh, this is a real focal point, this one. But of course, you could make a background with it. You could use um, just the, the, the topper part of it um, and, uh, you know, kind of snip it here and there and everywhere like I did with the kind of pebble one yesterday. And then from a sentiment, we've got um, the, the die set that we had on last night when we launched at six yeah. and eight we had one um that had this oh. happy sentiment in it and it had the yeah, pebble nice. die in it as well and the also the there's like silhouette leaves yeah so we've just got happy that's just going to go on that's here right. if you wanted to get some foam tape underneath and lift that up and get some dimension you could as well yeah oh, absolutely i'm just doing it nice and quick for oh, us okay. yeah Oh, that's pretty. What a card. Look but really easy and simple to do. Anybody yeah. can do that. Well, I love it. And it's something you can... This is the tip of the iceberg. Uh, what we'll do, Julia? Let you get set yep. for your next demonstration. we do a journal next. Oh. Now, speaking of journals... Julia, what if I always say to you... Oh, it's not so easy with that. I was going to try a word association game. Word association game. Were we saying... What colours, what's my favourite ink? Is that what we're no, doing? No, no, not that. No? What, what if I say, what sounds like minty mock? Low, low stock? No? Limited stock? Limited stock, that was hard. I, well, I ruined that it. Green I ruined it. Green on the screen I'm then? That was terrible. That's green on the screen. It was green on the I should have just gone for green on the screen. What's wrong with me? Never change the script. Uh, so here, you've got your two. I spent years going limited to the what green on the screen. Like? I don't know, Jim. I don't know. Uh, so, twenty-four ninety-nine. your price. Look, joking aside, look at what you're getting and the amount. Actually, I'm just going to hold this one. This is your summer fields. It is a bestseller every time we brought it to you. How beautiful is that? Look at all the elements. So you've got that wonderful, it could be heather or, uh, you know, flowers going. And then um, you've got the wonderful mandala in there. That creates a pocket. You've got your butterfly. You've got your floating spine, your borders here. But let me just show you, because a picture says a thousand words. That is the kind of journal you could be creating. That's just one of the journals. Each one has such as, uh, its own unique style. The other one, which you're looking at here, and again, so many elements involved here. This is your artwork love. And if I turn that around, how cool is that? Really nice. So both of those for $24.99. Julia, I'm not, I'm not being unrealistic. As it, just put your crafty head on now. So mm -hmm. Forget any affiliations. Just Julia the crafter. Mm -hmm. If you were to buy a journal die set of this size with this amount of elements, you would pay $24.99. 
Oh, at least. There's yeah. a because you buy with dies, you pay for them this the size of the biggest piece of metal, so the outside edge, which is why Studio Light actually crams so much in most of their die yeah. sets. Um, so I mean, I think at twenty four ninety nine, it's an absolute bargain. Well, how about twelve pounds fifty? Get in. Get in my basket. Uh, there we go. So you're getting both of those for $24.99, saving $24.99. It is a half price saving. Your item number is 194473. Julia, we're going to head back to you. Okay, okay, right. So that's quick, but that's fine. <laughs> right. No rest for the wicked. No, 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 no. Yes, okay, right. So. Let's go to this fabulous oh, yeah. journal die. die cut out. That I know, great. isn't it? Isn't it fabulous? Absolutely fabulous. I so let's that. grab my my journal dies. Uh -huh. Here they are. So this is the. We've got two journal dies for you. One is the pages, and the other yeah. one is the uh, the, the actual, actual journal itself. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So this is the actual journal itself. Mm -hmm. And you see, I, I, I do this, uh, Hayley was, was, was really into this earlier on. I, I store my um, dies on my packaging so yeah. I can see exactly what should be there and also my inspiration as nice. well and what, what the stencil number is because they call them stencils. And how, um, do you, how do you stick them down then? How do you keep it's just magnetic there? sheet oh, and you glue. I use, I use sentimental yours glue and a magnetic sheet. Is there nothing sentimental your uh, glue will do? I have no Did that idea. That makes sense. I didn't it's feel like it's not dimensional. Sense. Yeah, okay. I can say that. Yeah, but, no, it's um, very good glue. It's very, very good glue. Mm. Okay, so for your journal, and here I'm using watercolour cards, so we can throw a lot of ink at it if we want to. Right. So you've got this outside die here, and this is how the majority of the wraparound journals uh, work. Yeah. So one of the two dies that's in the buy one get one free kind yeah. of one yeah. is the same as this. Right. Then you've also got this uh, thing here. Now, I've been spending the last 24 hours, or at least today, calling these registrations, and they're not, they're signatures. Yeah. So I don't know what planet I was on. Well, that's okay. So, uh, yes, yeah, so you put that in there, run it through your die cutting machine, and then you've got your cover. This is your cover of your journal, okay? Yeah. So what I also do is um, I go to my... Um, scoring uh, board uh, with an embossing tool and I score over where the embossed lines are and I turn it over and do the same thing and that nice way crisp. I get a nice good crisp yeah. fold Love so that. that you could use the journal like that you don't need to actually um, decorate it uh, any more than that but we've got this um, decorative die here uh -huh. So when you cut that, I've got all these little dies cut here, you get this kind of sunshine kind of die, or it, 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 I don't know how to describe it, but it is like that. So I've cut that out of craft card, mm. and this is 350 GSM craft card that this die has been, this has been cut out and of. cut well. Yes, because it's a sentimental yours one. So that can go on there, and then, then that would make our cover nice and pretty. Nice. Okay. So that's, that's that. very pretty. Now for your pages, uh -huh. there's two different pages that you've got. You've got this one, which is your plain one. Yeah. So again, just like before with all your other journal pages, you've got this is your journal page and this is your journal um, kind of um, holy bit. Mm. So you pop that in, run that through, remember to put that one in because I forget constantly and I have to run it through a second time. And then you've got this and once again, you actually score down each one again and then when you fold it you've got that nice piece there so that all, all your other piece, pieces are going to fit inside there. Perfect. Okay. That's cool. I like this. So that's that. Do you know, so we'd absolutely be using this. I mean, what kind of what, journaling, what would you use your journaling for? Well, I've got one mm -hmm. that... Um, Ed the Cat, Nathan... Yeah. Well, I did do one, uh, and this is one of the uh, ones that I, I demonstrated last year. Mm. So this is a, this hasn't got a wrap around, okay. but uh, a kind of the actual kind of construction is is very very similar yeah. in that it's stitched in, and you've got your signatures in here, and I've got pattern papers in here as oh, well. I and I actually made one of these for my mum for Christmas. 
oh. and I filled it with loads of photographs. Didn't have time to do any writing in there yeah. at all, but I just put loads of photographs of my daughter, my daughter's partner. There was a couple of Nathan. There was some from ba way back so when Catherine got graduated. Filled up with your daughter and a partner, couple of Nathan. Couple of Nathan. Well, he doesn't like having his photograph taken, oh, okay. so there aren't it's many very, of him. Very elusive. There's one or two of me, but and there was some when my dad was alive and oh, when when Catherine got um, uh, graduated. So there was pictures of, of us all together. And yeah. so she got that at Christmas, and this one's just got pictures of Ed in it. Um, oh, so, yeah, God, look at it. I he's know. such a good boy. Uh, is he? <laughs> so, so you can fill that up, and they're a really nice thing yeah. to have, and they're a nice gift. Uh, so you can do the, exactly Your the same must thing have with loved this. It. What was her expression when you gave she, that? She, she, well, I didn't see her, did I? Because I couldn't oh, see her at Christmas because she's she's 83. Yeah, so right. yeah, so. But what a nice thing, especially then not being able to see her to yes. send all those memories. Yes. Lovely thing. That's exactly why I did it. That's exactly Lovely why I did it. Do. So anyway, so that's your cover. Yeah. So we'll, we'll talk about the page as well, and then we'll actually okay. do some gluing and sticking and stuff. Because you get the page with it as yeah. well. So the outside die, this one, is obviously going to do that, right? So you've got a choice here in the middle. You can either use this one here, and that's going to cut that in. But if you find it easier to line up this one, yeah from your main journal, then that one's going to slot in there as well. And I'll explain to you why this one is different and why this one is in here in a moment, okay? Yep. So we cut that separately. And then you've also got all these embellishment dies in here. And these are all the same. They're not all the same. There's like four pairs here. And um, they will obviously fit in here if you want them to. And then there's two arrows as well. And so they're going to be your cogs. You don't, it's optional, of course, as to whether you use them in there or not. There's so many pieces here. Where's those pieces? Pieces, there they are. To make sure I didn't lose anything. <laughs> and again, I've cut these out of craft card. These are again out of the 350 GSM craft card. Yep. You've got that lovely little arrow that can go in there. Obviously, you can use that arrow die in other parts of your journal as well. And then you've got this cog here. So obviously, you can, you can cover those pages and fill in all the different areas with those dies if you want to. Lovely. Yeah. But you don't have to. Then you've got this here. Mm -hmm. That's another page. Oh. if you want it to be. So again, you'll cut that. Yeah. And I've cut that out of craft card. Oh, now that's pretty. Yeah. And again, I've used this bar here to cut the centre. Yeah. Yeah, so it's not marked, so you have to measure it. Mm -hmm. And then, when you again, if you score it, you'll see that that will then fit nicely in the centre there. And that gives you a different kind of centre when you're opening it. Like that. Yeah? Yeah, I like that. Then, of course, you've got this circular die in the centre. And this is where you must use this, this one with it because this one won't fit. Can you mm -hmm. see it's too big? Yeah. So you have to have that one. So if you want the, a, a, a circle mm -hmm. in the centre, then you've got that one there. And, and you just score along the middle of that one and that's going to fit nicely in the centre of there like that. So that's going to be the centre of your page. So obviously we can see with this, we might want to actually put our cogs and things on the outside, or we might want to do the inside, or we might want to do both. Mm. But you can, because they're all separate. And they will all fit together inside as one signature. So I've got it right now, signature, within your album. OK? Lovely. Oh, it looks that's good the, even before we decorated it. The, that looks really good. That's just the basics. Yeah. Shall I go through the other dies on the show before we... Or do you want me to just do the journal? Because I've got all these die cuts here and might not have time to show you them all before we get to the you end of the hour. For it, go for it. Shall yeah. we? Yeah. So we'll actually pick a page and, and, and think about putting them on a page as okay. well. So if we wanted to, we could pop it. It this was just about... Globe in the vintage plane. Yeah. 
well that one it'll fit on nicely won't it yeah. so obviously you can you can actually um, do yourself a background on it do yourself some words and whatever and like I say you could snip that off and, and have a cat standing on it or whatever you want to have standing on it like it'd that. be absolutely brilliant it's a beautiful beautiful die and easy to just snip that globe away if you want to mm -hmm. and actually put the die in as a different uh, the globe in as a different color if you wanted to so nice. you know you can really mix it up We've also got, um, we've seen the words already. We've also got um, these pieces here. Now this one's from pro the propeller. Propeller. So and we've, we've, also, we've also got the propeller itself. Yes. So you that. With all the sets, you're getting dies, you're getting stamps, you're getting stencils. So do have a look online, you get to see it. Because it's not just the dies, you're getting so much more. There is so much more, which is why, why I think it's best if I actually show you them all. Mm. Um, because uh, you know, I could just ink and just do one page. So, so this is the back, the kind of um, front part of the plane. Then you've got a circle bit. bit. Oh. Then we've got this little bit that's going to sit inside yeah. like that. Quite a dynamic image. Yeah. Then you've got the actual propeller itself. Now you've got choices here because what you could do is you could actually pierce a hole through there and put a brad through there, and then you can actually turn the propeller. Nice. But what you've also got is if I get my tweezers because it's so tiny, you've also got a little tiny die okay. to actually cut to put uh, in the centre there. That's a good idea. And it, the propeller actually spins. It would do through. if you put a brad in brad it. In. If you just glue it like that, it won't move. Uh -huh. because you've not got a brad there, yeah. but you do That's need good. a brad in there to, to spin it. This is a good idea from Katie, our producer. She was saying, you know, like spin the bottle. Yeah. You could do that and write little things around and then spin the propeller and see where you it could. lands. You could. There you go. That's a good idea. Good idea, Katie. Yeah. Well done. Right, so that's that one. So that's a really nice set. And what I thought might be quite nice, and we probably won't get around to it, is, is um, to um, use some of the um, new salvaged patina uh, embossing guys, which I'm sure you guys will get here soon. Uh, I think that would look quite nice on top of that because it is a transparent embossing glaze. Patina as well. Yeah, patina, Ooh. yeah. So I think that would look very nice on top yeah. of there. Are you teasing us with that, Julia? I was. I was, I was, I was, I was. Then we've also got uh, these beauties. These are the last ones I need to show you, I think. Okay. This one's from, uh, from the swells. So this one got me, you know, you know, because you have to kind of cut things out. And I'm, I'm rubbish because I know that a die, you can feel where there's a cutting edge and where there isn't. I never look, I just cut them. Mm. I just cut them. In fact, let's grab this one so I can actually explain it properly to you. Where's my dies? Here they are. It's this one. Okay, so obviously we've got these kind of coggy wing things. I don't know how to, other to, to describe them. So they're very, very steampunk. Mm -hmm. um, I can see them being used with uh, the Stamperia a Lady Vagabond and the Sir Vag Vagabond yeah. papers. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously they go with this collection beautifully, but uh, they're really cool, really That's cool. That's nice. Yeah. So that's, those, those are they. Let's put them on here so you can see them properly. Those are they. Yeah. And that's those dies, obviously. But then you've got these dies here. Now, if you actually cut these two together... What the dies you, that you were getting. Yeah, it's incredible, isn't it? So if you cut them together, what you get is you get those like... They'd be like that, but the fall-away piece is this, this Ooh, piece here. That screams so, topper. Yeah, so if you cut that one on its own, you yeah. do get that. Right. And if you cut that one on its own, you'd get a, a, a solid... Well, you wouldn't get solid inside. you get that because that's a cutting edge. Mm. But cutting them two together, you get that one. So that's a, that's not, you're not supposed to get that. But that's a bonus love when it. you cut the two of them together. We okay. Love bonus. So, of course, when I, when I did this, I didn't look at this one properly. And this doesn't have a proper outside cutting edge. Mm. It doesn't go all the way because there's a gap there, there's a gap there, there's a gap there, oh. right? So if you just cut it into the card, it doesn't cut out. Right. Which could make a really nice background if you multi-cut, so you could have like yeah. a row, three by three row, which nice. would be quite nice. And that I think you could have as um, quite a contemporary snowflake design. Could do. I think it would look nice because you're cutting in detail, putting some vellum, some coloured vellum behind yeah. as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your glitters, anything, anything. But the idea is that you actually cut, I believe the idea is that you cut that one 
with that one and then you get that oh that's nice which is really nice Julie, that looks that looks awesome it's really lovely isn't it then if you want to what you could do is it, and it fits exactly it, uh -huh. you can either fit it exactly on top like that yeah or if you offset it slightly oh now we're talking then you've got that yeah and you yes, see so you've yes, got yes. The, the the if i do it see so yeah so you've got the craft card in between Mm -hmm. which is quite nice isn't it we like that so that's all the dies that we've got on the show i believe that's all of them including okay. the we've got the obviously got the the words as well which we saw yeah, yeah. okay so w when we recap uh, in a few moments then you will be able to get an idea of uh, i will point out the dies that we have but we were gonna uh, we're gonna construct the actual um the journal we're not going to construct, we're going to uh, decorate, because if I construct, to construct, I've got to actually um, sew it all together. And I don't want okay. to sew it all together until it, it's actually ready. So, That's fair enough. Um, I mean, you can see from my journal, wherever I've just put it, that when you do come to construct, let's find a, not that signature, that signature. All you do is take your baker's twine, and you can start in the middle, mm -hmm. and then you take it up through there, back up, right the way across up back down and then i've knotted it in the middle and okay. that's how it's sewed in and then both of them are like that and I, and you get um julia, if i julia just so i'm clear yeah what i'm holding up here yeah so the white one you're showing i know this one you made before yeah yeah, yeah. but similar principle similar principle I mean, if you have a look turn that around so you can see the amount that you are getting within the sets how easy it is to construct and then we're jumping straight if i turn that around and show you you're jumping straight onto the fun bit which is the decoration yeah. but this is instant journaling yeah you've got what what you've got there is what you can achieve all you need to do is add your card and obviously um, a, a bit of twine to stitch it together Lovely. and you obviously get the wrap around and you can if you want to actually add some elastic mm -hmm. um you can just go into um in, 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 into one of the, the sides there bring your elastic out to figure out how much you want bring it back in again and knot it there in between the two right. and then that will elasticate round oh that's a good idea yeah yes yeah, so you've and got that your keeps closure it together well. especially with with this one uh -huh. you'll need something like that yeah okay just put a scrunchie or an elastic band around if you want to yeah. but you know it's nicer if it if you use a proper elastic yeah. and the these uh, reinforcers you'll find you know that pair of dies that we were talking about that were the best sellers yeah. um there the are general. there's some reinforcement uh, dies in in oh. one of those wait a second it's the in not that here. one it's in the other one not that, this one yeah that, yeah that one but the this left one. hand one yeah, yeah you can see them just just in the middle there so you can see this one here. Now we are limited stock for these two, but Lou, we, Lou was saying, um, and I know I'm not calling you Julia, I'm saying Lou in the designs when I was working with her, was saying that with these, you've got so much soap to mix and match the two. Uh, and like Julia was saying, if you do just see the little reinforcements here, so that is very, very, very useful. There we go. Okay. So did it, were you talking earlier on? What was that? You, oh, you lost your reinforcements, apparently. I did. Yeah. I, um, I, I immediately, I cut, I cut a pair and then I immediately lost them. And they were stuck on the back of, you know, Lottie's book, the, um, the, um, the one that's got this one. The, yeah. That, that one. It was oh, stuck, okay. up, stuck, stuck on the there. cover of that for happens. some unknown reason. It happens. Uh, you were reinforced the book. <laughs> <laughs> it's very annoying. Right, so I'm trying to get this stencil out here. So this yeah. is, I don't I, know what, which like set this, this one is. This is a propeller, but I see sh shafts of light coming in. Mm. What I want to do is add a little bit more colour to the background first. So we're going to give it a swipe. And I am going to go for blues and browns. Uh, oh, we could use some patina, actually. Let's do that. Yeah. So um, I've got some brush corduroy here, nice. first of all. And we're going to give that a bit of a mist and just get some colour on. Lovely. Give it a bit of a dip, move it around a bit. Bit of a mop. Bit of a mop. Yeah. You've got a very distinctive style to your mopping. Have I? <laughs> as long as it's colour, it's fine. Nice. Yeah. Because there's nothing worse than a blank page. Yeah. And and I think that, that you know, even if you're, you're starting to get... Um, 
you know, you're starting a project and you, or, or you're daunted by it, just get any colour on, any colour at all, and, uh, and that's going to give you a start. Good, yeah. It's like you're stamping as well. You, you, you'll just get, get used to having a colour on there. Mm -hmm. Right, let's have a little bit of this patina on there as well. Salvaged patina. It's nice and juicy because it's brand new. Mm -hmm. And it will probably merge a little bit with the brush corduroy, but that's fine. I'm comfortable with that. Whoa, look at that colour. It's lovely. Yeah, we like this. And they go together so nice. It's not a, a, gr a dark, grungy kind of blue. It's a nice, bright blue. Love that. Yeah. That works really nicely. Right, we don't have to have it that dark if we don't want to. We just dab some of it off. And then we do a little bit of stamping and a little bit of stenciling as well. So, Lovely. let's do the stenciling the first. modelling effect there. That's nice. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? So, here we go. So we don't want we want to make sure that we don't I don't necessarily want to stencil over my spine. I don't mind the colour being on my spine, but I don't want to stencil. Now I'm not gonna try I'm not gonna make the same mistake as I did before. Okay. Now before what I did was I decorated the back. Yeah. So so it's gonna for me, because I'm a right handed person, I want the book to close which way? That way, I think. Yes. So I want it that way up yeah. and I want to decorate that piece. Okay. I don't know why my, where my brain was earlier at all. Well, you just wanted to have a nicely decorated back. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget about your back. No. <laughs> and we want a sponge. Oh, let's use one of these. I don't think oh, I've got the a sponge. Brushes that's are coming clean. out. Yeah, these are the craft artist ones yeah. from Crafts Two. Lovely. So we're going to go for the salvage patina again, just keeping it all in the same Good colour. Colorways, yeah. And do you tend to, like, especially with dyes, uh, can you say dyes, stencils, they're quite delicate here with lines. You Do you follow the line of the... Yes, the, yeah. yeah, definitely with these, yeah. Because they, they are quite delicate stencils. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we oh, go. that's nice. That's nice, isn't it? That's, so... That's very nice. It's a little bit... You ethereal. sound a little bit uh, kind of shocked. <laughs> Huh? No, I'm Julie, you know I always have faith in you. <laughs> right. so I say it's, got, it's got quite a, uh, an ethereal look I to it. I think what you we need to have in here is we need to have an aeroplane coming in. Yeah, flying through the clouds. Yeah, absolutely, because it looks like, it does look like the clouds, doesn't it? And it does yeah. look like um, the sunburst behind the clouds. So let's have one of these uh, aeroplanes. aeroplanes invented in the 1920s. Uh, so, you know, not that long ago and see where we are now. Well, we're 100 planes. years on, aren't we? Yeah. So let's pull in um, an archival. This is from our vintage planes at the stamp we're about to play with. I'm glad you know because I haven't got a clue what they're in. I had to before, uh, I always feel it's my obligation as a presenter to memorise all the different sets. I know you don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in the prep. Yeah, I know it's all in the prep, but you've got somebody in your ear. <laughs> well, I tend to just uh, use my memory. Oh, do you really? Mm. So this is potting soil archival. So let's have it coming in uh, up here. Oh, well, that's nice. It's lovely, isn't it? Because it's, it's nice. got... Um, um, technical drawing kind of uh, yeah. lines and, and notations on it, which yeah, is... Uh, like someone inventing the plane. Yeah, right. it's really cool, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's the first time I've really looked at these, because I missed them when uh, Lou actually had them on the show originally. So I, I actually did the launch show with her, and it was really nice because we had some papers, and in the papers you had pictures of Amelia Earhart. Oh! And she... Because Lou really educated me. I mean, I was aware of Amelia Earhart. But yes. We know the name, don't we? You know we, the but name, but you yeah. don't appreciate what an incredible, and I really mean this, incredible woman she was. Which one shall we have? Let's have this, actually. This is nice. I'm, you can tell I've not, opened, I've not had time to open all of these yet. Yeah. And I'm opening them at the top, because then I can just slide them back in the packaging again nice. really easily. Good tip. Yeah. Let's Here's have these this. these pro-crafty tips we get off you, Julian. Ah, I do try, I do try. Even at this time of day in a one-day special. 
So let's bring in our brush corduroy again for this. Okay, this is from your swirls collection. We're just what we're doing is we're changing the details with the uh, different stamps. Because we're, we're I'm all at. over the place. Oh, yeah, let's not, let's yeah. face it, I'm all over the everything, place. Everything, Julianne. We're loving it too. <laughs> so let's just put this under here so I don't have to make clear a mess up. Okay. And I think we'll have it just coming in, just here. Like, oh, turn it over, Julia. Oh, Julia. <laughs> <laughs> <You were t> <laughs> <laughs> what planet am I on? Oh dear. No, oh. just rewind that. And we'll start again. It here we go. Happens. We're just going to start this here. Here you go. <laughs> oh dear. Well, that's a really new floor cool manager step. will think, what on earth is this woman doing that? You know, I mean, anybody can do that. They can't do it with your fled. <laughs> Oh, it's the first time I've ever stamped on my hand instead of on a piece of paper. That is new for me, that. Right, then let's have a sentiment going across there yeah. now, because we've got, a, uh, there is uh, this lovely sentiment here that says, uh, I travelled the world and seven seas. Mm. Now that's from the seven seas collection. And we're going to, I'm going to do this in a, a darker ink. I'm going to pull in my verse, uh, verse fine clay, my pine cone, which is yeah. a darker brown. So it'll really stand out. It's so great if you've got old pictures. You know, now we've had some time. If you've got old pictures on your phone, I'm really guilty of this, of previous holidays. Imagine creating a journal, a sort of travel journal, and putting pictures inside. Yeah, so let's, let's stick this on here as well. Yeah. Because we can. We can. Um, shall we try that thing? Uh, what, what time are we off? Do you need to do a recap? We've got nine minutes. Nine minutes. We can stick with you. Stick with me, we'll right. stick with okay. you, Julia. We're all not right. going anywhere. All right. Let's add, actually. What would you like to do? That's all right. It's all right. I was thinking about embossing it, but it, it'll, it'll be hard to stick. I'm yeah. just going to add a little bit of the salvage patina okay. just on the tips. Oh, so just, oh, just tickling the tips with the colour? Tickling the tips. That's it, yes. Yeah. And we're going to glue that in place. Nice. That's got a bit of, you can imagine picking a colourway, sort of the rising sun, like red and white, white background, put it on red, be quite striking. Yeah, I mean, I've gone for blues and browns in this okay. just because of the card that I've chosen. But yeah, it could be not bright not colours. Choices, Julie. No, it's fine, it's fine. I've only just realised that Lou normally goes blues, blues and browns, and I should have perhaps gone a different colour way oh, just to okay. be different. But um, you're channeling your inner, inner Lou. I am channeling my inner Lou. <laughs> you have to be careful how you say that, don't you, really? <laughs> Everyone's um, got an inner Lou in them. <laughs> if they haven't, they should have. <laughs> so you can see now that yeah. that's going to be my I journal really like that. cover. That's nice. Yeah? yeah. So I've also got already oh. my. Um, you know that from the, uh, those sets that are uh, really popular. Yeah. I've got my look at Lottie's book. It's got all sorts of things I haven't used in. <coughs> I've got my little reinforcers, Ooh. so they look really nice once you actually pop them. I will just show you the journals that um, we just um, we were just talking about. Julia was just mentioning. So you can see here you're getting both sets. One of the sets, it's uh, this one here, has got the. Right there. You can see the little reinforcers where I'm pointing to, and they're so handy. Now, we are super limited on these. They're about to sell out, so if you want to get hold of them, if you want to take advantage of the 50% savings, so effectively, one of these sets would cost you $24.99. But for the duration of the one-day special, and while we have stock, you are getting two for the price of one. A twofer. 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 And I know you love a bargain, I do you? love a bargain. Do you right. remember... Those days where you could go out and they had their eat out to help out and get, like, um, literally. Oh. Yes, I didn't actually end up doing that, to be yeah, honest. Not, not not on purpose, but I just didn't. We did it a lot. And did you? Yeah. Let's, um, let's try bringing in some of the other stencils that are in some of the other sets. So we've got these, haven't we? It'd be no. rude not to use some of these, yeah. wouldn't it, really? Oh, look at that one. I like your excitement, Lou. And is it nice to work with Lou? something? Lou? Like, look at that. I, was, I, I, I said even before the show, don't do it. It's just, I am so used to doing studio lights with me. Oh, no, it's really not. throwing me. It's do you know what it's like? It's hilarious. Do you know what it's like when uh, Channel 4, they do that mix-up when they uh, change to present on different shows? I was just saying. Did I? I don't know. I don't, sorry, I haven't seen that. Oh, okay. Sorry. Adam. Well, I had Scott, Scott yesterday. Scott last night. Somebody emailed in and said Scott last night. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thank you. Thank you, Hayley. So, <laughs> so we could do this as a double page spread if you wanted to. So let's 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 do that. Let's have a look yeah. at this lovely um, stencil um, with uh, a double page spread. Nice. Um, what uh, what inks have I got here? That's my problem. There we go. That is a really nice stencil. It is a really nice stencil, isn't it? This is from Oswald. Well, like, I mean, that instantly, you spray through that or you use your inks, mm. blend your inks, that's done. There's so much going yeah. on there. Yeah. I mean, I haven't done any work with te te texture place because mm. I just haven't had time for them to dry. Yeah. Um, but um, with your texture place, it would be tremendous, really. I keep on saying tremendous, don't I? It's my word. It's your word for today. My word, yes. I've got a little bit of so you will occasionally find little bits of stencil that aren't popped out yet oh, okay. uh, but just pop them out yeah. and uh, you'll be absolutely you know you're not going to damage it just by by forcing them out mm -hmm. it's just where they haven't fallen out in the manufacturing pro uh, process so I see where we're at so far nice. that's nice isn't it oh, I really that's like pretty. that that's really pretty yeah got a lot of depth to it. It has, hasn't it? It's got a bit of, I'm getting a bit of steampunk. Yeah, I think there's a bit of steampunk in the whole collection, to be quite honest. Yeah. Um, and I like that, actually, because you know that there are so many things it's going to work with. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm just thinking something in my head that I can't tell you about that it's going to work with oh. really well. Lou, you've been Sorry, I'm trying not to tease. Trying not to tease. It's not, my, it's not my place to tell you, yeah. so... Just add a little bit of ink on here. Some of my so ink pads are getting a bit dry. This is going to be the last live hour with Julia, so please take one. You've been working hard, Julia. Has I have. Said. There's Bless been you. so much on the show. Yeah. There we go. That's really nice. I really like that because it's quite subtle in places. Mm -hmm. So we can then, of course, come in with our stamps again because I like a lot of these stamps. They're all over the place. I just love your enthusiasm. Well, it's, it's, it is like a, a bit of a kind of a, almost like a birthday, really, that getting all these. Yeah. It's just tremendous. Oh. Stop saying tremendous, Julia. It's really good. Yeah. Right. I'm on a smaller block than that. Let's have this one. And again, we just stick with the same colours uh, as Salvage Patina. Now we're back to our seven C's. This is a cool, I like this stamp. This is a really nice stamp. Were you going to say corker then? Because no, it is. Say, it's a cool stamp. Oh, it's a corker as well. It's a corker. Yeah. All, all these kind of stamps are so useful yeah. um, because you are in your background and you are kind of um, just adding a little bit of detail to it. And I mean, we can come in with our, um, I'll probably do a bit more stamping, but what we could do is bring our three minutes cogs in. So we could glue some of our cogs okay. down where, so we can see what this page will look like. So this is where you get to be quirky and you don't have to follow any rules. No, not at all. We're having I mean, the team are having a chat, Julia. Are they? Favourite soups. Soups? Soups. Have you got, have you got a favourite soup? As it as in soup to soup, soup to soup. soup to eat, yeah. well, tomato well, minestrone. Okay, um, I like butternut squash. Oh, no. I also like pea and ham. Well, okay. Now wait, this is what I was going to say because one of the team, Holly, she came out with one, and I'd never heard of this as a soup, but it was mushy pea soup. Have you ever heard of that? No. Her fave. No, I haven't heard okay. of that. But a pea and ham, that's a bit more conventional. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, parsnip soup's lovely, especially if they're homegrown parsnips. Oh, why? Because I used to have an allotment, like Janice, I used to have an allotment years ago. Yeah. And uh, the local school came and uh, their kind of five-year-olds came and visited my allotment one day to find out where vegetables came from. Oh, that's cute. It was really that's cute. That's really sweet. I used to have... Um, they must have been did, you get, did they get to try some peas? Uh, no, they didn't. It wasn't that time of year. I think it was oh. too early. It was, it was actually early on the growing season. Yeah. Um, but um, I had a, a half barrel, um, wooden barrel, on my allotment and uh, a little, so a little pond, mm. so I could have frogs in there. Because I used to have a, a, a pond uh, at my house, and yeah. uh, we took some frog spawn down and had uh, frogs because oh. frogs are good for allotments. Oh, they? Oh, I suppose they. Yeah, because they eat the slugs. Yeah. 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 Okay. Those are the days. No allotments at the moment? No, I can't. I can't do it now. I'm, I've got I'm no time busy. and my uh, legs don't let me. Oh, so. But uh, yes, yeah, so, so you can see how this is kind of coming together. Yeah. 
I mean, obviously we could bring in some sentiments. This is too big for that. But there's nothing stopping you taking a sentiment oh, yeah. and actually adding it down the side there now, like that. that looks that. good. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's good with the arrow, placement of the arrow too, so it gives that sense yeah, of taking yeah, flight. So it, yeah, so you don't have to put all of your light elements in there, you can just put yeah. some of them in. Julia, time's beaten us. I know, I know. There's a, there's, there's a lot of work involved in, in, in actually decorating these journals and that's where the fun is. Yeah. You know, get your cover cut, get your, get your, your, all your, your pages cut and, you and then have a fun. lot of fun. Yeah. And don't rush it. Don't Unless rush it. And, and don't, and don't worry about if you've, if you've actually stitched it in like I've stitched all these in, you can at any point, as long as it's not all, you know, you've not glued a wrap around mm. on it, you can uh, um, snip that, get them out and pop them in again, you know, or, or add extra yeah. ones, whatever you want. Thank you so much, Julia. Thank you, everybody. You've been, you've been such a star, of course, this one-day special. Thank so, you. So, Jenny, when are you back really quick? Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday for three hours with Karen Joan, Little Missies. Brilliant. Thank you. So, Julia will be back on Tuesday. Coming up next, though, we've got So Enchanting. After that, the ultimate finish one-day special. Perfect way to look after your cars. And then 35 Design Space with Dina, and we're doing some pouring. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dies that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders. We have decorative dies, we have coloring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping molds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. I'm Donna and this is my brother Simon and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We've been crafting since we were very young. My mum got us into crafting and we've been loving it ever since. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just a water-based ink, and then went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. We've got a fantastic design team who help us with all our designs for the stamps and we've got a great range of inks which we manufacture ourselves here in the UK. Our pearl sprays and our pearly inks are loaded with mica so they give you amazing results on your projects. Well, we have, good afternoon if you are just joining us here at the craft store. We have got an enchanting hour ahead of us with beautiful projects and amazing fabrics and of course an incredible uh, guest as well, an inspirational service, which of course is Marie. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Yes, thank you, Paula. It's just beautiful what you have brought us. Oh, thank you. Uh, no, that's really nice. So you're so enthusiastic. I love it. I love well, it. Well, I, just, I, kind of, I was looking at everything and it's just like, it's just so, there's something really warm about every single project that you have brought us. I, th I think it's because we work really hard um, and, you know, if we're not happy with something, then we won't present it. 
Um, and I think it's just, it, it, if it's not good enough, it wouldn't be here. So, and hopefully, you know, the, the viewers, they, they agree and um, they enjoy them just as we do. Yes, and there is something, I, I think it's absolutely beautiful patterns, but also there is something like, I like it, that is timeless as well. Yes, um, we're quite lucky with the fabrics that we tend to choose um, and you can, I think you can always tell or a lot of the times you can tell when you look through your stash it's almost like car colours, you know, you can say ah yeah I bought that a few years ago or yeah so, so we do try where possible so that it's not going to you know be in today and gone tomorrow really I so think it's, it's hard work yeah, it, <laughs> it really is, is hard it work is. <laughs> it is I can tell you that it's hard work but it's absolutely beautiful results and now of course Marie brings it to you and you can make it yourself now shall we start with your horseshoe cottage uh, bag uh, now this is by Lynette Anderson yes the pattern um, and design is by Lynette Anderson and the fabrics we've used are Lynette Anderson's fabrics as well so you have a pre-printed stitchery you have all the fabrics to be able to <laughs> sorry just start the, day, the hour as I mean, well, to, go as we mean to go on yeah. sorry yeah um, so you have all the fabrics to create um, the the outside and also the lining um, you've got all the furniture as well now you'll see on this it's actually a popper what you actually get in the kit is a magnetic clasp oh. it's just when I made it I didn't actually have the right color and I wanted it to match the D rings and the clips at the side yeah. so rather than put something on that was silver or too blingy gold for the project um, I did I put the popper on but it is a clasp of the same color as the D-rings and the clips that you get in the kit. Oh, I'm going to show them a, around here so you can see those ones. This one is the one that you are getting, right? That's oh. right. Yep, as far as I can see. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. So I'm perfect coloring like you could see with the D-ring as well. It works so beautifully. And of course, I'm going to show you the printed panel uh, with all... <laughs> And you're so little. <laughs> yeah, I'm so delicate. little. Though she's little, she uh, is fierce. She's delicate. Uh, right, of course, you have got the pattern there, of course, the instructions as well. Yes, that's right. So although we've put the pre-printed um, stitchery in for you, you do again have the template for you to be able to create that in a future project that you might want to do with your own fabric. So. <laughs> absolutely there you have got a there in here and of course all the uh, beautiful fabrics absolutely stunning I love that sort of all seasons as well fabric yes there's sort of uh, you get various descriptions whenever we're out of the show or if a customer comes up they'll say sludgy some will say muted um, I suppose it covers all all things so I think they are I would say sophisticated subtle they're gentle, yes. Gentle, yes, yeah, they warm are. thing. Yes. It's that kind of sort of thing that you want to be wrapped around all year round, even in the summer evenings. You, and of course, having a handbag that kind of takes you throughout the year is just a beautiful yeah. thing. And I it's mean, a nice size as well. It is, and what's good as well, I think sort of a standard tablet size too. That's exactly so, what I yeah, was thinking. Absolutely. Uh, so the finished size is around eight and eight by 11? That's right, inches. yeah. So that's about, also I was thinking, maybe an e-reader or e-reader yes, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 or a yeah. book or something yeah. like that, mm -hmm. a notebook as well. So it's a really good. Now, what else do we need to finish it off? Right, um, to complete it, you would need your general sewing supplies and threads. It doesn't come with threads. Um, and you would use either wadding or a bows or type. Of course. To yeah. give it that, that right, stability, yeah. to give I it do, more body. Yeah, the, with regards to the, um, I, I love working with bows, or especially in bags, it makes them, the finish on, makes them feel a lot and look a lot more professional. Um, but it, it depends sometimes as well. Sometimes you might need to interchange. So you might use bows on part of a bag, and maybe for the gusset, you might leave. Yeah. leave it out or you might go to a softer wadding you, you've got to see what you feel and are happy working with but I mean the bosal is very yeah. easy but it's just a case of sometimes a little bit more intricate in part so go for the softer wadding but yeah, yeah. and of course you can find bosal on the website I believe because uh, Sasha fancy brings a bosal here to the craft store a uh, four two three uh, seven seven zero is your item number 34 pounds and 95 pence is your price again continue 
continues that beautiful. Uh, I, I read that the description of Lynette's, um, Lynette Anderson's style as sophisticated, naive. That's right. And I yes. love that yes. because that is also by Lynette Anderson. And this bird house is, is absolutely beautiful. It, it is quite stunning, isn't it? And I sometimes <laughs> think, you know, naive covers all sorts of. Um, detail insofar as their simple drawings Humpstein, you know Fawlty. yeah exactly exactly yeah. so um and you you can either um and that lovely button as well do you see with the yeah. uh, the alphabet type oh, yeah. initials and so on um that's included obviously in that particular kit so in this you've got your crazy patchwork um all obviously all the instructions are in um, and in the embroideries, you'll either do uh, raw edge applique or you'll do a needle turn applique. But do remember, because we've pre-printed the stitchery for you, okay, um, you would need to reverse if you would reverse the applique if you were doing your raw edge, okay. okay? Otherwise, they're not going to fit onto oh, the pre-printed. Yeah, that's a good top tip. Uh, lots of you going for this uh, bag is absolutely lovely. It's you know, stunning. You know what I was thinking? This is a really nice bag, but I wouldn't wear it. I would display it at home. <laughs> you know, it's the one that you kind of make. And then you have, you know, for instance, I was thinking in the living room, when you have got the bits and pieces, like yes. the remote controls and things like oh, that, okay. but you want to make them that to look really pretty. And you have like, it's almost like a pocket there that you have, because it's just so beautiful. It needs to be displayed. Uh, then, of course, we have got more of the Bird House bag. Uh, of course, that button is included yes. instructions as well. Yes. And of course, that printed panel. And I love that your printed panels, I don't think I have seen many printed panels onto patterned fabric. Right, well, we're very fortunate because we have a supersonic machine. We're able to do it ourselves. Oh, I see. So, um, and we're also able to go onto darker fabrics as well, which sometimes you probably wouldn't dream of doing potentially because you can't get the light enough through the fabric to be able to draw onto it. Um, so no, we're, we're still experimenting as well. So there's still it's lots gorgeous. of new things to come through. And of course, once that you finish, I'm going to expect because you have, of course, that beautiful detail from the background of the fabric. And yes. Then on, yes. Very busy for this one. If you want uh, the uh, beautiful uh, sun chanting bird house uh, with the kit, with all the, that you need to complete it, except of course the bosal or that's kind of, right, yeah, or wadding again. Awarding. Yeah. Four yeah. five two six eight three is your item number. Thirty Thirty-four pounds and ninety-five pence is your price. Brand new today here at the craft store. Continuing uh, that theme as well for with Lynette Anderson, we have got more for you. Now this time is the cushion pattern. I'm going to put it like that so you can actually see the full cushion. I mean, it has got a cat, so I'm sold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you realize you cats? Okay, oh, I yes, am yes. Yeah. I mean, I'm not obsessed, although some people disagree with that <laughs> state of mind. <laughs> but I do, I'm oh, a cat, definitely. Yeah. Look at that. And I love that kind of amazing friendship. So we have got friends, pins, and new. Uh, look, it's just such a gorgeous element. Love that. Uh, so we have got, of course, the patterns in here to then the printed uh, panel. That's right. Yeah, you've got the printed panel again. Um, and also, I mean, um, on this particular one, you can get um, little painted buttons, which we've not included. It's in the, on the back of the pattern saying that they are available, but we haven't got them. But what we've actually done is where the button is, we've actually drawn on the template. So okay. you don't have to worry about that on the back of the pattern because we've drawn it on for you to embroider so it's right. it's all there for you so you've got all your fabrics you've got your backing fabric as well so for you to complete this it's all in it under Anderson fabric so for you to complete this you would need your threads general sewing supplies and then you would need your pillow fill as well the pads yeah so that's right pad. Perfect. Uh, for Twenty-nine pounds and ninety-five pence is your price. Six seven one seven one six is your item number. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we are going to the sun chanting kind of more range. And of course, we have the oh the three printed stitcheries uh, with linen and with pearl thread. Is this kind of a red work? Right. Okay. 
the, the one that you've actually got oh, on a screenshot. Sorry, <laughs> Just so that's, that's, that's not those. Those. Sorry. No, the, that's, uh, birds and, that's my secret garden, the yeah, one yeah. you've got there. Sorry, it's the details. Sorry, I kind of... Between, there's yeah, so I've got much, confused. I know. Yeah, there's absolutely. so much. There's so much. Like, yeah. I was reading the, the details there. I'm not going to think in two panels. <laughs> and I was like, what is the other panel? No, no, no. We will get to that in a yeah. second. Uh, now, of course, we have the sec my secret garden. But it is red work. <laughs> it is red Yeah, you're absolutely right. But you've got the kit here with this one. Yeah, OK. So again, you've got the pre-printed pre stitchery for the My Garden, My Secret Garden. Um, you've also, I've created the tab there as well with the button. You can take it off. So if you wanted to use it as a bookmark, that's what exactly. Exactly. I was yeah, My Secret Garden. Yeah. So. And although we've not printed my secret garden for you, we have put the ri the template in for you to be able to just draw it by and hand may, onto it. And yeah. many sewing machines have an alphabet. That's right. So and you and as you will see, that that's how I've done yeah. that on there, in like fairness. That. But we've put the template in for you to right. be able to draw it. It's, it's just uppercase. Yeah, it um, be yeah. so you've got, all, they're all mode of fabrics. And also, if you can turn it round, Paola. Yeah. Um, you'll see oh, that really we've enough. enveloped the back there yeah. for you. So all the fabrics are as per you see the, the sample um, and quilted on the back. And you also um, get the calico um, in this kit for you to be able to create the cushion inner as well. Oh. Um, so all you'll need, you get a ball of thread. Um, all you need to finish this then is your cushion uh, filler, the filler, the pillar filler, and, uh, yeah. and of course the water. Uh, that I, I love how. We, can I show again that you have quilted? Yes. Following the pattern. Exactly, of the and yeah, that that's really. It was so simple. I was looking at it, thinking, oh, what, how shall I quilt this? And then I thought. Don't make this difficult. Use what's in front of you. So yes, the pattern lends itself very much to um, a very nice cross hatch, diagonally one way and then diagonally the other. And again, ladies, always use your quilting foot. Absolutely. And of <laughs> course, you don't. are getting the button to create your perfect right. fabric yes. matching. Yes. Right. If you want to go for my secret garden red wool cushion pattern, Kate and Kate with a pre-printed stitchery by Lynette. Uh, now twenty-four pounds and ninety. Five pence is your uh, price for that. Uh, so we have a now stock update. Let me put it. So for the birdhouse bag, which is that one, let me put it. We are approaching thirty percent of the stock on. If you want more, please do make sure to check out your baskets. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, now, of course, you have got everything that you need, except of course the watering or bosal to kind of give it to some more body. And you have got the details there. 4526083 is your item number. Now, of course, we have got more. Oh, we have got beautiful, beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. Uh, we have got the birds and bloom uh, cushions here. Again, more red work, but stunning. Yes, absolutely. And again, so we've pre-printed it for you, ready to go. Again, with any of our pre-prints, you always have the template in to be able to create it for future projects. So you'd either transfer that using a light box or using the window, but your first one is printed for you. Um, so all the fabrics, as you see on the front, and again, an enveloped back. Um, so all your fabrics, yeah, again, nicely quilted, all modes of fabrics. Um, you've got the thread, and of course, you've got your pattern as well. Absolutely beautiful fabrics. I mean, it's just, I was thinking I was in one of these beautiful arts and, ha um, arts and crafts houses in the countryside with, you know, those beautiful furnishings. And, and this is like, you can make it today. And it looks like it has been there forever. Yes, and yes. I love that. Yes. It's just so cozy as well. Five to five, eight one one is your item number. Twenty four pounds and ninety five pence is the price. I'm brand new today. I love that combination as well of the red work and the beautiful It's very fashion. popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's very popular, gorgeous. the red work. All right, of course, you are getting the thread as well, the pearl thread as well. Then we have got a different size of cushion here. Uh, this is the bunny and the flutter boy. Uh, now, again, I'm going to put it uh, away, this, so you can see it in all its glory. Now, 
Now, I believe we have got a separate kit for the finishing. Yes, that's just over here on the table here. So you have the hexagons, you have the stitch stabiliser, you have the calico, and you also have the wadding. I like to put wadding in my cushions on the front and on the back, purely because I feel that if you've got um, an old cushion filler, sometimes they can be a bit lumpy. And I think by putting wadding on the front and back, it actually eliminates that and hides those that lumpiness that you can get sometimes if you've not stuffed it quite as well as you would have liked to. Um, so yes, in the finishing kit for that, and the, of course the, the hexagons, you actually leave those in okay. when you stitch those. All right, that's yeah. a, because usually you don't. Right? No, that's right, Absolutely. and it makes it a lot quicker and a lot easier. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I can see, and it gives that rigidity. Now, if you want to go for the finishing kit, the details are at the bottom of the screen. Sixteen pounds and ninety-five pounds uh, for that beautiful finishing kit, and of course that kind of gives you the hexagons with the stabilizer there. However, that's uh, details bottom of the screen. Nine nine. 9118 for those uh, finishing kit. However, the front, the cover, the, uh, it's absolutely stunning. Here we have, is this kind of a new take on red work but kind of different colors in it? As with any of our um, pre printed stitcheries or any of the stitcheries, it, it does get, you know, the red work or black work. But in fairness, you can do it in any color that you want to. Um, so, you know, it, it's on this one we've done a variety of colours. Again, it's pre-printed for you with Little Bunny and all those butterflies there. There's various techniques, as we've said, the, the, the pa English paper piecing, the quilting, and again, you've got the envelope back with it as well. And it, those are actually, although the pattern is ours, um, we have used Lynette Anderson's fabrics in that one. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. I love, I love uh, this cushion. Uh, now, of course, if you want to go for the Sun Chanted Bunny and Flutter by Friends cushion pattern and the kit. Ten percent of the stock has gone, so grab yours by checking out those baskets. Eight two zero five seven three is your item number. Twenty nine pounds and ninety five pence is your price. Then we have another <laughs> bundle here, and of course is the Bunny Tails quilt, which I believe it's of course we have got a finished sample, beautiful quilt on the other side. There we have it. You can see it. They're glorious. This is a fabulous quilt for. Again, a, a, maybe a children's bedroom. I think. I think yes, it's going to be in nursery. It is young. You've got mummy, mummy bunny, and baby bunny, and it's a lovely 100% cotton flannel. It's yeah. absolutely beautiful. So you have the pat that you have the big panel in the centre, as you can see, and then we've actually created the pattern for you using pinwheels. Um, you've got the binding um, and then all you would need is backing fabric and wadding to, to complete it. And as you know, we've got the finishing kit to, for the backing. Um, should you want it on, on the back there. But yes, it's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely. I love the fabric as well, but I would be very quick to check out those baskets because 40% of the stock has already gone. That flannel it's is a, And it washes, you know, you, you get those little accidents with infants and babies, you know, and it, it, it's 100% cotton. It's going to wash perfectly. Yes. Absolutely, a gorgeous fabric. And now, if you want yours, uh, make sure that you check out your baskets. Forty percent, as I mentioned, it's gone. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, for seven four four and nine zero four is your item number. Now you have a flexible option uh, to spread the cost in interest-free payments. Two payments of twenty-seven pounds and forty-eight pence. Uh, now, of course, uh, seven four four nine zero four is your item number. Uh, then, you, of course, if you'd want to pay a one-off payment, you can do that as well so make sure uh, to you know you just can decide how also once that you choose to flexibilize something you can put other items in it and then flexibilize those ones as well we have of course uh, the uh, so we start with the backing um, back in fabric because that's the matching companion that's isn't right it? it's, it's from exactly the same range um, there's a meter and a half of fabric there um, and it's it's wide enough for you to be able to back this quilt yeah, yeah. absolutely I, that's I'm, the I'm very tactile so I wanted well, to touch it, it is very touchy-feely yes. fabric the flannel is just beautiful it it's, yes it's very touchy-feely it's, it's something that you have to feel I mean you just want to be cuddled yes. by it you know yes. that's that sort yes. of fabric yeah. uh, I'll be very busy for this one uh, 618 
294 is your item number 27 pounds and 95 pence is your price a 30 percent of the stock has gone if you want it you can add it to your basket with the, uh, the quilt kit and of course then you can spread the cost of this item as well then we have moving on to the oh, love hearts and home tote bag uh, now I'm gonna grab it can I grab it because <laughs> I need to show it I mean how glorious is that I mean it's just love the detail in it yes it is it again it's a lovely popular bag and the fabrics are Annie Downs fabrics you've got your pre-printed stitchery again um, and it's quite cavernous that one actually I, you can actually pull it pa Paula if you yep. wanted to okay. it's got stuffing in it just to um, at, Oh, it's big. Push. Yes, it is, yeah. Big and company. you've got your double double ties, your drawstring. You've actually got pockets inside as well. Um, and you've got another pocket on the back. Um, so uh, it's just like kind of uh, holding in the yeah. mid hair for a mess, like trying to... If I may um, point out, though, that the, li the lining may differ slightly, but it will be of the same this, quality. The same quality. Yeah, yeah, absolutely the same color, quality. Color yeah, color color. It, we we're not going to put something yeah. in that just is just going to look I want to horrid. see how it kind of looks, because it's just kind of... If I go there, there, it's just you really... <laughs> I mean, it's just re really nice bag. And it's, one of and it's very ones. secure as well, especially yeah. when you've, you've drawn it. Yeah. Absolutely. I love that. I love that. Uh, the, the side. Uh, over 40% of the stock has gone. Again, beautiful kit. You are getting so much in here. All those beautiful fabrics. £34.95 is your price. 593166 is your item number. Now we have got more, of course, to show you because we have got so many beautiful, beautiful things. Uh, now, of course, we have got the friendship uh, kind of uh, friendship garden bird's brain pattern. Bird brain. Bird brain. Yeah, they're American company. So you have the pattern and you have the pre-printed, the nine pre-printed stitcheries with this, and they're on calico. Um, so it's as per the, yeah, you've got your, your sample there. <laughs> and if I may, so again, when we were just talking about colours, you know, that as you see, I've done that one in green, yeah. but I ha also have a, a previous sample that I've done that you can see we've done in red. I love that. So, of course, you give us the like the printed panel. That's right, so, and the pattern. So, so you can do it in anything that you want to, and then you can then make up the quilt thereafter in whatever fabric you have in your stash. If you want to buy new, then fine, but you may well have a stash this high, as we all do. Oh, dear, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we all do. I mean, even I only had it so in last year, and I already have got the stash. And now, of course, this is perfect, because also a soft book, it could be a real... I'm kind of thinking that well, would be yeah, really I mean, there's nothing to say that you have to, you know, make it up as a quilt. Um, again, you can embroider them, you can frame them, you can make little individual hangings. Again, um, as we, we, you know, you've got your pot holders, um, you've got pillows, you can make it into anything or even a larger quilt if you wanted and be a little bit more intricate with your quilting, putting it together. Um, yeah, so the options are there, there for you to do as with what you want to Absolutely. but also of course the templates are there for you to do in the future Thank again you. so your first lot is printed for you so you just straight off and and then you have got that possibility if you have got exactly. a light box. Exactly. Now, of course, it has a flexible option. Again, it means that if you choose to flexible this, you can put other items into your basket and flexible those ones as well. 356238 is your item. Number 39 pounds and 99 pence is your price. Now, we have got more to show you. Of course, we do because uh, you, Mary, Marie, you have brought so much into <laughs> it as well. Now, we have the most delightful it's so gorgeous. cute so cute yeah and look at this can i take it out and just show you as well because i mean this is a perfect walk-in or also present for a little girl or a little boy or, is it, or even actually i mean you can just have it as your change purse you know yeah. sometimes you don't want to have anything cumbersome or you know large or you know just enough to put your lipstick in and your credit card and your coins phone as exactly well. exactly Absolutely. or it's a walking also bag it's like kind of for instance if you have to put the keys yep. as well or for like we were saying as well uh, for children and grandchildren as well for their um, dance classes and things like this that yes or it's something to make with grandma or auntie yes. or mum even so you'll get all your fabrics they're Lynette Anderson fabrics Lynette Anderson pattern mm -hmm. again we've pre-printed the little 
stitchery for you. Mm. You also have Lynette's little painted button there, That's yeah, the little puppy dog. Stunning. Yeah, and you'll get your clasps in there, and there's a the zip too. So you, you get all the furniture in that to create that little. Oh, I little like that. Thing. You get all the furniture. <laughs> you it's know, like door handles, isn't Absolutely. it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, 487 and 316 is your item number. 29 pounds and 95 pence is your prize. And of course, you can see a lot more on the website as well. And we have, of course, different things that Marie has brought us from Sunshine Dean and Lynette Anderson as well. Uh, so a couple of items we haven't seen. Uh, you can see them. We are going to show them now. Of course, we have got the home and hearts. Uh, and of course, we have got those printed panels for you. Uh, and of course, this one it has got a you know, those printed panels, £39.99 and pence is the price. 829280 is your item number for those ones. Now, another item we haven't seen, uh, of course, is the sewing and ch sewing chanting uh, fabric panels here that you can see. Uh, with the black, there is two different options, I believe. That's the black, and then there is another color option we were going to show. Of course, it's by Moda. It's a home fabric panel by Moda, £14.95. The other option is the phone, I believe. Uh, and oh, look at that. This one is the other option that we have for you. Three, two, one, five. Uh, Four nine is your item number. Absolutely stunning. You can leave them plain or do some embroidery on those ones as well. On the panels, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And again, you know, you've got eight panels there that you could cut, you know, cut it. The panel has eight individual panels there, which you can either, you know, again, incorporate into a large quilt. You can split them up or again, you can put them into, you know, into frames or as I'll probably show you later on the later okay. show, we'll, right. we'll have a little pot pot holder um, as regards to Absolutely. hot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hot. <laughs> three, two, one, a five, four, nine is your item number. Remember, you choose the black or the phone. And of course, uh, that we will see later on at 9 p.m. when we are back together. But Marie, well, what was the first demo that you had planned then? Right, well, what I'll do, and I think I better do it very quickly by the sounds of it, is with going back to our bunny tails quilt here, um, I'm going to show you a, a quickish way to do some pinwheels. Perfect. Um, so you'll cut your squares as per the pattern and then as we do we use a very scant quarter of an inch seam allowance so you can see I've already started on here and you'll have to again forgive the colour of the thread but I do do it on purpose purely so that you can see it if I did it with the white thread then you'd struggle probably to see it okay. on the TV so we're going to put both two squares together. Right. Sorry, I should have showed you actually. And they are two coordinating. So you've got two different ones. So we are going to go completely round the outside of the square. Because it's flannel, I have never sewn with flannel. Do we need to consider anything special with flannel rather than quilting cotton? No, you'll probably find, if anything, when you're putting it together, it actually works really well. I do believe, or what I find is, it will walk a little bit more. Okay. So when you're putting it together in a larger, in a larger for, you know, for, format, in, in a bigger quilt, so that's when you really would need to have your quilting foot on okay. to make it easier for you. Um, because the quilting foot makes it that all the you know the different layers is easier or well what it it feeds it through at the same time so the top and the bottom layers are going through at the same time if you've ever made a pair of curtains on your sewing machine using a sorry. normal yeah. using a normal sewing foot yeah. it doesn't matter that you've cut them exactly the same length you will have one or other longer than the other if you're putting two yeah. two lengths together you will always and you think well how does that work and it's just basically of oh, the fabric's stretching slightly yeah. but the, the teeth underneath yeah. are working differently to your foot on the top. Yeah. So with, with the um, quilting foot, your quilting foot's bouncing a little bit more yeah. with your teeth at the bottom. Would a, would a walking foot help? A walking foot? Yes, definitely. Okay. Yeah, definitely help you. Um, uh, but also what you could, you could do, um, and I love this because, again, it saves time, is you can use the temporary adhesive. I know you'll probably oh, yeah, have that absolutely. on your website yes. as well. Don't go OTT with it because it leaves a uh, residual. And, of course, you're, you're dealing with the child's quilt, but you will wash the quilt before you give it to the child anyway. Absolutely. 
now, uh, over 50% of the stock of this uh, kit, uh, 50% of the stock has gone. If you want yours, uh, well, you know what to do. Check out your basket. You have got the details of the left-hand side of the screen. And don't forget, you can flexify spreading the cost into interest-free payments. And the correct term, sorry for the teeth at the bottom, are you feed dogs? Uh, yes. Oh, yes, feed dogs, yeah. You feed dogs, it, yeah. I find it a little bit, yeah, that's exactly it. Yeah, the feed dogs, yeah. Okay. Can so, you not call them cat dog, uh, cat feeds? I or? suppose as long as you're consistent, it doesn't really matter what you call them and everybody knows what they are. I, I do just, like, Yeah, I do my, my name's not too. Marie, really. <laughs> but they seem to call it me because yeah. they call it me all the time. Right, so we have... We've quarter of an inch all the way around your two squares right side together. So now I'm going to stand to do this. It's not always easy to do it at the mm -hmm. same level. You're now going to cut with your ruler diagonally. Okay, and as you can see, I have actually finished at each corner there yeah. and you can see the square. So you do want to be completely diagonal. And this is where I find out that I've actually not bought the um, rotary cutter that I changed the blade in, but I have. <laughs> It's, it's funny, isn't it, when things are not sharp and it's just because it just needs a new blade <laughs> inside is. it. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it's like, um, you know, when your sewing machine isn't picking up or it's making a bit of a bird's nest underneath, you just need to change a needle mm -hmm. quite often yeah. because none of us, and I'm sorry, I don't believe there's any exclusion, none of us change our sewing needle I know as that. often I as we should. I should have done that this morning when I finally got my sewing machine. And, and so, uh, By the way, we have got an update uh, with the Moda panels, the uh, Heart and Home panels. Now we have uh, the black is now limited to stock. If you want it, uh, make sure to check out your basket. It's a very, very low stock of that. That means that over 90% of the stock has gone. If you want yours, please make sure to check out your baskets. Back to you, Marie. Okay. So, right, now, now you're on the bias, so we've cut this, we've, we've cut it triangularly. So you don't really want to have an iron anywhere near this now. You want to be finger pressing where oh, possible. Why, why shouldn't we use an iron then? If, if you're going to use an iron, because you're on the bias, you're not yeah. sturdy now. If I can try and show you, yeah. if the camera can see, yeah. yeah. Can you see that stretch that you've got? So if you're going to steam that, you're going to make it go wibbly wobbly because it's going to stretch. Right. And because you're going to be quite, you're going to want to be quite pre precise with this because you want your corners all to fit in and your points to look as they should do. Um, so you want to be finger pressing. So finger press all of that out. Okay. okay. Do you starch the fabric beforehand to make sure the finger pressing is a little bit sharper? Um, I think with the flannel you don't really need to do this. I mean if I was at home I'd be doing all the wrong things <laughs> because that's what I want to do and that I want to do it quickly but given I'm on TV and I don't want the ladies to get this and go oh what's it gone like that for? Um, so I, w I do quite often starch my standard cotton okay. Um, I wouldn't starch this necessarily because I don't believe you need to. But again, there's no right and wrong. If you're happy doing what you want, you know, then then do it. And if it works for you, then do it. Yeah. Exactly. There's no. I, I always think that any type of crafting, quilting, or work, as long as you are happy with the end result. Exactly. <laughs> there's no. You know, it's yours. You know, and, and those little mistakes you make either get covered by a button or oh yeah, I did that on purpose for whatever reason. Yeah. <laughs> now this is going to be the trick of it now. So you're going to join two together. Now I'm lucky because I've done. I did this earlier. Um, I've got something to work on. But your first. Your first. Um, pinwheel you really want to concentrate and just put it out so that you are going to have no two colors the same okay mm. and you can see noticeably have I got that right yes noticeably yeah. that you've got your four separates for your, yeah, for your pinwheels absolutely perfect, but yeah. even though I did that yesterday I still got it wrong and had to unpick it <laughs> Sometimes it happens, you get it wrong and you plan it all everything as well. Right. Of course. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm going to put that back now, actually, because I've just moved it, haven't I? And I can't remember. Right. I'm going to stitch down this seam here now. Quarter inch. Now, a scant quarter of an inch. Don't. It's always the way. If you use a standard quarter of an inch, you're going to cut into your points. And I think, you know, whether it's the, the, 
the width of the needle that does it. It just doesn't work. And so therefore, there you go, I'm chatting again. I've done it wrong yet. <laughs> and that, so therefore, always scant. I mean, mine I just put over as far, far to the right, my needle, as possible, with it obviously out going onto the metal of the foot. But it won't let you do that anyway. So... Yeah. Well, you do that, Marie. Uh, can I give an update on the garden uh, purse, uh, the beautiful uh, secret garden? Uh, now, we are 50% of the stock garden. Uh, of course, it's the little garden. Oh, uh, sorry, th this one. No. Which one? We're going to show you still. Of course, that one, the little one. Of course, the little one. Uh, the dough one. Uh, £29.95 is your prize. Uh, 487316 is your item number for that one. Remember, 50% of the stock has gone. Grab yours by checking out those baskets. £29.95 is your prize. And there you have it. Gorgeous handbag in there. Uh, so cute purse. It could be a, a handbag purse as well and kind of for so many different uses. Back to Marie. Right. What you will do as well, when you're putting these together, okay, you try and nest in your seams from the other side. Now, it might be that you finger pressed one the wrong way. Okay. Just finger That's press it, it yeah. the other way because you'll find that, it's all right, I'm going to remember now which way I've done these. <laughs> Oh, I told no. you this would all go, didn't I? I said it live would all TV. be... Live TV, blame live there. TV. That's why the, when anything can go wrong, <laughs> it will go wrong. I'm not so clumsy at the... all in real life. No. I'm not clumsy. Hang I'm on, just... where are we going? That's where we're going with that. Yes, that's yeah, where we're no. going with that. Uh, right, so, okay. okay. <laughs> and I'm going down this way. Okay. So, yeah, so I've nested my seams together. So yeah. then it's going to make it easier for my points to line up when I need them to line up so okay so now because when you come to quilting um, you want as little or as you know as little resistance as possible underneath so where you can snip a chunk yeah. off of there um, then I would dog's ears yeah <laughs> could be anybody's ears really can they <laughs> But we don't chop cat's ears. In my world, we don't do that. <laughs> oh dear. Um, so yeah, making sure I've got that right again. Yeah. So again, you nest in your seams together, and also you see if you can make it as le as bulky or as less bulky as yeah. possible. Um, when you if you do send them off to have yeah. them quilted by, um, a, you know, on a quilt yes. frame have them quilted for you professionally yeah. they're not going to get cross at you because their needles haven't broken <laughs> yeah. okay That's, yeah. and did you hear it as it went over yes. yeah it's, yeah it, sometimes it can't be helped and it, it is what it is but if you can just lessen that here and there then all is good so there we have, and all points are lovely oh, on my pinwheel. Look at that. So then what we would do is we would then join so them on two. And again, where you can nest your seams, do nest your seams. Okay. Make sure that it's enough. And of course you would have the full the kind of border around That's it. That's right. Yeah, you've got all the fabric to create, all the pinwheels you need for the borders, top sides and bottoms. Um, and you've got your binding as well in that kit too. Uh, we have another uh, stock update and uh, now the uh, stock update is for the tote bag that we saw. Uh, that one, that one over there. No, I pointed in the right direction. There it is. And now, of course, it's the Love Heart Home Tote and Bag Kit. We are three, three, uh, two, two thirds of the stock on. Of course, if it was three thirds of the stock, it would have been sold out and gone. <laughs> it's like two thirds of the stock has gone off that um, uh, beautiful tote bag. Thirty-four pounds and ninety-five pence. That's what you are paying for. Five nine three uh, one six six is your item number. If you want yours, uh, do check out your baskets. Right, back to me. So, okay. right, is it that okay if we do a quick Please recap? do, yeah. Yeah, yeah we well, you said as long for as the next demo. Yeah. Perfect. Next step. While well, Mary, Mary uh, does the next uh, step of the demo, uh, we are going to just have a look, another re remind you of the beautiful projects that Mary has brought in. Now, of course, we have here the beautiful bag. The, okay, you can see here the horseshoe cottage bag. Now, this one comes with the magnetic clasp as well here. You have the button element as well, and you have the element in here that you can patchwork into it. A Lynette Anderson kit as well, and you have got 
got the backing as well, all the fabric that you need for this uh, this amazing bag. Now, the only thing that you extra that you will need is either bosal for the inside, like kind of stabilizer, or maybe a uh, water. Now, you are of course the embroidery thread as well that you will need, and general sewing so supplies basically. And of course, you are getting the instructions and all this beautiful Lynette Anderson fabrics in there. 423770 is your item number. 34 pounds and 95 pence is the price. Then we have, I love this. Well, I love every single one of them, to be honest. There, there is something really beautiful and comforting. And I think there's something like really like being hugged by these beautiful fabrics and patterns. Here you have the birdhouse bag, pattern and kit with a pre-printed stitchery. Uh, by Lynette Anderson. I absolutely adore this. Look at the birdhouse with the little tiny dots in here, the patchwork element into the stitchery detail. Love the fact that you are getting also that alphabet button in here included. And then of course that patchwork, that kind of randomness in here. And then if we turn it over, you can see that that I love something like this because it's kind of bringing traditional and modern, like kind of it has got a pattern that is incredibly striking, but then the softness and the subtleness of the beautiful fabrics in there that kind of brings it down to that traditional, more whimsical kind of homespun style of the countryside. Thirty-four pounds and ninety-five pence is your price. Four five two six eight three is your item number. I've got more uh, by Lynette Anderson as well. Now, if you want a cushion, we have got the perfect cushion for you. This is the Sewing Friends cushion pattern with a little cat in here. That's oh, that's so cute. Yeah, that's my well, my future cat anyway. Because uh, yeah, and I'm desperately looking for a cat. But anyway, uh, sewing, and of course, you have the pins and needles and the friends in there. Uh, you know, I kind of imagine that my future cat will have like the full house. That will be his house, and I will just be the lodger. And so, but uh, that's absolutely good. Just look at the printed panels on top of pattern fabric. Look at the, the stitchery in there. Look at the tea in there. That's just so cool. It's even with a like, kind of a pink heart in there as well and right and of course you are getting the backing as well the only thing that you are not getting basically is the supplies the sewing supplies uh, embroidery thread and the cushion pad but of course you will have the instructions as well in this one 29 pounds and 95 pence is your price 671716 is your item number I have to say, I mean, I know that that one has a cat, but this one might be my favorite just because it has the bookmark. I just think that's very clever to have, uh, you know, if you have got a reading chair somewhere where you like to snug in and uh, like, for instance, I have it in my conservatory. And then you have got the cushion, and then you have the perfect bookmark, just always ready to go. This is my secret, uh, you can see that, my secret garden. And of course, you have got the pattern as well to do the stitching, or you could use your own uh, sewing machine embroidery or a sewing machine alphabet that is included in here. But look at the panel with the beautiful words in there. And that, I think, a secret garden, not only is a fabulous book, but also the secret garden is kind of a very, it's kind of the inner world that we all have and it's beautiful inside there. If you want to go for this bundle, I would go to the website, thecraftstore.com, because we are very busy on the phone line. So if you wanted to give us a call, you still can, but we will, there are some cues on the phones. However, for this bundle, it's worth making the wait or going to thecraftstore.com or the app. You have also the button so you can create your own perfect matching fabric button that matches perfectly and the instructions as well and the printing panel. 24 pounds and 95 pence is your price. 754623 is your item number. Then moving on down to another cushion, but again, absolutely stunning. Now here we have the birds and the blooms with those beautiful blooms in here. You know what I would think that also is possible, although this is red work, we could bring some more color into the blooms if we wanted to. You, yeah, I mean, although we've included the ball of pearlay thread to do it red, absolutely, you can do it in any color that you want to. Yes, you know, we've called it red work. 
Um, but as we were saying earlier, and there's nothing um, stopping you as well because you can get, you can, you could paint it, you could use those water pencils on it. Obviously, as long as you're putting something at the back because of it, the water soaking through. Um, but yeah, you, you can be incredibly creative with this. I mean, you can also put beads on it, you can put sequins on it, you can put a button here and there. So it, it's, you know, this is just an idea for you to get started, really. It is, absolutely it is. And of course, then we have the fabric. This is glorious. The, the mode fabric. of fabric, the yeah, mode, gorgeous, I mean, it's just yeah. like absolutely stunning. And very flowery and gardeny, yeah. so it actually goes with stitchery as well. I love, love that. Right, if you want to go for this uh, 24 pounds and 95 pence is your price. Uh, f approaching 30% of the stock has gone. Uh, grab yours brand new today here at the craft store. 525-811 is your item number. Now we have got more uh, uh, here and I love this one. It kind of is more horizontal. It's very good for the lumbar support, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> like, you know, yeah, you if know. you want a squash bunny. I don't know if I want a squash bunny. <laughs> well, <it doesn't, laughs> well, it's a cuddle from a, from a bunny. It is you know, a cuddle well, from a from bunny. A bunny yeah. from behind. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, now you have got, like, I love those gorgeous, beautiful butterflies in here that you can start seeing. Now, of course, if you want to go for this bundle, you are going to get even the, the fluffy. Yeah, you get the little bunny tail there too, yeah. You get the little fluff there to put on his tail. We've put that in for you, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, let's go. <laughs> and also, Paula, may I just say as well, when you're cutting that fabric, yeah. you, when you use it, cut it from the back. Yeah. Don't cut it from the front. Okay. Yeah, so you'll, you'll draw your template for your bunny on the back and then cut it from the back mm -hmm. um, because you just, you'll cut it from the front and you'll keep cutting it from the front, wondering why it's not looking so great. You it's need to cut it from the back. That will give you a, a perfect exactly yeah, right. Uh, now approaching thirty percent of this glorious, beautiful, cute, whimsical, and really comforting uh, cushion. And now twenty nine pounds and ninety five pence is your price. Eight two zero five seven three is your item number for that one. Uh, remember to check out your baskets if you want any of those beautiful bundles. Very busy. There are cues on the phone, so make sure to check out your baskets. I am line if you can now we have got the bunny tails quilt as well for you here you can see it uh, now of course this is the the beautiful flannel that you are That's getting right, yeah. you're also getting the instructions right you, yeah you're getting the instructions to create the quilt uh, you've got your binding you've got your lovely panel in the center and then the fabrics to create the pinwheel border that we've put on there well, absolutely, and this is the finish. Song. I love this. I just wonder, this is the kind of thing that you kind of make for a child and then you keep it for yourself because it's so <laughs> warm and lovely. £54.95. Your house must be filled. <laughs> Uh, you can flexify it if you want it. Twenty-seven pounds and forty-eight pence is your price uh, if you are flexible or one-off payment as well. As uh, you, if you have got both options, seven four four and nine zero four is your item number. Now, if you flexify that, you can add the backing fabric, and then it makes sense because then you can flexify that as well. Now, of course, this includes a one point five meters of fabric, absolutely glorious. The same quality of flannel, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's from the same range. So yeah. It fits completely, matches completely, colourway in every way. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Absolutely enchanting. I love that word. Uh, 618 uh, 294 is your item number, £27.95. Pounds pounds. Remember that you can flexify it if you put it in your basket with something that is, uh, of course, a uh, has got a flexible option. Then we have that gorgeous Love Hearts and Home tote bag. Now, this one is now limited to stock. If you want to take home a little bit of friendship and love, <laughs> and then in the back, you can. But remember, 90% of the stock has already gone if you want yours do check out your baskets 593166 right we have got other items as well on the show including of course the home and a heart uh, stitchery a, a beautiful element uh, that's of course the pre-printed uh, stitcheries on calico 39 pounds and 99 pence is your price 829280 is your item number for that one and then we have of course we have more the 
friendships garden uh, panels in here printed in this beautiful fabric it's just really nice weave in this one I kind of it's a very high count calico cotton you know 100% cotton but very very high natural count calico it, it feels like you know when uh, when when you the, the um, uh, bedding that is like kind of Egyptian bedding that has got that fine oh, yes, down weave. Yes, this yes, is the sort of thing yes, that we are talking yeah. about so you'll be happy to put that with any quilt quality quilting yeah. fabric but it sometimes will go. calico has got a kind of roughness sort of you can get various yeah, qualities I mean this. I've got one here that I'm just going to demonstrate in a moment um, but I would probably only use that for cushion inners and so on so you do get different qualities That's definitely so definitely a very beautiful quality that we are talking about 39 pounds or 99 pence for those pants how many you get in total the there's nine yeah there's nine in, sorry, pre-printed stitcheries there. Perfect. Um, yep. Absolutely. Uh, you can flexify those ones as well to uh, payments of uh, 20 pounds if you want to spread the cost in interest-free payments, 356, 238, or if you want one of payment, 39 pounds and 99 pounds. Now that bag, that really or purse, because it's just it's just the perfect bag for uh, walking the dogs. It's a perfect bag for shopping. Also the perfect bag for a little one uh, who, if you see, they want to have their own first handbag. Twenty-nine pounds and ninety-five pence. And the kit and of course the fabrics by Lynette Anderson. It can be yours. Four eight seven three one six is your item number. But we have got more. Marie has brought so much. Uh, now we have of course more uh, that we are going to show you next. Of course the Moda panels, the home fabric panels by Moda. Now. Now black, the black option is now sold out. The only one that you can get is of course the phone. Uh, 14 pounds and 95 pence is your price. Uh, remember to check out your basket. Three, two, one, five, four, nine is your item number. Now, of course, uh, do make sure to check out the baskets at thecraftstore.com or give us a call. Remember that we are very busy, so if you have got access to the internet, thecraftstore.com or the mobile devices, you we have got an app that you can download, watch and check out your baskets. Right, where, Marie, we have got about five minutes until the end of the oh, show. Oh, I love it when you say that to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, do it in a rush. <laughs> I'll try. Aww. No, so, Well, I've actually scaled it down a little, actually, so people don't get bored just watching me so a straight line yeah. which everybody can do so when we're doing the envelope back on a cushion and this one goes to the birds and blooms um, that's the fabric we've used there so I'm just going to show you how I do those okay so I've cut my back that is going to be my coordinating fabric okay that's going to flip over so if we sharpishly we should have a competition, a marathon, who's, who can sew the longest for the quickest or something. <laughs> okay, so that's done there. And then what we're going to do, because I always like, and I use wadding, as I say, um, I like to put a calico so it's lined, so that when you do wash it, I mean, you'll quilt it anyway, but when you do wash it, it just helps it stay okay. more secure. So and again don't take these measurements as what the cushion is it's just that I can do it and show you exactly the same um, technique without having to do it as big and as long okay so we've done that so what you've got here now is you've got your three pieces of fabric that are joined and I've just thought I haven't bought my wadding for this but it's okay I can show you so what we're going to do now is we're going to iron our seams flat and it really really doesn't matter which way they go because it's not as if they're going to butt up to anything okay. else yep. um, so it's just as long as they're on my makeshift ironing board wobbling so okay so I've ironed my seams okay and now I'm going to fold it in half okay So that is the back of my cushion with the accent there and that's the inside of my envelope. So then what I'll do, one I've done earlier. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I can, I, can I give, give an update? Uh, because <laughs> it's very, uh, is the 
the bunny and the flutter boy, which is of course the long one, uh, the lo very good for lumber support. I kind of like that. Uh, we are over forty percent of the stock gone. If you want yours, please make sure to check out your baskets. Remember that there is the finishing kit with those uh, hexagons with the ready with the interfacing. So of course, if you want that, the details are at the bottom of the screen. Remember, if you add them or both up, uh, eight two zero five seven three is for the cushion pattern and the kit to make there, and of course the finishing kit at the bottom of the screen. Sorry, uh, sorry. No, 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 that's fine, absolutely fine. So cut to your wadding, the same size as half of three fabrics that you've put together, as you can see there, in half there, So and then put inside. Now I've put a little bit of temporary adhesive in there so that when I fold it over, it will stick slightly. And then using your walking foot, <laughs> Yeah, which is not on my machine. Um, I'm going to centre my needle again as well. So, so walking foot because you have put the wadding inside. I've put the wadding in, and also because you've got several layers, what will happen is I'll always work from the middle and go out. So yeah. if there's any creases or any sort of ripples in the fabric, if you've got your standard foot on, there's every chance it will create a. a a ruffle in there for you and you don't want it you want it to be flat also when you're quilting use a slightly especially through these the three layers that you've got there use a slightly longer stitch as um, yeah a longer stitch as well because if you're going to use a too narrow a stitch it's going to pull it up and create lots of tension and you don't want the tension no, you don't want tension and as you said quite rightly earlier Paola and um, we're going to cross hatch yeah. okay using the pattern that's already already there yeah. So okay. we have got less than uh, the last two minutes, but we, well, a minute we have got left. But you can <laughs> stitch if you want, Marie. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at the website, Joe, because uh, we have got so much on the show. Remember, Marie and myself were back at 9 p.m. So of course there is going to be more demonstrations. Have a look at the website, thecraftstore.com. You will find lots more that we haven't even seen in there. Uh, five star reviews. You can say we don't want to miss out. Remember, we have had sellouts already. In in this hour if you don't want to miss out make sure to check out the website the craftstore.com and do check out your baskets we have got less than a minute left <laughs> it's gone so quick always it's always yeah Oh, and I've just lost the thread through my oh, needle. Oh, don't worry. Well, don't you worry. It's all right. Don't worry. It's just less than a minute. We oh have dear, it's gone. I cut it too short Absolute. near the needle as don't it's going worry. up and down. Marie, it's been an absolute pleasure. We are going to do it again at 9 p.m. Lovely. Thank you. Fabulous. Thank you. Now, everybody at home, do check out your baskets. Remember that while we are back together, whether the stock will be back, we don't know. Make sure to check out your baskets and stay tuned because we have got a bit of a different one day special after the break. But of course, remember that the inspiration continues here at the craft store whether you watch us on rewind whether you watch us live it's always inspirational shows here right stay tuned because after the break we have our one day special the ultimate finish and of course this is a good way to keep our cards very clean do check out your baskets though and stay tuned here Of course, it is ultimate finish one day special after the break with Stan and Yanis. Then Nina's back. She's fabulous, isn't she? 35 designer space pouring and then another look at the one day special at eight. Hi, I'm Andy from Picture This. I've been a painter all my life. Picture This was actually formed on the back of a throwaway remark from one of my art students. The stamp range covers a broad spectrum of imagery. We started out with architecture, fairly cute, fairly uh, folksy, very well received. This has since been broadened out into vehicles, people, basically everything works around a scenic image. The stamps are all hand drawn by me. They're made in the UK, most important to us at Picture This, and we have so much more to bring you. Ultimate finish cleans, polishes, and protects in one. No water is required. If you own a car, caravan, motorhome, or motorcycle, do not miss the world launch shows this weekend. You don't need water or any other products, all you need is ultimate finish.
On the shows, you will hear from a motor trade expert who says this is the best product he's ever used. Exclusive on the craft store with big savings and a five-piece pack. For a limited time, we will also be including two additional products at no extra charge, only while stocks last. See the amazing live demonstrations and big savings this Saturday at 6pm and 8pm and Sunday at midday, not to be missed. Hi, I'm Anthea, uh, I'm from Quilting Antics. Quilting Antics started around 2011, 2012, I'm never really sure. At one point we nearly became the cushion company because we churned out so many different cushions. But we'll do bags, we'll do cushions, we'll do book covers, we'll do things for your sewing room, anything. If it pops into our head and we can physically make it, then we'll go for it. As I said, the buzzword is all about fun for us. On our shows, we always like to have lots of fun. There's always lots of laughter, and hopefully you'll learn a few things that you didn't know along the way. So don't miss the Quilting Antics shows. Hello everyone and a warm welcome. So we are about to start a launch our brand new one day special, and my goodness, it's a good one. I haven't done an Ultimate Finish show in ages. I've got so much time for the Ultimate Finish. We're going to get into uh, a brand new package for you in just a moment. But can I introduce you to the legend behind Ultimate Finish? It is our Stan. How are you doing, buddy? <laughs> wow, Stan, I'm, you are I'm, a bit I'm, of a legend. I'm fine, yeah, I know. Very, very happy to be here because this Good. is the launch of the brand new pack packaging. And to celebrate that, we've got a bonus gift two extra products yeah. without any extra charge. Well, you say a bonus gift. You know, sometimes you get a bonus gift and you're like, mm. this is an awesome bonus Amazing. gift. It's something you yeah. will all use. So we're getting the tire and trim, and you're also getting the applicator with that as well. How much would that set us back if we were to buy that individually? That's 11 99 for that product. Oh, OK, let's just stop and think about this for a moment. Because you're saving £10, the bundle which we're about to get to is $24.97. But if you think about it, you're actually getting another £11 worth of savings in there as well for your tire and trim. And that is something I guarantee you're going to use. Because I know when I wash my car, your car might be looking nice, but then you look at the tires. That's right. And you just thought, mm. And this is the secret that showrooms, you know, when you go to buy a car yeah. and the tires look amazing. That's and you right. look at those. This is what they use. Yeah, and not just the tyres, but all yeah. the plastic and rubber yeah. trim as well. This yeah. is what the professionals use yeah. for those finishing touches. I'll show you that live, mm -hmm. how in seconds it can yeah. transform that. Well, that's what we love about the gift, because it is uh, just to launch the fact that we've got the brand new packaging with the Ultimate Finish. But for anyone who's never experienced an Ultimate Finish show before, Talk to us about the ultimate finish. Right, what well, we've got, the first product is our waterless wash and wax. Yeah. No more water, no more hard work, no more getting dirty and wet. Yeah. You can achieve the perf real perfection of a show, the ultimate showroom shine finish yeah. in minutes. And we'll show you that in the show. We'll show mm. you some photographs of some cars that have been transformed, and a caravan yeah. transformed in minutes to look like new again that's that's the first product yeah and then we've got the carpet and upholstery and stain remover which is a must-have which is a, a definitely is really a must-have cool. product not just for freshening up the carpets in your car yeah. but around the home and removing stains i'm going to show you live i'm going to remove red wine black coffee from carpet that's been dried into the carpet for months I'm going to remove that in seconds. I mean, those are two biggies. If you think about sort of stains on the carpet, you would dread, like a light carpet, a cream carpet, spilling red wine on there would be disaster. Ter terrible, yeah. yeah. OK, so we're going to be looking at that as well. So we're getting our waterless wax and wash. Yeah. We've got our uh, carpet and upholstery cleaner as well. And then we've got the leather cleaner and conditioner. Well, now this is brilliant. And a must-have product for this time of the year. We're now, we've gone through the winter, and with the central heating or the yeah. heating in your car, all the leather's dried out. So if it's not dirty, and we'll show you some dirty leather transformed in seconds. It's keeping it conditioned. It conditions it. I would use this as well if you've got leather couches at home. Yeah. 
just to keep that condition because the, the way a leather couch they're very durable and robust yeah. but they can crack and that's it's just keeping it conditioned so yeah. use it in your car use it in your home fantastic we'll show you some amazing pictures yeah. and some de live demonstrations on that in the show mm -hmm. the ultimate microfiber these are not ordinary microfiber cloths no. not by any means okay we can only get actually about three deliveries of these a year we've been sold out on these since before christmas what they are that popular wow and and they they take a long time Thank to you. manufacture one of your presenters actually paid four pounds 99 for one good quality microfiber and you can, I've seen that yeah. you can pay that yeah for a good quality one yeah well the, we, there's two of these included in the pack and there is a 12 pack available in the show later on and then the bonus is the tire and trim and the applicator which is our gift to all your viewers just while the stocks last yes. This is a great gift. It's a great gift for yourself. It's a great gift for anyone in your family. So uh, where this will really set itself apart, for anybody, I live in a flat, so my wife and I, we, we live in a block of flats, so I find it hard to wash a car because you haven't got that instant access to the water. You don't need it with the ultimate finish. Do you know anyone who's lazy at cleaning their car? It's the sheer time uh, that you save with the ultimate finish. And it's amazing, Stan, how quickly cars do get dirty. Yeah, and it's, it's not just the time, but it's all the effort. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it is an effort, or it used to be an effort. But and that was just cleaning the car. The, <laughs> we're not just cleaning it, no, though. No, no. Because we're also going to be protecting it as well. And it's so easy to use. The first thing you do is you shake the bottle. Okay. Shake it to activate it. And then all you do is just spray a light coating on there yeah. and then you use one of the ultimate microfiber cloths mm -hmm. to clean it. Wow. And then you go over with the second cloth yeah. to buff it up to the ultimate showroom shine. But look at that, it hasn't just cleaned it, it's polished Stan, it. That is ridiculous. And good. it's protected as well. Look at that shine in seconds I'm, with no water. I'm not exaggerating, Stan. And I've done these shows with you before. We haven't done one for a while. It looks like it's got even better. <laughs> I know you've just changed the packaging, yeah. but it really does look like the actual product's got yeah. even better. Well, actually, the, we haven't changed the formula. We can't change it because it's it took perfect. four years to perfect that formula. Yeah. And we cannot improve it. Um, because, say, it hasn't just cleaned, it's polished. It's also put an invisible layer of carnauba wax to protect it. See, that's a game changer. Because anybody, I remember when I got my first car as a kid, I was very excited. So I washed it, I waxed it. When I say as a kid, I wasn't seven. I was like 18. Uh, and um, so I washed it, and then I waxed it. And if you lay on wax, also, like putting it on another layer of wax, breaks your arm. That's it's hard forever. work. Forever, yeah. That's hard work. But you see, I've already done that. I've cleaned it and I've polished yeah. it. And now I'm going to show you the protection. Oh, this, is, this is this is this enamel always spray me. paint. It worries me when you do this. Then. No, this is enamel spray paint. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray some of that on there. Okay. And we'll leave it to dry under these hot studio lights. It will take probably two or three minutes yeah. to dry. And that's going to bake on there. But that's not baking onto this paint surface. That's baking onto this invisible protective coating. And an interesting thing was, yeah. just literally about an hour ago, on the way to the studios here, I drove past a car wash, yeah. and they were charging eight pounds for a medium size, a, a small car, yeah. ten pounds for a four by four, just for washing it, just washing. Forget the wax. No, and you're cleaning, polishing, and protecting all in one go. The protection. Re when you see this, and say we've just sprayed it. Uh, you're looking at it now in action and seeing yeah. how quick, and it's the, the, how quickly you can get through. That is, I think that's like a Nissan Qashqai there. Yeah. So that's a not small car, no. but you will fly through it. You're seeing just spraying, you just use your microfiber cloth, done. So no, I'll tell you traditionally when you wash a car. So you've washed it, then you're having to buff it, yeah. and then even after that, you're still having to go back over yeah. it because it's still a little bit damp. It's look at that, no water, now that's cleaned, that's yeah. polished, that's protected, and you can see she's not working hard there, huh? it's, it's just, just gentle, not getting dirty, not oh. having to put your old clothes on and get dirty and wet, yeah. not having to waste water. You know, if you're on a water meter, do you know you can Let's waste up to 200 Ooh. litres just cleaning yeah. the car once? And you can do it anywhere. Now look at that, look, look, before it's a terrible state, yeah. and afterwards it's like a showroom finish. Great if you're looking to sell a car as well, so that detailing, if yeah. you want to get that professional, we say, and I know it sounds very uh, silly telly when we say showroom shine, but genuinely, when you use the product, the finish, it is the, uh, it's the kind of products that the industry uses to give you that showroom finish. So it looks like your car has just been detailed by professionals, 
but you've done it. And you raise a really good point, Stan, because if you were to take your car to be cleaned, let's say it, you could pay anywhere from five pounds to 10 pounds just to clean it, not yeah. to wax it. Yeah. So that all adds up. Yeah. And when you consider what we're getting in this bundle, it's incredible. And, and one bottle can actually clean, polish and protect yeah. up to, on average, around eight cars. So oh, it goes that's... a long, long way. And you're not just getting the wash and wax. Yeah. You're getting the carpet and upholstery cleaner and stain remover. You're also getting the leather cleaner and conditioner. You're getting the tire and trim. You're getting the two ultimate microfiber cloths. The whole lot is included. It's the best of. I've got to point something out because we are busy. With regard to the tire and trim uh, and the applicator, this is a bonus gift. Uh, the ultimate finish have kindly thrown in, but it's only around while stocks last. So as a one-day special tomorrow, you could be, uh, there could be a situation where we might say, unfortunately, the bonus gift has gone. So have the, uh, has the paint dried? Uh, that's just about, uh, just give it a little, another minute. Okay. Because it's just a little bit tacky, so I'd like to really have it baked yeah. on there. Well, I'll tell you what we can do. Now, obviously you're enthusiastic about the ultimate finish, but we've got so many testimonials, and I've got a few in front of me here, so I'll tell you what we'll do. Should we flick through? We'll do this at random. Yeah, flick one at so random. So I'll just say about here. I'll pick that over. And here we have got... So, thank you Ultimate Finish, this, I love this, thank you Ultimate Finish for an amazing product, my first time but not my last. I don't have a driveway, see this is my problem as well, so uh, no means of water, I saw this product on TV and I thought I'd give it a go, so glad I did, my car looks stunning, no joke, it looks like it's been valeted, I've been telling you, um, I'm telling you it's brilliant, I know by applying it, it will also protect my car for the future too, and that's from Ali, and that's the thing. These are honest reviews from customers who've bought the Ultimate Finish, and there are so many of these. I'll read one more out. Let's say I am picking these at random. So this is another one. I, I mean, how good does the car look? Uh, so, best by far. Saw this product advertised and sent for it, and I'm totally surprised at the quality of the shine. Uh, didn't take long to do, uh, to do it all, and it's much better than other products advertised on other channels. Interesting. Ooh. Uh, I've had family and neighbors pass comments on how the car looks, even saying it looks better than you. And that's from Trev in York. So, um, I mean, it genuinely works. And not only just customers, yeah. but you've got people in trade. industry, trade, trade. Many, many, many use the trade. ultimate yeah. finish as well. We've got uh, one customer in the trade who's had, uh, uh, who's used it on cars that are over a million pounds per car. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, the, they'll only use the best. That's no joke. No, if you're going to no be joke. cleaning a car yeah. of that value, you're yeah. going to make they, sure you use something top the best. Up. Yeah. I find, and here's the thing with the ultimate finish, because it genuinely is very easy to use because Stan was quite rightly saying sometimes it can be a faff when you're traditionally washing a car bucket and then having to dry it and buff it and do all of that and it leaves streaks you don't get any of that problem with the ultimate finish you wash your cars quickly do you know anyone and let's seriously think about this it could be yourself but equally look around or think about your family do you know anyone who's got a mucky car and it's actually got to a point where it's a little bit embarrassing because they just don't want to take the time to clean it I fall into this category. You know, sometimes my car, I'm guilty of. Maddie, our floor manager as well, hold it up a hand. So we'll say this, you know, name and shame. But you can clean it and you see the difference. Um, and also certain cars, like a white car, yeah. it's going to show all the dirt. And Christian, it's not just for cars. Yeah. Caravans, motorhomes, motorbikes. Yeah. Uh, so many uses around the home. UPVC windows. Didn't, brilliant for all uh, of those jobs. Didn't you stop? And now I'm Treasuring my memory bank, yeah. you, you saw where you were living, you're going home, yeah, you yeah. saw a dirty caravan. Yeah. I would love this, by the way. Can you imagine? You had a filthy caravan at home, and some stranger knocks on your door and said, please, can I wash it? Because this is a, it's a true story. Yeah. There's the caravan now coming up. That was oh. what I saw in the driveway. I mean, Stan, that's and filthy. Sharon, my wife, was in the car with me, and I yeah. said, Sharon, I'm going to stop and ask that person there if we can clean that. <laughs> And what did I they say the when you knocked on the door? True story. I knocked on the door yeah. and this lovely lady came to the door and I said, could I clean your caravan? And the first thing she said is, well, what's the catch and how much is it going to cost? Yeah. It won't cost anything. I just want to take a couple of pictures. She said, you'll never get it clean. Look at the state of it. It's been there for eight years. I haven't touched it. Yeah. I said, well, would you allow us to give it a try? She yeah. said, yeah, go ahead. Well, we did it. And we transformed it, and it looks like new. Well, we'll see. Look no, at that. No way is that the it's same sat, caravan. <laughs> it sat there for eight years. The she interesting must thing, have kissed you after that. Yeah, the interesting thing was we went past there a few weeks later, yeah. and it was gone. 
So Someone had bought it. I don't know if she sold it or, of she did. Used, or it, used it. it. It's certainly not sitting there for another eight years. Stan, that's amazing. Yeah. But it, look, this is a true story, uh, and it shows the power of the ultimate finish. I understand, and I watch shopping TV as well, and sometimes you see products, and you think, all right, they make it look great, but when I get it home, is it going to live up to the billing? Genuinely, it does. It really does. We've got the testimonials. You're seeing the pictures. Anyone can use the ultimate finish, and this is such a great bundle with a one-day special. Now, I think the paint has dried. Yeah. And this is just one product, one product that's yeah. in the pack. Now, that is completely baked on there, that paint now. Now, just to show you the power of ultimate finish, now, normally we'd leave it there for a minute or so for the yeah. surfactants just to work in mm -hmm. to lift that. But look, oh, we haven't got no a minute way. or two. Just gently, and I'm not, there's no hard work. And I'm using a white cloth here because there's no abrasives in Ultimate Finish. So it's, that is it's completely free of all abrasives. Now, I'll just buff that up there and look at that. And this is the interesting part, I find. All you can see on there is the white paint. There's nothing else. Yeah. because it hasn't taken a layer of the paint off. And that's key. That first time you showed me that demonstration, uh, it wasn't long after I joined the channel, I was blown away by that. Now please, can I, and I need to stress this, do not just get some paint, spray it onto your car, <laughs> and then think that this will take it off. It doesn't work that way. What you need to do, and it's all down to the ultimate finish, because it adds a layer of protection. Not only that, we're talking ultimate, it's a superior carnauba oil, so uh, wax, I should say. So it's protected your car, you've washed it, you've waxed it, then if anything gets onto your car, you can then come back with the ultimate finish and clean it. Like tar, for instance, yeah. was another the one bird you were saying. Bird droppings. Bird droppings, because well. it's yeah. bad for the paintwork. Yeah. Yeah. You're scrubbing away. So many people in the trade yeah. choose ultimate finish. When you say that, we've actually got a nice little video I think you're going to enjoy. Speaking of trade, beautiful, beautiful old Jaguar. Take a look at this. My name is Ian Wells and this is my car. I have owned it for 53 years. Spent my working life in the motor trade and have owned my own dealership for over 40 years. Ultimate Finish is by far the best product I have ever used. It protects the bodywork and chrome for a lasting, superb finish. I have used Ultimate Finish for the past 10 years and I would certainly not use any other product at all. I go to many car shows over the summer period and I often get asked, what polish do you use on your car to make it look so good? And of course I have to say, well it's ultimate finish. Not only do I use the polish and tire and trim for the outside, I also use leather cleaner and conditioner and the carpet cleaner for the inside of my car. Absolutely fantastic. That's such a good video, uh, and it just highlights the quality of the ultimate finish. And you, you were telling me that gentleman, um, very particular about the, well, he, obviously his car is his pride and joy, yeah. and very particular about the products he's used. And he's used the ultimate finish, he said this in the video, for the last 10, ten years. 10 years, yeah, okay. yeah. It's you a, won't, won't use any other product. It's a really good product. And every time I do this show, all I will say to you is, it works. It genuinely works. And I know watching shopping TV, you're like, really? It does, I promise you. So we get the ultimate finish. Now, what the ultimate finish does, it's a waterless wax and wash. Uh, so it protects your car, it cleans your car. But not only that, this is such a great package. Got to stress, you are getting the bonus. This is a bonus while stocks last. You'll be getting your tire, trim, tire and trim and your applicator worth £11. We're going to move on to um, the upholstery. So it's your carpet and upholstery cleaner. Stan, you've got to say the story um, because you've got a great story when you first developed this. What happened? Because you went to visit your daughter. Yeah, what happened was uh, this had just come off the production line literally yep. just a few weeks. Yeah. And my daughter just moved into a new house and had a beautiful cream carpet down just okay. before Christmas, it was, yeah. about three years ago. Uh -huh. And we went round there and was playing with our grandson on the floor with his toys. And I accidentally knocked over a full glass of red wine oh, on a carpet. Onto a cream yeah. carpet. On a cream That's carpet. That's disaster. Luckily, Hayley was the first person to have a bottle of this yeah. in a utility room. So I said to her, could you get that uh, stain remover car um, product out of your utility room? I want to take that stain out. And everybody was aghast and said, you'll never get that red wine out. Yeah. In just seconds, I took that out. 
and we're going to show that, but Stan's not doing it the easy way. No. Because what he's done is got a bit of carpet, and he's actually dried on. Would you say about two weeks? Yeah, this, is, this has been on for nearly a month, actually. A month? But okay. just to show you, it's completely dry. I've got a bit of white uh, kitchen towel here, just so you can see it is, it is dry. Yeah. But that is completely dried in. So there we've got red wine, and we've got black coffee. And yeah. those are two culprits where, I mean, very hard to get and, and we'll, we'll, we'll put a bit of marker pen just for luck as well, okay. shall we? And maybe a little bit of crayon. crayon. You've got well. kids? <laughs> yeah. I mean, all, all these make a bit of a mess. Yeah. Now, all you do is just jet that in. And now, in, in your car, you might want to freshen up the carpets in your car. Yeah. You might not want to take stains out. You might just want to freshen up your carpets, like in the car or in the entrance hall mm -hmm. to your home. Yeah. Now, all you do is you jet it in there. Now, you should really leave it for a couple of minutes to soak into the fibres. But the secret is to agitate the fibres. Just agitate them like that. You don't actually have to rub it in. You just That's agitate so them. so impressive. So it's working in there. Now what it's doing is, it's gradually lifting out those dried in stains in seconds. That's the first stage. Right. And then this, just, this is just a damp ultimate microfiber. Just go over it with a damp ultimate microfiber just to finish it off. Now that's the stain gone. And then all you do is you just leave it to air dry. Or if yeah. you go over it with a dry cloth, it will take most of the moisture out straight away. Leave it to air dry before you walk on it. It's almost dry now, but all the stains gone that, in seconds. That's month old, dried on red wine, black coffee, markers. That's just ridiculous. You just shouldn't be able to do that. Yeah. And the other nice thing I like about it, it's got a very light citrus fragrance to it. So if you're doing your car carpets and you're yeah. freshen those up, it's not an overpowering oh, nice. uh, yeah. perfume light. It's a very light citrus fragrance, so it smells nice in the car, I'm, nice and fresh. I'm dredging my memory banks, but I'm, I feel confident that you said a story a while ago. Someone had a stain on their carpet for years, and they tried various products to remove it, and they'd just given up. Yep. They thought, look, nothing's yep. going to take this out. Am I right? Is this a story you yep. told? That was me. Oh, it was you. <laughs> oh, okay. it was we you. we yeah. had one stain yeah. in our home, and we bought so many products over the years trying yeah. to get this stain out. Right. It's when we moved in the house. Yeah. So many products. Never got the stain out. It was a nice carpet. We didn't want to change it. Yeah. It was just a small stain. Mm. Um, we couldn't get it out. And when this came, I thought, oh, that would try it. And we tried it, and it took the stain out. Well, that is such a huge endorsement for the product. I you must did have it down the studio hallway as well, yeah. took stains out down there as well. I think we've got to get you in more often <laughs> and start cleaning around. But look, it's another product that genuinely works. We're going to show you some pictures, actually, to prove the point. I mean, you've seen it live here. This is thinking about your car. Now, that looks grubby, right? It's the leather, leather cleaner and conditioner. Yeah. This is what's coming up next. Yeah. Oh, we're going to show this. This is, this is the leather. Yeah. yeah, we are going to go on to the leather, actually. So we, we've talked about the upholstery and the carpet cleaner. We've talked about the ultimate finish, waterless wax and wash. Now it's all about the leather. So we're going to show you that in action, because there's a very grubby leather seat, Stan. Yeah, yeah. Well, th well, this is a terrible seat, but you see the one that's... Um, uh, I come, is that one on the screen now? Yeah, we've got uh, you on that. Uh, you're that, that. That is complete. Well, well this I'm going to do live. You can see this, this, this is a, a, a terrible mess. You only need a very, very small amount of this. It goes a long way. Mm -hmm. And all you do is you just really like the carpet. You just massage it into the leather, and it not only removes the dirt, but it also nourishes the leather. This is from a scrapyard, and this is a very old piece of leather. But mm -hmm. all you do is wipe it over, and now that's not only clean, but it's nourished that leather as well. Okay. And it's not just for leather seats in cars. So you're moisturising the leather. Yeah, that's right. It's for, you know, leather sofas. Uh, you know, you might have leather sofas at home. Or leather shoes. Yeah. I'm, I'm not even going to put any more product on that. I'm okay. going to use just that little thumbnail amount. And look at that. For Ooh. cleaning shoes. Perfect. It's literally, and it doesn't matter what colour the shoes are either. And it's that easy. It's not only removing the dirt. Yeah and freshen up the leather, it's, it's conditioned the leather. I've got and to compliment you on your range of shoes. You've got, look, a lovely range well, of I shoes. I bought one of yours here, Ian. This, this, this is your one here. That's I bought good. this one. I'm glad you're cleaning it for me. <laughs> but for this one, a white one. Now, look, I haven't used any more products, uh -huh. and this also shows the power of the ultimate microfiber yeah. because all of that dirt is held by that ultimate microfiber. That's a really good point. And it, we don't want to stress, but with the, micro, uh, the ultimate microfiber cloths, and they are so good and you're telling me they sell out time and time again and you haven't actually had these in stock since before Christmas. Before Christmas, yeah, yeah we can only get about three delivered, they take a long time to manufacture these mm. 
and they always sell out. We have got a 12 pack of cloths here as well yeah. at a crazy price okay. while the stocks last. And we will show that. Actually, do you know what? It's, we'll show you. It's the bottom of your screen. 9 99 for six. For six. No, for Cons 12. For 12. Six, six of each colour. Oh, sorry. Yeah, six of each colour. 9.99 for 12 is ridiculous when you consider the quality of these if you went to shop you're saying one of the presenters um, bought a microfiber cloth of this quality and paid 4.99 that's right yeah so yeah. i mean that's incredible the secret of these is when you wash them yeah. don't use fabric softener yeah and then you just keep using them year after year after year I've got cloths that I've been demonstrating with hundreds and hundreds of times for over nine years. Wow. And I still haven't worn one out. I love these shows. And, you know, it's nice to do a show when you have so much faith in a product. So I can stand here. I know how good the ultimate finish is. I know how good the microfiber cloths are. We've got the leather cleaner. We've got the carpet and upholstery cleaner. While stocks last as well on the show, this is the launch show of a one-day special, but Ultimate Finish are giving a bonus gift too. So if you're watching, you're going to be getting your tire and trim, so any plastics on the car. And for me, this is when you know your car has been professionally validated. Uh, it's the trim and the wheels just look, they, I don't know what, well this is the product that the trade use and I always wondered what do they use? Exactly, well, I mean you go to a used car dealership, it looks like they've put all new tyres on the cars doesn't yeah. it? Well obviously they don't do that, it'd be too expensive. Yeah. They make the old tyres look like new mm -hmm. and you can do the same. All you do is just spray a small amount onto the applicator, only needs a small amount and no hard work involved in this, this is all you do, give it a wipe and then a quick wipe over with the ultimate microfiber and that's it it's restored like new again and this is an old bit of scrap plastic this is a chewed up piece of scrap but look restored wow. like new in just a few seconds i mean that's striking in the difference and this is a bonus gift worth 11.99 so if you think about it you're saving 10 pounds already in the one day special 24.97 and then on top of that saving you're getting an item so the time trim which you're absolutely going to use worth another 11 pounds so that's effectively i'd see it as another 11 pound saving but I'm going to keep on saying this because I don't want to disappoint you. I know sometimes viewers like to watch a one-day special and then maybe buy tomorrow. The bonus gift, it's around while stocks last. We are busy. We have got a little video actually explaining the uh, tire and trim. So Stan, talk us through this because we're going to be using the tire and trim. We're going to show yeah, the video now. As I said, it's not only for the tires but the plastic. There is a rubber. There's a rubber trim on the back of that car and uh, that rubber part on the back of the bumper there. Mm -hmm. And in seconds, that's restored like new again. And look at that rubber treads there yeah. that they get really dull and you know it's just those finishing touches that you know you, when you go to a used car dealership they yeah. they bring those cars up looking like new yeah. you can do the same same with your tires it takes probably what maybe 30 seconds less than a minute certainly less than a minute just to restore that tire to look like a brand new tire yeah. and if you've brought the whole of the paintwork and all the chrome looking like showroom finish it's worth spending another 30 seconds just to make all the tires look like new of course it's just those finishing touches well, and that is the key but it's not only a finishing touch it's a professional uh, finishing touch. Now we did give you a little sneaky peek at the micro, uh, microfiber towels. So we're going to have a look at these. You're getting 12 of them. 12. Oh, sorry, yeah. I apologise. These are towels. So you're getting four of the towels. Talk us through the towels. Uh, the, the towels? Yeah, the yeah. towels. Yeah. The towels. Yeah, the, there's four of those in a pack. Mm -hmm. If you've uh, ever used one of these for drying dishes, you'll never, I don't believe, you'll ever use another dish drying towel ever again. Wow. And if you've got a dog that you take for walks, I think we'll probably show you uh, later on in the show. Yeah. My daughter's got a very large dog, thick fur, yeah. takes him for a walk, and he gets pretty dirty and wet. And she uses one of these just to dry him off. Now, that's a whole litre of water I put in there. You know when you're drying your dishes and the tea towel starts getting damp and the dishes start getting smeared? Now, look at that. In seconds, that shows you how efficient they are. That's soaked up that whole litre of water in seconds. And you see those light patches. There's still some dry patches in there. Wow. They're incredibly efficient. A litre of water just sucked up. They're great for a sports towel as well. So many uses for those. And there's four of those in the pack. Well, Marcus, our director, plays a lot of squash. Yeah. And he says, I mean, you really sweat when you play. So something like that, just brilliant. to towel down, Absolutely would be fantastic. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can see the quality and how good they are. By the way, if you do have any questions, please email in studio at thecraftstore.com. So, now, 
we have got a new product and again sticking with the vein of making your car look like it's been detailed by professionals it's the kind of finish that you get if you just bought a car from uh, a showroom so here we're talking about the dashboard uh, yep. This is your dashboard all in one. Tell, talk this to is us the about brand those. new product today. This is the first time first this time has been shown it. today. Yeah. Amazing. And what this is, this has taken several years to develop because dashboards really get punishment through the yeah, summer when do. the sun's coming through. Yeah. When you get in your car and the sun's been in there, mm. it's really hot. And that plastic dashboard takes all that punishment. Yeah. And you may have seen some dashboards that are cracked yeah. and damaged or faded. Yeah. Well, this is not only to restore the look on those but to give them that protection as well against okay. the UV yeah so protect the dashboards yeah. a very very small amount you only need to put a small amount on with the ultimate microfiber and in seconds you can bring that dashboard back looking like new again well we're gonna see we actually got it. a picture here so it's half been done half yeah. not. No, no that's not been done that's done, terrible done state all. you okay. see, see all the streaks and that on there yeah, yeah. and the dull color and that literally just in a few minutes, well it wasn't even a few minutes, a couple of minutes that was transformed to look like new again. But more important than looking like new, Ooh. it actually gave it that protection. Oh, that, I mean that, yeah. And is there, is there a scent to it or not? No, there's, there's not really, uh, not really a fragrance to it. Okay. Uh, but you've got that with your carpet. You know, of course you, you do. Use, yeah. use your carpet. Uh, Nine ninety nine is your price if you do want to get hold of that. But you can see just all of uh, the, um, if you just wanted the trim inside, so your dashboard, all those plastic elements, it's fantastic. Now something else that you have already found and you're shopping ahead for, yeah, this is what it's about. The two liters, so it's your refill. For your wash and wax, your ultimate finish wash and wax for fifteen ninety nine, Stan. Yeah, and that's uh, normally twenty four ninety nine. Mm. So that's a real big saving on that. That's a huge uh, saving. So you just use that to refill your bottle. Yeah, your ultimate finish waterless wash and wax bottle. Well, that's sixteen cars worth in there because yeah. you're saying eight eight cars oh, per oh, bottle. Six, uh, eight cars. Uh, this is a seven fifty mil bottle. Yeah. So oh. that will fill these two and a half times. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we get. I mean. That's a very good price for something you are going to use. Now, I'll tell you something. There is a little bit of a warning when it comes to the ultimate finish. Because once you get this home, when you do your car, if you have other members of your family who have cars, they're going to see your car and they're going to be like, oh, you couldn't clean my car, could you? Or they might borrow it off you. So soon, very, very soon, uh, you get a lot of people using your ultimate finish. Get the refill. Uh, anyone who's just tuned in, welcome. This is the one day special. And we are featuring something that lives up to the billing ultimate finish this is the ultimate bundle for any car lover anyone who's got a car and you want to protect your car it's so comprehensive it's ridiculous now to celebrate and this is a an important milestone in the ultimate finish history because brand new packaging looks really sick, slick and to celebrate that you're getting a bonus gift with this one day special while stocks last so everybody who makes an order right now we've still got stock of our free gift it is your tire and trim so all the rubber elements your trim elements your tires uh, you're going to be able to clean and bring up showroom fresh you're also getting your applicator you're getting the ultimate finish and I'm conscious that we get new viewers joining us every time Stan so let's just talk about the waterless wax and wash so Typically, where do people fall down? You know, when you're in the past, how you used to clean cars? Well, it's, it's hard work, isn't it? You know, you'd waste water. I mean, this yep. is the sort of thing you do. You get the hose out, you get the bucket and all the products, the, the uh, shampoo, the wax polish, the chrome clean, all of that. You don't need any of that. And yep. you don't need to waste all that water. When you think about it, you can waste 200 litres of water just cleaning your car once. Doing a bit for it. That's actually yeah. a lot. Doing a bit for the environment. Yeah, and if you're on a water meter, it's yep. costing you money for every drop of that. Well, that's history. You don't need to do that anymore. I like that. Don't, it's so easy now. All you do is shake the bottle. Yep. Always shake, shake it to activate it. And then just, just spray it on. That's I just use, a thin layer you yeah, spray. I usually do one panel at a time. You know, like um, uh, the, the bonnet or one wing. Now you just give it a wipe over one cloth to clean it. And then the wipe over the second cloth. And that not only polishes it, but it protects it as well. And what you've got is that showroom shine finish in seconds, but you've also got this layer of carnauba wax, which is a barrier that's yeah. protecting that against things like tar and in, in, in the winter, the salt and that yeah, kind of thing. When you yeah. pass a gritter. It gives that protection. And, and the way I like to show the protection, really, is with this. This is, uh, this is enamel spray paint. 
And if I spray some of that on, and we come back in a couple of minutes, and I'll take that off. Okay. Because that's, that's, that's on top of this barrier. It's not on top of the red paint. Yeah. It's the barrier of carnauba wax that's protecting the red paint. So when I, I mean, I've washed my, I've used the ultimate finish, which I absolutely love. I've still used, I've, I've run out the ultimate finish, so I conventionally washed my car actually recently. It's an old way. And this is the process I went through. So I wet the car, then I washed it, so lay it up, then I obviously rinse it off, then I used a microfiber cloth to dry it, so went all around kind of just to get the, the, uh, the excess water off. Then I went around again mm. to try and, and genuinely, this is what I was doing, it took me about two hours, went around again and I'm just trying, because you get little water streaks and everything, yeah. trying to pull it. And even after that, and uh, I didn't, do, I had to go around to my parents, because yeah. I live in a flat, so I don't have like a dry well water, so I went around to my parents to do it. And then when I got home, Part time, I saw a spot I missed. I was fuming. Yeah. I was like, get the mic and wash it. With the ultimate finish, A, for me, why I love this and use it is because where I am, block of flats, I can do it in the car park. So anywhere you don't need access to water, it is so quick and easy to use. The finish is incredible, but the time it saves. You've just seen how quick and easy Stan cleaned that bonnet. And this, you go to junkyards and just pick up an old panel and it looks like new. This is old pieces of scrap. Yeah. yeah and we can bring that up to that beautiful shine. And this is just one of the products in the pack. Yeah. And when you think you get two of the ultimate microfiber cloths as well, which are absolutely incredible. So many uses around the home. Maybe we'll show you that in the show yeah, later definitely. on. And the carpet and upholstery and stain remover and the leather cleaner and conditioner yeah. and the uh, tire and trim, which is a clear formula. So that's for all colors of plastic and rubber trim all this, included this is a great present by the way if you know anybody in your family and look this father's day just around the corner yeah if you struggle to buy a gift anyone who's got a car and loves their car I promise you they're gonna be excited by this because they're gonna be able to clean their car and protect it you've got the interior with your carpet clean in your upholstery then anyone with leather seats as well but you don't have to have leather seats in your car if you've got leather seats at home phenomenal any leather products I mean leather shoes leather jackets you're also getting the tire and trim now this is a bonus gift for the one day special so you get your tire and trim and your applicator worth 11.99 but if you think about that that is how and also I've got to mention the uh, mul uh, the ultimate microfiber cloth as well as a package and this is this genuinely this is the secret of the trade because if you ever gone to buy a car you know when you go buy a car they always make them look amazing especially like second hand car and you go and when you you've had it for a little while and it's got a bit dirty like it doesn't look like how when I when I bought this car from you guys the secret is with the products they use, and this is the products industry uses. And we've got so many testimonials. Should we read a testimonial, yeah, Stan? Yeah, pick so some I'll do at it, random. I'll do it at random, yeah. so I'll just pick up one. Oh, and these are look. all from your customers. And these all are customers. All your customers. Oh, okay, yeah. amazing. Everyone. So this is Chris. Chris is saying, I'm so impressed with the ease of use, and the finish is excellent. <laughs> I love this. I've binned the many other products that I've tried in the past for your one solution. Can I just say, this thing we do as well, we buy lots of products and yeah. you know they're in the utility room clogging up the cupboard, mm -hmm. so I like under them. the sink. Yeah, you don't need so them anymore. I've used it recently on my 1989 uh, MK1 Golf GTI, nice car by the way, uh, Cabriolet. Before I attended a classic uh, car show, uh, I had so many comments from other exhibitors on how well the bodywork looked. Uh, once home, it was a breeze to clean off the flies that's the truth the flies and the grime with your product without the need for washing and wetting the car it's fantastic do you know what I'm noticing here we had that wonderful video with the classic Jag yeah. here is another classic car so a real car enthusiast oh, you yeah. know when you're gonna buy a car product these are the kind of it, anyone who really loves their cars mm. is going to take a lot of time and attention to find yeah. the right product. So yeah. those are the kind of reviews I really pay attention to. Exactly. Well, with the people that's got classic cars, they're cars that are appreciating in yeah. value, yeah. and they really want the best. They want to look after those and look after their investment. Yeah. And that's their choice. Well, ultimate finish. Speaking of looking after our investment, so if you have just tuned in, we've sprayed. We used an aerosol spray paint onto our bonnet. Now, come on. If I was to tell you, I'm going to come around to your house and literally spray your car how would you feel about that so that's sprayed on it's drying but with the ultimate finish we've already had a layer on there you're safe now spray some of that on there now what's happening now is the surfactants and now gently lifting that paint away from that invisible barrier of carnauba wax that's protecting the paintwork wow. as a result of using the ultimate finish now look at that that enamel spray paint that was dry on there 
has completely lifted and gone in seconds. So if you've got bird droppings, you've got tree sap, tree you know, you've got tar, one, yeah. you've got salt off the road. Tell your story about because you had you had an issue with tar. This is before yep. the ultimate finish years before ago. even, even years come ago. up with the company. Yeah. Yeah. I had a blue car uh -huh. and I, I went in and went to the auto parts store because ultimate finish wasn't about then. Mm -hmm. And I said, Have you got something to get this tar off? I went through some road works. Oh, because you went through road, went through road, road work. works and it all ran up on uh, by the wings of my car. Oh, no. And I couldn't get it off. Yeah. And they said, Well, we've got this product. They said, it, it, it's, it will get it off. It'd take a bit of elbow grease, but it will get it off. Yeah. I did get it off. I looked at the cloth and it was bright blue. It'd taken a layer of my blue paint off as well. Oh, no. There was abrasives in it. Yeah. There's no abrasives in Ultimate Finish, just yeah. the powerful surfactants and yeah. the protective carnauba wax. Has protected, put that invisible coating on there. It's such a good product, but it's also going to save you as well. I'm going to say this is what you no longer need now with the Ultimate Finish. Take a look at this: the Ultimate Finish waterless wax and wash. You do not need water anymore. Forget it. You don't need to get bogged down with your hoses and getting wet. You don't need car shampoos. We don't need wax. The wax polish for me that is the real uh, bane. If you've ever had to lay on wax, it just breaks your arm. Uh, glass cleaner, this will do it for you. Wheel cleaner, we've got that covered. Bug, tar, it will remove it and also chrome, cre uh, chrome cleaner as well. It does it all. That's why I think it couldn't be named any more aptly the ultimate finish. But for $24.97, you're not just getting the ultimate finish waterless wax and watch. You're getting your carpet and upholstery as well. So you're cleaning inside your car. And if you've got any upholstery inside your car, and this thing, if you have a spill inside your car or they're little marks, this will clean it out. If you spill onto your carpet at home, this is going to be your savior. And it's something I, um, I was always taught when I first moved in to, to my first home, my flat, um, I was told, have something like this in your home because it, it will pay for itself any spills. Exactly, yeah. This, just, I've never seen one as good as this. No, no, well, just one spill, you can ruin a carpet. Yeah, easily. But uh, if you've got that handy, you can remove that stain. Yeah. And even stains that have been dried in. I mean, like this, we've got red wine, we've got black coffee there that's really dried in. And just to prove it is completely dry, it's been in there over a month. But look, that is a dry piece of uh, a towel there. It is completely dried. And all you do is just shake it and then just jet it in to the stain and then let it let it soak in the stain it's best really to leave it in there for about a minute or two to soak okay. into the stain yeah. but also we put it we put a bit of um, red uh, magic pen there and also some crayon as well nice just for luck I'll spray some on there as well and what's happening is it's now already encapsulating those stains. You can there. see it working even before you start to lift them. Look from those fibers. All, all you do now is just agitate the fibers yeah. with the ultimate microfiber. Uh -huh. And with these ultimate microfibers, all you do when you wash these, the secret of washing them is don't use fabric softener. Right. Now that's the first stage. The second stage is to go over with a damp one and to lift the rest of the stain out. Now, in those few seconds, wow. I've removed those dried-in stains. Okay, I mean, that is so impressive. I know we saw it earlier on. But, and I've got to point out, stains, so red wine, disaster. On a carpet, red wine is a disaster. Black coffee, disaster. Not only that, you'd, you'd be forgiving me thinking, okay, straight away, let's get to it. Let's try and clean it straight away. Stan's dried that on for over a month, and you've seen how quickly and easily it uh, cleaned the carpet. So uh, this will be an absolute godsend. Any spills on your carpet, if you've got little ones at home, if you're going to have parties, Lottie, our producer, great point. If you're renting and you're worried about your deposit, I mean, this is going to save a lot of deposits out there. So you are getting that as part of our bundle. I mean, it's such a good bundle for $24.97. But then we're going to talk about our microfiber cloths. And thing is, Dan, not all microfiber cloths are made alike, are they? No. These are so good for, not just for your car, not just for using with the ultimate finish, uh, but for around the home. So many uses around the home. Yeah. We can show you later on, but for, like, for drying showers, uh, for dusting, they're a miracle for drying, yeah, dusting. Yeah. They grab yeah. all the dust particles. But for, for um, mirrors and for glass, yeah. um, window cleaners, we sell these to window cleaners. They love these. Look how dirty that mirror is. That's now, what I'm going to do, this is just cold water, okay. and all I'm going to do is just make that just slightly damp. Right. I'm wringing it out. There's no chemicals in there at all, just cold water. And this is how easy it is to clean with ultimate microfiber. One wipe, 
And look, it's gone. The dirt is gone in wow. seconds. So not using any... I love the fact we're not using any chemicals. That's impressive. Especially for kitchen. Yeah, we, yeah. we will not use anything else in our kitchen except for the ultimate microfiber. Really? No chemicals around with the food. Wait, you clean all your kitchen? With all the kitchen with the ultimate microfiber. That's excellent. Yeah. That's it. Oh, I'm going to start doing that. That's brilliant. Because this thing, a lot of us, we don't realise how many products we're using. Tell you what, Stan, talk us over this, because uh, your wife's been keeping you busy cleaning the house. We've got a video yeah. here, so let's have a look. Uh, yeah. This is you around the house. There, there's so many uses for the ultimate microfiber around the house. Um, it, we always keep one by the shower. This is why it's a good idea to buy the extra pack of 12. Yeah. Um, keep one by the shower. So we've never cleaned the shower. You don't need to, because as soon as you get out the shower, you just give it a wipe down with the ultimate microfiber microfiber nice. and it's spotless and it's bone dry the same for the mirrors the same for the uh, tiles the porcelain sink the chrome all that is is just cold water on there just slightly damp and it's cleaning it and bringing it back look look at that <laughs> all the soap suds and that on the chrome there gone in seconds wow on the porcelain for dusting they're a dream for dusting because all those fibers just grab hold of those dust particles oh, yeah. There's millions of those fibres, they're less than a hundredth of the thickness of a human hair, and they're wedge-shaped. So they grab hold of all the dust like a magnet to metal. Perfect. So instead of chasing the dust around the home, look at this here. Yeah. That we had, this was in our house, we had a ceiling that was uh, our text, and we had it um, plastered, mm. smooth plaster. And when they went, uh, there was dust everywhere, that table was covered up. Uh. Um, but just one wipe with the ultimate microfiber, it's gone. Oh, it Soaking up spills, yeah. they're a dream. Gone in seconds. And that was almost bone dry, uh, just by use. In, this is what I was saying in the kitchen. For hobs, for the oven, obviously let that cool. You, yeah. know, you don't do it while it's hot. And again, all that's on that is just cold water. Just wrung out and just give it a wipe over. And that's you so see, impressive. no hard work. I'm just giving it just a gentle Microwave wipe over. Microwave clean. Yeah. Now, inside tell me, the microwave. How happy was your wife when you told her you wanted to do a oh, video cleaning the so home? Yeah. I'm always doing the cleaning, you see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there we well, go. I did that time anyway. <laughs> yeah, you did a very good job. Uh, so that is the microfiber cloth. You're getting two of those in the bundle. I'm going to let you get set for the leather. Yep. Uh, we have got a bundle of 12 if you do want to get hold of those. 9.99. And look, that's less than a pound a microfiber cloth. And that would be impressive just for a bog standard ordinary microfiber cloth. For cloths of this quality and genuinely good quality, Stan's talking about people in the industry, window cleaners, in the trade, they use this as well. This has actually been out of stock since before Christmas, so we've got it back in. Very, very good quality microfiber cloths. Uh, we have got our leather, the leather cleaner. Now, this is included in the one day special. So, you get your leather cleaner. You do not need to use a lot to have a big impact. And the thing is, not only would it clean, but it will also condition your leathers as well. So, whether that's your leather in your cars, if you don't have leather seats in the car, what about in your home? Or leather shoes, or leather jackets. I mean, any leather. Leather bags is a good one, Stan. Leather handbags, well. leather belts. Yeah. Brilliant for all of that. And you only need a very, very small amount of this. Leather sofas at home are fantastic. Mm. We've got a fantastic picture, I think, we might show it later, of a leather sofa that was in a, stored in a farmer's barn. It was a terrible state. And we restored it looking like new, and not only looking like new, but the leather was freshened up, so it felt like new as well. Now look at that, just one wipe over, and that leather is cleaned, and it's nourished in seconds. And the same with shoes. So easy to clean shoes with ultimate finish. Look at that, oh, oh, that's just nice. in seconds. And it doesn't matter what colour the shoes are, and you notice I'm not putting any more product. I put yeah. about a thumbnail of yeah. product on there, just a very, very small amount. And this is also the secret of the ultimate microfiber as well. So That's the quickest way to polish your shoes I've ever seen. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but it's not only polishing it, it's nourishing the leather as well. So right. it's protecting the leather. Wow, we like that. And so that is just another dynamic to our one day special bundle. Uh, I've got to remind you as well, with the one day special, you're getting a bonus gift while stocks last. So you're getting your tire and your trim. You're also getting your applicator there as well. That's worth $11.99. Just for the tire and trim and applicator, you'd be paying $11.99. You're getting it included in the bundle. And when you actually think about this, so we're getting our tire and trim, and this is going to last you a very long time. The waterless wax and wash, this will wash your car eight times. 
easy, efficiently, but not only washing it, you're waxing it as well. And next time you're out and about, you know, if you pass a, uh, a car wash, see how much they'll charge for not only a wash, a wash and wax. I mean, minimum, you're looking at £10 minimum. So for a wash and wax. Here you can do your car eight times, so you can work out the maths there. And it's really easy to do, it will not take you long. Then you've got your upholstery cleaner and your carpet cleaner, so just an absolute godsend to have in your, for your car, but also any spills in the home on your carpet's fantastic. We're gonna be looking after our leather, so you've got your leather in there as well. And if that's not enough, you're getting not one, but two of your ultimate, uh, ultimate mic microfiber cloths there as well. For 24.97. Just on the waterless wax and wash, if we washed our car eight times, it's just over three pounds, well, it's three pounds 12 per clean. That's not factoring in, uh, we've got the tire trim in there, we've got the leather, we've got the upholstery in there too. It's a very good bundle. It's, it's, it's an amazing value. And I mean, the tire and trim, is, it's just those finishing touches that can be transformed in seconds. All you need to do is just spray a very small amount on the applicator. And you don't do any hard work. We put years of research into developing the products, so the products will do the work for you. Just wipe it on, Give it a wipe over the ultimate microfiber and look at that from a scrap yard, an old piece of scrap, restored, looking like new in, what, 10 seconds? Yeah, that. I love it. And that is your bonus gift for the one day special. If you do have any questions, please, please get in touch. And that's what we're here for. We're a live show. And I love the fact that you can send us emails in studio at thecraftstore.com. We've got testimonials as well. So we all, should we go through another testimonial, Stan? Yes. I'll pick up random, so I'll go back. Here we go, let's see here. Oh, okay, this is a nice one. So we purchased your product and you can see from the pictures the results. And you really can, my goodness. Nice BMW there. The car has come up fantastic. The products were very easy to use. So that's Carl in Nottingham. We'll do another one, shall we? Let's see here. Oh, oh no, that's a nice oh, car. That's now a this, beautiful car. This is a yeah. serious car. Yeah. Now at 83 at last, I found the way to clean and polish. At 83, well, uh, in one go. And that's the key. You are cleaning and you're polishing all in one sweep. Um, always tried every polish to keep this Aston up to scratch and finding it more difficult these days to use all the original hard wax available. And that's, it is hard work with those waxes. In the more recent times, I believe that I had uh, found the best available, but the effort was beginning to tell on the joints. Then the Dorsa's birthday present solved all of the problems when she gave me the ultimate finish. Now the... Now winning at classic car events using the ultimate finish. So easy. What? Uh, so easy. And what a finish. I love that. So winning at events. And how yeah. beautiful is that Aston Martin? Beautiful, beautiful car. And that's a car that's worth protecting, worth looking after. That's going to keep on appreciating in value. I think and all our cars are worth protecting. Yeah. You know, even if it's well, just in winter. Yeah, certainly. I mean, they are a second yeah. largest investment usually. Yeah. So why not protect them? And also make life easy. Why mm. have all the hard work of cleaning your car? That is the key. Yeah. And I think that's what puts a lot of people off washing their cars. And that's why we go and pay to have it done. Because yeah. you're like, oh, it's getting the bucket, it's getting the hose, yeah. it's going around, but just being able to literally spray and wipe, done. And that you're not just it. cleaning it, you're polishing okay. it and protecting it all in one yeah. go. So let's look inside the car because we've got a brand new product and this is the launch of a brand new product. Uh, you're going to talk about the ultimate dashboard. Yeah, the dashboard, yeah. Uh, this took uh, several years to develop because dashboards really do get a lot of punishment. With the UV and the heat coming through the windscreen mm. onto the dashboard, it can damage those and they are extremely expensive yeah. to replace or to repair. Yeah. And now you can bring that new look back in literally just a few seconds but also protect them as well because it protects against that UV damage. There's something so satisfying as well when you've cleaned the outside of your car but going in and obviously actually we clean the inside with the upholstery yeah. cleaner but then it's that final little elements, the dashboard. Exactly. The yeah. It's something that we've often neglected and for year after too. year after yeah. year. Well, now we've launched the product to help protect that mm. and to bring that back looking like new again. Love that. Uh, so if you do want to get hold of it, brand new product from the Ultimate Finish, so you know the quality that you're going to get. $9.99 your price, 934164 your item number. I know there are a lot of fans out there of the Ultimate Finish, and I tell you, to prove the point, a lot of you have been getting the refills of the Ultimate Finish. This is two litres, so how many cars will we be uh, cleaning with the two litres then? That would do, oh, around about over 20. 
Over but, 20 cars. And, but it's not yeah. just cleaning, remember? And that's not just for cars, yeah. for motorhomes, caravans, motorbikes. Well, that's good. Working on it now, if yeah. you do have a bigger vehicle, this is really good. So your caravan, this will come in. Yeah. But also, look, anybody, if you just want maximum value for money, I mean, fifteen ninety nine. so you're just topping up your ultimate finished bottle and being able to whiz through and clean that. A lot of you are going for that. 518869, your item number. Do you know, if this was 20 cars, it would work out... 80 pence per clean. Yeah. And 80 yeah, pence. And polish as well. I want to tell you one very, very important thing now. Yeah. Um, if you've got a motorbike, there's one slight change that you do. You see me spraying it on the panels. On a motorbike, you don't do that. Mm -hmm. Because this beautiful glaze finish, there's certain areas on a motorbike, like the seats, the foot treads, the handlebars, where you won't want that glaze finish. No. So what you do is you spray it onto the cloth, yeah. and you apply the cloth to where the, exactly to the parts where you do want that finish. Yeah. Okay. Obviously not on the handlebars, the seats, no, no. and the foot treads. Yeah, okay. Because the last thing you want to do is slip off those. Exactly. But the, obviously the rest of the, the bike, yeah. you know, the wheels and all the framework, you want that looking like this. Whoa. So you apply the cloth to that. Here is a bike. I mean, that is a bike. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. So uh, you can see how well a bike would come up if you did want to use the ultimate finish. We can use it on bikes. We can use it on cars. We can use it on uh, our motorhomes. And that is one of your on. customers that, that sent that in. That's, that's yeah. a lovely car. Uh, right, so what we're doing here is the launch show of a one-day special. We've got lots of testimonials as well. Should we have another flick through some testimonials? Yeah, I mean, you've got a different phone. Well, actually, pick a different one. Yeah, Just let's show do that. Yeah, put it there if you want. It's okay. Yeah, go ahead. We're going to have a little look. So uh, let's see. Let's go back there. Oh, now this is nice. So uh, this is from George in Newcastle saying, as you can see, the car looks stunning after using the Ultimate Finish car product. Very, very nice indeed. What we'll do, we'll make it easy for our camera so we can see that. Then we'll pick another one, shall we? Done a good job with these boards, I have to thank you for this. Okay, so this is Dave in Lancashire. He's saying, I tried the product without washing and cleaning all around the car, gave it a good polish with the same cloth and found it worked. What a difference. Just once around the car is remarkable. Less effort and uh, what a finish. And I highly recommend this product. Can't wait to do the other, other cars on the drive. Well, this thing, my wife, my son will stand back in amazement. One for cleaning their cars and the other for how clean their cars are. Uh, couldn't ask, uh, couldn't thank you enough. I mean, that's, now that is powerful because these are honest reviews from viewers who've bought the ultimate finish. But the fact that he said couldn't wait to clean cars, yeah. I mean, how often do you hear yeah. that? Well, I'll be honest with you, when I, years ago, I always used to put off polishing my car. I maybe yeah. did it maybe once or twice a year because it was hard work. I stopped it took doing a it. long time. I just wouldn't want to do it, yeah. yeah. But now I'm polishing it every time I clean it and clean at it. the same time. And I'm doing it in a fraction of the time, yeah. a fraction of the cost, and with hardly any hard, hard work either. Stan, you're an absolute star. Thank you so much. We've run out of time. I hope you've enjoyed the show. One Day Special has been really busy. Enjoy cleaning your cars. Enjoy it even just for gifts. Father's Day gifts, you cannot go wrong. I mean, I don't want to stereotype, but a lot of dads love their cars and they will not regret this as a gift. So you are getting the, uh, you're also getting the tire and trim there as well. This is a bonus gift worth eleven ninety nine. I've got to tell you, stock wise, nearly, well, 20% of the stock's gone in one hour. So that gives you an idea of how busy we are. Thank you so much for joining us. I know these hours are a little bit different, but here at the craft store, we like to focus on hobbies, and a lot of you at home, uh, the cars are their big hobby. So enjoy the ultimate finish. Great one-day special, a comprehensive pack. Thank you, Stan. I'll, I'll be really back at 8 o'clock. Yes, Thank Stan you. will be back at 8 o'clock. Hope you can join him. design space pouring up next then the ultimate finish one day special will be here and after that we got so enchanting lots to enjoy here at the craft store exciting news for the fifth year in a row the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the platinum trusted service award from FIFO these awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. 
Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door and Crafts 2. My crafting journey has taken me through all different types of crafting, from stamping and die cutting to colouring and inking, and loads of different things. I've been working with Crafts 2 now for over three years, and they produce the John Next Door brand, distribute it, and make sure that everything is perfect in that. This allows me to work with the fantastic Crafts 2 tools and products, as well as some of their other amazing brands, such as 2J Stamps, Press Cut, and the craft artist range of glues and consumables and inks. I really find that this partnership is extremely strong and helps me bring out the best of my products and all the other products within the Crafts 2 stable and the ones that I design. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Welcome everybody to a, another fantastic hour with 35 Design Space. So I have a question for you. Would you like to achieve results like this? Effects like this? I mean, the, the interest you get with pouring is mesmerizing. It is one of those enchanting crafts. When you start doing it, every finished example will be unique. You will never be able to recreate that. And that is the absolute joy of pouring. And the colors, the details, everything about this, it is an absolute work of art. And it's something you want to do more of. There is a, a little warning here, it's addictive in the very best sense of the word. So if you're looking to achieve these kind of results, this is the hour for you because we have got have to say it, the phenomenally talented Dina, who is the inspiration behind 35 Design Space. Dean, 35 Design Space, um, yeah. racking my brain from when we last worked together, wasn't that where you lived? Yeah, so we were running art workshops and events and classes, um, but a multitude of different crafts, um, the paint pouring was one of our most popular, but we lived at House 35, so we were the Design Space at 35, so 35 Design, design space. space. Yeah, very original. You won't, no, it is. And you've, I mean, you've achieved a lot for somebody who, you came out of education and you kind of thought, okay, I want to share this. And I, I said this earlier on, and sorry to sound unoriginal, but I really like the fact here at the craft store, we give a platform to talented, very talented crafters, but also family-run businesses, because that's exactly what it is. You're obviously the inspiration behind it. I know your dad helps out as yeah. well, so it Everyone is a family-run business. Yeah, for sure. Everyone gets involved. So I came out of university, and I just loved creating, and we had the space, and I thought, why not sort of share what I'm doing? And everyone's loved it, so it's been really great. Um, did you ever think this at uni? Was this your goal then? When at university you think you were going to get into crafting? Um, so I studied textiles and specialised in embroidery. I was very hands-on, so I right. knew that I just liked creating things and being crafty and just making. Um, I love seeing you know, what you can make at the end of a, uh, of a day yeah. of a bit of work. Um, but I didn't really know what I was doing at first. And then um, we ran some of the paint pouring workshops, like I say, they're, they're very addictive, you are right there. Yeah. Um, and everyone enjoyed them, so um, we branched out and now we do the paper marbling and candle making and lots of others. So yeah. Well, and please follow 35 Design Space on social media. So all social media, just 35 Design Space? Yeah, at 35 Design Space. Please follow Dina on that. We're going to go through our options, and there are some really good options for you. So uh, this is starter kit for you. Tell us a little bit about pouring. So the key to this, and I know this is your special formula, 
is the actual pouring medium, and this is this is special stuff. It's very special. You need that to get the sort of liquidity to sort of spread yeah. over your canvas. You need to get that consistency right, and that's what the pouring medium helps it sort of get you. So we've got our pouring medium then, and that's 250 uh, milliliters there. We've also got our silicon oil. So what does the silicon oil do, Dina? Um, the silicon oil in quite a lot of the canvases that you'll see around have lots of little cell type little circles, almost yeah. bubbles, um, and it's the silicone oil that we add into the paints that gives you that um, finish. It uh. helps the paints interact with one another. When you pop them all together, the paints, through the silicone oil, they kind of get to know each other, they interact, and that's when the cells come out onto your canvas, and that's what um, you really want to create. It gives you so much extra interest. It's more than just a sway of colour. Yeah. Those cells are really interesting and exciting. Love that. So we're getting our silicon oil in the mix as well. You're also getting your canvas, and it's a good canvas, A3 canvas. So we've got enough pouring medium to tackle our A3 canvas. Yeah, so we've that got one, Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's after you. Um, that bottle is just enough to cover the entire canvas. So Brilliant. you want to use the whole bottle for that one A3. Okay. But I mean, for fourteen ninety nine, I mean, think how much you'd pay just for an A3 canvas. Then you've got the pouring medium, you've got your oil, and you've also... Now tell us a little bit about this. So that's our paint pouring booklet. Um, in there, it's got all the directions, kind of hints, tips um, to guide you on your way. Um, there's a number of different techniques as well just listed. Um, we explain different things you might want to try. Um, yeah, and let you know about what else we do. And um, you can that. write your notes and keep track of it. And it's I, just really handy. Dina, I think you are somebody to watch in the future. I can see the uh, as a brand, you're only just going to you're going to grow and grow from strength to strength. So that is your first option. You're also getting the gloves uh, in there as well. Now uh, it's not harmful. I think the gloves are just to stay. It can be a bit it's messy. It's very messy. Yeah. You had to go. Last fair enough. Time. Fair enough. So that's one option for you. Now we're going to move on to uh, another option. This is a good bundle. Uh, so this is your metallic pouring. We have got uh, a lot going on here. So we've got a pouring medium. But when we say pouring medium. Is that a litre? It's a litre, yep. That's a big boy. So you're getting one litre of pouring medium, and you're going to want a lot of this, because you're going you're to want to use it. You're also getting, if I just show you here, these are very, very good uh, acrylic paints. Yeah, they're the PBO um, soft-bodied professional acrylics. Um, really great paints. You mm -hmm. really can't go too far wrong with them. We found that they work the best with our pouring medium. I mean, most soft-bodied acrylics work really well. I love the PBOs, they work really nicely. Mm -hmm. um, the metallics in particular, which is what's in that kit, a gold and a copper, um, once you have done your piece, they look really good when they dry. You don't yeah. necessarily see well, the shine when they're wet, but I'll show, I'll show the you shine here. is really nice. So, look at this. Now, everything you get in this kit, we're going to roll at the bottom of your screens, but you can see when I give it a wiggle, so there you're like, okay, but then. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Look at that, the gold and the silver absolutely sing. Really, really nice. So we're getting those. I said gold and silver, it's not gold and silver, sorry. It's a copper. Gold and copper, mm -hmm. I apologise. So your gold and your copper. I'll show you some other examples as well. Look, at, oh, I mean, look at the copper. There's the copper that you're getting here. Oh, look at that. It's Pebio, yeah. we know the quality that we get with Pebio. They're really, really nice paints. They yeah. work excellent with the pouring medium. And mm. those metallics really are a, a cut above. They're so good. But we're seeing here the designs that you've done. And this is all pouring techniques. And we're going to be exploring lots of different pouring techniques throughout this hour. This next one I'm going to show you is, oh, this is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. How beautiful. And th it's achievable. This is something that you are going to explore and you discover your own little techniques. But that looks like a flower going through. I mean, you're going to discover lots of things in there. Or you can go here, you know, you'd see the direction uh, with just so many techniques. But can I just break it down? Because $48.99. Now, I would imagine we've got flexi payments on there. So your first flexi payment is £24.50. You're getting a litre of your pouring medium. You're getting two of the metallic Pebio paints, so your gold and your copper, which are just beautiful. You're also going to be getting um, three canvases as well, so three different canvas sizes. 35 by 25. You're also going to be getting your 20 by 20, so your larger one. I'm going to show this. and it. To look at it, it doesn't look very special. 
but it really is. And I've seen a demonstration, and we're going to use this as well. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And wait till you use this, and you'll see why that really is so special. We've also got your other cups that you're going to use as well, and you're getting your uh, gloves. You're also going to get your spoons too. Now, with regard to the pouring medium, will that cover all three canvases? That should definitely cover all three canvases for you. You might have a little bit left over, but if you go a bit wild, mix up loads of paint, you might not, but it should definitely cover all three canvases for you. Perfect. $48.99 is your price. You do have flexi payments there. 901435. Going to move on. If you just want to go for the one litre of the pouring medium, if you're like, no, I've got some paints at home, I'm good, and I'm, I just want to go for the, uh, or maybe... And a lot of fans of 35 Design Space do uh, stock up. So maybe you've used your pouring medium and you're just looking to get hold of some more. One litre, $14.99. You've also got your booklet in there as well. And the kind of effects you can achieve, I will lift this up and show you. I mean, how pretty is that? I love that one. The colours. Oh, Dina, that is... That is I mean, you're creating work of art for your home. I think how much you would pay for a piece, an yeah. art piece that you know, like this. It is a really great option. If you have a room that you're doing up or um, you just want to add a bit of a spruce to a space mm -hmm. that you've got, you can choose your colours as well to the space that you've got and your room. You can make it really fit your home perfectly, but it is a stunning piece of art that nice. it's not going to cost you a lot to create. Wow, I, just, I love that. Okay, so I'm going to pop that down. Uh, we will carry on. So we've got another option for you because you Loving the one litre, what if we doubled it? What if you wanted to? If you really knew that the pouring medium, this is your thing, uh, and you want to get a lot of the pouring medium, so you're getting two litres of the pouring medium, you're also getting two of the silicon oils as well, the gloves and the booklet, all for $28.99. Good value for money, and the thing is, save your money, in the sense that get that extra saving, because if you're going to buy it individually or go for the two, you get that added saving, and you're getting the uh, silicon oil in there as well, two of those. 096-849, your item number. This is the kind of show where you really don't want to see me. We need to see it in action. So I'm going to throw over to the very talented Dina. What are we going to do now, Dina? So we're going to start from the beginning and mix up a paint for you. And we'll show you how much paint I use, how much pouring medium to use. And then we're going to get onto the good bit of making one of the canvases. Perfect. Um, so this is one of the PBO Studio acrylics that I've got. Mm -hmm. And I normally squeeze in about a kind of two second squeeze of paint. Nice. If you can see. Have I been saying it wrong, Dina? Because you say PBO and I say PEBIO. Maybe I've been saying it wrong. Well, I don't know. <laughs> you could go on saying PBO. Do you say potato or potato? Potato. Oh, I see, I say potato. Oh, I don't really. I'm okay. only teeth. I'm only teeth. <laughs> yeah. I, would, I would be questioning you there. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it's about yeah. a two second squeeze of paint in just a small okay. kind of lining on the base. Right. And then I use about three times as much pouring medium, maybe four. Nice. Um, you might be able to kind of see the ridge that it's onto yeah. in the line. It's just up to about there. Well, that's not, so you use the cups. That's your, your gauge. Yeah, you are, I yeah. often use the cups. I find them quite helpful. So they have like a sort of gap here. And normally it's kind of paint to halfway up there and then pouring medium up to kind of the yeah. sixth or so ridge. Perfect. Um, and then from there, just mix um, nice and gently. Try not to kind of whisk it and get air bubbles in there. But similarly, mix it really nice and well. Um, you want it to be really smooth. If you ever pick up your spoon and you see those kind of lumps coming off of that spoon and into the mm -hmm. cup, lumps in here will end up as lumps on your canvas. So give this a really good mix. Nice. Um, you can't really over mix it. You can't go too far wrong. But once you've got that nice and smooth, you want a kind of consistency, roughly kind of melted chocolate, um, yeah. double cream, that kind of thing. So that yeah. when you pour it back, you get a little bit of a kind of lump and then it goes back nice and smooth quite quickly mm -hmm. um, and then from there take your silicone oil uh -huh. and I normally just put in for this amount this isn't very much paint just kind of a few drops yeah just a couple of drops this goes a long long way so particularly mm. for the starter kit you're gonna have a lot left over um, um, if you wanted to top that with a one liter type thing you would still have silicone oil Brilliant. left over for you and then just mix that in nice and smooth and then it's ready to go Okay. Um, so from there, do pop your gloves on at this point. It gets very messy very quickly. Okay. So we're going to pop these on, and you'll see why in just a moment. By the way, um, the, the piece I made with you, yeah. you know, on the last show, yeah. it's got pride of place at home. I took oh, it home. amazing. Yeah, it's I'm lovely so glad. I was very proud of it. Um, it looked really good. Thank you. 
Um, and then underneath my canvas, just before I get started, you'll see I've popped a little nail in each corner. That just mm -hmm. helps. You'll see when it's on the table, just helps lift it up a little bit. Yeah. These, we tip them and you're going to have paint drip down the base and it just helps. You're not going to get stuck to the table. Um, and then you just need to pop the nails out and they're ready to hang on your wall. Done. It's a little bit kind of cleaner, a bit easier to deal with mm -hmm. on that one. Also, what I love about paint pouring is the different techniques we can use. And you can get dramatically different looks yeah. depending on the technique you're employing. Definitely. Um, you can get very, there's so many different effects that you can try and create. There's so many different techniques that you can have a go at. Um, the world is your oyster with paint pouring. There's so much you can do. Um, I'm going to start with the colander cup, the kind of holy cup that comes in the metallics kit. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pop that in the very middle of my canvas. Oh, um, you're in for a treat. I'm glad we yeah. started with this one. <laughs> you always have to show this one. It's so much yeah. fun. Um, and it, it really works a treat. And then you, it's so easy. Just straight through. And just keep pouring those colours through. And you'll see in a minute, I've put quite a bit of black in at the beginning, but mm -hmm. this should start to be quite a sort of psychedelic -y flower in a moment once this pink and gold comes through. You see the hints of those pink there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then just keep adding. So it kind of radiates. Yeah. I quite like the moody, dark black ones. Yeah. Um, we've got quite a few of them. I think the black can look really cool. Um, I often use quite a lot of black or white when I'm making these canvases. Yeah. They're quite nice to have one of those sort of solid colours. Now, we're working with our acrylic paints. Yeah. Uh, remember, on one of our bundles, you are getting the Pebio uh, copper and the, the metallic paints. So that is your copper and your gold which you can see there. But uh, what we would be doing at home is using, I mean, you can obviously use these, which are great, but you want to also use your existing yeah. acrylic paints as well. So you'll see for this one, I've gone with about four or five different colors. I've got the black, I've got pink, I've got the gold in there, and I have an orange as well. So you that can just start to see them coming through. Like this sort of almost beige sh shade, this kind of yeah. sandy shade, um, is the gold. And it might not look shiny right now, Once but when this dries, it will be a beauty. Um, so just keep popping this through and with this size canvas and using this colander cup I tend to like this. So this is the 20 by 20 as well that does come with the metallics kit um, I like the paint to be just coming off of the edges mm -hmm. um, So once that's just tipping over that's when I know I've got roughly enough paint mm. I'll just pop a bit more in there and then that's nearly there There we go and you can see, as I've kind of put them through in layers, um, I don't put all of the black in at once, all of the pink in at once. We've got all these lovely layers coming out of the holes. Yeah. Um, and this is going to look quite floral. If you're doing this at home, if your cup really starts to fill up, just step back a moment, let that cup drain through. If this gets really full and you've got enough paint, you're just going to waste your paint. So yeah. just sometimes be a little bit patient with it. And just, just let it grow back, and evolve. Yeah. And the thing is, Dean, anyone watching at home, what makes this so special is your pouring medium. And it's something you've devoted, uh, devoted a lot of time yeah. into developing and getting it absolutely right. So That's don't think that you can just pour <laughs> any old paints into a cup and you're going to get this effect. Yeah, this it is the pouring medium that you need. It wouldn't flow like this if we weren't using this pouring medium. If you imagine the paint coming out of that tube, you're not going to be able to tip it over the canvas. You need that pouring medium. Did it take a long time to, to develop, like get that formula right? Yeah, I mean, it was something we worked on for quite some time. There's others available. This one dries matte, which we really like because mm. rather than having it shiny, like if it catches the light, you're not just going to get a reflection. You're always going to be able to see all of those lovely details. Lovely. Um, so at this point here, now that we're really coming off of these edges, is the point I'm going to take my cup off. Yeah. And I tend to just grab it at one side, kind of gently tilt one way and pick up. I try not right. to drip too much. Oh, that, um, sometimes it can get a bit messy in the middle if it does. So that we've, we've reached dripping point now. Yeah. And you can see that the hole just closed up as soon as I took that cup away. Yeah. And just well, tip. That looks, that's a, that looks 3D. It's yeah. a trick to the eyes. Just very, very gently ease it towards the corners. Yeah. And I often use my hand just to help me. I'll take my hand, definitely have your glove on for this. And I press it just against the edge, and I'm a bit higher than the level of the canvas. And it just makes a little barrier, so then you guide the paint down. Mm -hmm. 
and then you get a really lovely and smooth edge. I like edge. how you let it pour over the um, the edge as well, because obviously you've got yeah. a box canvas here, yeah. so you're really covering it all. Yeah, you really want it to look really smooth down the side. Mm. Um, sometimes if you ever use too much silicone oil, you can thin it out a little bit, and that's when you'll see that the sides are a bit thin on your canvas. Yeah. Um, but generally, or you've used too much pouring medium and not enough paint. That's the only reasons why that would happen. Mm -hmm. um, so always do let it flow over nicely but you can use your hands just to help guide that paint around it's a wonderful effect yeah. and you just wouldn't be able to achieve that effect without it's such a clever yeah. trick with the cup yeah it works really really well yeah. and you can you know you can experiment that's a, just a cup with holes well, it looks in the like base a butterfly it's your, now. yeah um, and you can see also these oh, circles are where your cells are really starting to form yeah. But that's a cup. I mean, we're going to go with the egg cups again soon, which, if you remember, was very exciting. Yeah. Um, there's so many different things you can try. Different things in your house. Anything with an interesting shape, interesting kind of outlets. Give Think it a go. You never know what you're going to get. You've got me looking at that now. And crafters at home, you'll understand what I'm saying. When you're a crafter, you see something, and it's just inside you, and you're like, all right, you've got me. I want to give this a go. So uh, if you want to achieve this kind of technique, and it's the tip of the iceberg of what you can achieve with the pouring technique, I'm, st I'm still seeing butterfly. It's just we're getting yeah, a bit closer. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Yeah. But the beauty of these, everyone's going to see something different. It could be a flower. It could be whatever you like. But um, I have to say, as we kind of you want to craft because you want to do something you're going to enjoy. And I challenge any crafter at home not to have a go with the pouring mediums and not to absolutely love How it. How you could not enjoy this, I have yeah. no idea. It's so therapeutic, so you can't go wrong. But it's works, I'm going to yeah. show you, look at this, All right, proof is in the pudding. I'm going to show you works of art. So something like that, that is an absolute work of art. But it's achieved, it's an original, it's a one-off. You're never going to be able to achieve that identically again. And that's a real joy. Or well, maybe you want to go for something like this. Or something like this. Or something like this. I mean, you, you don't need to keep on going on, but you start to see the potential with this. Instant works of art. Absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning results. I mean, if you want to go on a grander scale, having a look here is incredible. That, I mean, that is absolutely breathtaking. If you've got a larger canvas, and like, larger canvas, I would go for the um, two liter. Uh, option with regard to the pouring medium. Seriously, go to a, um, a gallery and see how much you would pay for something like that, that larger piece. Hundreds, hundreds of pounds. We're going to have a look at our metallic bundle. So the metallic bundle, you're getting the one litre of your pouring medium. You're also getting your Pebio. That's a brand we all know. We know the quality that you get with Pebio. So you're getting your gold and copper metallic Pebio in there as well, which we can mix with our acrylic paints at home. You're also getting your cups as well. So you've got your uh, special sort of colander cup, which allows you to achieve that special technique we just saw. You're getting your spoons, your stirring spoons, more cups. You're also getting two, uh, you're getting three canvases, two different sizes. So you've got your 30 by 25, and then you've got your 20 by 20 centimeters in there as well. So you've got your larger one and your 20 by 20, your sort of smaller ones there. And I will show you with regards to the metallic, I've just because I've looked at those. I want to show you something a bit different. Let's see. I'll pick up this one. Have a look at this feathered technique. And it's all about those techniques. I mean, my goodness, that is a, got to take my hat off to Chris, our director. He knows what he's doing. I mean, that is a cracking shot and it really showcases how good that Pebio is. Lovely. So that is your kit with regard to the metallics. Now, if you just want to go for a starter kit, if you're thinking, I want to give this a go, I want to dip my toe into the world that is pouring, see if I like it. All I can tell you is, I promise you, you are going to like it. This is a nice little starter kit. So this is a really good project because you've got enough pouring medium to cover your canvas. So for $14.99, we can then create an absolute work of art. So you just need, you're getting your oil in there as well. So you are getting your silicone oil, you're getting your gloves, you've got your little uh, leaflet uh, just explaining tips and tricks. If you do want to get hold of this, and of course you're getting your canvas, that A3 canvas as well. So Instant work of art, you just need to add your own acrylic paints. 327-241, your item number there. 
Uh, we do have another option for you. So we have the starter kit. We had the one liter with the uh, metallic paints, the Pebio metallic paints. If you've already maybe gone for a kit in the past and you're like, now I just need to stock up. Have a look at this. One liter, 1499, 533, 928, your item number there. Uh, and you are getting the pamphlet. If that's not enough, if you want to go for the two liter, we have got the option for you as well. So uh, you're going to get two liters of your pouring medium in there and you're getting your pamphlet too. And that's a really good way to stock up. So we are going to get to that in just a moment. Here we go. 28.99 is your price. 096.849, your item number. Two liters of your pouring medium paint. You're also getting your silicon oil in there as well. So we're going to get two of the silicon oils and your pamphlet in there too. So, I mean, that's when we talk about taking on, I'm going mm, to, I won't pick it up actually, but just think, you see the big canvas over there, you imagine doing that and how much um, that would cost to buy, I mean, in a gallery, Dina, you'd pay a fortune for that. Yeah, I mean, it's a big piece as well, yeah. um, you know, it's, it's the 50 by 75, that is going to make a huge difference to your room if you've got one of those, yeah. it really is um, quite a conversational piece, it's... I, I love that one. Um, yeah. And you can go big and it's not going to cost you a fortune. Do it. I, yeah. I think do them. They're very exciting. Well, I think so as well. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. We will uh, head to Dina now for our next demonstration. So next up we're going to go in for the technique with the egg cups. Um, this is just a plastic egg cup container. Um, it was a 12 and I've just chopped it up so there's four by two cells. Um, this, is, this technique is very fun. Um, we've done this before and it's always quite a surprise when we get to it. So if you let me pop that to one side for a moment. And I'm just going to fill these up. I'm going to pop white in one side. I'm going to pop white here. And we're just going to fill up those back sort of cups. And this is like the sort of feather technique that you just picked up um, that you had in front of you there. And I'm going to go choose a different color for each of these front sort of egg cup holes. Okay. And we're going to go in with the gold and the copper at the front with some blues. So this is just ordinary um, egg cup holder? Yeah, um, it's just a plastic one. Whatever your kind of local store sells, plastic works really well because you can clean it and reuse, mm -hmm. um, which is what we tend to do. Um, but, I mean, if you're going to use it once, your ordinary kind of papery ones that you get from the supermarket should work really well too. I'm just going to pop some copper into this one. And I try and make sure this is really full because we want quite a lot of paint. Because I'm going to do an A3 canvas. Um, so I'll pop a little bit more in these back cups. Okay. And then what I'm going to do, pick this up as gently as I can. And if we pop this down in front of me. All right. And we're going to tip this way. So it kind of like a waterfall cascade, cascading effect. Yeah, exactly that. And then I'm just going to slowly, slowly move it backwards. And you can tip it either way. So you can tip it so that the white comes out and then uh -huh. the colours go into the white. For this one, I've done the white pouring into the colours. I mean, that looks so good. And I just wouldn't know how to achieve that. It's a very clever trick. It's a really, really cool technique. Um, I think this one's really, really good fun. Gives you a very, very different result. Um, you couldn't get this just through using a cup. Uh -huh. um, I absolutely love this. I think that they normally come out really, really well. Yeah. And I'm going to add some more white paint just around the edges. Yeah. Just to help that paint flow. Right. Because um, we are going to want a little bit more than what those egg cups and we're going to see it evolve as a design. You're going to keep at the moment we kind of see feathers, but it's going to carry on growing. Yep. But just a lovely little technique. And we're just going to do that to help it on its way. Okay. And you can always fill up the egg cup a second time and re-tip that if you wanted to extend these lines. Mm -hmm. We're just going to gently tip it forwards and backwards, ease it towards the corners. I love seeing you working with <laughs> it's your design and that, that's another fun bit because you, you've kind of got an initial design. One thing you said on a previous show that stuck with me is don't fall in love with your design straight away because yeah. it's going to carry on evolving. It's going to change. So if you fell in love with this the second you poured it out of the egg container, 
you're not going to have that at the end of the um, pour. No. So you've got to take it as it comes. Be easy going with it and just enjoy yeah. the process. I was chatting to Paula um, at the start of the day and she's just come over to have a look now. And she said she has real show envy. She was very, yeah. very <laughs> jealous that she wasn't getting to work with you today. Oh, thank you. One day, Paula. Have you yeah, done we'll, the show? We'll do another show. Oh, you have done the show. Yeah, you're my first show. Oh, we'll definitely well. do another one. And you um, lucked out. You got Paula for your first show. I did. Ooh. I did well there. And I'm just using my hands to help that paint okay. guide it towards the corner. And then you can just keep going. So this remains kind of movable for five to ten minutes or so from when you initially pour it. Yeah. The egg cup didn't provide me with loads of paint on here. If you want this to be a bit easier for yourself and keep it moving a bit more easily, use more paint, add more to the egg cups, top mm -hmm. it up. And that'll just help you out a bit. But this will remain kind of movable for you and flexible. And right. also, if you don't love what you've created first time around, just keep tipping it. Keep playing with it. Um, it's, it's just going to keep developing. I don't yeah. think that you can ever go wrong with these. Um, you know, you're kind of achieving now, the team, and I, I see this. Uh, it's got a wave-like effect. It looks like waves crashing in on the shore. Yeah. Um, I absolutely love this technique. I think it's so unique. And it... Like I say, you can do them so differently. Um, if I'd tipped the white, the colours into the white, it would be the opposite way around yeah. almost. Um, and I just, I think it looks really cool. And if you went really tonal with it mm -hmm. as well, you could almost have a sort of ombre almost. You could make that sort of beachy effect with um, gold down one side and blues. And you Do don't you have to use white. I love doing yeah. it with black, but you can use any colour. It looks incredible. And we could, there's no license on this, so your design is your design. So, I mean, you could do something like that and you could sell it. Yeah, you, and there you are could do whatever you like with them. absolutely buy this. Yeah. I mean, who wouldn't want that on their wall? Yeah. And again, this is the gold and the copper, um, so these will look amazing once they've dried. And you can really see these cells coming through, mm -hmm. these big areas of like the sort of where the circles are coming through, the white and the colour has really interacted with, with one another, mm -hmm. and that's your cells. And you can just keep playing with this, and then once you're happy with them, just pop it down. They'll normally take about three to five days to dry, yeah. um, a bit longer if you're going larger. Um, so just leave them somewhere safe, somewhere that they're not going to get, um, I don't know, Touched, bugs and moved. dust, yeah, yeah. anything touched. Yeah. We've had um, a good question in from Christine, okay. and she wants to know, could you use glitters? Yeah, we've had um, people before who've actually attended the workshops mm -hmm. and they've come with crystals. Oh. And we are using acrylic paint um, and the pouring medium does have some kind of hold to it. So if you want to put something into this, it should hold quite well. Yeah. I mean, if you want to be putting crystals in and more 3D objects, there is a good chance that not all of them might stay. Um, yeah. It, if you put a big pile of like crystal in, um, you might expect some of them to not quite hold. It isn't meant for that, so yeah. Give you, it a go. you definitely What's can. Happen, yeah, yeah, I think you can just experiment with this, or nice. you like play with it, or you can. And I will just show you here. This is uh, a dry piece of art. Same technique. Same technique. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And the gold. I'm so. This is such a good illustration of the power of the Pebio with the gold and copper. Just that vein running through. Oh, we like that. And it, that is in the. Um, it's a metallic pouring kit that we've got on your screen right now. There is just something so appealing about pouring, Dina. I, lo I yeah. love that. And it's something anyone can do. What we've seen now, and it's just learning yeah. the techniques and you're a great person to follow on social media so yeah. do follow because you share your techniques on there do you post yeah. lot of videos do you do are you on youtube we're not on youtube not yet not yet mm. uh, <laughs> yeah i mean we're always trying to share different techniques show you different things that you can try um we'll always be sharing what we've got coming up as well in the studio yeah. um and what we've been playing with and experimenting with and there it's is so um, much fun. there's a big market for like sensory videos when people watch something that's yeah, really calming. <laughs> and I have to say, just watching you working with the pouring medium, building up your designs. Yeah. God, it start doing videos. This this is so satisfying to watch. I've mm. met a number of people who were like, we have to come and give it a go at say a workshop, um, just because they've watched it every evening before bed because it's so satisfying to watch. It's very sensory and mm. it's even better to give it a go yourself. Yeah. Um, but yeah. 
There so, we go. That's two works of art down. Yeah, we I'm will pop be that having one down. another demonstration shortly. I really hope you're enjoying the show. If you do have any questions, we had that great question from Christine. If you do have any questions, please get in touch. Uh, studio at thecraftstore.com. We're going to start with our starter kit. I think it's only fitting. So, starter kit is just instant effect. So, you have got an encompassing project here all you need to do is add your acrylic paints you do need to add your acrylic paints but you've got your pouring medium and that pouring medium is enough to cover your canvas that's 250 mil that will cover your a3 canvas that you are getting and you're also getting your um, oil in there as well silicon oil you're gonna have a lot left over with regard to silicon oil and you've got your gloves too now there's nothing toxic in here it's just merely to keep um, if you just want to keep clean I will just show you when we talk about um, I mean, is that a slightly bigger than A3? But still, it gives you the idea. If you want to take on a bigger project and have that in your home as a work of art, how beautiful. So obviously, this is slightly bigger than A3, but it gives you an example of what you're able to achieve there. Oh, I mean, there is so much going on here. How did, what technique did we use for this one, Dina? Because so that's stunning. That was what we kind of call our agate technique. Right. It's one of my absolute favorites. Um, looks vaguely like a slice of agate rock almost because yeah. you get that big kind of wave quite often um very kind of natural organic looking yeah um that's actually going to be the next technique i was going to ask you can yeah. we do that <laughs> brilliant uh, if you do want to go for the uh, starter kit 14.99 your price for a beautiful original work of art and also this is your introduction to a whole new world of pouring fun three two seven four uh, two four one your item number now we're going to move on to our metallic paint pouring. So with the metallic paint pouring kit, first thing to point out, you're getting one litre of the pouring medium. So you're getting an awful lot of pouring medium, more than enough to cover your three canvases that you are getting. Getting two 20 by 20 canvases and one 20 by 35. You're also getting your Pebio metallic um, here. This is your metallic um, acrylic paints. There we go. Golden copper you're getting there and you're getting your uh, oil too your silicon oil you're also getting your colander cup your gloves more cups your stirrers but this is why we love it because and that's actually that is the size of the canvas that's your larger canvas but I mean how beautiful and you know Dina was saying about working on like a black dramatic black background what technique did you use for this one the egg cup so as well. Cup I with love black. that technique. And um, the black, I, I love it. It's so kind of dramatic and a bit sort of dark and moody. Looks very different. Yeah. And the canvas that's not been painted. That's literally, uh, it's the egg cup technique, but with black paint as opposed to your white. So that's that's your white. You can see that there. Exactly the same technique here, but just with black paint. So it totally transforms it. And then you've got, and I've got to tell you, this kit, we're approaching 30% of the stock. Let me show you some examples of, oh, beautiful examples of, so you're getting the two smaller 20 by 20 canvases as well. How nice is that? Absolutely beautiful. 48.99 is your price. You've got two flexi payments in there as well, 24 pounds and 50 pence. 901.435, your item number. Uh, now we've got the one litre of your pouring medium. You've also got your booklet in there as well, if you do want to pop this into your basket. It's a good way to stock up. I think so many crafters at home, you might have your acrylic paint and your other elements in your home, or you might be a lover of the pouring and you've already got through and you're stocking up. 14.99, 30% of the stock has gone here. 533-928, your item number 14.99 is your price. If that's not enough for you, and that is the thing with pouring, it is very, very Moorish. And if you want to take on a big canvas, this is what you want. Uh, so you're getting two litres of your pouring medium. You're also going to get two of the silicon oils as well, and your gloves, and your leaflet. All of that for 28 99 And seeing here, well, I'll pick, this one I can pick up. So, I mean, that is a, that's a large canvas, but an absolute work of art. So you imagine doing something like this on a large canvas in your home. How much would you pay for that in a gallery? Just sign, literally sign your name down there. There's so much detail in that one as well. It's, it really is a beauty. Stunning. You can imagine these in your home. You get to pick the colours that would work in the space you want to, to uh, put your piece and you're making something that's original. $28.99 your price, 0968 Four nine, your item number there. Okay, so we talked about the agate uh, agate uh, technique. 
we're going to have a look at it right now. Yeah, so this is one of my absolute favourites. Quite a lot of them um, that we've got around the studio are this technique. I absolutely love it. Um, again, you really can't go too far wrong. You could, there's a lot of ways that you can play with this technique and make your results slightly different if you want a finer effect like that one or if you want a more open effect like the kind of big one with the yellowy sway down the middle. And this cup does not have holes in the base okay. <laughs> before we get started. So I'm just going to fill this one up um, to around halfway. Um, to cover my canvas. Mm -hmm. There isn't really a right and a wrong way in sort of filling these up. I like to put them in in layers. Um, I try not to do all of one colour all at once. Mm -hmm. um, so I'll put a bit of copper in, a bit of blue, and whatever colours I'm using. Just put them in a relatively small amount at a time mm. um, to fill up this cup. Should you be conscious of, so your, your first colour you put in is the copper, uh, for instance, copper that we've got in our metallic mm -hmm. bundle. Now, that first pouring, or the first the paint, or the last one, are we conscious of that? Is that going to be more prominent or dominant? So with the colander cup, not the colander, that was the one that we started yeah. with, the agate cup, this one that we've got here, um, we're going to pour it in circles in a motion down the canvas. So often, the colour that you put at the top is what's going to come out first, and the colour that you put at the bottom is going to come out last. Yeah. So if you kind of build this up in quite a sort of in a conscious way that you know what colours you want to come wear in the canvas, that's when you'll really notice things. So if you wanted sort of green at one end, pink at the other, you, you could do that just by filling the cup up in that sort of order. Okay. Um, I'm just filling these up pretty rough, rough and random. Um, I just try and make sure that I've got through each colour at least sort of twice. And then I'll pop a little bit of purple in and then that's good to go. Lovely. So I'm going to hold this at the top. And I kind of squeeze it to make almost a little bit of a funnel just here. Yeah. And I start with a little blob and then round in circles. Okay. And you can see all of the little detail coming out in those lines. It's something, I mean, I've gone very quiet because there's, we talked about this before, but there is something so satisfying about seeing the, yeah. uh, the design evolve. And you can just freestyle it. I've had a big sort of wave of purple at the top, so I've just gently gone through that I mean, and spread would, that around. This would make fantastic, I'm thinking about clothing, designs on clothing. Yeah. We've got uh, Lewis Flooring, who's a very talented guy yeah. when it comes to uh, clothing design. You can imagine these designs on clothing, right? Yeah. We've had um, textile designers and people have a go with these. And because you're doing it on canvas, you can't always remove the canvas from the stretcher bars and play with the canvas, um, mm -hmm. stitch into it, embellish that, um, and just develop on what you've done with the paint pouring and add whatever it is that you might like. Because you have got a fabric underneath all of this yeah. um, that you can work into. And you can see that really gorgeous kind of curve nice. that's you, where the sort of agate comes from. Have you put in any of the uh, silicone oil in this one? Yeah, so the silicone is in all of the paints right. and different paints react in different ways with one another uh, but you can see these tiny little blobs um, which are your cells just forming mm. and you'll also see the canvases that I've done just before, the cells keep developing for kind of five, ten minutes, mm -hmm. maybe slightly longer. Um, so often if you do a paint pour, you'll go and check on the one that you did before the last one and you'll be like, wow, it's changed and it's developed and it looks amazing because you'll have so many more of those cells come through. Yeah. And similarly, the more that I tip this and play with the canvas, the more we're going to see those cells because we're stretching the paint and we're kind of forcing that to expand and for those cells to pop through. Lovely. What is it? I mean, you've picked, you see how the colours... Beautiful. That to me looks like an aerial shot of, say, a Sahara Desert. I've picked some very questionable colour combinations in my time, yeah. but you really can't go too far wrong. They just seem to sort of work work together, and you always end up magic. with something gorgeous. It always works. Yeah, and you can really kind of see that lovely natural agate sort of shaped curve. Are there any don'ts when it comes to paint pouring? Things that you think, well, don't, this is something you shouldn't really do with it? Um, I wouldn't say that you can go very wrong. Mm. Um, just be cautious. If you put loads of paint on your canvas, do make sure to tip, tip enough off. Sometimes if you leave too thick a layer on top, um, you could just get a slightly uneven layer on top. 
The biggest do and don't is do mix your paint enough. Okay, yeah, mix don't, the yeah, paint. Yeah, don't let it be lumpy. Would you ever have a canvas, so paper crafting, what we tend to do is, uh, a lot of techniques will have, say, a mop-up sheet and that will create background. So if yeah. you had a, a canvas underneath, that you're constantly dripping onto as yeah. you're doing others and then creating, uh, so you're not wasting the paint, yeah. but then that will finish off. But also, I've, I've seen you scrape up the dry yeah. paint as well. Um, so sometimes if you do ever have um, little white bits around the area of the side of the canvas, I think this one's doing okay. Mm. But if you are ever struggling to cover them, you will have a lot of paint on your table at this point, yeah. And it's really not difficult to, with your gloves on, scoop a little bit up and you can just Pick tap it, it on the side and sort of gently oh, if you go the other side back. there is a white patch so not Which your side's side? on the other side this side no uh this side there there you go right there. yeah so what we can do mm -hmm. scoop it up i've got an, a nice little blob on my finger now yeah and i kind of roll my finger up and roll it back and it looks really seamless oh it does yeah and it just it doesn't look like you've You've you had anything. to sort of help it out on its way. Yeah. Um, but if you are ever struggling to cover a corner or anything, you've got all this and it's there to help you. But we have done that before where we've purposely put far too much paint on a canvas. Um, normally with two people because you're not always looking where you're dripping when you're mm -hmm. tipping these. Yeah. Um, so if you have a second person with you, you can like make them <laughs> maneuver their canvas to catch all your drips. Okay. Um, you can do that. And also you, this doesn't need to go to waste. Um, you can use it in resin jewellery, collages, um, the colander cup in particular often leaves a really lovely ring mm. if you just let it sort of end, uh, end the sort of drain process yeah. on the table. Um, and you can use that, like I say, collages, resin, um, it doesn't have to go to waste. We do this on thick kind of plastic bin bags and it does peel off afterwards so don't let it go to waste because it can look lovely mm -hmm. still. But that's that one and then I'll pop that one down to dry. Beautiful. And it just shows you, I mean, we've done three techniques now. So we started with the uh, colander, then we showed you the egg tray. This was the agate uh, technique as well. We have got so many different options here, but one thing, and it's a, con a, a continuous theme of the show, is how compelling paint pouring is. The results are incredible, and they really are. You don't need me to say this. And what, what I love is the fact that you can achieve these. So. The techniques we're showing, there is no steep learning curve here. Get it home. You've seen the techniques demonstrated beautifully by Dina. You can have a go straight away. Now, our metallic pouring uh, option is proving very popular. So you've got your metallic paint. A third of the stock has gone. You are getting one litre of your pouring medium. And it is a very special pouring medium that Dina's worked so hard to get the perfect, exact consistency to achieve those results. So we've got a pouring medium. You're also getting your silicone. So you're getting your silicone oil in there as well. And you need that to get that cellular effect and really get things bubbling and achieve that interest. You're also going to get two paints. So these are beautiful acrylic paints from Pebio. You've got your gold and your uh, bronze. Uh, sorry, copper in there, so your gold and your copper. Uh, then we have our gloves in there as well. You're going to get three canvases, so two of your 20 by 20 and one of your 35 by 20. So you're sorry. Oh, it's 35 by 25. Let me try that again. 30 by 25. Apologies. Let me just show you the size of that. I mean, that's a good size. That's a good size canvas. Okay. to it is the A4 plus because the dimensions are quite difficult to remember but yeah. bit bigger than A4. We'll take that so that's your A4 plus in there too and so that's three projects straight away you're going to use and you've got more enough pouring, more than enough pouring medium and your silicone uh, to take on all of those so that is your can I just show just before we move on I want to show you how good the um, the actual metallic is let me just pick this up and have a look you really see that shine through. That's how good the Pe uh, Pebio Metallic is. Forty-eight ninety-nine is your price there. Uh, 901 435, your item number. Uh, now we have got the one litre pouring medium as well. So one litre pouring medium with the pamphlet. Fourteen ninety-nine is your price. 533-928, your item number if you want to get hold of that. If one uh, is not enough for you, we have got an option, so this is our bumper bumper bundle, where you're going to get two litres of your pouring medium. You're also going to get two of the silicone oils in there as well, and your gloves, and you're going to get your pamphlet for, uh, for $28.99. 096-849, your item number.
just before we move on, I've got to give you a little update on the one litre. Do you know, over a third of the stock's gone with one litre, proving really popular for that one litre option as well. We're just going to flash the details back on your screen. 14.99 is your price, 533-928, your item number. Okay, what we're going to do is head back to demonstration. What we've got next, Dina? So next up we have um, a flip cup or a dirty pour. People refer to them as different things. Um, this one is, so they're all so easy. Okay. This one particularly, um, I've got my cup here, no holes in the base. Yeah. Um, and I'm just going to fill this up very similar to, I, to how I did the last one, but we're going to pour it quite differently. I have got a special place in my heart for the dirty pour. Love the <laughs> technique. I mean, anyone just channel hopping right now, it sounds very odd. But when you see this technique, honestly, you're going to fall in love with the dirty pour. It is a really great technique. Yeah. And they're all easy. This one, so easy. Um, and I'm just going to pop all my colours in. So I'm going to go for about five colours on this one. It's going to be very blue and copper and gold um, I can't get enough of the metallics I always think include one mm. you can't go wrong they're really great if you do pair them up with opaques because then the shine really comes through yeah. um, so I'm going to pop a tiny bit more paint in there and a bit more of this one and then what we're going to do you have to take a little bit of a leap of faith with this one um, I'm going to pop it in the middle of where I'm working mm -hmm. um, let me pop a little bit more of the blue one um, and pop that in the middle of where you are, canvas on top, upside down, and you want to make a good seal. So pop your hand against the back mm -hmm. and get a good hold of the sort of neck of the cup, and then up and over in one. The bigger the canvas, the more difficult that is. Um, but once you get a hand for it, like a hand for it, um, you'll be absolutely fine. Nothing to worry about. I kind of let that sit for just a second, and then once you're ready, you have to kind of take it off. There's often a bit of a suction. Yeah. So. And then I let this drip, and that really helps all of those cells develop. But you can already see all of the kind of really fine detail in there. And it just gr now, see, you're always going to discover something different. Everyone will see something different, a different interpretation. That to me, you've got quite an underwater ethereal look. Yeah, going it on. definitely looks that way at the moment, doesn't it? But it will carry on growing, carry on evolving. We will still tease it. And the beauty of a dirty pour is you've just got all these colours, you pour it into a cup, you flip it, uh, and then you let it take its, do its job. Yeah, definitely. And this one I always think is the biggest gamble. With some of the others, you know roughly what it is that you're going to create. The egg mm -hmm. cup, you know the sort of outcome that you're going to have. The agate, again, you know what you're trying to create. This one, you put it in the cup, and the cup really does all the work for you. It really is mm -hmm. a gamble. Like, none of them are ever going to be the same. You, yeah. you never know what you're going to get, but that is half the beauty of them. So once you've let that drip quite a bit, sure. then pop your cup to one side. And the very same that you've done for the last ones. Mm -hmm. So as we're doing this, I just want to give you a little update on our one litre. 50% of the stock has gone for the one litre. A lot of you are uh, popping this into your basket, and I do not blame you. So you're going to get one litre of the pouring medium. That's an awful lot of pouring medium in there. You're also going to get your booklet as well. The thing with the pouring medium, to look at it, you can't appreciate how good it is until you see it in action, and Dina is demonstrating it so perfectly. The reason why Dina is able to achieve these techniques and these looks, it's all down to the development of the pouring medium. It, the balance of the pouring medium is perfect, and yeah. without that, you would not be able to do this. And I love seeing as well what's online, and when people send me their pictures or their reviews, and a lot of people really do get on with this. Um, mm. It's not a difficult thing to be picking up, um, but if you've, it's also a really nice therapeutic thing to do, a bit of a de-stress if you've got some time on your hands. Like, this is, how can you not enjoy this? Yeah. And then you get a stunning piece of artwork for your home as well. Just have a good bit of bin bag over where you're working. Okay, it's good advice. <laughs> um, that's the main thing, but honestly, they're absolutely stunning. And when they dry, is really, really when they come to life. Yeah. Um, that's when you'll see all of those metallics come through. Your cells will keep developing for 10, 15 minutes. So you never know quite what you've got until it's, until it's finished. And it's nice because we can have, uh, it's such a beautiful way to go on an exploration of color. Yeah, Because definitely. you pick your colors, dip into your stash, see what acrylic paints you have, 
uh, and then start exploring different techniques when you've shown. Yeah. I mean, this. How many techniques have you done? Four techniques. Four. And four yeah. techniques in one hour. And you can keep tipping this. And again, like I was saying, so this, you have about five ten minutes um, to be able to move it. Mm -hmm. You'll get a very different um, effect if you tip it forwards and backwards. You'll almost get this kind of sway zigzag down through the canvas, yeah. which can be really cool. Um, but all of the techniques are absolutely gorgeous. You can see that the flip cup, this dirty port, has really given you loads of these cells. Some of that's from the drips, but it forces those paints to interact with one another. Mm. But this is probably the one that's a bit more space-like, a little bit more gentle. The one that you've got there is really good fun. Well, I've just picked this up because I was going to pick your brain, Dina. How, how did you do this? So that was one that we did on the last show, and that was shortly after Christmas. Yeah. And you know that kind of beaded ribbon that you have for like your tree at Christmas time? Yeah. That went into the canvas, and we pulled it from side. Like we'd put strips of colour down, and we pulled that beads left to right, and it almost gives you a very similar result to the marbling. It but was, it's, yeah. yeah. I was, thought you were going to say marbling technique. Yeah. Very effective, but that is the key with this hour, is the different techniques you're able to achieve. So we've gone from something like that to something like this. We've shown uh, the colander technique. You've also got uh, the egg cup technique. We had the dirty pour. I mean, yeah. it's agate. And if you're doing a big canvas, you can use multiple cups. You don't need to just stop at one. Like, yeah. you, even for the smaller canvases, you can use two cups. And with two cups, you've got two like two more possibilities. You could do a flip cup and an agate in one. You can do mm -hmm. an agate and a colander in one. You could do, you can mix and match. Um, so the big canvas that you were holding up before yeah. was three flip cups, yeah. which is always, you know, really good so fun. Three. Well, you can three. I love the fact that we can play around. So the, the effects you can achieve are striking with just two cups. Yeah. Uh, we have got uh, the two litre option for you as well. Just taking a look here. Now, you're getting two litres of the pouring medium, and you're also going to get your uh, two silicon um, uh, oils in there as well for $28.99. This is a bundle for true pouring enthusiasts. And I think anybody, Dina, that has a go, yeah. you're going to become a You are going to become a lover. Absolutely. Once you've tried it once you will become that paint pouring enthusiast. You can lose days doing this. Well, you will. And, and it's so enjoyable. It's the effects you can get as well. So ordinary canvas, right? So we can go, we can buy a canvas. But then imagine having that on your wall. Now, come on, that is incredible. So Dina, this is a large canvas. Yeah. How much pouring medium would you, would you say we'd need for something like this? So. The dimensions for that are roughly A2, um, right. and the 50 by, so A2 is 42 by 60, Right. Um, so you wouldn't even use a full litre with that one. Oh. The large one that you've um, pointed out before, the blue and kind of coppery one, yeah. is 50 by 75 centimetres, and it took about one litre of pouring medium. Wait so a second, you're kidding. So this, this large one that we're seeing right now, and that is a very, how big is that, would you say? 50 by 75. It's a big canvas. That, I'm just going to move this across so we can see it. It's a big piece. That would be one litre. Yeah. So if you went for the two litre, you can do all your little experiments, know what colours work, know what you like, and take the leap of faith and try that one. And just a litre of pouring medium. All I will say to you is do something like this. And it's very achievable. Dina's given you the skills, and you can revisit the shows. Go onto our website and revisit this hour. Imagine creating this with one litre of the pouring medium. Sign your name there. How much would you pay in an art gallery for a piece that size? I'm going to say you could pay five, seven hundred, a grand plus, yeah. depending on which gallery you go to. Yeah, definitely. So, and that's the beauty with the result. And anyone can do this. There is no steep learning curve. You do not need to be an artist to achieve such beautiful artistic effects. Dina, you're an absolute star. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, can you give everyone a quick mention? If we want to follow you on social media, where can we find you? Um, so we're at 35 Design Space um, on Facebook and Instagram. And if you ever wanted to come to a workshop, we're south of Manchester. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank really you. enjoyed it. I think you're very talented. Really do think thank that. You. So thank you. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this hour. Uh, hopefully we'll see Dina back here again in the future. Do not go anywhere. We've got more coming up just around the corner.
So we're going to see the ultimate finish back in action with our one day special. After that, it's so enchanting. And then another look at our fantastic one day special with the ultimate finish. Hi, I'm Catherine and I'm the guest presenter for Zuri Designs. Zuri Designs are based in America and they bring to us their exceptional quality silicon moulds. If you watch the Zuri shows, I will share with you lots of hints and tips. I will show you how to use different mediums ranging from your clays and your resins through to things like even your hot glue. So make sure you don't miss the Zuri shows. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dyes in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. We aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, but all round on trend. Over the 40 years, Studio Light have evolved. They listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board will share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the studio light shows. Now, of course, it's 8 p.m. here at the Craft Store, and you know what that means. Of course, it's another look at the One Day Special. And this is One Day Special that for the car aficionados out there, for the owners of cars or motorbikes as well, this is an essential, an essential that I have, uh, I have at home. I have tested it in my car, and I can thoroughly recommend it. And, of course, the, it is the ultimate finish. And here, well, of course, we have got uh, somebody who has become an absolute fan, and the evangelist of of course ultimate finish which is a son hello son hi <laughs> how are you it's a nice introduction oh, there. <laughs> well, I'm glad. well you deserve it you deserve that introduction well that's not me it's the product wow. we spent years and years developing these products to save you time and save you money and make life uh, easy that's it make life easy and as I can tell you like I my house doesn't have like a you know outside um, hose or a, like a tap and I I couldn't clean my car unless it was because of the ultimate finish. And you don't need it anymore. <laughs> now life is easy. <laughs> it is absolutely. It's very easy. Now, the one day special, what do we get, uh, a son? Well, it's a seven piece pack. For a limited time, it's actually a five piece pack, but for a limited time, there's going to be two bonus gifts. Okay. And that's to celebrate the launch of the new packaging designs. What you get is the waterless wash and wax. That's to clean, polish, and protect your car, caravan, motorhome, motorbike in minutes instead of hours and get yeah. that showroom shine finish Is and that transform shine? those vehicles. I mean look at this car here wow. transformed from really really dirty to a showroom Ooh. finish in literally less than 15 minutes that was wow. cleaned polished and protected and we'll show you that in the show later on in a very short video of that actually happening and then you get the carpet and upholstery cleaner 
and also stain remover. And I oh, will show you live when I remove some red wine, black coffee stains that have been in carpet in a carpet for over a month, completely wow. dried in and yeah. soaked into that carpet, and marker pen. I'll remove those stains live in seconds with this product. It's also good for fresh, not only freshening up the carpets in your car, but your carpets in your home, where you walk in the entrance hall, it always gets a little bit dirty in that area, you can freshen it up. And it's got a light citrus fragrance to it as well. So we'll That's show you good. more of that in the show with some, and um, this, what you're seeing now, is a, a car leather seat, and we, we, you can use these for sofas at home as wow. well. Transformed. That seat, as you can see, was very dull, very yeah. grubby and dirty literally just minutes and that's transformed and it's conditioned as well Fabulous. that's included in the pack all of that's included in the pack you're going to get oh look at that yeah, so is that the that was you... that was stored in a farmer's barn for okay. over six months where the roof had leaked uh, there Oof. was damp and mold and it was yeah. a terrible state it was going to go to the tip yeah, but we mine. transformed that literally in just a few minutes from that wow. to like new again and not only really it looked like new, but the leather felt like Lame new again. Yeah. And also, you're going to get two of the ultimate microfiber cloths. Okay. These, as you know from first-hand experience, these yes. are not ordinary microfiber. Absolutely, yeah. Many, many uses around the home for dusting, cleaning. Uh, look at that table that's coming up there now. Mm -hmm. It was a terrible state. The ceiling had been plastered. There was dust all over that table. It had gone through the cloth that was over that table when the ceiling was done. And literally just a few seconds with the ultimate microfiber, tracted all that dust, it's gone. Wow. And then the bonus gift, only while stocks last, this is normally eleven ninety nine, is the tire and trim and the sponge applicator. And with that, again, I'll show you live. This is a piece of plastic. And you know when you go to a used car dealer, it looks like they put all new tires on the cars. Well, they don't put new tires on, not on all the cars. They make them look like new. Do the same with the plastic and rubber trim as well. This is a piece of plastic and rubber trim from a scrapyard. Now look at that. That was transformed in le literally just about 10 seconds. And again, I'll show you that live in the show tonight. 10 seconds to restore that wow. like new. That's amazing. Now, of course, if you want the one day special from Ultimate Finish, you are going to get everything that the stand has mentioned. And that means the complete cleaning the car, car your carbon, using, of course, these amazing armchairs, anything leather, and those microfibers. I can tell you that it's different from any microfibers that I have used uh, so far because the absorbency, the kind of shine that you can get from that is different from those, you know, lower price ones. Now, of course, what is the, what, what do they kind Customers say, or like what other people like myself say about the ultimate finish. Oh, shall I do it random? Well, I'm gonna just do this one. Oh, let's gonna do that one, just randomly. A testimonial. And of course, it says, I have used many polishes over the years, many advertised on TV channels, and many famous brands. Ultimate Finish has proved to be the best and easiest of uh, polish and protection I have ever used. People comment on a regular basis on the shine and ask what product I use and I direct them to you. Fantastic product from Richard Sherman in Dark Force. There is so many more testimonials. I can tell you my own testimonial is that my car is much cleaner, stays cleaner much longer. It doesn't require that hose from far away and of course we have got a Another one from Dave Speedy here says, I tried the product without washing and clean all around the car, gave it a good polish and with the same cloth and he found it works. What a difference. Just once around the card is remarkable and it goes on and on. This is a remarkable product. If you want your one day special, you have got a £10 saving as well as the free gift with purchase. £24 and £97 is what you are paying for this bundle. 475 475 is your item number. We want to see it in action, and don't we? So let's see it in action. So, Stan? And this is how easy it is. First of all, we shake it to activate it because right. it's actually a part formula that is the formula in a clear bottle yeah and that was the original bottle we yes. were going to use yeah. it's a little bit awkward to hold a round bottle like that this is nice to nice hold it's ergonom ergonomically yeah. designed so give it a shake to activate it and then just spray it on and what I tend to do on my car is I'll spray it on to like 
maybe the bonnet and do the bonnet first and then just one wing and then down the side and just do one panel at a time. So one cloth wow. to clean it, one to polish yeah. it. Now what I've done now, I've done th three jobs in one. I've cleaned it, I've polished and I've protected it all in one. And look at that deep, deep shine on a piece of old scrap. This came from a scrap wow, yard. Yeah. So you can see what you can do at your car. But not only is it cleaned and polished, the protective coating is a result of the carnauba wax that's a, a, a protective barrier. And the best way I can show you that, this is enamel sp uh, spray paint. Now, if I spray some of that on, it will take probably two or three minutes for that to bake yeah. on there. But what's going to happen is, it's not going to bake onto that red paint. It's going to go onto this invisible coating that's protecting the red paint. And what I'll do is, if we leave it two or three minutes and we'll come back to it, I will let that dry and then I'll take that paint off. Absolutely. Right? So what we are going to do while that dries, we are going to see a little VT that we have uh, to show how it works. Uh, so, Stan, what, does, what is work, happening here? Well, th this, this is Haley here cleaned her car, which was really, really dirty, as you can see. It hadn't been cleaned for several months. Um, but you notice she hasn't got the hose out, she's not wasting yeah. gallons and gallons of water, she's not working hard, and she's doing the three jobs in one go. She's cleaned it, now she's polishing it, and at the same time as polishing, it's protecting that paintwork. It's also removing any bugs from the front. You don't use yes. another product to remove the bugs. Uh, you don't use another product to clean the wheels or clean the glass. The one product does it all. Look at that deep shine. Look, wow. It's like a mirror there. Yeah. You can see, see a, a, a face in it. Look at that. In just li in a, that whole car, from start to finish, took less than 15 minutes to transform it from like that to showroom finish. Absolutely, spotless. and I have to say, I've I, I done it a couple of times with my car, and actually I don't need to clean, well, or, or I don't have to use it as many times as I thought I would have to. No, yeah. it stays cleaner yeah, for longer because it repels a lot of the dirt. You see, so you don't need all that. You don't need water. You don't need car wash shampoo. You don't need wax polish. You don't need glass cleaner, wheel cleaner, bug and tar remover or chrome yeah. cleaner. This one product does all of oh, that in one. Absolutely, and of course you are getting the microfibers included, two of them, which are very handy because I kind of like to have both of them as well. Now, if you wanted to go for a bigger bundle of micro, uh, micro um, fibers of cloths, uh, we have got the details at the bottom of it. You're going to get six of them. They are very good as well for house cleaning. They're very good for glass cleaning yeah. inside the house, yeah. those micro It's actually better than that. You don't get six. You get six of each color. You get twelve. Oh, six of each yeah, color. Of yeah. Sorry, my, my, because my monitor is over there. Can you, <laughs> it's it's a hard to just kind of focus in. Otherwise, if you see me like this, it's really. So you're getting all twelve for four nine ninety nine, which is. Even if it was a lower quality, it would be an amazing price. But yeah. because it's that higher quality of micro uh, clothes, it makes it a lot of you know, it makes a lot of sense to go for those. If you want your one day special, you are getting two of them. But of course, you can get the extra ones if you wanted to. Now, how is the paint? Then? That, that is dry. That is completely yeah. baked on. These lights are hot in this studio, they are. and that is baked on. Now, look. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spray some of the product on there. Now, what's happening now is the surfactants in there are encapsulating all those paint particles and gently lifting them away from that protective coating of carnauba wax that's on that paint. Well, look at that. Mm. No, there's no abrasives in there, and I've deliberately used a white cloth so that you can see that it hasn't taken any of that red paint off at oh. all. There it is. There's no red paint on there at all. If you used to use an abrasive cleaner, you could do the same thing and remove that paint, but the cloth would probably be uh, bright red. But look at that. Restored in seconds. Absolutely. And back to that showroom shine finish. Yeah. That's the protective coating of using ultimate yeah. finish. Absolutely fabulous. The one day special details on the left hand side of the screen, 475, 475 with 10 pounds saving. But you're thinking, oh well, that is great. What do the experts, the retailers, the knows, the card aficionados, what do they say? Well, here there is a little a few testimonials from true professionals of the car industry. My name is Ian Wells and this is my car. I have owned it for 53 years, spent my working life in the motor trade and have owned my own dealership for over 40 years. 
Ultimate Finish is by far the best product I have ever used. It protects the bodywork and chrome for a lasting, superb finish. I have used Ultimate Finish for the past 10 years and I would certainly not use any other product at all. I go to many car shows over the summer period and I often get asked, what polish do you use on your car to make it look so good? And of course I have to say, well it's Ultimate Finish. Not only do I use the polish and tyre and trim for the outside, I also use leather cleaner and conditioner and the carpet cleaner for the inside of my car. Absolutely fantastic. A true car aficionado says about the ultimate finish. If you want to have that for your car, even if it's, you know, not a kind of a car that's as vintage as and gorgeous as that one, you want to keep it as pristine as you want, um, as you can, this is the ultimate finish for your car. Now, 475-475 is your item number. You are saving £10, £24 and £97 is the one day special. Now, of course, and there is more from ultimate finish. It's a carpet cleaner. Now, Stan, can you show us how it works? Yeah, well, this is not only for the carpets in your car, but for also around the home. You know, like when your entrance hallway, it might get a yes. little bit grubby. And also if you get stains. And I want to show you how powerful this is for stains, removing stains, to show you how powerful the product is. Here we've got red wine and black coffee. And this was in here uh, over a month ago. And just to show you, that is dried in. This is a bit of kitchen towel. You can see it's completely okay, bone yeah. dry. That was a long time in, in the carpet. Now, now, if you just spray some of this on the stain and let it soak in for a little while, and also what we'll do, just for extra measure, we'll put a magic marker pen there and some crayon here, and we'll give that a spray as well. And what's happening is the product now, just like the other uh, wow. Ultimate Finish products, is encapsulating those stains. Agitate the fibres now with the Ultimate Microfiber, and what it's doing, it's transferring the stain from those fibres into the cloth. Yeah. Now look at that, in seconds, and you can go over it a second time if you've got a really stubborn stain. The next stage is to go over with a damp cloth just to remove the rest of the stain, and look at that, in a few seconds, red wine, black coffee, magic marker, and crayon, all removed in seconds. But, and it's also got a nice light citrus fragrance. So if you want to freshen up your carpets in your That's car, idea, yeah. it gives a nice uh, fragrance to the car. But so many uses around the home. If you just get those odd stain, worth its weight in gold. Absolutely. If you want your, uh, you know, of course, your upholstery and a lot of, uh, sorry, the carpet uh, cleaner there, you have it included in the one day special, <laughs> one of them. That right. car was in a scrap Wow. Yard. Look at that. The, the interior of that car was terrible. That was in a scrap yard. And look at it, the upholstery and the carpets, terrible, terrible mess. Absolutely. We use this product to transform it, look at that, from a scrapyard to look, looking almost like new. It, it, incredible. That's an incredible transformation. Remember that if you go for the one day special, you will get the carpet cleaner included, the leather cleaner as well, as well as the wash and uh, wash and what? Um, as well and of course you get the tire and trim uh, as a free gift with purchase and those two microfiber cloths remember the one that special has also a 10 pound saving remember that it's a time limited offer that will disappear at the uh, tomorrow at six o'clock the free gift with purchase of course is worth 10.99 so it, remember that you know on top of that saving that free gift with purchase that's worth a 10.99 next up uh, now we also get in the one day special the leather cleaner. Yep. Stan, how, the, how do we use it? Well, and this is not just cleaner, but it's a conditioner as well. Oh, it no. does two jobs in one go. You only need a very, very small amount of this. I'm literally going to put uh, probably about the size of a thumbnail on there. Right. And now watch this. This leather, this is an old scrap piece of, uh, fr this was from a scrap yard, an old car seat. Wow. And look at that. It's cleaning it and it's conditioning that leather in one go. And all I'm doing is I'm just massaging the product in, give it a wipe over, and look at that. 
has cleaned and it's conditioned in one. So many other uses though. You might not have leather seats in your car. You might have leather sofas at home, uh, leather shoes. Look at that, it's a dream for cleaning leather <gasps> shoes in seconds. I need this, I need this. <laughs> but not only clean them, remember this is conditioning the leather as well. Wow. It's making it supple and soft again. Look at that, you can actually feel the difference in the leather yeah. once you've used this. But only seconds, and you see how powerful yeah. the ultimate microfiber is, because I, I haven't put any more product on there, just to show yeah. you. No more product on there, a white shoe, you'd think all that dirt would be transferred to the white shoe. What it's doing is Somebody's taking the dirt off yeah. and take, trapping that dirt in that cloth and it's nourished mm -hmm. that leather again. That is amazing because I'm thinking as well, uh, now I'm getting into walking um, around the countryside. So the walking boots, I have a leather, leather you know, they are going to get dirty. You want to kind of also protect them from, exactly. from the future, yeah. you know, walking by. So it's one product, just wipe it clean and yes. protect it. Yeah, very, very good time of the year to use it as well yes. because what's happened is through the winter if you've got leather sofas at home they've been drying out of the central heating yes. in your car you had the heating on all yeah. winter so it's very dry the leather so even if your leather's not dirty you can condition it and it's worth exactly. conditioning because it's not not cheap to replace leather so Absolutely. look after it. I look after it. Now we have got a clip uh, showing how to use it again, so how you can transform it. And this is of course the ultimate leather, uh, you know, we're cleaning with the ultimate microfiber cloth. Now it, for the car, we can just use it straight away. We don't yep. have to prep or anything. No, all I did was just put a small amount on the cloth and all I'm doing is just massaging it into the leather. And what it's doing, you can see it's removing the dirt and it's, it's not only cleaning it, but it's conditioning that leather. Look at that half yeah. transforming That's in nice. literally just a few seconds. That is transformed from probably years of dirt that's ground into that leather, has brought it back to how it was when it came from the car showroom. But also, not only to look like it, but to feel like it. Because the most important part, I think, is that conditioning of the leather it is. to look after it. To look after, not only, and it's true because a lot of the time we get products for our leather, especially, I know for the car, that we think, oh, they help to clean it, but we want to not only keep it clean, but also protect it for the future. Remember, you are getting one bottle of leather cleaner conditioner in your one day special. Remember, it's not, it, I love how you are getting different elements into it. Now, not only, of course, it's for your car, we have it that, of course, you can use it with the shoes. The armchair that you did, uh, you know, which is incredible. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's uh, armchair, and it was a three-piece suite. Actually, that's one of the armchairs from yes. the three-piece suite. That was stored in a farmer's barn wow. for six months, where the barn, the roof had leaked. It was covered in mould. It was a terrible, terrible state, as you can see. And as a matter of fact, the owner was going to take it to the tip. But we said the, the product had just come from the production line. We took it down to that barn and we transformed it in literally just a matter of minutes to like new again. But not only to look like new, but to feel like new. That leather was beautiful leather once again. Oh, it's, it, it, this is kind of exemplifies why you want it because it will save you money. Things that you may, you know, shoes that may, you may want to throw away, give them a wipe uh, with the, of course, the leather cleaner and see how it works. Now, the microfibers, of course, we do have two in the one day special. However, there is a bundle uh, which is of 12, six of the green, six of the gray. Now, we also have the white towels. Uh, now, the white towels, I know Leon is very fun of them because because, oh, I'm going to need to pick up one. And now you are getting four of the large, extra large, white, extra large. Now, Leona loves them because dogs. You can dry the, the dogs, we clean the dogs with them. And why do we need, aside from dogs, for instance, I don't have dogs. Yeah. Why do I need it? Well, we haven't got a dog, but my daughter has, and maybe we'll show that in a short while, how good they are for drying your dogs when they've been for a walk. But what I love about these is for drying dishes, because they are so, so efficient. Oh. This is exactly the same. This is in grey, but it's the same as the white ones. But look, what I've got here is a whole litre of water. You know when you dry your dishes up, 
you tend after a while to start getting all those smears on the dishes and the towel starts getting damp and it's it's harder to dry the dishes it takes yeah. longer as they as the towel gets damp mm. well this is so absorbent there's a whole liter of water there and what I've done there is wow. I've soaked that up in just seconds and there's still dry patches wow. on that towel and the whole litre of water is soaked up. That's how efficient they are for drying dishes. Right, remember, I mean, it's for drying dishes, drying your dog when you, especially, I mean, it, you know, you know, the, the wetness of the, the dogs, like, yeah, well, with the 100 side and everything. Let's have a look. Look at these cute dogs. I mean, they're so cute. Remember, you are getting four as well. So you could keep two for yep. home. I like kind of, a, like, they're dishes. great for in the gym as well. If you go oh, to the gym, oh. brilliant, there's a gym towel. That's my daughter, and she uses it. She's got, as you see, her dog's got really thick fur. She takes him for two walks a day across the field. He gets it's dirty and damp and instead of treading all that dirt and damp through the home she spends probably a minute or two just to give him a light rub down with the towel and you, she'll show you at the end of it how dirty that is how much absorbent that is and that, that was all in his fur and that would have been trodden through the house and all she does is with all the ultimate microfiber the secret is when you wash them don't use fabric softener look okay, at that yeah imagine that imagine. now she uses that for several days because yeah. they're so absorbent yeah, and then absolutely. puts it in the washing machine and, and the, so the top tip is not to when you wash it not to use a fabric conditioner uh, right you are getting four of them with the extra large ones but now let's talk about the microfiber cloths uh, now you're getting 12 six of each color which I like that because then I would have I have got my, at the minute I have got um, whichever colour it is for my car and then the other colours for inside the That's house. Right. Yeah. Now you are getting uh, 12 in total. Uh, now again, do you recommend not to use uh, con fabric conditioner? Fabrics, yeah, on all the ultimate microfiber, don't use fabric conditioner and then they'll just keep working like new year after year after year. I've been using uh, demonstration cloths hundreds and probably thousands of times for over nine years and I still haven't worn one out yet. Wow. Um, but ju I'll just show you how efficient they are. There is one of the ultimate microfibers, really, really dirty mirror. Now that could be anything around the home, in the kitchen, it could be anywhere. I'm just going to make that just slightly damp and all I'm going to do is just give it a quick wow. wipe there and a quick wipe with a dry one and that has now cleaned all that dirt in a few seconds and it's so absorbent. There is no marks, there is no kind of those grey marks, the little no. droplets of water. And it, it, and it's so, clean. it makes cleaning easy. easy now yeah. use, them, use them dry for dusting and use them slightly damp. That's just cold water. There's nothing in there, just cold water. Absolutely. Use just cold water for general cleaning. Fabulous. Now, if you want uh, yours, uh, you remember you are getting a set of 12, 9.99 is your price, 484, and 9.97 is your item number for all 12 of them. Now, of course, if you want, uh, you are going to get two included in the one day special. And, uh, but if you want extra, I would get for, go for extra. Now, we have got a tire and trim, which, of course, this is a gift with purchase with the one-day special. Now, uh, of course, if you wanted to go uh, for it, it would be, is it 9.99 or 11.99 on its yeah. own, the tire yeah. and the trim? Uh, how, what do we do? How, how do we use it? Well, as I was saying earlier, when you go to a used car dealership, you look at the tires on the cars. It looks like they put all new tires on there and all the plastic trim and rubber looks like it's like new like when it came from the factory and you saw that earlier that's a piece of scrap and this was restored with this product and I said it was done in seconds I'm going to show you live now how that works in seconds I just spray a small amount on there whether you've got plastic or rubber trim doesn't matter what color because it's a clear formulation all you do is you just put it on the applicator give it a rub over like that and a quick rub with the ultimate microfiber wow. and that is the job done that's how to make life easy that's what yeah. ultimate finish is about wow and you can see in there how clean and ready to go that's the other thing i think sometimes when you go to have your car clean or to polish and things like that there is what i call it a little bit of aftercare or after you know time that you need to rest this is kind of almost you do it and it's ready to go yeah and this is as you can see this is all scraped up this is straight from a scrap yard uh, yeah. it's terrible condition uh -huh. but in seconds it's looking like new Ah. So you can you can do that to your own car as well. That's amazing. If you want to remember that you're not paying for this in the one day special, you are getting it. It's a free gift.
life with purchase. Basically, you are paying for everything else, but still you have got a £10 saving on everything else. And on top of that, you are getting the trim and uh, the tire and trim and uh, the sponge thrown in without having to pay any extra. Remember that you will wash and wax your car. You have got, remember that you have got uh, upholstery and the leather cleaner as well for £24.97 with a £10 saving. 475475. Now, brand new today, we have got the dashboard. And now, of course, that I'm going to grab it because it's all in the way, in the corner over there. Let me grab it. There it is. Uh, I've got extra long arms for such a short person. Uh, right, and of course we have it. Now, brand new today, Stan, yeah. what does it do? We've spent years developing that product because one thing that is let down in the car is in the summer, we've all experienced it, you go into the car in the summer, it's like an oven. Yeah. And the heat has come through that windscreen and has baked that dashboard. And also the UV has magnified through the glass and is damaging that dashboard. And you may have seen dashboards that have cracked and that have discoloured. Well, this is the product to help you revive that so it looks like new again. And also, most importantly, protects it against the UV damage. Mm. That dashboard is really dirty, is really fading and a, a terrible state. You can see all the stains down yeah. the front there. And it literally, in what, about a couple of minutes it was to give it just a wipe over with the dashboard all in one and the ultimate microfiber and it's restored like new but better than restoring it like new, it's now protecting it as well. That's the thing, because we have invested our money, whether it's little money, whether it's big money that we are talking, it's an investment, the car. So we want to keep it as in a good condition as yep. we possibly can. Uh, whether you, we want to resell it, whether we just want to keep it forever, we want it to be, why not invest in that protection with the ultimate dashboard all in one? 9.99 is just the price. Uh, 934.164, uh, you put it in your basket with the one that's special and that makes a lot of sense. We have also on uh, the show, we have uh, the, the two liter bottles. So, shall I grab it? Because it's kind of... Yep. That's another yeah. brand new product. A brand yeah. new. So, yeah. so how many washers do we get in here? Well, that will actually refill this bottle two and over two and a half times. Perfect. So that will do probably over twenty cars cleaned, polished, and protected. But you don't pour it out there. Just pour, refill this bottle. So you've got the spray out. So you just keep using it in here. So this is the equivalent of roughly 80p per clean of a car? Yeah, and remember that's not just washing, that's cleaning, polishing cleaning. and protecting. I, uh, I drove literally just a few miles down yeah. the road, I drove I past the a car yes. wash today yeah. and they were charging just for a wash yeah. eight pounds yeah. for a clean and ten pounds for a larger four before yeah. just for washing i know i have used it in the past i didn't pay quite the eight pounds because I, there was a, like a, a, before i got the ultimate finish i think it was like seven pounds a couple of years ago but i remember then i thought i remember after being so disappointed because all the, the water, water droplets yeah. all those parts yeah. whether with the uh, you know the ultimate finish I didn't get any spots no. in there. And then the, the water, when it rains, it's like those water beads that you know is protecting the car for sure. If you want to do two liters, uh, you can see, you will, can do maybe about 20 of those cars. Now, for those ones who just have tuned in, let's have a look at how the wash and wa uh, wax works. Stan, how, I mean, do we have to prep the car before we use it? No, no, and obviously you're saving all that water as well. If you're on a water meter, it's very expensive, yes. and it's not good for the environment, wasting all that water going down the drain. So all you do is you just shake it, right? Okay. That's to act, shake it to activate it. Just spray it on. And I, I tend to do like one panel at a time, maybe uh, the bonnet or the front wing I'd start with and then work my way around just one area at a time so one cloth to, to clean it the second cloth to polish it but remember I haven't just polished it I've now protected it as well all in one go I've cleaned I've polished and I've protected yeah. all in one go. Oh and the protection you can't see because it's, it's invisible. It's, invisible. it's the carnauba wax. The kaolin clay is what gives that deep, deep shine. This is why the professionals are choosing ultimate finish. Yeah. And also, this is the other thing, is like when you wash the car, you were saying with a uh, uh, traditional style, is actually, if you, even if you are trying to be good for the environment and you take just one bucket, 
I'm going to be honest, I, I don't have the strength to carry the bucket of water to the car. And you get dirty and, and you, you get, get dirty. Work, and it's hard work. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and it's also the other thing is just like you start doing it and then you have to go and empty it and then refresh the water and come back. I mean, it's a good workout, don't take me wrong, but you know, I prefer to get my workout in different ways, not lifting the water. Uh, this is how you could do it instead with the ultimate finish, waterless wash and wax. And of course, this is Lindsay, you say, it's done. That's Hayley. I'm uh, sorry, Hayley. Uh, that's Hayley, that's, that's my daughter. Yeah. And uh, she likes the easy way of cleaning and polishing her car. And you see, she's not working hard and she's not had to put her old clothes on and get dirty and get wet. She's got a white top on um, because it's so easy and so clean. And all she's doing is just giving it a wipe over. And she's not using another product for the front of the car where the bugs are. She's not using another product for the wheels or the glass or the chrome. The one product does it all. And look at that mirror shine there. And, and literally just by giving it a wipe over. And in less than 15 minutes, she transformed that from really dirty, which hadn't been cleaned for months, to that showroom shine finish. Look at that, Incredible. the whole car. Incredible. And of course, it protects us for the future. So uh, what I found as well is that you are absolutely right. The first time I used it, uh, you know, I had to a little bit, let's say, a little bit more of a, you know, kind of a burnish, if you want to me. But the next time, everything that was attached to the car bonnet, it was so much easier to yeah. wipe it clean. It yeah. was, and so it protects it for it, that addition. It's because that invisible layer of carnauba wax really repels a lot of the dirt, yeah. so it tends to stay cleaner for longer. longer. If anybody that didn't see it earlier, just to show you the protection, this is yeah. enamel spray paint and I'll spray some on there and we'll come back to it in a few minutes when it's really Absolutely. baked on there. Yeah, Perfect, Asan, because I will give a reminder exactly what you are getting in the one day special in here. Not only you are getting the wash and uh, the wash, I struggle with this, the wash and wax and of course you are getting that. I, if I go slowly, Paula, slowly does it better. Now, of course, you have got the waterless wash and wax. And, of course, then we are getting the carpet and upholstery cleaner, which we have seen transform that old rugged, uh, you know, armchair with leather, transforming it into brand, kind of looks amazing leather. The shoes, of course, the inside of your, uh, your uh, car as well. Like, for instance, I have got leather seats or full leather seats. By the way, can we use it on full leather? Oh, uh, yes, uh, all types of leather, Absol except for suede. Don't no, no, use no, no, absolutely, suede. Yeah. not suede. But that, that's the leather yeah. product. The, the carpet uh, and leather. upholstery of used course. for uh, carpets oh, and sorry. upholstery. Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. reading the right. Yeah. So we have, of course, the upholstery one. Uh, and now you can see here the carpet and upholstery. And then, of course, we have got the leather one in here. That's the one that you also are getting. Not only you are, so this bundle, you would uh, you would normally pay £34.97, and pence, uh, these three bundles. And, of course, with the two microfiber cloths. Now, we have reduced the price for the one day special a 10 pound saving 24 pounds and 97 pence is your price however we have added as well with of course the ultimate finish we have worked in tandem to give you even better value for money we have added of course the tire and trim that gives you that perfect result so you can clean inside and outside in perfection of your car or caravan now the uh, tire and finish and the sponge are worth 11 99 you are getting it included in the one day special with that 10 pound saving and this um this included for free so you are not paying for the tire trim and the sponge if you want yours do check out your baskets 475 475 is your item number i'm a fan because you know even if i have got a garage i don't have water in the garage therefore it makes so much easier to clean it as well and also I know somebody who who you know watches Hotanda and you know he lives in London and I remember oh did I say Hotanda the craft store <laughs> yeah oh I have got that oh uh, uh, so it's, it's only the second or third time that I do that uh, right so what I'm gonna say that well my friend who lives in London Hi, Ben, if you're watching, uh, that he got it because, of course, cleaning the car in London, in the street, this is, this is easy, yeah, whether he yeah. couldn't get, the, again, the, the hose yeah. as well. Now, Stan, 
has the paint dry? That is completely dry. These studio lights are pretty hot and that is baked yeah. on there. Completely baked on. But the interesting thing is, it's not baked onto that red paint. It looks like it is. There's an invisible coating protecting that red paint. Okay. So what I've done is I've sprayed some on there now. Okay. The surfactants in the product are soaking into that paint and lifting that off from that invisible coating that's protecting the red paintwork. And look at that. No abrasives in there. There's no red paint coming off there at all. And now we just give it a wipe over and the the enamel spray paint has completely gone in seconds because that hard carnauba wax protective coating is protect, protecting that paintwork. And this is on an old piece of scrap. This is why the, the professionals in the trade uh, choose ultimate finish. We actually supply this to one company who actually cleans cars that are valued in excess of one million pounds wow. per car. Per car. <laughs> wow, incredible. Now, of course, remember that. I mean, the, your car maybe looks like, can we show a picture of what may it look? Because look at that. I mean, I have to say, my car, uh, it's not that one, but it looks worse than that. Well, not now. It did use so before I started using Ultimate Finish. Maybe your car at home looks even worse like this. You know what? If you want it to look like this, there is one way to do it, is with Ultimate Finish. Now, you may have been spending a lot of money. I remember when I used to live down south, uh, near Croydon, uh, you know, we used to have it clean. 15 pounds we would pay a pop. I mean, it was inside and outside, but it was 15 pounds. And uh, I was doing well then. <laughs> Let's rest with that. No, no. I wouldn't pay 15 pounds now. Anyway, anyway, so let's try that. But uh, what I mean is that that was how much you were paying because you wanted to your car to look good. The, well, not to look good, to be in good condition if you want to avoid that. I mean, imagine two cleans. For less than two cleans, I would, you get all the different products. That works at, at uh, how much is it? £3.12 per car clean inside you know and of course the leather inside as well and the wax as well so remember that i mean it's so much better also protecting because that's the other thing my car wasn't getting protected when it was came, it costing me 15 pounds to play i know it, it, it but pr london prices you know let's be honest 475 475 is your price for the one day special i for the item number for the one day special saving 10 pounds getting the tire and trim uh included there without having to pay for it now carpet uh cleaner now i'm gonna ask what the producer just said uh, our latte is renting it and she's kind of has to move out of her house so she's like and she has got two little ones is this carpet cleaner going to save her some money in the uh, deposit because of cleaning the carpet in the well, size of the it house? It certainly can help in a lot of ways. Not only for fre a lot of carpets tend to get a little bit dirty in the entrance hallway. Yeah. So you can freshen it up. And your car carpets, obviously after the winter, not looking at their best. So you can freshen those up. Okay. And it also gives a light citrus fragrance. Here I've got red wine here and black coffee that's completely dry should be dry because it's yeah. been in there over a month completely dry so that is really stained and we put some marker pen on there and some crayon as well uh, really really bad stains and this is how powerful it is for removing stains I you can adjust this to a spray if you like okay. doing an area you just want to freshen up like in your car or your entrance hall but for a stain like that I tend to adjust it to the jet and jet it into the fibers right. and then just agitate the fibers with the ultimate microfiber cloth and as you agitate the fibers what you're doing is you're transferring the stain from those fibers into the cloth that's the first stage and the second stage is exactly the same type of cloth but just slightly damp it's just cold water yeah. on this and all i'm doing is just giving that a light wipe over just to remove the rest of the stain and in what probably less than a minute I've removed red wine, black coffee, marker pen, and crayon. Yes. So, yeah, the answer, Lottie, is yes. <laughs> you should get it for, uh, you know, your carpets for that rental house that you, you, you if you need your deposit back. Um, now, us, of course, she has her cool car as well. It will work on her car, right? So it's car, That's home, right. you know, all the sorts of things as yeah. well.
Well, I mean, that car was from a scrapyard. That oh, was yes. the upholstery and the what carpets were terrible. The windows were smashed. The rain and that got in there. It was a terrible state. But look at that. You, you, you wouldn't think you could do anything with that at all. But uh, we took the challenge and the ultimate finish product transformed it wow. looking like new again. Look at those carpets and that upholstery restored back looking like new. Absolutely. You know, this is the thing. It's like you, we, we joke about, about, you know, Lottie having, you know, the car carpets, but it's just like with two little ones, well, that can happen. I mean, and after the children have gone to bed, the red wine comes up as well. So red wine <laughs> happens to be spilled on a white carpet. It happens. Um, you know, this sort of thing. This is why you want the one day special uh, or because you are getting, of course, the uh, carpet and upholstery, you are getting it included. Remember that you are paying for the ultimate wash, of course the wash and wax. Um, you are getting the upholstery and carpet or the carpet and upholstery. Also you are getting the leather cleaner and you are getting the two microfiber cloths. Now all that, all this bundle, of course, comes in with a, a saving of £10 thrown in uh, without having to pay for. You are getting, of course, that can, uh, the tire and trim. Kind of, I was forgetting the name, but tire and trim, which is very important. And of course, you are getting the sponge, which are worth 11 99 You are not paying for this. You are actually getting everything for with a £10 saving and thrown in for this tire and trim for free. 475 475 is your item number for the one day special now Stan the of course the leather cleaner and, uh, and kind of protective layer how do we use it again yeah. well again it's so easy and you might not have this is a leather seat out of a car but you might not have leather seats in your yeah. car in which case you'd use the carpet and upholstery cleaner for the of upholstery course. seats but if you've got leather seats or you might have leather sofas at home or leather shoes handbags leather belts leather coats so easy to use literally just a small amount you know about the size of my thumb now on there and literally just massage it into the leather and that's all you do is no hard work the product does the work for you and this again as you can see is just an old piece of seat from a scrapyard mm -hmm. and look at that that seat is now cleaned and that was ingrained dirt and that's cleaned and restored but for shoes as well it doesn't say handbags belts coats even i've used it on my leather coat yeah. uh, and it doesn't matter what color and you don't need to put any more product on and this again shows you how powerful the ultimate microfiber is because it's holding on to that dirt it's not transferring it from one surface to another it's grabbing hold of the dirt and all you do with the ultimate microfiber is when you wash them don't use a fabric softener and look at that onto a white shoe with, with that dirty cloth and it's removed the dirt again and still grabbing hold of that dirt. Absolutely fabulous. I think you need it in your life just for those shoes. You know, the ones that are kind of, you have, well, you know, maybe taken to a nice place. I remember my most expensive pair of shoes, a very, very expensive pair of shoes that I own from many years ago. I took them to a couple of weddings. One of them, I was in the countryside, so they were, they become really, really dirty. This is the thing that you can use to clean them and condition that leather. Remember, you are getting a bottle of that included in the your one day special. This is why it's such a good value for money because you can use them different ways. Of course, for your car, it's amazing, but also for your shoes. I'm also thinking for, you know, the leather handbag that you have got, you know, the maybe you inherit one from your, you know, looking through the things. I know from my grandmother, I have got a really nice, um, well, my mother has it, a, a nice leather bag. And it's not something that I would wear or my mother would wear because it's not in good condition. Use the leather uh, cleaner and conditioner. And of course, it will become a vintage piece that you will be proud to wear. This is another thing. Remember, uh, you know, I think that is going to happen. Like, uh, you know, sh uh, charity shops are back open. And sometimes when you are seeing things like this, you're thinking, oh, it looks a little bit tatty. Give them a new lease of life by cleaning them and conditioning them. And maybe then just use them as you wish. But then, of course, that's not the only thing that you are getting in the one that is special.
you are also yeah, using uh, you are getting the micro uh, fibers cloths now these of course you are getting one of the green and one of the gray if you want extra set you can go for an extra set of 12 details of at the bottom of the screen 9.99 is the price one of my pieces of advice would be go for them because the difference between this and other places available is just just really different uh, because this is really super fibrous and absorbing water. Now, Stan, can you talk us through what we are seeing in what we're going to see here now? Yeah, so many uses around the home. This is why it is a good idea to get that yeah. pack of twelve. I mean, when I get out the shower, I keep one by the shower. Yes. Instead of having to clean that shower, you know, later that day or the next day, yeah. I just give it a quick wipe over with the old sort of microfiber, and it just absorbs all those soap suds the shampoo and uh, all the dirt and it dries it as well at the same time and look on the mirror all I'm using there is cold water no chemicals on there at all just cold water just giving it a wipe over yeah. on the uh, I've done it on the mirror the porcelain tiles the chrome the uh, the sink uh, the whole of the bathroom no no chemicals at all just uh, just water for dust in there I dream because they just grab hold of the dust yeah. like a magnet Look at that, one wipe and that is dusted. And that's the way to do dusting around the home. That uh, is fabulous. Uh, and of course, uh, you can use them, uh, you know, wet or, or dry. Yeah, for, for dirt, you know, you use them dry for dusting and just slightly damp for general cleaning. Now, that table was covered in wow. thick dust. Look, for soaking up spills, yeah. they are a dream because they just are so, so absorbent. They just soak that up. And that floor was almost bone dry after just that quick wipe. So if you've got a spill, it doesn't matter if it's on a smooth floor or a carpet. And now look at this in the kitchen. We don't use any chemicals in our kitchen at all. We use the ultimate microfiber, just wow. with cold water. That hob there was pretty dirty and all the worktops there. And all I'm using there is just cold water, just, just, soaked, just soak the cloth in it and wring it out. Obviously, wait till your hob and your oven's yes, cold, and then uh, just use the ultimate microfiber. So I'm thinking that this will save you money, the microcloth, because if you don't have to use chemicals, then you don't have to buy them. Saves you money and it saves you time. I mean, look at this. this is, the part of this mirror is still dirty. Now I've got a bowl here of just cold water, and all I'm going to do is just dip that in. There's no chemicals in here at all, and I've just wrung that out. And this is for general cleaning. So use them dry for dusting, but for general cleaning, just give them a wipe over like that. And look at that. In seconds, yeah. you've cleaned it, and uh, it's just still slightly damp. Yeah. But uh, all, all, the ultimate microfiber, as I say, the most important part with this is don't use a fabric softener when you wash it. Because, of course, the softener kind of, it, does it coat the fibers a little bit? So That's right. Them, unless it it softens the fibers. The, the fibers need to activate, to grab hold. Okay. There's millions of fibers in there. They're less than a hundredth the thickness of a human hair, and they're wedge-shaped. So you don't want to flatten the fibers. If accidentally you do use a fabric softener, then just wash them several times without a fabric softener, and they'll start reacting like new again. Yeah, absolutely. And that makes a lot of sense. If you want that extra, remember the details at the bottom of the screen. Uh, and now, of course, you are getting two in the one day special. If you want 12 details at the bottom of the screen, maybe you have gone for the ultimate, uh, ultimate finish before and you want to have extra towel because microfiber clothes because you know they're going to be great in, at home. Now, what about the, uh, well, the towel size of the micro uh, microfibers clothes? Now, of course, this um, you are getting in four of them now I have to say son I, when you were describing it as using it for the gym I was also thinking well hair drying hair that would be much faster than a regular towel wouldn't it I don't know I wouldn't know that <laughs> <laughs> no actually they do yeah I know a lot of people use yeah. them there because they're so so efficient so, so, yeah. dries mine in about half a second All right. <laughs> Mine may be about two minutes. <laughs> no, but for gym, yeah, a lot of people absolutely. use them for the gym because they're, they're so incredibly absorbent. Yeah, absolutely. What I love them for is for drying dishes. Okay. A whole litre of water there. They're so, so incredibly absorbent. In seconds, they will soak up a whole litre. This one here is a grey one. It's exactly the same, yeah. just a different colour. And the reason I've used a grey one is it's easier to see the dry patches there on the grey one. You can see them light colours still. 
It's right. dried up that whole litre and there's still dry patches on there. That's how efficient they are for drying dishes. That is, of course, one reason to go for them. Drying the dishes, drying maybe, maybe if you have got dogs, you need to kind of dry them when they come out and you go outside, it's raining. You know how the weather, English weather is. Uh, now, of course, you have got here a set of four of the Ultimate Finish microfiber towels. You are getting, uh, of course, M in white, extra large, 14 pounds and 99 pence. We mentioned dogs. I mean, we have got the cutest dog. I mean, well, one of the cutest dogs, of course, Leonis dogs are the cute, well, some of the cutest. But look at that. I'm not going to offend any dog owners anymore. Well, try to stop talking, Paula. <laughs> look at that. And of course, they dry the husky dog so quickly and easily. Yeah. And, you know, instead of treading all that dirt and all that damp through the house, all Haley does is just give him a, just a little yeah. wipe over when she's taking him for a walk. And all that dirt and damp is transferred from the dog's fur into the towel and she uses that towel for several days because it's so incredibly absorbent yeah. and then just throws it in the washing machine no fabric softener and it's like new again and Excellent. look at look at that <laughs> now imagine that all trod through the house twice a day it doesn't happen yeah, it goes into the towel indeed now of course we have got the same uh, care and as before uh, just thrown into the wash no conditioner exactly the same with all the ultimate microfiber these take such a long time to manufacture we have been out of stock of these since before Christmas I'm not and surprised. we can never get enough of these because they're so so popular one of your presenters paid four pounds 99 for one good quality mm -hmm. microfiber mm -hmm. cloth um, it wasn't the ultimate microfiber. We don't charge four pounds ninety nine. Yeah, absolutely, but it's a very I, very high quality. I paid I, I less than uh, sorry. I paid less than the price that you mentioned, but I paid in total more than this set of twelve, and definitely they were not. No, I, I paid for I think it was eight, uh, but I think I paid about fourteen pounds for a set of eight. I can tell you, they were not the quality. I know it's, it's something that it kicked me because I kind of, this is the other thing. You don't find always things in a stock like a sunset. So I remember needing them, going into kind of online, looking for them and thinking, well, they cannot be that much difference. I mean, seriously, I know, I should know better. No, 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 no. I should have bought this one because I when they were in the stock. So remember, now they are in stock, you can get them. If you want them, uh, there it is, uh, $9.99 is your price. now. I am I'm very passionate about it because I hate to make mistakes and buy something that doesn't deliver. And I think that a lot of people feel the same with the testimonies yep. we have got yep. here. So we have a look. At They're all from your customers. All of those reviews there are from your customers and many, many more. And that trade customer that you saw the video yep. over the Jaguar, he has been using Ultimate Finish for over 10 years Ten and years. will not use any other product. And this is the thing. Once that you know something that works for you, not only for your car, but you, it makes you feel good about your car. It makes you feel good about cleaning and protecting your car, it makes it a repeat customer. And that's, I think, the biggest testimonial. I mean, I just have this uh, one, this testimonial from Brian Roberts in Horsham. I have had my Z4 for a while, use all sorts of polish, so your art birds and bought the ultimate finish. Just use it for the first time, and this is the result. Look at the shine that sparkles. Uh, stunning. My friends saw my car and asked me what I had used, so they have ordered it as well. And this is what's going to happen. It's going to make suddenly your car look better and the envy of your friends, right? Exactly. And obviously, if you're selling your car, why not True. bring it, you know, can add value then, you know, because if you make it look like it's showroom condition, Absolutely. it can add some value to it. Absolutely. I have got another testimonial here for another, uh, you know, uh, confirmed customer. I have just used Ultimate Finish for the first time. As you can see, the finish is fantastic. Uh, could not ask for better. It took me a lot of uh, a lot less time than it does using my usual polish. As my wife said, half the time, twice the shine. That's what we want, half the time and ha uh, twice the shine. There is so many more testimonials in here. I mean, we could spend the whole hour looking through those. But ultimately, uh, you know, let's get through exactly what we are getting. So, Stan, we get the wash, wash and wax, <laughs> let's say just slowly. Uh, then we have the carpet and upholstery, and then we have got the leather cleaner and conditioner. 
two uh, microfiber cloths. Now, this is the, get, the what you are paying for. With a 10 pound saving, you are just paying 24 pounds and 97 pence. However, added in extra, you are not paying for the tire and trim as well as the sponge. Those ones are thrown in as a gift with purchase with the one that is special. 475-475 is the item number. Now, Stan, if somebody is watching and is thinking, well, shall I buy, shall I not buy it? Why should I buy it? Would, what would you think? Well, you... it makes life easier. I mean, this is the old way we used yes. to do it. We used to get the old hose out and waste gallons and gallons of water. And if we're on a water meter, it all costs money and get dirty and wet. And we used to get the bucket out with the car shampoo and we'd wash the car. Then we'd go around and polish it occasionally. Mm -hmm. And we use other products for removing the bugs, another one for cleaning the wheels, another one for cleaning the glass. None of those are required yeah. anymore. Absolutely. All you need is the one product, ultimate finish, that does it all. Yeah. It cleans, polishes and protects, protects all in one go. Thank you, Stan. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. Of course, you will be back at 8 a.m. for, I think it's, tw no, 12 o'clock. Sorry, 12 o'clock you will be back. So make sure to check out your baskets. Thank you, Stan. Thank you. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow make sure you check out your baskets. This makes life easier when you want to have your car, your upholstery, your carpet in top tech condition, even your shoes, your handbags, do get it. Check out your baskets. You're not going to regret it. And of course, those two uh, microfiber cloths make life easy, so much easier. But stay tuned here at the craft store. Check out your baskets. Stay tuned because there is more craft alongside. Well, there's more crafting along. Uh, now, of course, we have got Son chanting after the break. Uh, Joy Marie and myself. And then we have got a re uh, well another showing of this show of Ultimate Finish One Day Special at 10. <music> Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. Hi, my name's Mel and I'm from Crafty Devils down in Devon. We are a family-run business and we've been established for about 16 years now. We're known for our MDF products and our mediums. Our MDF products are produced in Devon, in the UK, and we have a wide variety of products to inspire you. So make sure you tune in to all our Crafty Devil shows. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad, Roy and we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new.
Good evening. If you are just joining us here at the craft store, welcome. It's great to have your company. If you have been watching throughout the day, it's great that you are still watching us, uh, of course, here at the craft store. Now, what we have uh, ahead of us is an enchanting hour. So enchanting. I love the name because it is very descriptive of what you all have got in, well, where we have got in store for you. Beautiful projects, beautiful, amazing uh, kits that you can well, quilt patchwork and of course embroidered. And I'm not here on my own. I'm here with Marie. Hello, Marie. How Hello, are you? Paula. <laughs> it's great to have your company again. Thank you. Now, for those ones who don't know you, or I mean, maybe people just tuning in, can you tell us a little bit about you and So Enchanting? Oh, okay. Yeah, um, we're, we're based on the malls, Dartmoor. Um, we have been going for about Oh gosh, I'd say ooh, 12 years. Oh, okay. um, so we started with um, a shop um, in a local town and then we developed more onto the website and then shows up and down the country. Um, and here we are now. Yeah, uh, well, and it's great to have you here. And now, I have to say that when we were looking through these uh, beautiful projects, we have different, well, we have got, we are, we have got quite a few by Lynette Andersons, which is, she's a renowned designer, isn't she? Yes, she is. I mean, originally from Weymouth, Lynette Anderson, then moved out to Australia, which, and obviously where she resides now. Um, yeah, quite naive drawing, stitching, yeah. She's very, very popular. Yeah. Uh, now that makes, of course, uh, it makes a sense to because when you look at her designs, I love how you have described her. Is naive, kind of sophisticated, naive, but that kind of folksy, kind of homespun, that neutral colours. That I also kind of think when you're looking at the beautiful bags in here, it's something that I can see my niece who is eight years old. Or well, actually nine. She would if she was what she would say. <laughs> she would Auntie Paula, <laughs> I'm nine years old. I think. Uh, uh, but um, it's just time goes so quickly. But uh, that I think it's not. Yes, nine, definitely mm. nine. Oof. You're very bad, <laughs> naughty Paul. I, know. I think but you need to have a gift ready for when you go next. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she would say, like, oh, Auntie Paula, how can you know? But it could be really good for her, but also for my mother, who is in her late 60s. You know, it does the sort of thing, and I could wear it as well. I love things that are such a, you know, kind of for every age that is absolutely kind of, tr can, we say, can I say, tr I would say be beyond trends, you know, because it kind of goes with anything as well. Yeah, so I suppose I think what you said um, earlier was, uh, you know, they're quite timeless, yes. really. They don't date. Um, they don't seem to go out of fashion because they are a niche to themselves, you know. Yeah. And, and, you know, you, they're quite recognisable insofar as you can almost identify 99% of the time if it's a yeah. Lynette Anderson. Absolutely. Yeah. Right, of course, this is the Sun Chanting Horseshoe Cottage Bag Pattern Kit with pre-printed stitchery by Lynette Anderson. Uh, the pre-printed stitchery, if somebody hasn't watched the first hour, is this what you talk about the stitchery? So. Yes, yeah. So it's pre-printed. We do these ourselves. Um, so it's printed there for the stitchery and for the applique, which you can either needle turn or you can raw edge. Um, and it is a permanent ink that's on there. So you don't have to worry that if you've got a dribbly iron, if your iron is yeah. out, that it's going to dribble and then it's going to bleed. It's not. It's permanent. So um, you'll stitch over that without any worries of... Um, it disappearing or fading fast. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> now I noticed that the button is covered, so you yeah. are getting, I believe, the like kit to make your own covered button. That's right. Yeah, and you actually put the applique bird on too. Now, as you can see, the furniture, as we called it earlier, yes, the clasps like and the cl clips. Um, on the bag there, you can see that it's the popper. Um, what you actually get is the magnet. The reason I put the popper on there. Um, was because I didn't have a magnetic clasp that was of the right colour and I didn't particularly want to put a silver one or a gold one that yeah. would be too blingy. Um, so you do indeed get the pieces to so, put yeah. the magnetic clasp Perfect. in. And it's a little bit easier than this one as well, because I kind of... Uh, yeah, I suppose it is really because basically is on the back of the clasp is yeah. you've got two clips there which you'd need to make a slit into the fabric for it to poke through and then bend it back like those... Um, 
oh anyway, those, those fasteners mm -hmm. that you used to get when you were at school to put the papers yeah, together, and, uh, the paper or the clock hands, yeah. you yeah. know, yeah. when you Brads. made a, a yeah. project at school. Um, so yes, they in that effect, yeah, yeah. they are, yeah. All right, now, oh, uh, you know, nearly half of the stock has gone. If you want your beautiful horseshoe cottage bag, you have got the details on the screen. 423770 is your item number. £34.95 is your item number. We have another bag, but this one is slightly different. Uh, this one is a little bit more funky, I think. I love that patchwork that is just... Uh, yeah, yes, the, the crazy yeah. patchwork, yeah, yes. I which love that. Yeah, well you start off with a, a five-sided figure um, yeah. and then you just add to it and build to it as per the instructions for the front and the back. Um, and it's quite fun because, again, you know, you, c you can be as non-conservative as you possibly can be when you're stitching. Yeah, absolutely love this. And, of course, the stitchery element in here is absolutely a delight. The petals I mean, are really nice, aren't they? That lovely blue colour. Yeah. Love, love And it that. brings out the, the colours in the fabric of this yeah. particular kit. I mean, we need to mention that, of course, you don't get the embroidery thread or the uh, wadding or the all, but you are getting the patterns, the uh, detail the panel you are getting that button yes that fun button with the alphabet on it yeah you're getting you're getting all the fabric to actually make the bag itself as you see the bag there but you whether you use wadding yeah. or another form then you know that's down yeah. to your choice absolutely and of course a four five two six eight three is your item number 34 pounds and 95 pence is your price remember you are getting the instructions as well then uh, we have <laughs> by the way if you want want to make sure to check out your baskets a third of the stock has gone if you want yours you know what to do check out the baskets then we have the the cushion in here now this cushion has the span oh look at this we were talking before we were talking about cats. your cat so that's Paula's cat yes. yeah <laughs> the future card I don't know where it is but I don't know yeah, but you know there it is and then of course you have the sewing machine the friends in here that's so gorgeous I love the little hearts in here and there and of course pins and needles uh, and then you are getting also the fabric for the back right that's right yeah so th there's different elements in this you've got the embroidery you've got the needle turn or raw edge and then of course you've got as much or as little quilting as you want to do yeah so you'll get all the fabrics for the front and for the back of the cushion so again you're not getting the threads um, and you need to find your pillow form or uh, the pattern, fiber yeah. to that's fit awesome. all the fabrics and the pattern and the pre-printed stitchery there for you that is I really love these kids. There's just something really homey and warming about these kids. 671-716 is your item number. £29.95 uh, is your price. Then we have uh, the uh, gorgeous, I love that, Secret Garden. This is one of my favorites because it's, it is a red work, but then, of course, it has the bookmark. Now, for somebody who does, has never worn a saying red work, what, how do you describe red Red work. Um, oh, red work purely is the hand embroidery and stitchery. It's purely because it's done in solely in red. Yeah. And if I can point out, I know it hasn't been changed. It's actually a so enchanting pattern. It's not a Lynette Anderson. Oh, pattern. I see. Yeah. Yeah. If I can just point that out, because I don't want somebody to, to yeah. purchase it and then think, oh, it's not a Lynette Anderson pattern. It is a so enchanting pattern. And okay. um, so yeah. So the red work, it's all in red. So you, you get a ball of the Perlay number twelve, which we like to sew with. Um, you've got all the mode of fabrics as yes. well oh, um, to sure. make up the cushion front and the cushion back and also your little tag there as you can see at yeah. the front yeah I my love that. my secret garden I love now that. As, as said previously you'll have the pre-printed stitchery for the main part but for the tag itself you'll need to draw that on by hand for that we haven't we've put the template in but we haven't actually printed that onto the fabric for you but it's uppercase it's quite straightforward it's nothing difficult absolutely in it. and i love this it's just it, i really love the idea of having a cushion with a bookmark in there or a tag uh, now if you want uh, of course either my secret garden you are going to get everything that you need to create the front and the back of that cushion then you just need to add your uh, wording if you wanted to quilt it and of course the cushion pad there we have it 24 pounds and 95 pence brand new here at the craft store 754623 is your item number now we have got more for you of course we do have lots more so please jump ahead if you want on the website but thecraftstore.com 
Birds and Bloom again features that red work, beautiful panel pre printed. But also, can I mention, uh, Marie, because we are getting the pattern printed as well on paper. Oh, yes, yeah, you have the template in, in all anything that we've pre printed, you do have the template in there for future use. So it's not that you've got the one off, you know, pre printed stitchery and then you can't make the project again. Um, yeah, you do have the template there to be able to recreate it again and again. <laughs> that is brilliant. Uh, Twenty-four pounds and ninety-five pence is your price for these absolutely stunning uh, moda fabrics. Am I right to think moda? Yep, they are moda. Yes, indeed, uh, they are. Let me look at that. I mean, even just you know what I would do. I mean, I'm going to be completely honest here. You wouldn't use the backing. You would use it for something uh, else. You would use you? calico <laughs> plain or calico on the back, and this would be a companion cushion. Yes, yeah. I mean, the, the, the choice is is yours. You know, sometimes so um, it, it's you know you're not when are you going to see the back of the cushion? In fairness, but it is a bit of a feature with it being the envelope, yeah. and you've got the accent as well love, with the I with mean, the red there too. Love that. But absolutely. absolutely, you know, if you, if you're incredibly frugal and you know and you want to make more then then why not absolutely uh, five to five eight one one is your item number 24 pounds and 95 pence is your price remember you are getting all that you need to create the red work and of course you are getting even the perle uh, red uh, embroidery thread as well then we have the other kind of sort of cushion uh, uh, and of course this one is the bunny and the fireflies because it's absolutely gorgeous look at that Look at this. It's just flutterby, it's not fireflies. Uh, flutterby, friends. Uh, and we also are getting in here the little money. <laughs> You're taken with that, aren't you? I you love like that. it. I love that. <laughs> and as we said earlier, Paula, is the fact is when you actually draw on the yeah. back, uh, you draw on the back of that to make that little bunny tail, and um, cut, draw it on the back and cut it out from the back. Otherwise, you'll just be in a forever-ending, uh, non-ending circle, cutting it, cutting it, cutting it, and you'll think, well, why isn't this the shape? It's just very difficult to cut fur fabric yeah, from, the from the front. front. You need to do it from the back, and plus as well, you save yourself a lot of mess and you don't get covered in hair. That's <laughs> true, <laughs> absolutely true. And now, if you want the song chanting "Bunny and Flutter" by Ed Bryant's. Uh, cushion and pattern kit. You have got the details there. No, twenty-nine pounds and ninety-five pence is your price. Eight two zero five seven three is your item number for that one. And of course, we have got a finishing kit for that as well that we will mention later on. But I just want to make sure that if you wanted to do the English paper piecing with the um, kind of elements in there pre-cut, we have that one in the stock as well. Now, we something that we haven't seen yet um, on the previous show was the panels in here. The three birds calling uh, because that is absolutely stunning those and I absolutely adore again is it well red war black war or any color you like although we have put them together as per if they're actually at the back of me in the frames there Paula and we've done them as red, so hence we've actually put the red, the ball of pearl thread in there for you. Um, and this set it actually is um, three birds playing. Um, I think you might have birds calling somewhere, but um, these are three different birds to what we've previously had on um, the craft store. So we, we did them previously on linen, but they were different stitcheries. Oh. Birds indeed, yeah, but these ones are three new ones, completely new ones. Absolutely stunning. Uh, now, of course, you can see them here, uh, and then the finished result. You can see that uh, Marie has on there. You can see all three of them for twenty-four pounds and ninety-five pence in that beautiful fabric. Of course, two seven nine three eight seven is your item number. We have also a tote bag. Let me put this a little. Sorry, I'm, I'm just not very good at folding fabric. But uh, <laughs> oh yes, I mean, I'm not. <laughs> And I don't iron my, my oh, so, Do you know what? That's what I was thinking. I thought, oh, what's her ironing's like? Ironing? <laughs> ironing. I don't know why. It was in there. <laughs> I mean, the only iron I do when I do quilting or patchwork, <laughs> then I iron. That's the only time. <laughs> Sorry, Marie. I'm just sharing all my, my secrets here. Now, this is actually a limited stock. Now, oh, it's all gone. Oh, now it's all gone. Uh, make sure if you have it in your baskets and you might get it, uh, otherwise you will miss out. Uh, of course, your details are there if you have it in your baskets. Underneath, we have the bird the brain and design. So, like, bring it in because then, um, because otherwise you won't not be able to 
see it, and that's kind of a very ill. Now, here we have the, is that the bird brain um, pattern with pre-printed stitcheries? That's right. It's the actual stitcheries are behind okay. me, in, done in black work. Um, is, but that's not printed on, is they scalico then? Um, <laughs> they are printed on calico oh. for whatever reason that is on a printed fabric but it is calico the same as the friendship oh, garden yes yes it, it will of be exactly course. the same as friendship garden so it is the plane the, the stitcheries themselves are as per the quilt mm. at the back of me yeah. and that's done in black work because you just get the nine printed stitcheries or and the pattern on the calico high count calico um, and just to show you as well, if I may, you don't have to do it in red, you don't have to do it in black. I mean, as you can see here, we've actually, this is a previous sample that I can show you, that we've actually done it in blue. Okay. So this goes back to, you know, whether it's red work, whether it's black work, I mean, you could say this was blue work. So you can do it in any colour. And if you want to vary the colours and do it, you know, various colours within each frame, then there's nothing stopping you do that either. That that is down to what you want to do. To do absolutely. Uh, eight to nine uh, two eight zero is your item number. You can flex divide uh, two paints or three payments of twenty pounds or one off payment of forty nine ninety nine. Now, if you about choose to flex divide thirty sorry thirty nine ninety nine. If you want to flex divide, then of course you can add a flexi basket and add other elements and flex divide those ones as well. Now, of course, we have got more in here. And of course, oh, let me put this. This one properly. Listen. Happy is the house that shelters a frame. A uh, friend, not a frame. <laughs> uh, now, of course, we have here. Is it nine blocks in this? Again, that, yeah, there's nine. Like the 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 quilt behind you. That's yeah. the friendship garden. They are what you're getting in as far as it is on the calico. Um, the high count quali quality quality calico, calico again, pre-printed, and you also have the templates again, so that you can do them in the future. Um, whether you want to make it into a quilt or whether you want to make it into a cushion or if you want to make it into a wall hanging and use individual stitcheries or you know take the stitcheries and you can, you've got nine gifts there for people haven't you you know yeah. you don't have to put it all in the one project absolutely uh, now so enchanting friendship garden bird brain pattern with the pre-printed stitcheries on calico that means that it's not only the, uh, the stitchery that you are getting the panels pre-printed but also the instructions and the pattern for the full quilt 39 pounds and 99 pence is your price you can flexify it again to interest-free payments of 20 pounds uh, now three five six two three eight is your item number now this was very popular in the previous hour is this uh, purse that is so cute. It is also by Lynette Anderson, isn't this it? This one is, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And you are getting the hand-painted button as well, which includes it, uh, all the furniture. <laughs> yeah, all the furniture, yes. <laughs> Your clasps, yeah. You're getting the zip as well. All the fabrics, which are Lynette Anderson fabrics. Um, to make and you've obviously got your little line in it also has a little pre-printed stitchery on the yeah. front as you can see with you the embroidery see. there actually on the sample yeah, yeah. absolutely uh, two-thirds of the stock has gone if you want yours let me show you as well that you're gonna get enough to make a long a handle as well it's a perfect kind of uh, element to take away like when you have got dog bag and things like that 29 pounds and 95 pence is your price 487-316 is your item number. Then we have the home uh, fabric panel and I'm going to take it out. It's kind of well attached so I might not be able to. It's very nicely draped but you can see it here. The gorgeous panels. Now this is by Moda. Uh, the black sold out earlier and you can see it. Now we are only get, we have got very few of these ones left so make sure that uh, you check out your baskets. This is the phone option. Uh, oh, Marie has got one uh, there so it's better to see it there because yeah it's there we go I've actually pinched two of the panels here for the for the demo that I'll be doing a bit later um, but as you can see yeah you've got your board I've chopped the border off the top here so you've got two more panels in this so they're all, all about home and whether you want to you know use it again as a whole or if you want to use it as separate squares as a different you know separate projects beautiful panel mojo as you would expect the quality and if you want there's nothing saying that you can't embroider on part of this where it's been printed for you um, with, again I would probably do it in black if I was going to do it especially on the thin lines here but it, it's there's many projects that can be made from this it's beautiful Absolutely. bless this nest yeah be it ever humble 
Absolutely. All roads lead home. Oh, <laughs> uh, now, 321549 is your item number for the phone option. Uh, £14.95. We have had a lovely email from Natalie uh, saying it's like so many lovely projects. I'm so pro pro uh, projects. How is she going to choose? <laughs> <laughs> She's got to go with what her heart's saying. Where, what's, uh, it's, it's what's, what's you know, yeah, what's really what's biting uh, here. No, I kind of mention, of course, the bunny tail squirrels because uh, that's here and there, and it was very popular in the. Uh, we want to give Natalie more food for uh, for <laughs> you know thought. Food for thought uh, yeah. no, of course, food for choice or food for thought. Uh, that's kind of yeah, food for that. Of course. Uh, now, of course, this is the bunny tails flannel quilts pattern and kit. Fifty-four pounds and ninety-five pence. I just love it. I just wanted to draw attention because it's flannel, isn't it? Yes, it's beautiful. It's 100% cotton, but it's cotton flannel. Mm. Um, so it's ideal. And as, as you know, it, it is for a nursery. It is for a child. Um, it's totally washable. So any of those little mishaps that you might get with a little one, as you would expect from you know a child that age, um, it's just perfect. You've got the mid center panel there. We've put a pattern in so you can make it, replicate this quilt totally with the pinwheel border. Um, and we've put the binding in too. So all you'll need is your backing and wadding. As, and as already you've mentioned, um, the backing is available as a separate finishing kit. Absolutely. If you want the finishing kit, uh, details bottom of the screen, £27.95. and pence. If you go for both, you can flexibly it because the, of course the quilt pattern and kit is in, uh, has got a flexibly option. £27.48 and pence is of course uh, what you would be paying today if you are flexibly and the same amount next month. 744 is 904 is your item number. 40% of the stock has gone. Add the finishing kit and flexibly it. Now, of course, on the website, you will find everything that we have seen, plus more, uh, of course, in there. And we will see, of course, these beautiful panels of stitchery, those gorgeous bags as well, and so much more, including, of course, the Sun Chanting Bunny Flutter by Friends finishing kit with the wadding, and, of course, those hexagons pre carded and many more options as well for other stuff. Now, um, we are going to, uh, Marie, what are you going to show us in this hour? Well, yes, but going back to the birds playing oh, um, with, with the embroideries um, I just wanted to go over through a few stitches um, and also how we um, use the it is the stitchery stabilizer there which is an add-on that you put at the end yeah. of the basket or something um, so I've ironed that on now don't forget if you're going to use this ladies and gentlemen before I get told off. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> you'll, fi you'll feel the stabilizer um, and you'll feel a gritty side and you'll feel a small smooth side. So when you iron this on, now you will need steam to iron this on purely because you need the steam to activate the glue in the gritty side. But what you need to try and do is to not touch the iron onto the stabilizer um, otherwise you're going to leave it'll melt it and it will be a nasty mess on your iron so when you come to doing the points on your other half shirts or blouses um, you're going to leave a horrible black mark and nobody's going to be very happy about that <laughs> <laughs> yes. so what i've done here this is the pearl lane number 12 um, that's included in with the stitcheries okay so I'm going to knot and I'm going to show one or two French knots actually because you'll find that sometimes when you're defining dots like this you'll think to yourself right a French knot do I loop round once do I loop round twice do I loop round three times now I don't know if the camera can pick up on this yeah, yeah. These here, I've actually looped round three times and they come out quite big and I don't think they're po possibly as good or as pretty or defined yeah. as they should be. Then I've gone and I've done loop round twice, that's okay. But I actually found that by looping round once on these, because they are such small dots, which I'll show you, she says. Okay. Yeah, if we can get... <laughs> there we go. So I've knotted it. I've knotted the thread. I've pulled it through. Okay. okay. And then I'll loop round once, go back in more or less to where I've just come out. Right. And <laughs> as you can see, it's, is it going to do it easy for me? Is it going to be difficult? Because I've gone okay. back in exactly the same as I've oh, done. Oh, I see. <laughs> Too much. So let's try again. So one loop. 
and we're going back in yeah okay and we're pushing through I'm pulling difficult why does this happen here? I w I'd like to be it, <laughs> Murray, here. And I would like to be it. That's it's, what happens. It's, and it's pulled straight through. Um, right. That's not embarrassing, and me going red at all, is it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, let's try again. I mean, I have done, because I used to do them, well, I still do the demonstrate with paper crafts, right? And I have tested the glue, the paper, the dye, yep. everything. Perfectly works on knife TV. It would not have stayed down. No, no, exactly, yeah. And I've even bent the needle, I've pulled it through that hard. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> there we go. And it's been through again. Anyway, do believe me, <laughs> but I've done it through once. Yes. Look, it's just really well and truly stuck. Oh, well, you know, I, uh, do, you, do you want to some time to reset? No, no, oh, no, okay. no. We'll do this. It's one of those things where you go, it's not going to beat me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, absolutely. You, you and, and ladies. This is where probably I'm hoping ladies are watching another channel just yeah. now and gents, aren't they? So, right, we're going to go around once. We're going to go through again. Deary, deary, deary. Oh, it had to get me back, didn't it? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, there it is. We done. That's staying calm, isn't it? Keep mm -hmm. calm and carry on. Is that Absolutely. what they say? Yeah, that's what they say. That's what they say. So we're looping around once mm -hmm. and we're going back in again. All right. And it's just because it's more delicate, yeah. I feel, to do the loop once. And I'll show you the loop three times, so you, you can believe that I did those ones earlier. Nobody did them for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so if, if with these I've bundled, do we get any instructions on them? You'll get, um, what we actually highlight is, the f because you can do this in any, and it's mostly backstitch, um, but there are little, um, we'll, we put little icons in that show you how to, you know, a French knot here or, you know, or a backstitch there or, you know, satin stitch. But again, it's, <laughs> it's down to, to how you want to, to do it yourself. And as you can see, oh, I'm having fun and games today. So it doesn't want to go through three oh. times that time. One, two, three, okay. There it is. Yeah, okay. there it is. So you can see the three loops there yeah. versus the single. And for such a delicate dot. Um, if you could hold it there in a second yeah. so we can see it. Oh, just there, the perfect. So we can see the largest one is the three. Well, I've wrapped around yeah. three times, yeah. Um, and I've just made it look very difficult. Yeah. And it's not very difficult. <laughs> and there where we've done a single. So, and the trick is not to be too precise going back in on the hole so that's two and I'm not going to go back in too tight again this time dearie 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 me there we go and that time there's two so as ladies and gents will will see to just wrap round once is sufficient yeah. By Jove, she's got it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now I'm kind of in the zone. I'm watching you because it's kind of it's, it, this is one of the things I find with embroidery. Um, you know, of course, uh, if, if it is such a relaxing thing to watch, not only to do but to watch. Yeah. Well, what you can do as well, of course, is you know if you've been up on your sewing machine most of the day or yeah. the afternoon, or and you know it's time to have you know family time, sit down time. And there may well be something on the TV, just as long as you're not doing French knots while it's on. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you're not on TV, French knots <laughs> are French in knots. There we go. I'm just going to do millions of them now, yeah, just to I show like everybody. To show yeah, there's nothing gonna... wrong. So yeah, so there we go. You've got you've got all your French knots in there. I'll just do one more, and then with regards to there we go. Wrap round once in. There we go. Good Lord. Okay. Okay. So then we'll move on to the outer 
And if you like to, you know, use different colours, then use different colours, you know. It's your sewing when all said and done. So we're going to do a back stitch. And I do, I have to say, I do like working with a magnifying light. Sorry, that's... Uh, As you'll sit there during, you know, as, as it's getting darker, you'll sit there and you don't realise how dark the room's getting because obviously your eyes are adjusting. Absolutely. And then. Okay. Nice, small. Try and keep your stitches as even as, as possible. And I'm sure, I mean, I've... I'm not an embroiderer per se. Um, <laughs> she says, quite obviously, we've got a knot there. Hang on. What do you do if you have a knot? If do you just cut it? Now, no, 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 no. Oh. Now, what will happen is sometimes because you're going, it depends. Try not to have too long a thread. Yes. And they they say it's sort of from your nose to the, oh. your wrist. Okay. Or, oh. Well, yeah, depend. But mm. I mean, I would use shorter than that. Okay. You know, you get yourself into a knot. Now, what it'll do, it'll twist and look like it's a knot. But it's not. It's not a knot. So, oh. if you're gentle and you can pull and put in your, your needle in by, it's not going to yeah. do it now. You can guarantee no, I won't get one now. Not. And put your needle with it and yeah. just give it a gentle tug or try and loosen it a little yeah. bit. It'll come. It's just because it's twisted. You haven't knotted it. Yeah. It's just twisted. Um, and it can get a bit frustrating. You know, if you, I mean, if you want to cut it off, of course you can cut it off, but there's no need to. A little bit of teasing and it'll get yeah. itself free again. But I have to say, that's probably the worst little tangle <laughs> I've done for ages. I can sit there in front of the TV just going round and round and round. That took me seconds to do last night, just to show and to get going. <laughs> Absolutely. And of course, that's why it happens, live TV. Uh, now, of course, you, the pearly thread, is, it is included in this bundle as well. Uh, and this, uh, by the way, we have the stabilizer uh, as an end of cold offer. What it means is that when you go to check out your baskets, it adds, how about this? Uh, on the website, you can see it next uh, here. So there you have got, for instance, the free enchanting uh, iron on light stitchery stabilizer which is what Marie is using for four pounds and fifty pence you are not paying PMP so if you are not a freedom member you don't pay any extra of that and of course you are also you have got other elements like sun chanting the doll needles or the of course the um, the pack of three or also you have the prim aqua gloom market as well in here and is that that is the glue more uh, th you don't want that the basket has a spider you don't want that and you know what it means you need to check out your baskets before <laughs> 10 minutes so do check out your basket <laughs> You tell them, Paolo. You tell, tell them. them. You tell, tell them. them. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So make sure to do that. Right. Back to Marie. Uh, right. You can see there the stitching. Okay. Yeah. So I, I've managed to get out my tango. I've managed to do the stitchery quite badly. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so you've got you've got your birds playing. So you this through the three stitcheries there, and again they would all use the same technique. So where you've got a little dot. Um, here for example here again I do a lovely French knot and because that's slightly bigger I would wrap my thread around three times to get a nice little bobble there mm. um, and these are all for stitching around back stitch however there's nothing to say that you can't Ill infill that with a satin stitch yeah. um, or use a stem stitch yeah. so there are if the um, the embroidery stitches are on a sheet that go in with the, with the patterns, sorry, the preprinted stitchery and the thread. Um, but also, don't ever be afraid to just Google it and go onto YouTube because there's always somebody that will demonstrate it a lot better than I <laughs> just that. <laughs> live TV, YouTube is not live TV, so you don't see the woo-woos. But this is one, one of the things, so because I prefer actually uh, you know, live TV because it's more fun. Uh, now, of course, we have, of course, Marie is demonstrating the song, Chanting Birds Playing, said three uh, printed stitcheries on linen with pearlet thread, 24 pounds and 95 pence is your price. 279387. They're on calico, Paula. They're on calico, not They're linen. Calico. They're on oh, make sure that, uh, well, we need to change that, those details there because it says linen oh 
Uh, we have them painted on calico, but it's that very, very fine calico that you have in there, that very nice and wavy there. Uh, right, of course, and now they are changing the details, so for it, but you are going to get them printed, and of course. Uh, now, what else do, would you like to show us, Marie? Yeah, okay. Now, we'll move on to the panel. Yeah. Okay. Now, what I've done with the panel, <coughs> as the black one was quite popular, um, I've actually... So I've cut two of the panels out. I've actually done this front and back, um, which is actually, in my mind, is probably a waste, but I've done one front and back. Um, and what I've done is I've sandwiched it with some calico. Um, and what I've done is so that they stick together quite nicely, I've actually ironed it. And the, uh, the ironing has actually um, attached it quite nicely, created a little bit of static so it's not going to move too much. Um, so what I'll do is I'm going to just put a few lines through this, stitchery lines, but I would cross hatch it. I would stitch diagonally and then work from the centre and go out. And then I would then turn it the other way and I would work down the centre and go out. So you've cross hatched it okay, to yeah. quilt it. We're gonna, it's going to be a pot hand, you know, handle the um, hot pot as it comes out oh, the I oven. See. Now, what you can get specific wadding that is heat proof, um, but as long as it's a natural fibre, not a polyester, you're not going to have any problems with okay. this. Okay, so, right. so, so there are some that are like the bamboo ones as well, that would be fine. Yes, this is actually bamboo cotton mix itself, oh. it's 50 50. Um, and that, the 50 50 bamboo cotton mix is very good as well. Bamboo is mm -hmm. very good for. Um, Quilts, it's hyperallergenic. Yeah, genic. Well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and it's it's you know it helps to stop genes yeah. and things. Absolutely. Naturally. Yeah, naturally. Naturally. Yeah. Naturally. Absolutely. So, yeah. right, completely the wrong colour, but here we go. And I'm going to put it on a slightly wider stitch. Is that this this between stitches? So it's, uh, no, sorry, the stitch length is a little bit larger. Yeah, a little bit longer because um, again, going back to the going back to the you don't want the tension you yeah. don't want it you want it to run easy there's no need and of course if you are pulling tension you're, you're just going to pucker it up you know as you're stitching so I'm just going to do for ease I'm just going to go across there and across there for the moment and then we'll put the binding okay. on it and I'll show you how to do the loop All right, so. All going well today. <laughs> uh, I, I was so excited today because I moved houses before Christmas and I hadn't taken my sewing machine uh, out just yeah. yet. And now today, this morning, I got in and I just saw in a little bit. <laughs> it's, just, it's just, there's something about it, you know, it's kind of, it's just so beautiful to, to get it. at the craft store you will find different uh, you know brands as well like Juki you will find uh, Viking you will uh, Husqvarna's and you will find all sorts our producer has got a Husqvarna Jade to, uh, 35 I think it's that's called yeah that's mm -hmm. really cool. now what I've done from this panel um, is I've used the border here to create what is going to be my loop and my tag now, um, as probably ladies uh, know from when I presented the black panel, um, you have got a bar or on some cookers um, that you, you're wanting to put this quite handy but want to get it off quite easy. So I needed to do a loop and have some sort of mechanism on it, or not mechanism, but um, a loop and something so that I could take it off quite quickly to use it for the yeah. oven. So what I've done is... I've taken the border, as you can see, okay, yeah. and I've ironed it each size in half and then half again, and then I've folded it over. Now what I'm going to do is move my stitch, my needle, sorry, to the very side of my feed dogs here. Because okay. if I go through the centre, now this one's a bit bigger, so it probably would work okay. But because the feed dogs are either side, there's every chance that that would miss. Yeah. So it's not going to go through on the feed dogs. It's not going to be fed through on the feed dogs. So if I move my needle over, so then I can position this 
more over that side then it should go through yeah should go through should feed it through so quite often you could be stitching there and you'll just yeah. be stitching in the same spot because it's not catching the fabric so fabric is absolutely stunning as well. It is. When you see a border like that and you think, well, because you've got a 60 centimetre panel, you're thinking to myself, yourself, well, I haven't got a great deal of that border. Yeah. What can I do with it? Absolutely. And again, if you're frugal, then you'll be able to, um, you know, have several. And I've worked it out that with the top border and the bottom border, you'd have enough to do all of those yeah. with a tag and a loop on it as well. Now, this is going to be my knot. Um, so what I mean by that is, again, I've taken the border and I've, again, I've stitched it in half, but I've actually turned over the edge this end. So I'm not going to have any raw edges and I'm going to fold it over and I'm going to stitch down here again. And then I'm going to tie a knot in it this end. So... So when I say tie a knot, I'm just literally going to tie a knot. So there we go. That's my knot. Right. So that when I've looped it yeah. through, it's going to stay in situ and just pull through. So oh, what I mean... Oh, I see. So I've got... Now, a width of fabric will, is more than enough um, to do a binding yeah. on one of so these squares. That would be a width of a quilting width. Uh, yeah, so which is about, it's, 40, they always say 44 oh, inches, yeah. but don't forget that's including in the salvage. Yeah. Um, so you're really working on more at 42 so, to be yeah. on the safe side, okay. Um, so I've got this ready because what I'm going to do, um, so you've got, I always use two and a half inch width of fabric. Um, so then I fold it in half, I've ironed it in half and I've turned under my edge just yeah. there. So I'm going to put that to the bottom because that's where I want my join. Okay. And because you've beautifully quilted this, yeah. you've and it looks amazing, you've embroidered yeah. it, yeah, you've done all of that to it. Okay. You don't. I mean, I have to say, even like that is just amazing. I love the printer. <laughs> yeah, well, especially if you, you use yeah. um, a nice metallic thread, yeah. um, or you, you know, you could again some, something. I mean, even if you'd gone through it on black, yeah. I suppose it would still you Absolutely. know look quite nice. So, again, so I'm going to have a scant quarter inch. Okay, so if this. How I'm putting the binding on now applies to you putting any binding on any quilt. So this is just a smaller version of a quilt, basically. So we can see where we're going with this. So, so you're going to stop just a, literally a quarter of an inch away from the end. And I'm going to back up again a bit. There. I'm going to take it out of the sewing machine. OK. Now what you need to do, okay, is you need to go up in a right angle, straight up, okay, and then straight back down again. So this is going to be level with your raw edges. Yeah. Oh, if I get my fingers out of the way so you can see. And then I'm going to start the sewing straight the way there, quarter inch weight straight from the edge there. Okay. Okay, perfect. So Four edges level. Ooh. Yeah, absolutely. Remember, is there the beautiful modern fabric that is option the black did sell out early if you want the sun chanting home fabric panel by moda it's just 14 pounds and 95 pence there's so much you can do i mean you can embroider it you can leave it plain you can quilt it you can make a quilt you can make it into amazing elements and of course the black sold out but we have got the phone uh, left in stock three to one five four nine is your item
Yeah. And I think what would look nice as well with this, I mean, I picked up the, the fabric and I'd got the, the, the nearest fabric that I'd got. Um, but if you'd done it, with, do it with a, a corner or even black, actually. Oh, black, yeah. black would look deli delicious, almost delicious. Good enough to eat. Now, I'm just going to stop here because what I want to do because you've already found the center yeah. of your <laughs> your square okay so that's slightly too long um, so if you think about your loop where you want it to be bearing in mind you're going to stitch across that so that loop would be plenty